Good morning, everybody. Good morning. And welcome back to uh, the E4 Grand Slam Party 2023 edition. Uh, so, uh, again, uh, I am back, the French Paradox, or Mathieu, if and you I prefer. Rose. And we have Rose, our greatest uh, streamer. And ah, the save is being loaded. Cool. Because I was looking at the 1444 start and being like, wait a minute, <laughs> we've seen that before. I'm having weird The Ottomans are way too big. This is, uh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Yep. Okay. So the deja vu oh. feel uh, is, uh, is passing by. So uh, how much did you follow after you left us yesterday? I tried as much as I could, but I did spend a lot of time like walking around and talking to the different teams. Ah, so you might know better than me what they're planning to do today. <laughs> Possibly. I know at least like uh, two nations are going to try and form Spain. Two so nations, interesting. We're we're gonna have some um, conflict from them at some point, Andalusia and Navarra. Um, apparently the popes, because all three of the players are dressed as popes, by the way, the three right. popes. Uh, they think they you know they're gonna finish gobbling up Naples and then it's peace in their time. There'll be no more fighting in Europe. Oh, I believe in you. I believe in you. <laughs> and the Balkans believe that they've brought peace to the Balkans. There'll be no more problems. They just gotta finish, you know, helping Byzantium clean up the Ottomans. Peace in the Balkans, peace in Iberia, yes. peace in Europe. I do not believe a word of this. I don't either. No, I think yesterday yesterday was the day where people can show off like how much they're prepped. Like I think it was the it was the micro people it was the it was the um, it was the, the very like on the nose people who have prepared a lot for this event. But I think after we were done with fighting AI and expanding as fast as they could, those people had to lead uh, any space for the uh, for the diplomats who probably had the whole night to try to not be the next one on the chopping block because we're <laughs> really really quickly running out of real estate in Europe. If I switch to the player mode, not everybody is around, but. Most of this land is basically owned now, so with the ex exception of the British Isles, which are almost fair game at this point, um, unless Wales managed to make a comeback, oh. and Scandinavia, I uh, which haven't been touched by most players, the rest is gone. There is no more room. Um, you're going to have to make room. I had not realized that Wales lost a gave a piece of themselves to Navarra? I think it was a negotiated deal. Yeah, because uh, I knew downstairs talking to both teams. Both teams are like, yeah, we trust each other. We're the best of friends. I sense no lies, but I don't know how long that friendship will last. <sighs> it's 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 going gonna, it's gonna to be tough, I mm -hmm. think, because Navarra, like, I don't know if it can hope to hold this lands uh, with the big, like, uh, mighty Andalusia pushing. Oh. We will see, uh, and yeah, like I think the biggest, uh, the, the the winners and the, and the and the losers from yesterday, right? Like I think Andalusia is in a good place. Uh, Orleans slash France is in an interesting bid for power. Um, could we get someone to drop the link to the forum page in chat, please? Uh, chat is asking about it. Which, if you don't know, there is a forum page where you can see the players, the nations the storytelling behind what's going on with Avalon and everything, as well as the, I forgot the name of the web page, where you, it updates every 15 minutes and you can see the map and what's really going on in the game. Yes. I have just spaced. I've not had enough sleep. <laughs> oh, yeah, me neither. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, and I've got the jet lag, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, because you came yeah, from... came from uh, the U.S., oh, yeah. Yes. Right, yeah, my jet lag from, from, uh, from... Actually, I was already in Poland before the stream, so oh, I didn't really so have fine. any more jet lag. The jet lag from Rock Lab doesn't really count. No. <laughs> my, my brain thinks it's 2 a.m. Oh, ow, ow, <laughs> ow. No, we had Merlin oh, come no. to our house yesterday and no, give 4 us some, uh, some wisdom until, like, 2.30, and then I had to wake up at 8, and I was like, oh, what's <laughs> going on? <laughs> I, uh, oh, I couldn't find my eyes this morning, but I will eventually. Uh, tech friends, I have a question. Is the music too high only in my ears or also in the stream? Because I can hear it really loud. And I wonder if it's my ears or if it's everybody's ears. I don't hear you in the thing. No, it's the music. Okay, so maybe just in my ears. Oh, we have players watching from the States where it's 3 a.m. Oh, wow. They really that want is to miss dedication. Yeah, they <laughs> want to see blood. And you know what? You know what? Some of some people may die, but this is a sacrifice we are willing to make this morning. Uh, we will sacrifice some we, players for your entertainment chat. This is this is where we at. We we need like it's looking very crowded. 
Where did yes. Got Oh, Gotland ended up down here. Yes. Uh, yeah. I, I knew they got kicked out, but... It oh, yeah, where are the respawns, actually? Because mm -hmm. someone respawned, and they respawn in... I don't know. Yeah, and uh, then we also have Fars and Armenia. Yes, Which yes. means now the Middle East is starting to look kind of crowded. Yes, exactly. Because we had... Uh, Which I is interesting, because I know Cyprus apparently was very happy to see Armenia up here. Because they would both grow in separate directions, but they had built-in Christian allies. Yes. But now they've got Fars in their way. Yes, Fars is in the way of, uh, well, I'm not going to say progress, but they're in the way of things. They're in the way, they're in the way if you want to get to India. Yes, exactly. Uh, and so far, I don't think we have new world respawns. It's probably still a bit too early for that to no. happen. They, uh, they did a big assembly, and they decided to respawn to Asia for now. And Asia. Yeah, okay. So all the old world. So if you know any of the roleplay, we've got Avalon up here, which has Merlin is running things right now because King Arthur has left on a quest for the Holy Grail. Ah, as one does. As one does. And we don't know how it will go. We, we hope anything we can, find can happen it. when you're on a hunt for the Holy Grail. You, ho might uh, think so. you might find some good things. But here's the thing about Merlin Merlin apparently does not like Catholicism. No, no, I've I've noticed that he has uh, he has his old Norse faith, and he has thrown random like conversions left and right during yes, the previous uh, thing. We have a bunch of Norse, we have some Confucians, we have Zoroastrians, uh, even here. The world is really yellow still. Uh, yes. Some Hussites have been preserved in Prague, uh, but it's it almost starting to look like a like just like a, a small like a <laughs> local like. Hust Reserve, really, where they're just like chilling in Prague, and I don't know if Bavaria has any plans of keeping these people around. But, yep, so he's Wait a minute, what is this? What? Is Serbia Catholic? Yes, they converted early. They, the Pope helped them. I don't want to make a statement, but Catholic Serbia just sounds wrong. <laughs> to me. Uh, but yes, it, and here's the fun thing about being here in person watching the chaos that ensues downstairs. So I was hanging out with Merlin for a while as people approached him. And it wasn't just in-game quests he was giving people for favors. He was sending them off to search the library for a book about China. And so even people who don't read Polish or know Polish had to go searching through Polish books to try and find a mention to China to bring it back to get favors. That's going to be uh, an interesting wild goose chase. The, oh, they did it. And it was wonderful. They were all like kneeling, holding the books up as like offerings. It was great fun. <laughs> nice. Uh -huh. But the, that translates to favors in the game. The state religion of the Rassids is no religion. What? That's an interesting choice because they're all the provinces of Shia. I think it's probably because they got a custom respawn. And hopefully it will sort itself out when they start the game. Uh, and and hope Merlin was not too drunk yesterday and forgot to give them a religion <laughs> uh, when he offered them a new country. Um, that's a possibility. I, I, I saw him yesterday at 2.30 and he did not look too fresh. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> oh, he did misplace his staff several times. Ah, well, hopefully we'll... Uh, I mean, given his, his opinions about religion, I'm sure he'll figure out something. Oh, maybe that was a requirement. Have or no a religion. Uh, maybe they are like Rassid atheists. That would I don't be know. We have to wait to get like in the game to actually. Yeah, see there's much a chance that them. the game will just immediately fix something up as the as mm -hmm. as, as, as the save is started. Ooh, look at the size of Timbuktu. Ooh, are they pushing up north? It does appear that way. I can't remember if the second province is also colonized at the start or not. Uh, looks like Tuat. Yeah, there's no colonization. I don't know. I don't Let's remember. Let's see. Yeah, and as far as speaking of colonization, as far as I know, the only colonized province so far has been Bermuda by Morocco. And I'm curious what their play is, because they had the reach earlier on to start their first colony in one of those like usually juicy provinces in the, in the Antilles, or even try to go for a quest for gold in Brazil. But instead, they went north. They went in Bermuda, which kind of telegraphed to me that they might be aiming for uh, the land of the free and yeah. the home of, uh, well, we'll see whoever sh settles there. <laughs> 
They want to forget New Amsterdam, forget New York. And make new fez. Yes. Or new exactly. uh, Marrakesh. Mm. A new world capital, potentially, is what chat's saying. So. Uh, yeah, that, that's they possible. They might be looking at exile, because, I mean, it's not like they have many places to go at this point. I know Morocco has been working with Tunis, but I do think they feel kind of trapped. Yes. Have you seen how Tunis made an interesting bid for, like, yes. basically blocking off everybody else? Like, Egypt is mine. <laughs> I did see that when I talked to them originally in person, they were feeling very stuck because... Uh, Tugort and Djirid, I believe, or however you pronounce them, mm -hmm. they were being protected by the Mamluks. Oh, yes, so they had mm -hmm. to take the Mamluks down. And I think a lot of people went after the Mamluks because mm -hmm. their beds have been partitioned between Cyprus, Tunis, what is that, uh, the Knights, Wallachia? Okay, that's going to be interesting. <laughs> that's a that's an interesting uh, dynamic Ooh, happening down there. I didn't there. realize how far east. Yes. They, they all, oh, they all there we searching go. We're going. for something. We're going. We're going in. We are going Woo! in. Woo! And yes, as chat is mentioning, Scandinavia has it's been untouched. mostly untouched. True. As the British has, because, uh, yeah, uh, Wales tried, uh, but kind of failed. Uh, and I don't know if you were there yesterday or watching, but as, as, as a programmer, I usually root for the AI. Uh, especially... <laughs> AI beating the heck out of like players who got too cocky and thought they could take them in. Are we looking for the host? So we do have a new Fez is a sick city name. But is Fez one of the nations that have become Did like... Did you manage to get in? I am not getting the host. Oops. Uh oh No, I see. Test. Test failed. Uh-oh. 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 what have you been doing? Um... Well, let's see if... Uh, yeah, we're trying to connect to the host. We may have lost it. I don't know. I mean, I can hot join if it's enabled. Is everybody else in? It didn't even send my message. Okay. Uh, it's fine, chat. Uh, <laughs> you know, this is the this is the, the effect of being live. Um, in a castle. Perfect. Okay. Uh, yes, so chat, we are looking at uh, what's going on. I'm pretty sure uh, Arthur or Merlin or everyone else involved with him is trying to figure out what's going on and, fi and, and fix the, uh, the tech issue. Let's see, do I get any news? Not yet, I'm, I'm sure. I mean, can I actually uh, pan the map at least? No, I can't. Well, Oh, oh your game is crashing. Uh, it's, it's, it's just not responding. Uh, it's a polite way of saying it's crashing. Um... We're figuring it out. Mm -hmm. uh, the, something will happen very soon. Uh, Let me but check the Discord. In the meantime, we need to uh, sort out some tech issues. So in, in a minute, I'll, I'll see chat back and I will be able mm -hmm. to uh, take some questions or whatever and uh, pretend I know what's going on until uh, they fixed the problem. Yes. Someone is typing. Yes. Yes. A re is All happening. Right. All so right. we are exiting the game. So we can enjoy the return to menu feature of you for that every other <laughs> game is uh, jealous of. But we patented it, so we can't have it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know that the other games are jealous. I, I, that's, the, that's, the, <laughs> that's the extent of how much I'm allowed to comment on the issue. <laughs> oh. Well, we'll just have to wait for the server ID. Yes, but we can enjoy the nice loading. Hey, I like no, this. We I really like this new loading screen. Because of the screen and screen feature. Yes. We oh, can see ourselves. Oh, nice. <laughs> what is chat saying, by the way? Uh, I've got to tap can, back uh, over. If you can uh, get us some, uh, some news. Mm. Uh, so this is the hat that Flory got because he couldn't like fix his white hat. Or he didn't think he could fix his white hat, but he did. So he ran into like the center of Berlin and bought this. Couldn't find another white one. Uh, and then he's just like left it in here in the streaming room. I ended up just stealing it this morning. He he's, might get He's back. there in spirit. He, I think he's still sleeping. This is his crime for still sleeping while we're yeah, here. Yeah, I'm trying to was sampling Polish water yesterday. <laughs> yes. But I'm sure he will be fine. He's uh, he's he's been working on All this. Right. So yes, so we have uh, it, it's been a, a rose raid. 
stealing the hat. And I mean, I he was a and host. here's the thing though: this hat actually can go under the headset. I had this lovely leather tricorn yesterday, or tri is that how we pronounce it? Whatever the we said tricorn, but yes, yeah. probably. Uh, but it didn't fit under the headset. Ah, damn. So it was sad days. Oh, we got a new server ID. Yeah, I have a similar problem. We got some really nice Sushan cast for like uh, a Hoya release a couple uh, years back. But having headphones on top of it is really painful, which makes it like you have a choice. Do you want your head warm or do you want to have music on the Metro? You, you, you can't have both <laughs> at the same time. And it's very first world problem, I agree. <laughs> but <laughs> Well, the earrings I had yesterday, they did not like being under the headset. Oh, yeah. That's so why I dropped the glasses super. today and trying, oh. trying a new vibe. Yeah, I can't do contacts. You can't? I, I could, but I have severe allergies. One of the medications mm. I take for that causes my eyes to get all watery. Yeah. Like, they get really dry easily. It's just the contacts do not work so well. Well, I'll see if I can handle. If, I, if you see me in glasses later today, <laughs> the chat is I could not handle being in contacts yes, all day looking at the camera having bah, like because we will the be sun on in my face. We will be on here the most today, I believe. Again? Oh, damn. <laughs> I really drew short straws this time on well, stream. <laughs> you, I mean, I'm fine with it if you want to throw no, Flo it's Florian. Fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, I will. Uh, I will. I will make good use of the time where I'm not. Right, in the so meantime, you shed. guys will be here, and I will be there with you. We will be there with you, and you will be entertained, or at least we shall try. Mm. Oh, we introduced ourselves again. Sure. Uh, we got yes. called beautiful. What? We got called beautiful. Oh, thank you, chat. Yes, thank like, you're you. beautiful too. We can't see you, but we know. <laughs> uh, this is French paradox. Yes, uh, I'm a tech lead at Paradox. Uh, working on the Hoi, uh, on the Hoi game uh, so far. Uh, might change when I come back, but still on Hoi-ish. And you worked on EU before. I worked on EU before. That was my first job at Paradox, actually, uh, five years ago. And then we handed up the reins to Tinto. And I moved to Stellaris for a short year. And then I went on Hoi. Oh, and, and we have a I am Enigmatic now. Rose. I go by Rose. And I am a community ambassador at Paradox, not on EU4. True. But I do know this game pretty darn well. <laughs> Which game are you community ambassador uh, for? I was with Prison Architect through Sunset, and then currently right now I've been helping with Crusader Kings. Ah, so you're going CK. Yes. All the beautiful little shorts that have been appearing in the last uh, month, I've been working on those. Ah, cool. It's been great fun. CK is the one game at Paradox I did not work on. Actually, no, I didn't work on Viki, like, officially. I just made some performance fixes before release, but that was it. Oh Maybe God. one day. Maybe one day. Worked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, chat. Uh, who are the casters? Oh, yeah, we also have Leah. She is the community ambassador for EU4. Yes. Um, currently, she's downstairs getting all sorts of content to go live on socials. So you'll see her as well as her other counterpart, Riaji, posting all sorts of stuff on Instagram and Twitter, keeping up with stuff. Yeah. Uh, there's also a news feed in the Discord. Oh, okay. That stats are getting put into pictures for people to see. Cool stuff there. So if you if you know if you're not here in Poland with us, but you want to feel like you're part of the action, check out the Discord, the news feed, Instagram, Twitter, X, yes. whatever you want to call it. And yeah, we'll be on stream after us. We Flory yes. actually, and yeah, they Flory will take will over on. after and see whatever state of the world uh, we leave. Uh, they will uh, they will continue with, and we will see what's gonna happen. Texan French paradox. Oh yeah, I played Texas back in. Uh, well, I played as Britain in 2019, I think, uh, and then we exiled ourselves to Texas and we made Texas Brittany, uh, which was a thing that happened. <laughs> Texan Brittany was an interesting uh, moment, mm -hmm. uh, and I was casting last year uh, mostly. Uh, oh. and I think by the end they gave us a country because uh, people were asking for Floyd to play and we got Cyprus, <laughs> which we renamed Miley, Miley Cyprus and we oh, became pirates. <laughs> Didn't last very long. Uh, see, last year I had a four-month-old baby. So I was not here. It was very sad. What language and culture was Scandinavia have in 200 years? Uh, in the game or... <laughs> or <laughs> 
Because in the game, this is an interesting question. It's been entirely untouched. Uh, yes. Oh yeah, no, the map I mean, is not on stream yet, but Scotland tried. Yes, they and tried. Failed. I was about to say. No, Though it's we do have um, a snake. The Livonian Order is snaking into Finland. Actually, we have two snakes. We have the the first snake and the Livonian snake, and I guess we're gonna. Tavir, Tavir, Vir, might Vir, yeah, Vir. That's they're the also snaking into Finland. Yeah, th there's not many provinces. Only three provinces wide actually to go up there. So it is quite easy to cut someone off. Although, I'm assuming as long as Livonia figures the co this concept known as boat, they could just sell to Stockholm and take it. Wait, boats? Boats yeah. are a thing. Boats are a thing. It just dropped during the nights. Like I think they were invented Dang. somewhere between like. 1486 and 1487. It's, mm. uh, it's we haven't seen a lot of naval engagements, and that's usually a thing that happens later in the game because everybody's sticking, studying on the same continent uh, is usually not prime time for naval engagement. But I do hope that eventually well, we will see something. We this is so. Uh, I don't know how, how much you were paying attention then when you were uh, casting last night, but I know Flory and I we were we were wondering what the knights were up to. Mm -hmm. And he was complaining about how hard it was to click on the knights because they've got this tiny, tiny island. Talking with them, they want to rule the Mediterranean. Aha! Uh -huh. They will be ruling the waves. Interesting. So that we're going to make a bet for the other small islands like Mallorca, Minorca. Uh, they want the islands. They want all the islands. I mean, all I guess the they islands. don't have Cypresses right now. Uh, no, they don't because it's, it's Cyprus, old Cyprus. Yes, but I... I mean, Bolachi is down here in yeah. the Aegean. Do they also want islands that have a land connection, like Corfu, Lesbos, uh, Sicily? I'm not so sure on that part. They were going after Venice at the time, which they did take. Oh, yeah, there's still an AI in, uh, in Lesbos. Uh, Genoa is still alive, although maybe not for long, because they are occupied by the Knights, so I'm pretty sure they're just getting cleaned out, yep. and they will make they short took, work of they them. They took Venice, Corfu, Crete... Someone is asking to make Byzantium great again. I don't think this is gonna happen. Like they, they lost in 1453. Oh, <laughs> this is this is this is don't hold your hopes. Speaking of uh, Byzantium, I want a showdown between them and Armenia because I cannot stand those two colors. Like this is just way too close. I have a huge <laughs> light in my face. There is that's no way just, I can tell which is which. That's yes, a CB. color color CB is a thing. Uh, same thing for Nitra and Bavaria. This needs to happen. I don't care how. They just need to sort it out. <laughs> It is going to be interesting to see what Navarra and Wales do up here. Uh, mistakes, mostly. Uh, they <laughs> tried to take on AI England, and they thought they had it once or twice. Oh. But England actually had a pretty solid general at the time, uh, who did wipe the floor a couple uh, oh, bits. We have news from our spies down downstairs. The Islamic nations have decided to form the Holy Islamic Empire soon. Possibility of new nations joining them to combat the HRE? Well, the HRE has been kind of a joke the entire game, if I'm going to be honest with you. So... But the players I, have actually been, like, using the mechanics. Like, the Pope is part... The Papal States are part of the HRE, I believe. Oh, they? Yes. Oh, interesting. Because last I checked, uh, the Empire was not in a good shape. Uh, there's only six electors remaining. I don't think oh. the Pope is in it. Maybe. No, maybe, no. Maybe no. they were using it to dismantle. Yeah. Well, Akia, interestingly speaking, is in the HRE. Uh, yeah, the Papal States was part of the HRE yesterday. Yeah, I'm assuming they left and they did not get the events to become an elector. No, the, the HRE is a, is a shadow of... I mean, yeah, it is, I it is exactly what, as Voltaire described, another shadow, another king, uh, not an empire, not holy and not Roman. <laughs> we have six electors, six free cities, 18 princes, not even one reform pass. We're already losing imperial authority. This, this, this empire is a joke. <laughs> but now the real question they, is, the how fast will people click the declare war button? Because I'm assuming they spent all night, or they should have spent all night so negotiating. They couldn't hang out in the bar till 4 a.m. like previous years, though. True, which may or may not hinder diplomacy. That is true, yes. I'll have to see how that affects things. Because here's the thing, you can either sit there and, and hope that if when a war decal it comes, it's not for you, or you can be the one with the class <laughs> war and make sure that this happens the way you would prefer. Uh... Oh, we were going to go look at no religion down here. Yeah, have I figured out religion then? 
the Russets. Uh, no, they have no religion. No religion. I respect their atheism. And the funny thing about it is they can send a missionary to convert Ooh. people to no religion, which... They have 444. They have a 444 leader. Oh, the past. Interesting. It's going to be hard for them to... Uh, they can convert some provinces to uh, to no religion, or at least try and see if the no game No religion crashes. is part of the blank religion group and does not allow a defender of the faith. Yes, this is uh, <laughs> this is this is totally a feature. I think this is just uh, this is this is this is Merlin's uh, take on uh, on organized religion uh, just showing up right there. Uh, I do wonder if uh, the game is gonna let them be forced to accept a religion due to the fact that they have no religion. They oh oh. I think as soon as we unpose, something happened. Oh, Merlin just falls in. Oh, and now they have mm -hmm. a religion. Uh, oh, they do have a religion. There we go. Yeah, they are sunny in the end. I uh, wonder if that's why it was paused. They were fixing maybe. that. Maybe. Or the powers of uh, Merlin have manifested uh, and yeah, allowed them it, to it do some stuff. It, it took, maybe he lost his staff again. Yeah, and he found it. He found it, and he was yes. able to conduct his magical powers. And immediately, twelve thousand rebels rose up in uh in, in the Rasset because they're not taking any of this new like no religion being replaced by uh, <laughs> by 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 uh, by Shia. So uh, uh, I'm sorry, going Sonny. to guess the game devs are gonna f or the game the GMs are gonna fix that. Maybe, or maybe they try to do privileges. Oh, it's possible if they just try to to take some land uh, from the estates, which de would not. Oh, yeah, because the. Where is it? They're on a oh, yeah, they're noble armies. Never mind, they're not. Religion. Yeah, no, they, they they try. They're trying to curb storm the the uh, the current nobles, and they don't really want to hear any of that. Who is Merlin? So Merlin is played by one of the Turbolayer people. It's part of so. If you're watching from home, the main thing for you to watching the LAN party is the actual game of EU4 that you're seeing on stream right now. If you're here, that's half the game. The other half are the people from Turbo LARP where we have Merlin, we've got Guinevere, we've got King Arthur, there's like a Jester, there's a whole bunch of roles which you can find on the forum page. Um, there's a link to Turbo LARP's page about it. And there is a whole scenario going on behind the scenes down in the Great Hall that we're getting notifications about. But because cameras and microphones, we can't be in the action streaming the game to y'all. Yeah. Which is why we get notifications and stuff. But it's a whole different vibe out there where the players are people jumping up and running from table to table it's beautiful chaos i'm hearing that we have some uh if you're there stop nobody here should be stream sniping no that would be illegal. no i was looking at some stats uh seeing i that did you see don't want to attack the knights and they're 46 percent defensiveness unless you just want to be sitting on sieges forever uh, Cyprus is the one who are really trying to uh, get siege ability going on. King of Discipline is, of course, uh, Avalon, but as far as actual uh, player players are concerned, it's, it's, a, it's a tie between Theodoro and Provence. Morale, though, is 100% Provence with 4.6. Despite the fact that their leader is a Craven, they still have the highest... Uh, potential uh, score in uh, in the whole game. They have a really strong, like 4.6 morale, 110% discipline, pretty solid army all around. I think some people forgot to wake up, uh, and uh. that's why we are uh, yes, it looks like taking a bit. Apparently, there's a team missing. I'm sure they will. Uh, they will come around. I'm just waiting to see. I don't. They would like to see Serbia. Well, here is Serbia. Catholic Serbia. Catholic Serbia. Exactly. We have cardinals in Serbia. No, they, they have. They, are, they even th despite the fact that they are switched Catholic, they had not managed to elect a single cardinal yet. Are they in line for the next one? No, not even. Uh, what the game plan is then. 
Ah, oh, actually, there is one in Dubrovnik. My bad, the minimap was not showing it. Uh, so we have one. Dubrovnik as as a cardinal. This is the only cardinal they have. Uh, did someone hide? Oh, we're gonna be rehosting again. Oh, oh, oh. I'm maybe no religion broke this. It's a good question. Atheism uh, just did not exist during this time period. Yes. At least as far as this time period is concerned. <laughs> As, as far as U4 is concerned, atheism was not a thing. Uh, right, so we will be shortly back again. Uh, yes. Chat, uh, technical problem. Rehosting. Let's, let's, let's go. do our beautiful reloading of the game. See, the, the feature that the world envies us is yes. back. Uh, Brittany is trying to take on France, I believe. Is that what's going on? They were allied earlier. Like with Orleans, who formed France, they were allied. They were allied, but how long does that last? That's, I mean, that's a question for many of the alliances mm -hmm. we saw yesterday. I think a lot of those alliances may or may not uh, come back up and, uh, and 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 explain to us what's gonna be going on. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, we saw. Do do, war. Yeah. I have a feeling that either by the end of the day, a lot of the alliances that we're seeing right now will be breaking down because they're just, they're getting too crowded. There's too much going, there's too many people in too small of a space. More than I want, I hope, like I want to mm -hmm. see it. I hope it's going to happen. Uh, I'm assuming that we need to tweak the uh, save a bit so we might not immediately reopen the thing. Apparently, we're going to be streaming to uh, Instagram as well. Is there a thing we can do? Um, Technology has evolved past yes. um, the, the, the bits that my brain can comprehend. <laughs> I do not actually have Instagram. Um, oh. I've heard about it. I've seen people scrolling forever. Well, let's see. We're going to get the new checksum. Not checksum. Hopefully, if you don't tweak the mod, we just need to tweak the actual save. Yes. Uh, this might take a bit, chat, but hopefully we'll be there uh, once the, uh, the, the this game of free host Universalis is done. Yes. Which is it's 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 part of the it's part of Let's the charm, I guess. Saying. There's many moving parts. I don't know that we're on YouTube for this event. I've I believe the Hoi Four Land, which is next weekend, will be on YouTube. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's exciting. First year that that's happening. Mm -hmm. um, so if you're interested in Hoi and want to see how that plays out, because you know you might want to attend and join all the fun, because it's also being hosted with Her Turbo LARP with the whole backstory. There's a bunch of f cool stuff that's going to be happening that won't be on no. the stream. And, and there is a cool castle. Honestly, yes. I think the, the part you're missing out the most is the castle. It's you don't see much from this streaming room angle, but no. the, the ceiling is like super high. We, it's, it is we're in the royal uh, apartments, right? Yes, or the, we're uh, in the sol the solar or where the lord and lady of the castle would have been living, probably with their kids. You know. Oh, we are on YouTube as well. Yeah. We oh, yes, are. we are, but we are only seeing the Twitch chat. Yes. Sorry. Move YouTube. the camera. Show the castle. <laughs> If you want to see the castle, you got to go check out Instagram. I know Leah has put up a bunch of pictures of the castle inside, outside, nighttime, daytime. Yeah, she's got some glorious footage. No, if I if I stand up and try to take that camera with me, I'm pretty sure the the, the, the people on the on the production team will just murder me. So I will not try to take <laughs> the equipment. Yes, we we like being alive. I already pissed them off enough yesterday by making jokes at the expense of the British, then realized that the whole streaming team oh. is British. <laughs> there are four Brits uh, for working here on the Paradox side. I am the lone American. And yeah, that's true. Yeah. Leah's our lone Austra Australian. And I'm the lone French. You're the lone Frenchman. Then we have a bunch of Swedes, but we don't talk about them. <laughs> well, Florence is the lone Dutch, I guess. Yes. So there's there's four of us from different nations, and we got three, no, and then we got four Brits, because we have uh, um, Firefly. Right. Yeah, our the CA for Millennia, hmm. and he's also going to be doing a bunch of stuff for Hawaii next week. But he's here already. 
Oh, yeah. oh and we're gonna have a Spaniard on the Hoy stream, but this is this is this is too early to tell right now. We yes. this, is a, this is an E4 event, not a Hoy 4 event. So uh, no you? jokes about encyclements or anything like that. This is a pure uh, this is a pure E4 event, and we are still waiting for the host to come back. So don't worry, chat. You haven't missed much except us two bantering and trying to uh, entertain you until um, until the things come back up. Uh, oh, we're in a level four castle, according to chat. Level four, okay. What's uh, I'm gonna do magister speak now. What would it take for you to increase it to level six? <laughs> what uh, <laughs> what are we missing? We'd, uh, we probably have to have a moat. That's true. An actual moat. I think the bar should have red wine. That's my uh, that's that would be my go-to to upgrade it to level four. Because we only had white wine yesterday and was kind of disappointing. Uh, but uh, it has secret passages. That, you know, if I have to take like the the um, the plus and the minus, the the, the pros and the cons compared to Mojna, the one we used to be, Mojna had more selection of wine, mm -hmm. but this one has secret passages. So depending what you're more into, and I'm not the one to hold a vote right now in chat, but like those secret passages are pretty cool. There's like yes. a, an entire bookcase that you can open. And um, there's glorious footage of that that's going to be in the documentary. Ah, see. About the event. I after. did not actually know about that. That was yes. not like even planned. So like, there's uh, all sorts of things that oh, I think I are not going to be here on the live stream that will be put up in, I believe, on the YouTube. Don't quote me on that. I'm not. It will be available to the public. But that will be later. Let's see. I think there has been a rehost again. What day is it? I don't know. My brain still thinks it's. Oh, it's almost 5 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> Yes, do we I have think, a new code I yet? Think I, I saw oh, something yes, in, uh, in the, in the server browser, case. so... Um. Do not try to join by DNS name. I'm not even sure that's going to work with Steam. Alright, I'm attempting to reconnect. Are you typing the actual long code? Mm. That's, that's, that's brave of you. Here we are. On the plus side, we already have to save this time, so we don't need to load it. Uh, that makes things easier. Ah, we're back. And yes, the rested or no religion again, but it's going to fix itself as soon as we unpose again. So oh. I'm assuming we've just reloaded the save as it was. Like, just pretend, chat, pretend the ten, last 10, 15 minutes ago did not happen. We can even make the same jokes again, uh, just to uh, to get some more, more time. I think before we started, you were commenting on how Zephyrosia is uh, pushing, pushing, pushing all yes. the way to like... Shagatai and Yarkin. Are they trying to cut off the Timur itself, actually? They're trying to get to China. Because Back to China. I was wondering if it, since they, if they went all the way here, like, are they trying to get to China or if they're even trying to cut off people by just, like... It would be a very aggressive snake to try to go down through Delhi and block people from accessing India. Because they did not go straight through Oirad and Shagatai, they're going south through Yarkland, which, uh, if I recall correctly, is just a bunch Please? of desert mountains and other unsavory places to move armies through. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Chad, sometimes the way you phrase things. One of us said. Oh. The very bottom. All right, so uh, I'm, I'm not afraid of uh, of of of, uh, of, of fencing next. So who's the daddy in the region? That's a good <laughs> question. Uh, Central Europe. Okay, chat. I have a better question for you. Where does Central Europe start and end? Because uh, we could uh, we can't get Slavoj Žižek on uh, on uh, on stream to explain to us where is Balkan or where is Central Europe. But and it's all kind of like Nitra here is like merging the two. I think yeah, if like I think I think it's Nitravaria just by the size of it. Or we would say Bavatra or Nitravaria. These colors are no, the, the color CBC is real and I will make it happen if I have to by making a merge request to Tinto or by when I come back. This is just too ugly. This needs to die. I gotta say for the fact that at one point Bavaria was under a PU of Austria, they're doing pretty darn well. Yes. Oh, they, 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 they have been very silent. They have been one of the silent players. We haven't heard about them mostly the entire stream. They haven't done uh, anything like very visible, like unlike Byzantium and a few other countries. But they have very steadily grown uh, and, and, and carved uh, of themselves like a nice place. Um, the one you didn't ready up. I did not ready up. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, 
damn. <laughs> I was trying to type, you can't prove that, but... I was faster. Damn. And I hit enter. <laughs> I don't know if anyone saw it. I think I was trying to figure out which layout this keyboard was. It's sweet. It looks like an American keyboard, but it's a Swedish keyboard. Oh, is it the, the curse? The curse Swedish What is it? I'm going to change the layout the next break. And just put it, <laughs> oh, put it no. back to actual normal layouts that people can use. Um, I believe that broke something when they tried it. So we were told I, not I, to. I, 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 no, no way. No <laughs> way. I'm a tech lead. I, I'm, 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 oh. I'm, 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 I'm legitimately allowed to do this thing. I'm pretty sure it's fine. Um, Hamburg can easily go to Denmark. Hmm. Oh, we have been live for almost an hour now. Wow. So. French layout is the weirdest thing ever. Is what Chad is saying. French what? French layout of the keyboard. Uh, you say that. <laughs> and that's all I have to say. You just, you know, you, that's that's like your opinion, dude. Mm. Uh, so what's interesting to me is some of those countries are like already boxed. Yes. Uh, Saxony is is a very obvious like, where the heck am I going? I mean, arguably Nitra is blocked, mm. but oh, and things are moving. And now the question is, are people going to start making claims Ooh. or alliance going to shift? What is Pomerania doing with their monarch power? Or for, I should say their military okay. power. They are at 981. Okay, I'm gonna try something else, see if that works. If I can get pop-ups for uh, for events or not. May not work. But I'm curious to know like, if some alliances will start breaking and things like that. <laughs> uh, but Vi only has one ally, two allies actually, Saxony and Nitra. Nitra has too many allies for its own good. Bavaria, Serbia, will like him, Moldavia. But the Teutons have no allies south of them. Their only allies is the overall, the overorder. Not even the Pope is with them. That's that's not great. Because uh, yeah, that's just not great. I think that might end up very badly for them. Ooh, Holland has exploration ideas. Yes, yeah, they picked them very late, uh, before the end of the last session. Uh, oh, France has allied Wales. I mean, maybe they could use that to partition England between them. Leaving France to also start eating England would be an interesting move that I think people would probably regret if they let them do it. But also, I guess I have to stand for France. Mm -hmm. So we, we heard that the Muslim countries are forming an alliance, right? Yes. So that would be Andalusia, Tunis, Morocco, uh, Fars? And the Rassids, uh, unless the Rassids decide to know, they, oh, they have changed their mind. They are Shia now. Oh. I think they fixed that. That was part of the fixes. Mm. They're not no religion. <laughs> but if they're Shia, does that mean they're part of the Islamic alliance? Because uh, those two, I mean, it's like Catholic and Protestants, right? Potentially, they did say it was growing. All right, so we'll see if they actually become part of this. It would be interesting if they decide to go alone again, as people will have been responding a couple times already. Uh, That's interesting. They have made an alliance with Fars, actually. Uh, so maybe they can actually get somewhere. Is Fars is sunny? Okay, so they are they are putting like their uh, like. Islamic school differences aside uh, and try to uh, work together potentially and we shall see if other alliances stand it's, most people seem to have taken quality ideas as their first yes. one yes we were doing a pass mm -hmm. yesterday evening and the meta according to, 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 to the players at least is quality oh, the papal states did trade yes I mean nobody else is challenging them for, that, for, for those two juicy trade nodes in the, oh. uh, in the Mediterranean so I could see why they would like to do that. Yes. And who else? Someone else? Oh yeah, uh, Saxony did court ideas. Yes. I think they're the only one to have gone with uh, with something a bit more original than the average. Oh, Wallachia well, did quantity. Yes, there was an east-west divide between quality and quantity that starts somewhere at the Carpathian Mountains, but it doesn't follow through because I think Zephyros it does not go for quantity after that. They went for whole and religious. Interesting. Are, are we surprised religious. that the Swiss went for mercenaries? Not really. Not really. <laughs> yeah. I would say. I would say not really. That that's as far as I will go. 
Bavaria is now gone for economic for their second. Yes. Uh, Andalusia is humanist as a second idea. Interesting. Oh. I mean, that makes kind of sense. Ooh, Byzantium has gone defensive for their second, while well, France went went defensive for their first. Uh, yes, as France, this is kind of what you mean. The economic defensive is kind of the thing I would... I mean, I usually start with defensive. But I'm an old school guy. I'm told that the meta has changed since. What's the fun of always doing the meta? I, you know, and the meta is only the meta as 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 long as it is, right? Mm. Byzantium is a really nice. Actually, who is the biggest general right now? I'm curious. Do we have some good boys? Uh, wait, can't I see generals? Am I am I blind? Oh, it's since I turned off the video to try and save battery on chat, it keeps shutting down. Uh, our mutual leaders, there we are, and then we filter all player. Well, we have Lancelot, Lancelot of the Lake, who has uh, five fire, seven shock, but it's it's still he, he's made by uh, he's he's made by um, by by the GM, so I don't think he counts. Uh, but but fair as a six shock six man, but this man is fast and he comes to murder you. Oh, and on top of that, he has this. He's a he's a crazy man. Uh, next up, we have an inspirational leader, which... Oh, he's a conquistador, actually. A conquistador from Zaporozie, uh, which has four shock. Oh, my word. This is the smallest amount of flames I've seen yet. Yes, people are still taking time. Maybe alliance is changing. Maybe finding out. I feel like out. we're going to have a quiet session. You say that, but... Compared to other sections. I... Well, I'm hoping not, because well, I, I, I have to be here. So I might <laughs> as well have something funny to look at. I'm checking if some alliances have shifted. So far, if we look... I don't think there's any... Let's see. Are we getting any interesting things from the Discord? Some secret bits. Hmm. So Armenia is uh, cleaning up QQ. Ooh. France is unhappy with Munster having rightful French lands. Which one would that be? Munster. Oh, they took Nancy and Metz. That's that's just not acceptable. Uh, that's just not okay. Uh, and I'm not even talking about the fact that they also hold Strasbourg. Uh, and Mulhouse. No, that's going to have to go. Uh, that's just not okay. Oh, come on. Uh, yeah, no, that's gonna have to be... Uh... Oh, and they also took a uh, hotel uh, by uh, vassalizing Champagne. Oh, they're keeping Champagne alive to get Corsa on France. <sighs> I mean, if I were French and I had Germans next to me, I would, I mean, I would do what we do. I would try to beat the heck out of them or get surprised through the other end, depending. But, um... Yeah, this is not gonna end well. Uh, I think Holland finally got everything they need to form the Netherlands. They just need the admin tech now. Mm -hmm. mm, yes, as soon as they're done calling Galway and they get Ooh. admin 10, they can form the Netherlands. So that's good France on them. France is sitting at 911 diplo power. What are they waiting for? Oh, the last minute to get the tech, I'm assuming? Maybe. They have they're 97 days to do it. I mean, they are, they are, they are through, but they have not picked a new, uh, no, they picked humanists as their second idea. Mm -hmm. So it's not like they will be allowed to do anything with that developer. They could develop, I guess. Developing is always nice. Uh. Let's see who else is at war. Uh, the Rassids have immediately started a war. Uh, decided that Medibari has to go, and I don't think Medibari will have to have a say in the matter. They're, oh, no, the numbers are not on their side. They're out of armies entirely, so this is probably just GG for the AI. Uh, Farce! Oh, Farce has actually decided to go after the Timmies. Oh? Yes, with the help, after 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 uh, beating up their local uh, rival in uh, in Jilan, they have decided to go against the Timis, and they do not have the numbers, but 
the teamy vessels are not uh, very uh, helpful. I think they were hostile, yes. So they are likely to just sit this one out. So even if Transoxiana has 16k and Afghanistan has 7k, they really likely will just let um, Farce just walk through it. Although they still have... Oh no, that, they can still feel like a sizable uh, army here. That could potentially make things difficult for... Uh, yeah, even by themselves, they have more troops. So, I mean, it's the AI. Let's not get overexcited here. But they do have the numbers. I don't know about the rest. Uh, I don't know and about they the... they can use the terrain better than the AI. Yes, <laughs> most likely. Uh, they also have better terrain in general because that, that land in Persia has a lot of nice mount, defensive mountains. The question is, are they trying to form Persia? I don't know what their play is. Because they have the decision for that. Yeah, form the Persia. Persia, nation. yeah, because Mamluk government is unlikely. Uh, they can. They actually, they could, they could form the Timis right now. Surprisingly. Uh, yeah, which they could enthrone a Timurid prince. But how could we do it if Timur is still alive? That would just... That would be a do total CB. Two Timurids? Because they get Timurid Empire. Well, I think it's because it's phrases enthrone the Timurid prince. Enthrone a Timurid prince? This will make it possible for us to form the... Oh! It just allows you to have a, a Timmy on the on the on the front, mm -hmm. and then you can form the Timorids if Ooh. you manage to destroy the Timmies. But I don't think they're going for Timorids because they could still. I mean, it's late in the game, but if they form the Timmies, then they could go to Delhi and form the Mughals. Which I mean, oh, they can still form the Mughals yes. without doing that. So I guess we don't need to bother with that. We just no. go and form the Mughals, or form which Persia. is one of my favorite formables. Maybe not as powerful in MP as Persia. Uh, although the team is, the, 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 the Mughals are pretty tough. Oh, oh uh, is the AI going to try to do something? They have numbers, but they're not going to take that battle. Uh, how good is the general here? Is a free, free, yeah, free shock, free fire isn't too bad. Uh, the team is just happy to roam around right now, not really liking the numbers. Wales is teamed up with Holland and attacking Scotland. Oh, I mean, they failed at attacking England the last time and had to give land back. I think they're making a deal with the devil because if Holland uh, Holland ha has well, look at if you look at the control, actually it's, it's fairly obvious. Uh, I don't think like if, if Holland says okay, thanks for the help, by getting on the British eyes. No, I don't need you anymore. But I think they don't really have a choice. They have to trust them mm -hmm. and hope that they will hold their hand of the bargain. But I mean, if I'm being very real politic about this as uh, as Holland, I don't really. Need Wells, uh, for much. Yeah, they, and they don't need Holland. Doesn't need Scotland. Like they can colonize Greenland. Yes, or just take the British Isles. Honestly, if 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 you like, last time I think this will happen, right? The players of Holland were also allowed to take on the British Isles, and then they just bankroll the whole world. All right. You guys get all that trade power. The Timmies are just rolling. Oh, blue flames. Nah, maybe oh. we see something. So France and Switzerland. France and the Pope against Switzerland, Pomerania, and Saxony. Oh, that's a lot of players. That is a that is a lot of players. That is five players. Uh, uh, the the French side has the numbers. Yes, and by a long shot, look at their cannon. That's a lot of cannon. Oh, that's way more cannon. That's 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 an amount of cannon. I mean, the Pope oh, has cannons. Oh, the so. pan Pope has six thousand. That's a good number of cannons. That's, yeah, people have not invested in cannon that much. I guess Sac uh, Saxons. Uh, the Swiss have a very good defensive position, uh, being Switzerland. Mm -hmm. uh, and it seems like they were not ready for this, because I only see 10k people who were still drilling in the mountains. <laughs> uh, France is actually trying to assault the walls, because they clearly don't want to be sitting on those, uh, on, the, on those mountains. And they did. Oh, wow. They was Switzerland not paying for their uh, garrison? I think they were not. Oh, because I see, I see the numbers in their fault. They're not full. I'm pretty sure they didn't. They did not have a garrison up all the way. 
which has allowed oh oh that's oh that's 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 really bad oh they lost they lost the fort to an assault and then they have attacking on the mountains yeah that's oh, a bad the swiss were not oh. expecting that to come at all not garrisoning your mountain no. forts people this is a message that every every mother should teach their children. I know I've, I've heard you <laughs> do have children. I hope you teach them in time. Do not leave your mountain for on garrison when your enemies have like 15k on the border. This is a really no, bad decision. Someone someone wasn't looking. Yeah, and yeah, I'm afraid is... the Swiss are going to get completely steamrolled. Now the question is, is Saxony going to do anything about it? They oh. have numbers, but they also need time to gather their other allies because... Mm -hmm. oh. Saxony had decided at that time to declare war on Denmark. What? Uh, I guess, Saxony? Yeah, what are you doing? A reclamation. Imperial reclamation. Oh, because they're the emperor. So they were trying to use their imperial power to... Oh, is that why Saxony is in the war? It's because they're the emperor and technically France is attacking the empire. Mm. It's not even clear if Saxony is going to stand for it or just... I... Oh, they have brought troops. Oh, they have brought troops by the border, but what are they going to do with them? And better question, is Pomerania going to throw anything in the ring or no? Pomerania so far is... Uh, they have stopped drilling. Are they going to do something? <laughs> or they just... No, they stopped drilling to just take care of some Valtes in heretics. I'm afraid it might be another case of those very great allies who just see the numbers and be like, you know what? I don't think we were actually allies. No. Although the yeah, Swiss... Yeah, no, Pomerania is going to fight the rebels. The Swiss are going are making up like crazy. I can see 48k thousand, uh, 57k yeah. thousand, uh, oh, well, 57,000 sitting on uh, on Gens. And this is still mountains that they have to uh, to take, right? There's still one more mountain fort holding. Oh my god. Pomerania. Oh, they went without morale against heretics. Yes, they had no morale. Oh, they lost good to job, their heretics! heretics. <laughs> Good. Let's let's click real, real quick. Let's see I was like routed. looking at them marching across, and I'm like, I'm pretty sure that morale bar is red. I don't think my eyes are playing tricks on me. Uh, you nope. can you can still do it if you if you, if you trust like in the numbers. Three point yeah. seven morale when they attacked. That's that's a risky <laughs> gambit. Uh, let's see if it pays <laughs> off, as they say. Uh, yeah. Oh, the Swiss have already lost some numbers. Ooh. They had more for a second ago. Oh, they had they're going back for another run. I respect them. I just, you know what? Um, if at first you failed, try sorry, again. Sorry, their max is 3.72. Uh, oh, they're not paying for the troops? No, they are paying for their troops now. It just needs to take up. It's I'm pretty sure they had uh, more numbers a minute ago. I mean, how is the... Oh. Oh, yeah, they're paying the for. Swiss have it for maximum loans. Oh. They have they have, they have, have uh, 15,000 in the bank. They have 1,500 in the bank. So they're not winning bankrupt anytime soon. But... They have one fort. There's one fort between them and basically GG. Uh, primary is might just about loose the rebels again, or it's very close. Let's see. They, oh, lost, they lost again. again. Good oh, job, oh, rebels. Oh Good job, rebels. Go, Waldensian. <laughs> Waldensian. Oh. I am not entirely sure what Waldensians are about, but oh, now doing? we have numbers. Oh wait, I see numbers in the one. Oh I yeah, they've. Oh, no, it's because the Palatinate is some man. Switzerland has brought oh, they're Bavaria going, they're going, and Nitra. They're going in. They're going in. And Nitra has and joined. the Palestine. Palace, Palestine. Palestine. That. Oh, yeah. Yeah. People have, have, have answered the call to help. Uh, Nitra Ooh. and Bavaria have joined the war. And now we have a battle in oh, the mountains. Oh, 57 Between René de Saint-Chamond and uh, Valentin van Breda. I oh. am, of course, for the guy with the French name. But <laughs> um, this is going to be tough. This is close. Oh, the, the, the French have an insane moral advantage, though 5.7 average versus 3.6. That moral advantage oh. is going to prove helpful, although oh. they are more reinforcements oh, yeah, pouring in. Got... And I think the other side has thrown everything they had. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be yep. down on the I, I I think the Swiss might have it. I don't know. I think the Swiss might have it. They can't this afford to lose that battle. I think they, no, they'll pull it off. They will pull it off. And the French Ooh. and the Italians... Mamma they mia, kicked. they are going home. <sighs> Beautiful. I guess now the numbers have flipped, right? Oh, that, they have flipped a, a big time. Now it's 110k versus 43. I guess I have to switch sides again because oh, I'm always on the, on the underdog side. So I guess the underdog side is the French side now. Uh, because they do not have the... Fi I don't think they have the firepower to take that many people. What's the manpower number looking? 
that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of Germans that you have pissed off, uh, France and Italy. I, I respect the Latins for trying to bring the fight to uh, to the Germans, but this is gonna be tough. They had some very good initial gains on this. Oh, and I just heard like a. But they weren't quite fast enough. I, I'm gonna bet that the two of the three Swiss players were running around to the other tables. Screaming, please help yeah. us, save us. Oh, yeah. Oh, and they rolled a pretty good general, actually. Oh, the Flemish company, actually, is why they got they hired the Flemish company. This mercenary general is a 4-5. Uh, pretty solid man all around. And they managed to take back at least one of the mountain four by immediately burning men. They burnt a lot of men on that one, though, but... They can afford it now because, well, due to their allies. Oh, Serbia is now on their side too. Oh, now it's it's going to be a potential escalation because they pulled out a lot of people they last time. The Pope did scare people last time. Yes. Now the question is, will someone come and equalize or are we going to see an entire reversal with everybody ganging up on them? Because I mean, who else that they could really pull? Because here's the thing, right? Like, this is this is... This is this is this is distraction, right? Like Saxony, Nitra, they are boxed in. Like they can help those people as much as they want. They have nothing to gain from it. Yes. Uh, Besides potential favors. Yeah, right? they, they, the favors for what? Right? Attacking mm -hmm. Munster or Hamburg, maybe for Nitra. I don't know. Nitra, I guess, oh. could potentially be convinced to go against Valak. Pomerania yeah, is not even getting involved. They and there's a new battle. Oh, the sweet <laughs> god caught off Guard in a battle they should not have tried to pick, and they are sent back. Yeah. That doesn't work as well when you're not sitting on a mountain, I guess. And they tried to take Fribourg, but it did not end well. Wait. Oh, yes, actually, there we go. Am I seeing more? Oh, wait. Some people have I've, I've kicked. I've, I've, I've left the wall already. Brittany is not has now turned on the French side, and uh, wait, yeah. wait. No, the northern Germans have pissed out. Yes, they did. Pomerania, Saxony. Saxony. Well, Saxony stuck no, in there. No, Saxony is still there, but Pomerania is gone. The Livonians are gone. They I get more busy with something else. What was happening but, with Livonia? Like, so, you remember Saxony is attacking Denmark. They've brought in Serbia, Nitra, Bavaria to help them attack Denmark. Oh. Uh, oh, is that why they were called? Because Saxony's not at war with anybody anymore. And Amberg took all of the land. No, Saxony's at war. Oh, sorry, You're on bad. Hamburg right there. Oh, yeah, I was, I was, I you was, got distracted I was by incorrect. the hamburgers. I was incorrect. <laughs> My bad. Yes. So how? It's another reversal. Like the Germans all came. They had a very good battle, and now, I mean, you could say it's a four by four. And technically speaking, it's still more players on one side because Parma is just a very small like uh, dependency. Yes. Uh, we still have Nitra, Saxony, and Serbia, but Bavaria is out. Oh, was they, were they ever in? I think they uh, were, but they have a piece now, so they're not in. And now that's going to be more interesting, because the numbers now are on the French side again, due to the uh, addition of Brittany and the departure of the of, of some of the more Western, uh, Eastern allies. Switzerland is still took all the loans they could when the war started. They can still hold a lot. Uh, they have a thousand in the bank. That's going to last them a while. But well, now there is the a bunch Pope of mountains. Is losing almost 16 ducats. Oh, yeah. But how tapped are they on loans? There. Do, do, do. They only have 11 loans. They can take 83. I think they have some reserves. I think it's, it's Switzerland who took all the loans they could immediately. Mm. Makes sense. It was a bid for survival for them. Yes. And now there's a question of how now they Switzerland's being sieged again. Yes, because uh, everyone left. Everyone's like, let's fight this epic battle. We win. Okay, oh, bye. Yeah, peace Nitra, out. Nitra peaced out. Oh, they're all peacing out. Uh, oh no. Oh, and what happened? I don't know, but I. I what the hell? Who needs friends? But who needs enemies when you have allies like this? Oh, I have not seen the Hamburg team this morning, so I don't Are know we, if they're still in their hamburgers. It's almost like, oh, yeah, it's a bit too early for these fa famous Italian wars when people keep changing sides all the time. I guess this is the equivalent. Like, what what happened? Everyone really joined. Curious, they defended them. Did yes. France buy them off or the Pope bought them off, maybe? I don't know, because it looked like they had a shot at it. And ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, somebody's turning yeah. the luck in the mountains. 
Ooh, the Swiss do not have the number to win this, I think. Despite <laughs> the mountain. They're letting France eat the Swiss cheese. <laughs> Good job, chat. <laughs> you kill her. <laughs> I'm on like four hours of sleep. I don't know. I had to wake up earlier than everyone else to get the production oh, yeah. team here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were driving. You yeah, were driving I was duty. driving. I slept through my uh, alarms. No, I did not wake Swiss, up someone was knocking the Swiss on my door. Swiss are not <laughs> making that battle despite their really good uh, Dutch uh, mercenary general. This no. is not gonna end well for them if they no. keep losing allies like Saxony at least, and I respect that. He's staying for the fight for as long as we can. Although they might start changing their mind Wait. because Denmark is sieging them, but I'm assuming Castile. Ca there is no Castile to invade the south of France, chat. I we mean, haven't looked at. Iberian for a little bit, but there's Navarra down there. Castile yeah, there's Navarra, is... but Navarra is... Castile is a one province minor. Navarra is a truce with <laughs> France. Did they break recent alliances or something? Maybe. They have a eight years truce with France, and we started two years ago. I believe. So we might have broken their truces when the game started. Their alliances with the game started one way or the other. Uh, Andalusia also have a truce with France until October. Wait, wait, we've got more blue flames. Oh. Theodoro, Cyprus, Georgia, and the Zaps with against Fars, Tunis. Oh, really? so it is the. Mm. Let's see. It's just all blue flames. The side. There's all blue. Oh yeah, Theodoro, <laughs> Cyprus, and Zap. Oh, and the mighty Zaporozhye oh. against Fars, Asia. Saxony pieced out in the Swiss War. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, and the Lucy joined the, the Muslim side against Theodoro, Cyprus, Georgia, and the Porsche. So I'm guessing the uh, the Orthodox might uh, be in a little trouble here. Good lord. Portugal joined? What is. Uh, it's the vassal of Andalusia. I know. It, it's just, it still looks funny. It is still, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. So Saxony, peace starts. Yeah, Saxony I, have abandoned. Everybody has abandoned the Swiss with a shame on your allies. What the hell are you joined. doing? They all joined. They were, th they were have been able to defeat. The Papal States and France. And, and they're like, you know what, actually, no. Never mind. Some players are very easy to impress. You win one battle and then a good diplomat is able to say, like, look, I'm a paper tiger, but you don't know that. <laughs> Please get out. And, you know, sometime on a bluff, you put someone on a five-year, ten-year truce, and, and then you just so. go to town. So, yeah, Andalusia. And looks like I was wrong. Wales took everything <laughs> from uh, from Scotland and did not give anything to uh, to Holland in the end. Mm. I wonder what Holland is getting out of that. Yeah, I think this is. We are looking at the GG for the Swiss now. They have well, they don't have much. Oh, although they are holding in the mountain now. French reinforcements are coming. Oh, Ooh. but they are coming too late. No, they're not. Oh, now the Swiss are stuck on mountains. They're not gonna go far. It's just a bad place to do a lot of battles. Yeah, especially when the others have numbers and you don't. But yeah. I'm curious, where's gonna be the battleground for uh, this? Are they gonna fight over like the mountains all the way to Georgia? Because that's a that's a front you don't really want to be uh, coming all the way from Andalusia. So, this is interesting, but Holland does have an explorer, and they're actually exploring the waters deep the New World. Oh, yeah, they have started trying to discover a whole new world. Yeah. The policy can, can bring a bunch of forces to bear, actually. I'm curious, are they actually fighting this, or are they just busy? Um, I think they're... Right now, Zaporizhia is more interested in fighting the uh, the AI for more land in Nogai than actually participating in the war. This war so far is taking time to get any actual troops on the battlefield. I see 19k from Fyodoro, another 6k from Georgia. Uh, and on the other side, a 22... This is, as far as the size, the, the, the numbers in the conflict, uh, the actual numbers involved in the fights so far are keeping on the low. Mm -hmm. uh, who started this, actually? Uh, Fyodoro started it. By... Oh. Georgia? Attacking... Just oh... Cyprus. Fyodoro, Cyprus Armenia. Just... Oh, it's... Yes, Georgia has joined. We, we got those blue flames. You were right. We got excitement. See? 
See? <laughs> so now we're going to have some numbers to start fighting because jo Armenia and Georgia, uh, well, Armen Armenia because Georgia is a vassal of Fyodoro, if I recall, yes, they are. Nobody expects the provincial... Sheet Inquisition, excuse <laughs> me. Yes, Provence has flipped to Shia somehow. I'm not sure how. What? Provence? Provence has flipped Shia. I'm not sure. I'm going to blame Merlin for that. Yeah, that's an easy win. Uh, yeah, because uh, Toulon is still Catholic, so how did they even do that? What? They have no province to allow them to flip. I don't think they had enough rebels or they anything. They have a looming disaster in Provence. Uh, yeah, it's probably due to the fact that they just flipped Shia. They have <laughs> literally nobody. So the bourgeois are about to do a coup, but also a civil war might happen. I guess whoever whoever runs first will uh, will manage to get this in order. Uh, they would like to see the diplomatic map mode for our eastern war. Of course. Uh, if I click here, for example, and then there. Uh, who started this? This was Fyodor, right? Yes. Okay, so that's Fyodoro. Uh, they have Armenia on their side and Zaporozhye uh, and Cyprus. And on the other hand is the Muslim world uh, of Morocco, Andalusia, Tunis, Fars, their vassals, <laughs> obviously, and the Rassids. It's The problem is the front line, right? It's kind of all over the place. I don't know. They could probably launch a naval raid or invasion if they have boats. I don't know which, if any sides has invested in, in boats, actually. Oh, the knights aren't involved. So. No, because the knights so. are Catholics, and this is a pure. Uh, oh, uh, Cyprus, they have. They have some big ships. Actually, looking at the numbers, it is mostly on the Muslim side. Although, there's 22 galleys. Uh, they have a galley advantage, uh, which could prove good if they manage to concentrate. Because six big ships are good, but 22 galleys with the right people can make uh, a lot of damage. Whoever is player one does not like what's going on. He says this is, is bullshit. <laughs> yeah, R1, where are you? Uh, the Papal State. Of course. Oh, the Pope has noble rebels on Rome. Nice. Nobles want more power. Okay, so are we seeing some battles yet or no? There has been only one battle, which was, I think, the opening battle of the war. Uh, when uh, 6,000 Georgian soldiers attacked 20,000 and what? No, that's probably written in the other way. So, according to... Um Total ships, Hamburg has the largest navy in the world. Interesting. Are they mostly trade boats, though? Uh, yeah, 22 light ships, uh, one heavy, 11 some galleys. galleys in the Baltic. Okay. Venice. Venice is still alive. Okay. Wait. So we're seeing a standstill. Wait. I'm guessing this is mountains on both sides, so nobody wants to take a fight. Ooh, Serbia is attacking Venice. Interesting. Oh, the Just Swiss are trying to reject the peace deal still. I don't it's think this is... So, at 99%, they have to accept is part of the... Uh, 99. Are they yeah. only at 96? Six. They, have, they have a little bit of wiggle room. I mean, they're not in a they're good shape. No. They're, they're not. Wait, Saxony's in another player war? Yes. Saxony, what are you oh, getting them to? Oh, they... Or the Dutch are attacking Friesland, which apparently was defended by Holland. Ooh. Wait, am I no. confused? No. The Dutch. Sorry, the Dutch are attacking. Uh, oh, and Friesland, Friesland is, is in the empire. empire. But oh. but this is this empire is a joke. I'm sure the emperor will sit this one out and not actually go and defend its uh, mm. its its flock. Uh, I don't even know where is the Saxon army. Oh, they have an army, actually. Oh, wow. Uh, but it's sieging, hall, it's, it's, it's sieging uh, Danish holding up north, so I don't think the Emperor is actually going to do anything for Geller, uh, for, for Friesland. they sitting at almost... They're at 987 admin power they're sitting on. What are they waiting for? They could take Renaissance thoughts and start getting um, some, some, some ideas. Uh, let's go back and check the war. Uh, it's, it's kind of a standstill. 
Everybody has mountains, and he's like, hey, how about you come and attack my mountains? And you're like, how about you do? And this is, I mean, in that sense, the time is running in the end of the, in the size of the defenders, right? The Muslims can just sit on this and get... Okay. We have a notification <laughs> from Avalon. Uh -huh. Theodore versus Fars Wars turning into big religious conflict of Sunni versus Christians. Triz, Andalusia, and Morocco joined. Other Christians are about to join as well. Oh, are we going to see more Christians joining this war? Like, In a surprising turn of events, a conflict has ignited on the European stage, with France and the Papal State on one side facing off against Switzerland, supported by Pomerania, S Saxony, and Nitra. The situation grows more intricate as Bavaria is called upon to join the fray, yet remains entangled in a web of oaths and pacts with Switzerland and the Papal State. The outcome of this unfolding drama remains uncertain. Well, this was a little bit ago. Uh, as diplomatic intricacies continue to play a pivotal role in the decision-making process, the world watches with bated breath as the players in this complex geopolitical chess match weigh their options and alliances. That was beautifully written. That's pretty well written. Uh, but in the end... France just took some land. Uh, I see, what is that? Four provinces, five provinces? Yeah, Bern, uh, Fribourg, Vaux. I'm going to process the most French word possible, Genève. And there's and now Lolland heretics in Switzerland. Yes, Switzerland did not uh, stand out of there in a really great shape. No. Oh, they're going into attack. They're... Beautiful heretics. Hopefully they'll win. Although it's it's a mountain, they should win. <laughs> oh yeah. Excuse me. Crush <laughs> them. And now I'm gonna turn again on the war in this. Oh, battles are happening actually. Ooh. Oh, Byzantium joined. Another fighting in the mountain, and it's gonna be mm. on the wire. But the Muslim mm. uh, coalition managed to push the uh, Christians back. Despite taking some losses in early battles, they are... Byzantium's on war. Yes, Byzantium has joined. Uh, I mean, I, I guess as the, as the over... Uh, uh, not Sunny. Uh, oh Orthodox nation, they kind of had to You're come on. and defend their, their, their friends. Uh, you mean Fars? I think... Actually, I don't see them in the war. Did yeah, Byzantium's not in the war. I, I thought I saw them on the flag. Did they maybe just run Condottieri or something? Maybe Condottieri. Uh, or am I, am I drunk? Maybe I confused the two icons, but it looks like <laughs> Byzantium for a second. Yeah, I'm looking at them, I'm like, they're not in war. <laughs> Are we, like, really badly desync somehow? No. No. Oh, no, there was. Oh, they had Condottieri, but they're gone now. No, there they are. Mm. Oof. Yes, Fyodor was hired Condottieri from Byzantium. They're running them uh, a pretty solid army, actually, uh, of 11 regiments. Ooh. So I did not dream that. There was actually... Oh, it's because mm -hmm. we have a 3-5. To be fair, Fyodor was a better four sides, a 4-5 general. But owing to, to those early wins uh, and, and, and pushback, the, uh, the Muslim alliance can now start pushing into the mountains while the other side has to recover from those uh, lost battles. Now the question is, is someone going to try to escalate in other places? So far, I don't feel like they've done it. Oh, so remember how we spoke about how King Arthur went off in search of the Holy Grail? Did he find it? He found it. He has returned. Ah, easy money. What is he going to do with it? I don't know. Uh, Andalusia isn't Shia? I don't... I think they went to Sunni. No, I think they stopped Sunni and they probably stayed Sunni. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're still Sunni. Yes. Yeah, the, the Muslims have decided to put aside their religious school differences uh, and ally against the local... Uh, is anyone Coptic or are they all Orthodox in here? No, uh, Armenia is Coptic. So it's, it's Coptic and Orthodox... Uh, against uh, Shia and Sunni. And we might see a battle again soon. Hey, Rival, can we take a look at chat? Hmm. Uh, let's see what's going on. The French lying scum. 
Who is A2? Oh, Switzerland. Oh, <laughs> Switzerland, Switzerland is, is calling not out. happy. I could have leveled you. Yeah, but what happened to the Allies? Switzerland? I'm really curious to find yeah, out. Yeah, what, what happened to all the Germans? They were totally on your side until they weren't. Sweden Wait. free now. Oh, Sweden the Provence. Sweden is free. Provence of Venice. Oh, oh yeah, Savoy. Savoy is not looking too good. Oh. Interesting question. Hmm. If Provence has switched to Sunny, does that mean they have to join the Alliance? She actually. Oh. Because they would be at the forefront, but right next to the Pope and France and Brittany. Yeah. Not an enviable position. Oh, has more battles happened than we missed? No, I don't think so. I think we're still... It's the same wars. Yeah, no, they took some sieges, but now they're just conservatively waiting uh, and seeing if they can uh, get anything going. Oh, Forest troops are just kind of hanging out. On the borderlands. Oh, no, that's that's rebels. Yeah, they're all just kind of. Oh, there are there's Byzantium Conductory again. Yes. Oh, and and now the followers yes brought numbers. So the I mean to be fair, uh, um, the Christian side started this war so. All that they have to, do, all the other sides do is just sit on the wall and wait, because uh, so far they are accumulating war score. Mm -hmm. It's eleven percent in favor. And yeah, it's not a lot, and it's ticking. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's eleven percent because we did not manage to get the wall goal. Take a star. They do not have a star. Uh, the uh, minus one from three battles. Yes, so they, ha they had one bad battle uh, early on against Byzantium, but then they won the second round. And I say Byzantium because I think Byzantium took the lead because of the general having slightly better stats. Brittany has a colony, by the way. Oh, they're colonizing. Ah, I know they're going. Oh, they're going to Quebec. Well, not mm -hmm. Quebec, no. but um, uh, Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia, yes. else come on over here I don't interesting that we're all going for North America um, there's lots of juicy bits in uh, Mexico and and the Antilles but so oh. far I nobody has been interested in I know uh, going there surprising really where is I just had a message and I did not quite catch it no Nope. I I got it. But maybe you want to. No. Yeah. You want to repeat? Repeat? Of what he said. If you yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Okay. All right. Did Morocco start a new colony? Yes. Borado. They are going for Texas. Or something close to Texas, I guess. The closest they could find. Is that why they took Bermuda? They are trying to aim for like South Mexico. Interesting place to start. I'm surprised we didn't go for Cuba or anything. Oh, there's a well, combat there going on while I'm looking somewhere else. Stuff? Oh, no, there's no combat. I'm sorry if I just sit there and, uh, and vibe in. Yeah, if we go towards observer mode. Uh, let's I mean, see. Isn't there a higher other... potential for gold down here? If I remember correctly, for the trade goods. Why is monster in a war? Oh. Well, there's a chance for it. A monster tried to attack Westphalen? And mm. somehow France and Holland and Saxony are involved. Is that an actual war? Or is it another of those phony bits where nobody's actually fighting? Because if I remember, France had reason to not really like Munster. So, is France gonna use the monster? Oh, I think France is gonna use that. What What happened? Wow, everyone's against monster. They just... Oh, I think it's because monster attacked... 
We attacked Hesse? Isn't it? Monster he Conquest of Westfallen. Yeah, so Monster Attack Hesse, which it has been boxing and we barely heard about them for a while. And through Web of Alliances, that brought just about everybody. Denmark, France, Holland, and Saxony. I, I guess well, Monster, Saxony makes sense. Monster has to do something to get out of the small, like, weird snake we have. Because we have a really ugly snake that just is sneaking all the way. France is angry about those French provinces. Yeah, and I guess the Netherlands could also take a bet. So I'm assuming that this is potentially going to be a GG failure for, again... You can you can you can get a pretty good head start with a lot of provinces if you do not manage to secure solid alliances by the end of the first day. This might be what happens to you. It is sad, but it is a reality that we all have to live with, and that usually ends up with well, all these people piling up against Bull Monster. Mm, we still have our Cold War over there in the east. Yes, I think nobody <laughs> wants to take those battles in the mountains. No, no one wants to risk it for the biscuit. Which makes it not so entertaining for us. Moldovia was already in that guerrilla war, uh, I think. Oh, we have an important question. What's the main difference between CK3 and EU4? So yes. EU4 you play as a nation, CK3 you play as a family. Which means EU4, if you... S like, you can do tag changes and stuff, but if you start, you know, as England, you will, unless you do some of the weird tag changes, you will pretty much be England. If you in CK3, you could start as a Viking count, and you could end up living in India and being Hindu, but it's the same family, the same generations. It's a lot, it's a different scale, sort of. Um. Yes, I think we are seeing what happens if you fail your diplomatic game with Monster now. Uh, they have no army and there's oh, five, yep, there's four being... player nations against them, which I'm guessing are all interesting in partitioning them. Well, I'm guessing no, Saxony doesn't really get anything from it, but Hesse might get a chance at getting to the sea and getting a bit of a briefing room, although I think their days are still numbered because we're still in the box. Uh, Hamburg. I did not notice that Hamburg had taken so much of Denmark. Yes. Uh, it looks like the other allies did not took that much of it. Mm -hmm. Secret message was sent to us, but we're trying to uh, make sense of the... Yes. Oh. So there's a trial of Bavaria planned because Bavaria has been accused by Switzerland of perjury. Oh, breaking. is it because they dropped their alliance? Mm -hmm. Pomerania has been appointed keeper of the Grail, and Bavaria's trial is starting now. Interesting. So, chat, what do you think? Do you think that Bavaria is an oathbreaker for you know leaving Switzerland high and dry, or is that just what you got to do? I mean, Whoa. both could be true. That must be a musket shot. Did you hear that? Someone shot Bavaria. <laughs> <laughs> Someone shot Bavaria. It Goodbye, was me. Bavaria. Yeah, I right, guess Pete. we know the, the outcome of the trial now. <laughs> yeah, I hope it. I hope we didn't bring a knife to a gunfight. <laughs> a musket fight. Oh, nothing. I heard there was supposed to be a musket session this morning, yes. though. So maybe that's that. Yes, or that's Bavaria, Bavaria facing a firing squad. That's yeah. another option. <laughs> or they're using the musket demonstration to with Bavaria. punish Bavaria. Yes. No, we but don't yes. actually put players in front of a firing squad. This is a very safe event. <laughs> though, when our turn is over and our fellow casters take over, the event will still be going on. Yes. Go fire a musket. Yeah, I did that a couple of years back. It's, it's very loud. I can imagine. I mean, we just heard it. It does a oh. lot of boom, boom. The Papal States have too few rivals. What are their options? Uh, Andalusia, Bavaria, France, and Zap Zaporizhzhia. Uh, some of those are probably doable. Well, I believe France has been their friend. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing maybe they're Zaporizhzhia is too, probably the cheap well, one they're because allied. they're too far. Yeah, they're allied with France and Bavaria and Brittany. 
So Andalusia and Zaporizhzhi are really their two choices unless they want to break alliances. Yes. Has anyone else come to the rescue of the uh, of, of any of the sides? No, it's still Ooh. mostly the same people and nobody wants to risk a battle. They're all sitting there on the same provinces. I think if they want to start fighting, they should probably go for Shervan because that's the one province that is not Ooh. gonna... Franz peaced out monster. And how much of monster remains? It's a little smaller. There's still Saxony, Holland, oh, and Denmark. Oh, so they only they pissed out for the French bits. Uh huh. Uh, and you know Holland's gonna be taking more. Oh, and they forced Champagne to be uh, to be uh, released, mm -hmm. which means we're probably gonna jump them as soon as they can. Yep. And you know Holland and Hesse are gonna take more land. Yes. That's yeah. the bit, right? If you has it, what you really want is sea access, because else you have nowhere else to go. But is Holland interested? Let's see. Uh, the state of Frisia is going all the way to Ostfriesland, uh, so they would not really be interested in giving that up, I guess. Uh, but if they don't, then where do you go? So it will be interesting to see what deal Hesse accepts. The actual capital of Munster, Hesse has a claim on. Interesting. It's gonna be. I think it's gonna be one of those partitions that gets very, very quickly challenged and yes. potentially repartitioned against. I'm gonna check the Cold War again. Nobody's moving. <laughs> it very is entertaining war. Yeah. I would. Are they, there's no fault blocking them from moving towards Chevron, right? Because this oh. is the place where I would take a battle if I had to push. Because this is the one that has dry land. Uh, you can't push Tabriz. It's a mountain. I guess. Wait a minute. Something is weird. Armenia is in this war, right? Yes. And yet they have not tried to start, like... They could occupy all that stuff downstairs. Oh, they finally figured that out. That all all this uh, fertile, like, plains around the, the Euphrates and the, and the Tigris are actually land that you can just occupy uh, <laughs> for free. Uh, because... And also... Not a bad, not a bad place to hold. Oh, they're fighting! Uh, finally! Oh, and they went on the mountain, so oh. they just waited for them to come on the offensive. Ah, they do not have the numbers yet, but they're probably biding their time. Uh, they're probably more, asking their allies to start. In. Yeah, and that's where you have to negotiate your reinforcement. Don't throw too much too early because of the uh, of the amount of people in the first rank and the second rank. Uh, they have, yeah, for example, if you look at the other side, they have 20,000 people in reserve. That's a lot of people just die, but oh, if not, is it enough? Oh, 100k, 100 for 60. Where are the other allies? They have more numbers than this. They're, are they just gonna win by a yep. sheer number alone? I think so, yeah, because Morocco is late to the party. Oh. oh. Yeah, they could have won this, I believe, but I guess the Allies were a bit... Well, the Allies, the defenders... They, they didn't have the timing right. No, I think that's the problem is there's more nations there, and a bunch of them are AIs that, like Delhi, for example, did not actually bring any troops to the table. Cyprus's troops are chilling over... Uh, <laughs> yes, because if you look at those numbers, yeah. it's 150... So it looks like a slight advantage for, um, for, uh, for the Christians, but... Mm -hmm. It's all players, while on the other side, uh, a bunch of those like Delhi, Marrakesh, Portugal, well, actually mostly Delhi, yeah, a bunch of numbers are not coming from them, uh, from the same player, and everything else are theoretical numbers that may not have ever left their continents, like, um, where are Andalusian troops, for example? Are they around? Did they go and take a break? see them uh, if I pan on Andalusia where are their armies um, no Andalusia yeah they're on there's some on boats I know they are around they are around the front they were just a bit too late they oh. need to oh and they lost a crucial uh, defensive position in the process could now I mean the war goal is still a mountain uh, so it's going to be Hard difficult to take. to take and recapture, but it can be done. 
if they are willing to commit enough numbers, because again, a fault is still, and the general defending it is not, I mean, Byzance, you know, Fyodor will bring a very nice five shock general, but Andalusia also has an amazing general. Uh, I think they cancel each other out actually on that side. So it's more problem of being able to coordinate your troops. Oh, and meanwhile, Armenia is running a punitive expedition to Egypt to, I guess, attack the uh, Tunisian heartland and cutting them off entirely. Oh, that's interesting because without those provinces, they can't really come back and bring reinforcements at all unless they, well, they can't even sail around Africa. The, the, the technology is just not there yet. Oh, Pomerania just got blue flames. But real quick about uh, Bavaria. So Switzerland was presenting their case. Bavaria was allied to the Swiss, but they just white pieced the papal states. Bavaria claims they also had a defensive pact with the Pope. Accusing the Swiss of adhesive expansion. Adhesive? I'm not sure what uh, was meant to be typed there. Adhesive expansion. Uh, expansion in former Austria provinces. Of course someone was going to stop you. We want to be an island of peace and tranquility, says Bavaria. The matter will be settled through a duel with swords, and Bavaria won. So Bavaria is correct in not defending... Oh, aggressive expansion is what they meant. Yes, that's what I guess... <laughs> So Bavaria turns out to be proven correct by combat that they had all their rights to bail on the Swiss. Yes. I don't think this justice system is any sound basis for government. No. But that's just me. It, it sounds like a King Arthur thing. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, that's the thing, right? Like, so we've got the Livonian Order and the Teutonic Order. Yeah, and I think it's the, 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 the oh God, those people are getting into front wars? No, not really, because Theodore is probably not going to, oh, actually, it kind of is, because... A lot of the people are the same and now committed to just jump the Do Livonian and Tonic Order. Interesting, yeah. the, the Orthodox have decided to take on the Christian and the Muslims at the, at the same, same time. time. They are sending a message and their message is they want that, blood. Click on like, yeah, you're on Georgia with diplomatic mode. Uh, it's zoom out, just zoom out. Yeah. You show the whole screen. Yeah, but. <laughs> yeah they, 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 are, they are sending a message which is we're going to take on the whole world if you don't stop us. Now the question is, will they get stopped? The siege is still slowly progressing. I'm guessing they all... Oh, no, they lost it. They oh, so lost... The oh, they lost a 7% roll. Oh, that's that's why you don't wait. Unless you really want to take your chance. They did scorch the earth, but it is too late now. Uh... Yeah, the Livonian Order started the second war. Ooh. Oh, the Livonian Order has tried yeah. is the one who's trying to strike yes. back. I respect that they're trying to bring the fight to people who are a bit too aggressive. And, and Moldova actually distracted. has no troops whatsoever. They're going to get pieced out very quickly. Oh, they have 42k actually, but 42k is not going to stop that. And their allies are going to have to make a, cho a, a choice. Are we defending our friends first? Or are we helping the ones who are uh, f thirsty for blood and all decided to attack south? Both. Both? <laughs> I don't think they can do both. I don't think they have the numbers to do both. Because, I mean, on, on, unless unless they rely on, like, Byzantium and the ones who are not involved at all in the Armenian uh, local, like, the on the uh, Caucasian-Caspian conflict. Uh, but is... No, Byzantium is marching north. Which means they recall their troops. No, they recall some of their troops from yeah. the other from. Interesting. Well, Davia has their troops all just sitting in. With no morale. Did they just buy a tech upgrade? In the mountains. I think they probably just bought a tech upgrade. Maybe? Or not? I, or they just. Attrition from supply 212%. Yeah, that's. Why are they standing in the mountains? <laughs> Is that a fort? It's not even a fort, it's a forest. No. Yeah, I, I, I mean, it's woods, but why? Yeah, that's a mood. That's a mood. That's a vibe. 230%. Yeah, they just <laughs> like to eat attrition. Oh, it's a fresh Merc company. That's what we missed. Uh, well, I still... Thank you, chat. You're keeping us straight here. Yeah. Oh, Munster Monster is still getting cut up. Oh, because they're all piecing out one by one. Yep. Oh. Uh, no, it's still the same four. They're just slowly sieging. Oh yeah, because 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 Hesse did not manage to free their forts in the north yet. Oh, oh Munster, yeah. Are they? Are they? Why are they taking so long? Oh, Munster actually managed to muster some troops somehow. Mm -hmm. And now that France is. Oh. I wonder if they made a deal with Merlin. 
Oh, let's see. That would make sense. They have money. Maybe they cut a deal with Berlin. Uh, yeah, Woods are not forcing you for. We, we get it. <laughs> it is possible. But it's interesting because that means that they now have some numbers. They, I don't think they have all the numbers. But they do have 40k against 66. That's not a great number, but that's not entirely not notable, especially with Denmark for uh, giving a bunch of the troops. Because actually, no, Denmark is giving none of Denmark, the troops. Denmark's. Uh, this is Denmark. Denmark's almost dead. Oh, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> I, I was thinking of the other Denmark. Oh, but Denmark we have a, we been have a good oh, hamburger. Stockholm is getting better now because it's oh. it's it's been it's been taken by the Livonian <laughs> Order. Uh, so we we might see uh, some improvements soon. Oh, and a battle is about to happen actually on the fields of Monster. Oh. Uh, in the woods. Uh, Severin who starts is fighting Ludwig the Donak and maybe winning they have more numbers to throw in the frame yeah i don't think this is going too well for uh oh no they decided oh. to bail rather than take the chances no. continuing fighting this yep meanwhile in bull oh do we have another battle here uh oh god the byzantines have brought a lot of numbers and the teutons are too slow to reinforce Oh, and they're gonna get caught up by people who are running faster and they're gonna get piecemeal. Oh, that's why you coordinate people. Oh, they run away in the last minute. Oof. Oh, the UI lied to them. And they're trying to run after them, hoping to catch them while they're retreating now. Because there's not a lot of faults there. Yeah, bad coordination sadly uh, can bring some difficulty. But the question is, will the Muslims use that to... Uh, get the tempo back because now Byzantium had to pull out. Ah, and they finally figured out maybe they should open a front through Baghdad and start eating at the other bits so. of Georgia rather than going on the front that uh, the Georgia is deciding Look at the or settling. Monster troops. Chat pointed out they were running a weird route. They just did a big circle <laughs> through Germany. I think it might be because of the forts they hold in Northern Monster. Yeah, it's just it's just a very we just vibing. Weird big circle. Back down to Switzerland. Oh, yeah, because they've, this is where they... Oh, they're cut in two by the French uh, legitimately taking back Metz and Lorraine. Uh, surprisingly, not jumping on uh, on Champagne yet. Or Champagne, as we call it. Well, uh, it's painful. Navarra hasn't been doing much lately. I'm curious what, what yeah, the plan I, is. Because, yeah. Very, like, what England they? is still alive. That's the bit that, well, first of all, they upset me because England is still alive. But also, that's a lot of real estate that nobody has tried to stake a claim on. Mm -hmm. Are they still thinking they can't beat the Royal Navy? I mean, it's still six heavies, but six heavies is absolutely beatable at this point if you have, like, the power of... Maybe not. Yeah, I'm pretty sure France can afford to beat the British Navy at this point. Do they have an AV? They do not have any boats, so I guess that's their problem. Even if they wanted to, they cannot serve that ambition right now. How is it going in Moldova? Oh, Byzantium is bringing up the fight, and they have brought the numbers. Now the question is, how are they going to manage their reinforcements? The terrain is not in their favor. That's not a great battle to take. Oh, and no, they're avoiding no. the split in two, but the numbers are yeah, not on their side because uh, Serbia side. and Byzantium are there. Although, the initial morale advantage is when on their side. If the reinforcements are too late, I think they'll be there in time. Although, uh, oh, in the nick of time. Good Dang. timing. Good timing. It that was like the Writers of Rohan <laughs> arriving moment right yeah. there. Yeah, <laughs> and now the or they've been uh, a day too late. Yes, which might mean Moldova will have a chance because maybe the Allies will just prop them to basically take all like of uh, of the uh, Baltics. Oh yes. Yeah, so chat, <laughs> there is a Skandenberg link. Skandenberg link. Skandenberg. Yeah. Skandenberg link, which if you go to the Paradox forums. If not sure if someone's listening. I can drop it in chat, but there's a link. If you go to the Paradox forums, there's a beautiful little page on the EU for forum that has information on the role-playing aspects of the game as well as the Skandenberg link so you can see. It updates every 15 minutes, I believe, for the state of the map. Oh, Andalusia, uh, very sure of themselves, uh, chasing uh, Armenian's army with a minus three penalty and winning. Hey, so we have oh, they have a 
way we, bigger morale advantage. And we have discipline. a momentous moment right here. There's no yellow flames. No, nope. it's all blue. It's all player on player <laughs> action. I have the utmost respect for Andalusia chasing the Armenian army on a mountain across a river, and he's still carrying the day. <laughs> Their troops are really tough. Oh, and actually, we see that using that tempo. Uh, no, they're not pushing back yet. Yeah, they are. Farce is f pushing back the, some of the land taken here. I'm guessing because Serbia and a bunch of the other allies have been recalled. Like, if anything, the Baltics are proving a good distraction because now uh, the, um, the, the the Orthodox are stuck in a two-front war. And I am pretty sure the, uh, the the Catholics are not gonna give up easily. Maybe they should appeal to the Pope or something, get some more people around. I wonder if the the, the Muslim Empire, if they encourage the Livonians to attack the Orthodox, maybe, or the Livonians took it upon themselves. I. Maybe they did. They should have, honestly. Oh, this is going to be an interesting battle. This time, the numbers might actually be on the side of the Crusader states. Uh, yes, the, the Ottomans are dead. <laughs> actually, the Crusader states have more discipline and more morale, but the numbers... They have the terrain on them. They have the terrain on them. They don't have the general. The general is making the, the short work Generals here. Generals can... Yeah, two shock advantage in that era is a really big deal. Although they have thrown everything they have, and Livonian still have 22k fresh troops. Let's see. They still have too many people in reserve. They should not reinforce yet, but they did. I guess, I guess you gotta. I would have waited a bit more. But I mean, the job will oh. be done oh, anyway. No. And the Byzantines are sent south, south to... I don't know how far they have to retreat, actually. It's an interesting question. Because that's the thing when you're fighting for your allies uh, far away. They are retreating over to Krivelrog. And, and they get caught by rebels on the way to the retreat. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> Good. And the rebels are just mashing them <laughs> one by one. Oh, they won! <laughs> A bunch of noble <laughs> pretenders like, choose their time. <laughs> this is like the day of rebels. <laughs> Good job, uh, good job, rebels. I don't know. I don't think he was uh, he was started, but good job. meanwhile, the um, the Muslim coalition has been moving around, trying to avoid that mountainous region, and instead hitting like southern Anatolia. And I wonder if their plan is to try to piece Armenia out, because Armenia doesn't have a lot of strategic depth remaining at this point. They're gonna have to move uh, west to defend their capital and holdings. To be fair, Armenia, um, uh, Andalusia, and Tunis are still doing a pretty risky move because they can easily get cut off. Like, they have no way across. They don't have boats, and it's only a couple provinces. They could... I mean, it's not Hoi, right? You can retreat across occupied land, but I think they're still well, taking some risk. It, it here's my here's my question. So, Navarra yesterday, when I was talking to them, were saying very much they wanted to form Spain. Mm -hmm. And the thing is... Andalusia is their greatest barrier to this, mm. and their troops are on the other side of the world. And they, yeah, most most if not all so of it. So why is Navarra working with like Provence Brie or Provence? Well, Provence, well, Provence is Sunni now, so maybe. Yeah, not. We, so it's it's unclear. Well, I mean, they also like with Brittany, and that's their only ally. Mm. Uh, you would think. And Navarra is allied with Brittany. I think if someone wanted to, yeah, because they. I mean, maybe maybe Andalusia has the economy to. Uh, they have some loans though, but they could probably muster some mercs. But yeah, the bulk of their army and also is, allied is stuck. Wales. Uh, let's see how is that going. Uh, not great for the so-called crusaders. Oh, they are going. They went back down and and freed uh, Iraq. But now their countryside backyards are being rampaged by a bunch of, um, of Andalusian and, and Tunisians. The front line is evolving interestingly. Meanwhile, if we go back north in Moldavia, uh, it's, there's now a face-off and I, I, I think both sides are hoping for a good battle. Meanwhile, rebels in the middle are just 
just vibing on Lvov. Oh, and Byzantium is taking the fight to Lublin. Not a bad province to start a fight, honestly, because you can't get any terrain advantage. And we're getting some early casualties with a magnificent uh, freestyle general. And yeah, the other have to move fast. Oh, they, oh, 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 they're coming in. Yeah, they got they got caught by surprise. And now, now you now you must not panic. Now you must hold the bets. Wait for the enemy to exhaust. Yeah, good job. They waited a bit. Now they need to start considering sending reinforcement. Don't go too early. To march. Yeah, do not march too fine. early. If you march too early, then you just have millions sitting in reserve. It's still early in the game. We're not even in the in the age of uh, reformation, yeah, but it's, still, it's not even fifteen hundred yet. Conserve <laughs> your manpower. Conserve your manpower is important. Oh, and it's like Byzantium and Moldavia are all gonna carry the day. Through their like five four three general. Yep, that that went Barely. through. These battles are so close. They are. They are. There's no terrain advantage. And uh, how are we doing on this front? Wait, where's Andalusia? Oh, Andalusia is slowly marching around because they got. Is Cyprus giving them military access? Cyprus is giving military access. Interesting. They still have not taken the woggle back, though. This is kind of like, they're circling around, but nobody's willing to take an engagement. Uh, interesting, Cyprus. Very interesting. Ah, although... Although our... Oh, Zaporozhye made a mistake, I think. They left two of the troops stuck down here, and the Lucia could have a shot at destroying them. No, because now they're getting reinforcement of stuff. Oh! But now that Russia is in trouble, because this falls, if it falls, they're stuck. They can't get back. And I'm guessing they're going to try to cut them off. They will try to cut them off. That is smart. Uh, they're going to try to hold. Is the march? No, it's not. It is a march. Uh, march is not a bad place for a battle. But, oh, but they got cut in half. Tunis is... Oh, that's... The might of the Andalusian might be enough to win the day? No, I don't did, think so. Did you see what Armenia did down to Egypt? Yeah, they did a raid. Uh, yeah. And... I'm total, I missed that. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. They, uh, that was, I think, the, the, um, the Orthodox army made a very good play of, at splitting the two, uh, the two fronts from uh, Tunis and... Uh, and then the Lucia, sadly, they did not manage to win the second battle and keep that fort, because that would have locked all those forces behind the fort, but they did not manage to get through, sadly. Uh, which is going to lead to interesting battles. Okay, so we're not done yet. Oh, and using that as a distraction, the rest of the uh, forces are trying to... Oh, yeah, I think they use the fact that there is no more. Nope. Oh, they miss the timing. Oh, they miss the timing. And now they're starting a battle on the mountain with no general. Oh, bad timing. Oh, that. Oh, look at those losses. Ouch. Ouch. That's why you don't leave your general in your overpants. And oh, that's 20k, which is done. Stack weight. Yeah, do not leave your general in your overpants. This is a bad idea. <laughs> oh. That might have just cost it for them. Ah. Uh. I, I think at this stage, 20k is a thing you can come back from, but I would not do it too much. Uh, that's oh. just bad for your health. Oh, they're fighting again. Mm. They do have a general this time. Ah, is that, yes, indeed. It's 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 always like someone overextends and the other, all the other just jump you. And it's Andalusia, and Andalusian troops are magnificently strong. Although, um, or, 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 or hold slash not hold any more friends uh, from Zaporozhye, or putting up a fight. Uh, will they manage to beat them in time before oh. the reinforcements? Uh, reinforcements. Uh, no. no, actually, they beat them before the reinforcement even came out. They did not need the help. This is not it looking nice too good. They, they they had a moment, but now it's not looking too good. And on the other flank, uh, oh, I'm guessing they are trying to push them back. Oh, we've got another fight going on. Yeah, that's that's also. I mean, they have they have a forest for them. They have numbers. Serbia is hiding behind. They might still be able to throw in. Do not throw too many reinforcements. Oh, the numbers are not on, on your side. The no yeah, and and uh, both sides now have a pretty solid general. Although um, six fire free shock, yeah, I think I would take four fire five shock uh, over six fire free shock at this stage. We're still doing more damage. 
Uh, the fire phase is not nearly as important as the shock phase, and you can see the numbers. Yeah, no, and you can see that. That shock general is basically doing the work. <laughs> He's earning his keep. Yes. But they still won. Oh, what happened to... Oh! Moonster is uh, divvied up. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> and Hesse did not manage to get sea access, so... No, they got cut off. Poland cut them off. What did they get out of that? Uh, they got, like, they got Moonster. They got, um... One province? Mepin. Mepin. And I think Oz Osnabrück, I think they also took. So three provinces. That's... That's only going to delay them a bit. Yeah, I am still wondering what Essen and Saxony are going to do. They are stuck here. Pomerania has not done much in a while. So, Stream has a question if we want to check it. Are Moldavian and Far is going bankrupt? Uh, let's see. Let's check the numbers. Far's economy, they are out of loans, actually. Oh, they are out of loans. Yep. They will be bankrupt in a couple of months oh, at this They rate. have taken 22 loans, but they cannot take more than 21. Yeah, the economy <laughs> has a... I think they lost some economy after taking losing those provinces, because uh -oh. that's, that's, that's... The emperor crashed. The emperor is naked? The emperor needs new clothes. He does. <laughs> he does. I mean, look at this. This is a joke. Three, <laughs> nine princes, three free CDs. We found an elector, but... At what cost? Uh, let's see. And then the Maldives. Maldivians? Mal uh, Armenia. Armenia is... Moldavia. Okay. Armenia money is good? I mean, I, I wouldn't say good. I, like, this is not um, financial advice. Moldavia can't take any more loans. And they're losing 69.91 ducats. Nice. Uh, but also, they, they have fa they, a thousand in the bank. They have, yeah, they have 30 loans. So we can stave it off for a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, unlike, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, Fars is going to get bankrupt in a couple of months unless we can get somebody to fund them. Uh, they will go bankrupt in three months if they don't do something about it. Moldavia can hold because they have a bank. Uh, I guess they took all the loans immediately. So we can afford to wait a bit more. Uh, I'd, I'd say this uh, Coptic alliance through here is doing pretty darn well. They're doing pretty solid so far, I gotta say. Mm -hmm. uh, we're waiting because a player crashed. He will yes. come back soon. Uh, but yeah, you're right. I wonder what uh, Navara is up to lately. Well, they're up to getting uh, the clergy taking over the country. Okay. We are getting a very advanced new version of chat. Yes, so I can let my phone rest. <laughs> and I will let you read it, because uh, even if it's I have my contacts, this is still far away. It is very far away. Oh new wow. World is expanding slow. New World has not been a focus of many players. You would have thought that Navara would have decided that it's maybe best for them to pack their bags and leave, the same way Wells could have done it, but... You know, like, if Merlin can give you a thousand ducats... What I would do in those cases is figure out whatever I have to do to get that thousand ducats from Merlin and uh, and use that to finance an exile. <clears throat> oh, we're back. Uh, Brittany is colonizing uh, Quebec. Oh. Oh, interesting. Oh, we are aggressively landing in North America, then yes. Yes, uh, Britain is aggressively making colonies in Canada. Interesting. Go Canada. Uh, Morocco is, well, mostly busy getting rebels that they can't stop because all the troops are stuck in the Middle East. Uh, even more in the Far East almost at this point. But have they, oh. land have they landed on the U.S. coast? No, they're trying to go for Texas still, and it's going to take a while to get anywhere. Oh, so people know the stream will be continuing. All day. There'll be a couple 10 minute breaks here and there. Yes, so we can uh, sweep casters. Switch casters because we get lunch breaks. <laughs> to help. Yes, we get breaks. You guys yes. get breaks? <laughs> you guys get paid for this? 
<laughs> oh. But yes, we will be going for another... Good lord. Another, uh, another 12 hours. Today. Yes. yes. I, I, that, I just... I'm going to need, to, I'm gonna need some energy drinks. <laughs> we get a break in about 30 minutes. Oh. But then we got to eat before we come back on. Mm, yes, we do. <laughs> we do. So, y'all are going to be getting Flory and Leah next. Yes. Uh, well, the players... The thing is with the players, there's three players. And so they can take turns. Like, our meal times are like, what, <clears throat> two and a half hours? Uh, I think the kitchen is open for at least two or three hours. Every yes, time. yes, and they put out a buffet for us. So in that two and a half hours, the players can take turns and yes. go get plates. And even like, and some teams of the three players, they all split the actual like control PC time. Others, they've got someone who's primary. One, the primary one. And then they'll do things like the primary person gets to run and get their food and they'll eat at the computer. I saw a number of people eating at the computer yesterday. Yes. <laughs> uh, and there we go. Farsi's, uh, I don't know about morally, but they are financially bankrupt. Yep. Which isn't great for them. And I'm pretty sure he's swinging the number. Oh, the numbers are still pretty much in their favor. On paper, at least. Uh... Because it's only Fyodor, Armenia, Georgia, and Zaporizhia. I think, so. no, maybe it's the same numbers as before. Some people have left the room, but... Oh, and Andalusia has been uh, going on their own adventure. Yeah, they get, they, they're not picking their fight correctly. They are not coordinated. Andalusia just lost a battle uh, far away in Tadmo, and now they're going to retreat all the way through... I don't even know where they're gonna retreat. Actually, where are you retreating, Andalusia? Move this a little bit because I can't. With the laptop right there, so I can reach out. I could not Egypt. actually click on the uh, the war buttons, <laughs> which is a problem. Why do the Ottomans still exist? That is a very good question for our players. Also, France has done some exploring. Oh, did they Heading start down exploration Africa. or did they buy maps? Uh, they do not have exploration IDs. They so must have bought, bought maps. maps. Downloaded some maps. Wait, I was looking. They are conquesting. Mm. Uh, they're attacking Champagne. Yeah, they're going and taking taking them out finally. Champagne, yeah. Um, A nice place. Ghibli. Do, 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 do. Not Let's point. see. How is it going for the Crusaders? Not so great. Because now even Wallachia is, uh, I guess Wallachia. What is Wallachia doing? What is their? What is their? I mean, they they have taken some bets, but I, they, yeah, those people can help each other out. But I think at some point, like Serbia and Nitri Wallachia, they have nowhere to go. They need they, to go somewhere. Yeah, they're they're trapped. They got Byzantium in the south. They've got Zaporizhia over on the side. Yeah, because Armenia can expand if they win their war uh, too mm -hmm. far. Us Byzantium can still like, eat a bunch well, of uh, of the Ottoman. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Cyprus can go down and get the Mamluks. Saxony. Whoa, Ethiopia. Oh wait, is Ethiopia is an AI, but but um, they 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 go. They go. They don't stop. Um. Should we get any more respawns? Are only Morocco and Brittany eligible to spawn colonialism? I think so. I think the only one with oh, the exploration ideas. Uh, yes. So Pretty it's sure. and that's that that's up to how many provincial uh, or uh, provinces you have with twelve development or center of trade, mm -hmm. uh, which is one one. One, they did not develop to try to spawn no. it with C3. Um, Two. No, Holland, three. I think, took exploration ideas. Too. Oh, yeah, but have they found any well? Uh, three. Yeah, they're colonizing it. I thought. Did they? Wait a minute. Four. Uh, yeah, Holland. Okay, so Andalusia has four provinces that can spawn colonialism. Brittany is one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Oh, we got another pause. Six. I guess we know how this game is played. Uh, Holland, if they have, have they seen the new world or not? Let's see. Holland. They have not seen the new world. Hmm. Um. 
Yeah, so it's going to be between Brittany and... Uh, wait, no, I want to, to say Granada, but oh. I'm wrong. I mean Morocco. Venice belongs to the Knights. They took the island. Venice nice. is still alive on the mainland. Uh, they have five provinces. One. But the actual island of Venice has been taken by the Knights. They're quite proud of that fact. And I believe they're going to work on player interviews, but we don't have any currently lined no, up. No, we are still setting up some tech to be able to do mm. player interviews. I done some math. Um, Brittany has about five or six provinces that can spawn colonialism, and I see only three in Morocco. So it is more likely to spawn in Brittany. And we will have the what answer in a month, maybe. Does Holland have a chance? No, they have not seen the new world yet. They have a month to see it, which probably is too short. No, they clearly don't see far enough to be able to do that. Uh, see, so looking at Holland, they have seen it. Holland? Yeah, Holland. Oh, interesting. When I looked at the trigger the last time, they had not. That's why I'm a little confused. Mm. Uh, I hate those tooltips so much. Yeah, it's a... They... Uh, they need to have a colony, it looks like, best. Did that change? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you need to own a province, not just see it. That's what it oh, is. Oh, that has changed then. It used to be that you just needed to yes. see one. Okay. Well, they didn't rush that. They were, you know, they were busy eating. Uh, they had other stuff to do. They, they had other stuff to do. They did go to but I'm surprised they didn't try and get someone in Greenland. Because that was in their colonial range. And it has spawned. In. Oh. In Saint Malo. Well, uh, if we have any Breton following, uh, Brez and all that, uh, I don't actually speak Breton. Uh, my great-grandpa was Breton, so you know, it's it's at this point, it's like an American thing, is Breton, <laughs> so it doesn't really count. Uh, Viva la Brit... I'll let you try and well, say that. Well, I guess you're supposed to say that in Breton, but that's the problem. <laughs> is, is, uh, we, we, have, we have worked really hard in France to uh, kind of ignore the concept of Brittany as a language so it's 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 kind of uh, it's it's kind of hard for us to go back there uh, uh how is the conflicts progressing what's uh oh Persia is on the map oh did they peace out they did peace out they peaced out and did changed they tags it? and did they, they said we're done we were never defeated we never lost a battle. Oh, they did that actually, was all far. They, did actu I, they I, actually I, did sell some provinces to Georgia because <laughs> those two provinces were not theirs before. Oh, but no, see, that was far as they did that. Now it's Persia. Persia has true, a clean record. True. So they did s give out maybe one or two provinces. But in exchange, they formed Persia. And Persia is a pretty strong tag. Um. <laughs> With a pretty strong mission tree in the new DLC, question mark. Let's see. Uh, yes. yes. It looks like a pretty big mission tree. Oh, yeah. Theodora. Lots of Oof. branching missions. We have some stuff to do. I gotta wonder what Morocco thinks about the fact <laughs> that they didn't get colonialism and they were the first ones to establish a colony. Yes. Uh, oh. The Livonian versus uh, not Livonian uh, faction fight is still going on, but they both went back to their respective provinces and everybody's waiting. Or oh, we're just gonna white piece this one out because it seems like nobody's interested in fighting anymore. Mm. Oh, maybe we're getting a player fatigue thing after the early wars and they're, they're getting people just vibing now. Uh, they need to recover. Cyprus is fighting Syria, which I guess they released from the Mamluks and the Ottoman. Trying to partition it before Byzantium takes too much. Uh, they are facing a disaster too, I guess. Uh, well, yeah, their states are trying to... Oh, they're trying to... Oh, internal conflicts. Are oh, they going to try to farm the internal conflict thing? No, it's court and country, right? That's not internal conflicts. I don't know why they did this. <laughs> oh, wait. Saxony? 
Saxony has decided that it's time to... No. Switzerland is not down there being dead. It's not ready to be dead right now. Has decided to attack one of the uh, last like free cities of the empire. Moldavia has gone bankrupt. The oh. Already. Mm. Sure. Oh. They, they can't take any. They can take more loans again. Uh, can they? Mm -hmm. No, they are bankrupt. Moldavia is bankrupt, and now the I guess the. Crusader states are trying to try to use that to get a bunch of... Oh, it, Finland is on the map? Yeah, Finland's been on the map for a little bit. Oh, it's... It's um, it's been in the war. It's in this war. <laughs> it's not a player, is it? No, it's not a player. They just created a new monastic order by releasing them. Okay, this is going to be an yes. interesting battle. Uh, that they are winning pretty hard, actually. Uh surprisingly uh oh and then they're getting where very little boy it's still my my guy simon is four five but oh he's not winning that one and the discipline and the uh morale is not of us oh is there a tech disadvantage maybe somebody hide my tech map mode so i i can't i can't i can't think without my tech map mode uh. there's mil eight on most on most sides so they should all have uh, the new dudes. Uh, Mill nine is gonna be the big difference because you get the new uh, the the new infantry uh, units that are I pretty don't think tough. Anyone has? No, nobody has banged them. They're still sixty percent ahead. So Georgia has seven still. Oh, uh, did Byzantium throw the hat off? Zaprozy could get level nine. They have the points. They could click it. Oh, Byzantium bailed out of the war, I think. Or maybe they were never there. No, it was me, it was Moldavia. No, they the were time. there. Well, they're not there anymore. But I guess uh, if they're not entirely exhausted by their previous war, their other allies can pivot and come back to help. But I don't know if they want to fight another war at this point, or if they're willing to see. You know what? Maybe you have Moldavia. And then we just Wait, Andalusia is at war. Oh, God. Province what? has decided to attack the Pope. With the help of Andalusia. Oh my word. That's uh, a And on the other hand is the papal state Bavaria Castile somehow. Because Oh, because Navarra is there. Like, and Pomerania and the Palatinate. No, the Palatinate Wallachia, doesn't matter. Finland. And Wallachia. Okay. Livonian order. So I'm this guessing is... I'm guessing some of those at least are not gonna fight because they're oh. way too busy fighting. Like Wallachia and the Livonian order are probably. Wait. Wallachia and the Livonian order? Oh, wait, yeah, Wallachia well, like, well, left the other war, so they don't actually, they're not involved in the defense of Moldova. What this is, is what is Wallachia doing? They keep finding wars and getting nothing out of it. I mean, I guess they're here for the fun of it, just coming and whacking some heads if they can. That, that's a fun map mode, the diplomatic. Yes. So, where are the Navarre troops? They immediately uh, run away to Brittany, who is not in the war. Uh, I'm guessing all that bit will get occupied. Now the question is, where's the Pope? Where's his troops? Uh, these, these oh, the Pope know. was not expecting this. He's no. hiding all these troops in southern Italy, which sounds weird to me because I would have expected them to try to use those. Oh, they, they don't have the mountains though. Yeah, the mountains have been slowly speech. eaten away by uh, by Provence. Yep. Provence, it is weird that the Pope has kind of stole out, stole uh, stale. Uh, yeah, they, they, they have slowed down now. For some reason, nobody. F oh, Provence managed to I, vassal I did Venice. Hear that they were having ad admin power issues from coring everything. Oh, they went too hard too fast. Yes. Their, their tummy got too full, and now they have oh. a tummy ache. And Provence rushed Mill 9 in preparation for this oh. attack. So did Andalusia. Oh, they, they knew what was coming. They, they both rushed like the very important get the new peps uh, unit. Yeah. Because if I compare them, where is that bit? Uh, the Lanskener, uh, which whatever. Oh, actually, it's not that big of a deal. It's it's one one. Oh, they're not. No, it's the it's the next level that makes a big deal because you start getting fire pets. It's still like it's a new infantry Ooh. type. It's better. That's not too bad for the the current pope is a bold fighter. <laughs> yeah, that would make his generals pretty good. Mm -hmm. And he does have five mil. Oh, okay. They went south because they went after the provincial colonies yes. in Napoli, and now mm -hmm. they're gonna bring everything they got north. north. 
Oh, and Provence is sitting there with 19k on Florence with no generals. Uh, I, if I was them, I would not be standing there with all those people coming at me. Oh, they know. They know. <laughs> They're like, like oh, nope, run away. Fuck run this. Away. I'm out of here. Ball, Wait, ball, Switzerland? Oh, Switzerland is still at a fight? No, it's probably because of the previous thing. Uh, Nitra has joined the war now. I'm pretty sure they were not involved before. So where is um, Andalusia's troops? Uh, Andalusia is... At, oh, they are just occupying all of Navarra. Oh my god, Navarra. They're just taking all the mainland. And Navarra's troops, do they die? Did we miss that? No, they're, hi they're hiding in... Fr Last time I checked, they were hiding in France. Oh, I think they're, they're pivoting around the Alps to just hopefully win the engagement oh, in, this, in the mountain. Oh, damn. If only the Pope had some Swiss mountain forts to protect them. <laughs> Somebody's uh, somewhat butter. <laughs> Someone salty. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> yes, someone oh. got some air on. Okay. And we got a battle. Oh, the Pope risked something sending. Uh. Oh, he sent his cannon first without a general. That's a bold strategy. Uh, I wouldn't. Oh, that's a four-six general against. Oh one, God, three, the Pope one. is getting mulched piecemeal. I think Provence really prepared for this attack. Yes. They were waiting, and now they're like, "Hey, let me show you all those new toys I got." <laughs> well, we still have the numbers, uh, though. The mm -hmm. numbers are on the Pope's side. That might not be enough to make it uh, to make it win. Oh, uh, Munster will be relocating to Mutpa. They just said Mutapa. Mutapa. Okay. Mutapa. No, uh, oh, province is still winning. Can they? they uh, no, oh, they, oh, apparently out there in the castle, everyone is shouting, Holy War! I see. Oh, yeah, because this is a. Um, this is a Holy War. Oh, which is interesting because mm -hmm. Holy War CBs, if I recall, is win battles and they are just about to lose one. Yeah. Because they had the numbers, they, not, they, they had the power, not the numbers, and they well, waited sure a bit they, too much with their reinforcements. I'm not sure if the actual war is a holy war, but that's where I was shouting, whether, whatever the CB was. Let's see. Um. Their CBs we conquest. Oh, yeah, that's, no, that's, so. that's the... But, but their that's the role play-wise, it's a holy war. And which means they only lost 2% two, uh, two war oh. score by, uh, by losing this battle. Okay. Oh, but that's a lot of people waiting to come, <laughs> like, uh, to help out the, um, the Germans are going to come. I mean, some is of the it, Germans, well, I mean, Yes, this is, a uh, well, one of the assemblies, the one last night at the very end, had all of the Muslims on one side and the Christians on the other side. And they were, like, making gestures at each other and throwing threats and insults at each other while King Arthur was telling them to behave because he had to go after the Holy Grail. <laughs> I guess my question is, are they going to try to, because the Muslims now, I think the Western Muslims, like Persia and friends hold them a lot of favor for at least stopping the worst. in yes. this. So they would be well placed to call, them, call out on those favors now and they send me something. But so far, Persia is probably trying to recoup from its bankruptcy. Can we see the religious map real quick. We can. We have green encroaching in the south. Uh, I see a spread of red. I think Bavaria has decided to switch Shinto. What the what? fuck is going on? <laughs> what the hell? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. They have decided that. I blame Berlin for this. Yes. Uh, which means that now they have an isolationism policy, which interesting when you're in the middle of the HRE. Well, I guess you're not anymore. No, they um, are. Uh, they're yeah. still an elector. They're still an elector of the HRE. Okay. Sure. Why not? Uh, I guess they have a cult of the emperor uh, descended from Amaterasu, except his, his name is uh, descendant of Amaterasu. Oh. is uh, Arthur von Halslang. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it sounds very Japanese to me. Yes. So if you're just joining... There is a whole role play element to the LAN that is not so visible on stream. Um, we're trying to catch as much as we can. We get told what hap what's happening in the assemblies and stuff. But there's no good way for us to show you what it is like standing in the Great Hall when they're doing these assemblies. Um, there's also a Merlin character who you can approach and 
you know, do things for favors. Things could be, oh, you have to convert a county to Norse. You need to convert your country to Shinto. Or you need to go find a book on a shelf that says, talks about China in Polish, and you don't speak Polish. So, it, it's a wide range. It is a wide range. Oh, or finding Merlin's staff, that gets you a favor, too. Yeah, which is not too hard <laughs> because he keeps losing, losing it. it. Uh, I see that more and more questions have joined the Pope side. Oh, uh, speaking of losing things, Flory lost his phone last night. Oh, okay. And then he found it again, finally. Okay, because I was going to say, Chad, <laughs> if you find Flory Roy's phone, please bring it back. <laughs> well, they were concerned last night because he lost his phone for two weeks. <laughs> How? I believe it was stolen, actually. Oh, shit. Um, but he's got two phones here, and he lost one of them last night for a while. I see. Oh, and the Pope forces <laughs> are getting pushed across uh, the end of the Italian peninsula, which I don't think is going to end well for them. Nope. Uh, and I mean the, the 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 questions have the numbers, but they need to slowly make their way through the Venetian forts. Meanwhile, I think the Muslims are hoping to oh, entirely. Oh, we got a sea battle going on here. Yes, and do the Mus can the Muslim uh, take control of the strait? Because else, they, uh, if so, they can run after the. Uh, the papal forces and take them on the other side. They still have the Strait of Messina, which is a really nasty uh, siege to take. No, they have the numbers. Oh, you know what I've been looked at in a little bit. What's going on with here with Livonian Order? Oh, they they took land from Moldavia. The Teutons did. And that's where you. Uh, I was gonna say I, I could almost make a commentary. Uh, like, all those countries were very recently fighting each other, and now they're all on the same side against the Muslims. <laughs> Nothing like a common enemy to unite yeah, exactly. former enemies. Look, it's, it's one thing when a crusader state attacks like, uh, attacks like uh, 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 a neighbor, but it's another when a Muslim attacks, attacks the Pope. Uh, a, a, an order, a Catholic order. Yeah. Um. Okay, so I guess we're going to turn north to fight, and yes, they are turning north to fight, and trying to pick the battles, are they going to, oh, are they going to catch so, them in Luca? The Andalusian player is pretty good, he knows how to do those things, and how to pivot in time and pick the battle he wants, and let his enemy uh, face, like, unwinning battles. So, representatives of all religions are about to gather to an, a meeting called by Merlin to try and sow peace. An interesting idea. Mm -hmm. They so took our trap. The bankruptcy is part of the plan. Reform desire is 96% now. R1, Does it need to be yeah. 100% to go somewhere? Oh, Andalusia is not winning wait. this one due to the numbers. Although, oh no, there's uh, yep, a lot they, of Germans. Uh, the Popes went bankrupt. <laughs> nice. Which is going to help because... Uh, Andalusia is finding a losing battle of like insane numbers. Although they are properly waiting for the uh, reinforcement like one at a time, but uh. Oh, and we're gonna soon be uh, replaced by uh, two more magnificent. Uh, they went. People. Oh, yeah, and oh, they got chased Wait. off the Intenial Peninsula. They did oh. not have the numbers to uh, back this up. Bavaria is ignoring all of this and is attacking Munster. Again? Yes. But for, how how, how can they, they... They don't even have a border. With the Palatinate? I'm unsure. Oh, maybe they have a vassal? Oh, yeah, because we can feed them... Uh, no, we... No, Hesse's cut them off. I don't know what they're doing. They're just having fun. <laughs> they're just like, let's ignore oh, this whole Catholic Shia yeah. thing. We're Shinto. We don't care. And now province is a problem because they managed to chase people down the Eternal Peninsula, but then the numbers chased them and split them in two. So, I mean, they have boats. They might be able to organize a retreat before they get uh, stuck behind forts. But given how many people are coming for them, and I guess no, we can see that Northern Italy is full of enemies. Yeah. The they might order be is... wanting to organize like a, a a retreat toward like the French mainland, because unless we can find allies, oh the... god, more and more people keep joining the uh, the uh, the Catholic uh, side. This is this is becoming yes. to be a problem, this unless is... 
unless some people and their diplomacy start taking interesting side, like if France or Brittany decide that, you know what? I am going to bet. In the name of real politics, they should side against the Pope. Yes. But I think at this point, it's a point of honor. It's like, I can take down my brother, but you can't take down my brother. Hmm. Maybe. Well, France is not even paying for the troops right now, so I'm not expecting them to do anything well, anytime soon. Well, if they can peace out Navarra, because Navarra is... I mean, their Ireland ones aren't, but their mainland is full. Mm, that's an interesting two fronts. I wonder what Navarra and uh, Andalusia are going to try to manage to get the battle they want. Because... Sorry, is it medium? They are split in two. Uh, oh, oh, and very good pincer movement by Saxony on uh, on Provence. They have nowhere to go. They are strong and they are sitting on a mountain. So they are going to make them pay for those. But, oh my god, they're winning. Oh my god, this is murder. Oh, they're, they're probably still going to win just due to sheer numbers, but... Oh, so France isn't in the war. Oh, actually, maybe they won't. Oh, God, this is this is very, very good play by Provence. They have amazingly solid troops, and they've managed to hold their own pretty well and forcing people to uh, to piecemeal their troops in different battles. Mm -hmm. uh, although, are they going to manage to make the gains they want before the enemies can uh, turn That's around and reinforce no which means which means fresh troops are gonna come north and reinforce this was a good gambit but i think the timing was slightly off for them to pull it off they needed to get those casualties are not getting fast enough and high enough uh, the the damages are not oh we have jerusalem oh malta is now no, the former uh, artist known as Malta, and also at the risk of either a civil war, internal conflict, or a peasant's war, pick your choice. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's pretty uh, historical for the Kingdom of Jerusalem to uh, just not be have a problems. Good, uh, have problems. If yes. you've ever played a Crusader Kings, it it has that's, that's a real challenge to keep it alive. So here's here's my problem. I joined this session. I joined this session saying that there was two things I wanted sorted out, which was Byzantium and Armenia having the same color and Nietzsche and Bavaria having the same color. And none of them have done anything <laughs> yet to satisfy me. Uh, on the other hand, I'm pretty happy to see that 35k uh, Andalusian managed to route 100k of the, of, of the Christians, which I don't know how they did it, but I respect the hustle. It's, it's going to be interesting, but... We're about to be switching off. We to are going to be able to give Which you a means break. We're not going to be the ones seeing how this ends. That will be Leah and Flory. Yes, they will carry you through this. And I guess we're a very big uh, streamer and creative, uh, creative well, a community ambassador yes. insights. You will probably get lots of uh, interesting tidbits from the thing. Yes, and. Uh, Provence chasing people with 7K. <laughs> They are going for the murder, just chasing a bunch of people <laughs> retreating with no morale. I respect their, uh, their I mean, ambition they to are chase everybody they can. They have to. They have dropped the numbers from, like, what was it, 287 to 204. Yeah, let's see the casualties before we stop, because we're still... Uh, oh, God, yeah. They have managed to inflict a, 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 an insane 255k. And All we're right. going to be off the air very soon, yes. right? Yep. All right, it's time to bid you goodbye so on this words. We'll see you in a few hours. See you. After we get some lunch. <laughs>
know, planning, you know, big crazy things out together. And being able to do that in person is something that I've never been able to do. I think it's a great way to meet people, um, and it's awesome being in a castle. Now may each country send one representative to the judge for his vote. That's a favor. Yeah, true. So 12 votes in favor of Asia. There is no winning and losing. There is just the next story. So you might have one really long continuous story as, say, Wales if they go on to form Britain. Or you might have a number of different stories going from Ireland to Armenia to, you know, hopefully not again somewhere else in China or the New World. But each time you get new people to talk to, you try to improve your ideas over time and then get better at the game. So I, I think it's all a good learning experience off those people and a good social experience. <laughs>
Hi guys! Hey. How you doing? Hello! <laughs> Welcome back! <laughs> so, this is, um, so I'm Vasic, one of the community ambassadors for EU4, and this is just some guy. I'm, uh, I'm Flory. Hi! How you doing? <laughs> so, while we were gone, so Flory and I were just pretty busy defending the castle. Yes. Because someone's got to do it. Yes. W we fired muskets. And that bows. was uh, and and bows. Oh, we fired arrows. Arrow. You know, yeah, we, we fired fire. arrows. Last one actually hit the target. I actually, I also hit Flory's target. <laughs> yeah, that makes two of us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, archery is uh, no joke, man. I, 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 I hurt myself. <laughs> right. So I keep leaning away from the camera so there's a special camera <laughs> just for me which is funny this is, the, this is the exact same camera that i'm using at home so <laughs> oh there we go and we have a working chat as well we today do. so that's uh Actually, that's gonna be good <laughs> i'm going to why does flurry sound so different <laughs> because uh, i'm using an actual like professional microphone instead of the crappy one that i use at home and i'm really close to it so i can do some real asmr it's definitely the same flurry it's not a body double <laughs> we didn't murder him and replace him with a um paradox sponsored clone <laughs> <laughs> paradox sponsored clone <laughs> yeah <laughs> Um, I mean, that wouldn't really be a clone, right? <laughs> uh, okay, old Floyd would go. sound like he used to. I mean, I, how would I even... What, what? We, guys, we're on the Paradox Interactive stream. You really want to do the old Flory memes right now? Like, what is this? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> um, yes, it's a very, very pro setup, actually. So, shout out to our amazing team. So, we've got um, the Midgeman and we've got rival who is manning the stream and then we've also got a DOP, a director of photography who's doing documentary stuff um, on the ground at the moment and his name is Dan. So yeah, we've got an awesome team this year and they're cool and you should praise them. Praise and be. <laughs> <laughs> so we're right in the middle of a, of a, of a bit of a bit of a huge war so all these like religious tensions are coming to a head and yeah and and it seemed at the at the start of the first day that catholicism was going to reign supreme but now it looks like there's finally some some pushback against uh against the the, the catholic um this is a fair hegemony bit. i guess he hegemony hegemony Hege hegemony 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 yeah yeah well we had um so provence will meant to be like this you know, enduring uh, loyalty to the Pope. Like, they're actually dressed as cardinals and they yes. had all this deal to have, like, extra cardinals. Um, and they, apparently, while we were gone, they flipped to Shia Muslim. So, Shia Islam, Oh, sorry. my. So, Provence is Muslim now. They're an emirate. We've got the Emirate of Provence, ruled by the Emir Charles III de Laval. Uh, that's probably how they got like uh, how they managed to like hold on to Iberia because yeah. uh, Andalusia was having none of that uh, initially. So I was very much expecting a player war in Iberia, but to see the Pope get sieged down. What is this war being fought over for? It's the take core of Padua. So right. they're going for Italy. Yes. But it's, wait, hold on. And Andalusia's, has Andalusia integrated any vassals or they've still got Valencia. I think they integrated Leon. Leon, sorry. So a lot's, a lot's happened in the last couple of hours. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it's so funny because because we were like outside, so we didn't see uh, what was going on. But man, a lot of developments have happened. And if we take a look over at England, uh, Wales is uh, taking them out. Oh. And there's Hamburg in England as well. Oh my, <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's that a development. Things are happening. It's, oh, how is Wales going actually? Because they were, I mean, they started off by kicking out Kildare, so they were sort of responsible for the first, well, them and Navarra, the first player death, and then they kind of got stomped by the English last night. And now it sort of looks like they're sort of making a little bit of a comeback. What do you reckon, Florian? Yeah, I think, I think if they, uh, I think, 
unless they've made some deals with Hamburg, there's going to be trouble here. Because originally, during the first day, they were like, there can only be one in Britain. Mm. And then they used Navarra to kick out Kildare, so then there were two. And now Hamburg shows up, and I don't know how they're going to... I don't think they're going to take this lying down, you know? Well, like, what do you think Navarra's going to do about their Irish territories? I think... So the Irish, I, I talked to the Navarran team, and I think the Irish territories were like a plan B, you know? Like, I don't know which camera I'm supposed to be looking at. <laughs> but I, th I think the Irish territories were like a plan B. Like, uh, if everything goes wrong, if we lose in Spain, we will still have Ireland, and we can escape to the New World. Ah. So yep. I'm assuming eventually they will either sell it to Wales or get eliminated because of... Uh, the Iberian tension. Yeah. So it, it, it's like their 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 backup plan, their insurance policy. That is true, and we can see Andalusia has discovered the new world, so they could be aiming for their first colony soon if they haven't already. Possibly. Let's see who's colonizing that. We had a Moroccan colony. That was oh, the first colony. a Moroccan Havana. There you go. That's exotic. <laughs> Oh, and they have some, uh, they don't have the coexist with natives oh, option. We have Breton colonies as well. So we've got Breton Puerto Rico. So that's, <laughs> and Breton <laughs> Jamaica. Oh my. <laughs> I mean, I was wondering what Brittany was going to do because they were kind of like boxed in between their allies and they had an alliance for 50 years, which is really, really long and it seems to have held up. Because they've, uh, you know, it, 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 France looks kind of, there's not a lot of border gore there. It looks kind of pretty. It's all right. I yeah. mean, it, it, it could be better, nice. but it's it's all right, yeah. Oh, and uh, it seems France is also entering the British Isles. There is the French conquest of Sussex. So... Uh, in a separate war, so they are gunning to, and they they got the capital as well occupied. So uh, <laughs> that's true. But if we go back to the actual this huge, huge player holy war that's going on, so we've got the I think they're called the Holy Islamic Empire versus versus the Pope, so the papacy, and it's not going so well for the Pope. They're sitting at negative seventy percent war score. Um, they have twenty war exhaustion. It looks like they're probably gonna peace out oh, very, very soon. And they're being stabbed. Oh, okay, hit. minus, yeah, they're being, they're getting stabbed hits. They're at negative. And there oh! we go. Oh my! Oh, oh. That's disgusting. F's in chat for the Pope. <laughs> at the start, at the, like this morning, I was talking to them and they were like, <laughs> "We have the highest income, the highest development, they and did. we are loved by everyone." Well. Not so much anymore. <laughs> no kingdom of God this year, I think. <laughs> no, no. Well, they they might be able to get some sort of like a, like a like a crusade going, you know, like possibly. But who are their allies now? I mean, well, actually, let's wait. Let's look at their uh, look at this. It's like half of Europe. Let's have a look at that um, bird manor as well. Oh no! Oh, Twelve they went. diplomatic relations, so they're losing two bird mana a month. They're losing two bird mana a month, and they are bankrupt. I'm assuming because it's all negative. But if they went bankrupt, then <laughs> that's actually a cool way to like gain diplomatic power. Like if you are way over the limit, you can go to negative nine nine nine, and then if you declare bankruptcy, it always sets oh. you to negative one hundred. So you can gain, technically gain. That's like a, a whole that's bunch a pro, of <laughs> pro strat. Pro strat. <laughs> were those two provinces worth it? Hmm. Wait, which were they? Was it um? And they didn't even take back the war goal. Like the, the, no. the it was supposedly a war to reclaim uh, Padua for uh, Venice, but <laughs> Padua is still is still, still in the Roman, papal hands. Yeah. Well, the Pope still holds Rome as well, so. I mean, this is pretty brutal for them, though. Like, how do you recover from something like this? Like, that's half your... <laughs> I think that this sends a clear message, you know, like... I am taking Italy. Italy is mine. Provence, in general, has been very... Um, Go-get attitude. Yeah, they've been a bit sus. Like, they, they, they went into Aragon and they just completely cut off Andalusia from uh, from the whole Valencia trade node. With... 
with, with, with the intention. Like, I mean, Valencia is ours, right? The, the trade node is ours. It, it's supposed to be ours because we hold two provinces in it. So now the whole trade node is ours. They just claimed it on on the basis of uh, we won it. So now, now we have it. Now we have we, it. We take it. We deserve it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. So we've... They've, we've got a couple players who have been a bit opportunistic. Like last night, we saw Theodoro um, basically gang up. I'll join the fight against Gilan. Actually, how is Gilan going? Can we go to the Middle East? Because this has changed a lot since I was last looking at it. I hate all these colors. I I can barely distinguish between the Armenian and Byzant Byzantine borders. Oh yes, borders. that is some. That is some. Oh I'm man, big Jerusalem too. That is some color CB right there. <laughs> it's like it's so hard to see. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we have a Persia over here. We got here. a Persia. And Very it nice. is Sunni Persia at the moment. So, Are they breeding the horse? Have they bred the new horse, Steve? It looks like Fars formed Persia. I think they did. Gilan is gone, so I'm not sure who they respawned as. Did they breed the horse? Zoroastrian. They're going Zoroastrian. That's for sure. That's good. I I was hoping we'd see a Zoro Persia. Kind of like how last year we had um, North Scotland. Yeah. So we got to have Zoro Persia. Of course. Year. I mean, if you if you if you're going Persia, then yeah, you, you, you gotta switch. Uh, yeah. You gotta switch Zoro, right? Um. Oh man, I feel like I'm catching up on a little. Well, so much has happened. Tunis is going down south towards Songhai. We've got Zaporozhye, they were expanding pretty rapidly, so they're, oh, they've got like a horrible, horrible snake all the way. They've almost reached Tibet. Yeah, and they, <laughs> they were planning on forming uh, the Mongol Empire, which was, <laughs> that's a very ambitious plan. It is, it is. But, I mean, crazier things have happened. Tver is, oh, Tver's a great power now. I really like the color scheme oh, no, over in... Uh, in Eastern Europe right, right now. Like uh, the Teutonic Order meshes so nicely with the Livonian Order. And then there's a Tefer who is like eating all of Russia and they should be Catholic. Yes. Yes. Yeah. We I, wonder, I wonder if, if some of the players are going to go Protestant because it would be very dangerous to do so. But now that the Pope has shown the sign of weakness, you know, my, maybe this whole Catholic pact starts breaking up a little bit. I, yeah, definitely the Catholics are not in a good spot. I actually, we could have some states flipping Protestant. I think, I have, my prediction is there's going to be, just for the bit, there's going to be a lot of um, Muslim countries in Europe, I think. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Also, and we might see Orthodoxy <laughs> make a big return. Whoa. Why, why is Bavaria Shinto? <laughs> Wait, is Bavaria, Bavaria Shinto? Oh I mean, this is probably something to do with uh, uh, them asking a favor of the GMs, and oh, then the yeah. GMs they will give you they will give you what you want, <laughs> but they will also punish you in a certain way. So they <laughs> they probably asked a favor like um, help us fight the Austrians or help us get rid of our corruption, and then they do, but. Now they Shinto, which yeah, they 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 went with it, and they're actually converting the land as well. Yeah, so. well, that's that's interesting because we saw something similar happen in Andalusia, and that's why Andalusian has <laughs> a Confucian province, a Norse province, and a Zoroastrian province, and they've st they haven't been converted. I don't think they're converting them. Either. No, no, they're keeping they're it. They're keeping though. They're keeping them. They're they, they converted the other Catholic land, <laughs> but they're keeping those provinces. They're keeping those provinces. So it just seems like uh, the theme here that I'm picking up potentially <laughs> is that it's just like anti-Catholicism, basically. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They're and, really mad. And now w w with their newfound friendship, because I I'm assuming they are allies now, right? Yeah, they're, they're friends with Provence, which... Is very good for them and very bad for Navarra, because uh, Navarra is looking in the uh, is sitting in the Iberian Peninsula, and all of a sudden it was going to be like a three-way um, thunderdome basically. Yeah. But now they're united. Andalusia and Provence are united, so the Navarran 
Navarre's situation is not looking that good. Yeah. Oh, Navarre is still Catholic as well, so. Yep. Interesting. All right. Maybe there will be a Catholic uh, pushback against it, like a whole Breaking crusade news, or something. Breaking previous castes talked about it for 10 minutes. Well, like, as we mentioned, we were, we were very busy defending the castle, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. I've got some intel. So apparently Zaporozhia has a deal with the Teutons, Nitra, and Pomerania to borrow provinces to form Poland. Oh, okay. Interesting. Zaporozhia will convert to 100% cavalry. Yes, yeah. Any thoughts on the cavalry, Flory? I mean, horses are great. Yeah. Like, uh, horses... <laughs> whenever I'm... Uh, like, whenever you have the opportunity to go 100% cav, it's so nice. And, you know, you just... Blasting some uh, some some proper horse music on the background, like the uh, Rohirrim theme or something like that, and you just go wild, right? <laughs> you do. I mean, if anyone's gonna have horses, it's it's Poland, right? Right, right. And they have uh, they have they they had the idea of going uh, like getting every special cavalry unit in the game. So they wanted uh, Cossacks, uh, they wanted winged hussars, they wanted banners. And uh, <laughs> to, just to get them all in one army, um, they have right now they've got 115, so they don't need anything except horses. And what is their army called? Like, do they have anything other than horses? They do. They have. I think that's probably because of mercenaries, though. Um, let me go take a look here. Do they have? They've still got. Okay, so they've still got 40 infantry. They're going over force limits, so it looks like they're going to build up the cavalry and probably get rid of those pesky infantry units. Yeah. Oh God. They're not using any mercenaries, so it's it's voluntary that they're using infantry right now. But yeah. they're probably going to get rid of it. Did they recently switch? Oh, they, they did get the cavalry warfare recently. Um... And they have horde ideas. They did not go for the uh, aristocratic, aristocratic horde espionage uh, combo, but they could. Like uh, they can switch into noble elite, and then use the um, call of the steps decision that the the, the, the Zaporizhia gets. All right. Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so, so, so I was being told something a second ago. And before that, uh, they, they told me, like, uh, try to act like you did. <laughs> act natural. <laughs> act natural. Like, <laughs> try to pass it off. But, you know, um, <laughs> because I just said, okay, we just kind of went with it. Yeah, yeah there you okay. go. Okay, just saying okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm looking at Scandinavia, where we've finally got Livonian Order in Scandinavia. Something's happening there. But it's just more beating up the AI. Yeah. The poor AI. Yeah. They do own uh, Stockholm already, and there were plans on... Wait, do they own Finland? Yes, Finland is a march. Yeah, Livonian Order is a, a, is a powerhouse. Uh, diplomatically, but also militarily. Like, they are... They've been uh, very mechanically, um, you know, up there so far. And, uh, you know, they, they have, they have, I, I think they are probably the most prepared team out of everyone. Like they have, like they had treaties typed out beforehand that they brought with them. I didn't see those. Yeah, they, they, they have it all like typed out and they have, uh, they, he made his own a seal, you know, to stamp uh, stamp on, on, on the treaties. That's cool. Hopefully we can get a photo of that at some point. Yeah. To like share with people. Because I didn't see the seal. That's cool. I saw the cask. The cask was cool. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 
Let's have a look. All right. Uh, we're going to go look at a video of me shooting a musket. Just to show you what we've been doing. Yeah. We've been busy. Yeah. We've been useful. Flory's been very useful. And yeah. I've <laughs> been very <laughs> Five, four. Th Wait, we're still. Okay. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Flory cam. I want to see what it looks like. Can you? Can someone take a screenshot? I want to see what Flory cam looks like. <laughs> Wait, I, so the video is playing right now? Oh, okay. So we're back. Oh, we're hey! back. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, guys. <laughs> Finally got that 12. There you go. Get that tactics. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. I wonder what the plans are for uh, Morocco in the New World. If they're going to create a whole bunch of colonial nations or if they're planning to move there themselves because i remember from earlier editions as uh, if people are eliminated day one they of course they get a new country somewhere in in asia and um, you know so far if we take a look at the player map mode there is a lot of open space right but at day two if you get eliminated uh, at day two or even day three a lot of times they'll put players in a colonial nation. Mm. So you could have a, a, a colonial um, 13 colonies and all of a sudden there's a player there. So now you have yes. to like do that whole diplomatic spiel to, to try and keep them loyal or give them independence or anything like that. So. I feel like last year... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we're looking. We've just, we've just seen... What the Flory Lean Cam looks like. <laughs> it's it's glorious. Flory. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember like he, he was talking about doing it yesterday, and I was like, yeah, yeah. But you're joking though, right? No, no, no. I'm actually going to get you a separate cam. And <laughs> Two Flories. <laughs> um, ah, so Monster died today and became Mutapa. Oh, so we've already got some um, African powers. Yes. That is exciting. I mean, we've got Rasids as well on the... Well, Rasids have moved into the Horn of Africa, which is... I'm not sure who they were previously. Um, but yeah, it's good that everybody's sort of been respawning close together in the Middle East. Yeah. I think... I can't wait to see all this blow up. I... I... <laughs> no, no shade to Byzantium or like people who enjoy Byzantium, but I'm really looking forward to um, seeing something happen there. Because... I feel like that first big war that they had against the Ottomans, they called in all their allies and like Wallachia and Serbia, they could have so easily like used that opportunity to gain some Balkan territory, but they gave it all to Byzantium. Yeah. So they really were, they've pulled a couple favors in and be they really to did. see what happens with that. I mean, especially Serbia. Serbia has been so helpful to their neighbors. Like they, they I remember they, uh, they did the most casualties mm. uh, versus the Hung Hungary War, and they got the least out of it. And they also helped Byzantium. And now, like, what are their <laughs> routes of expansion other than betraying their allies? Like, that's true. I mean, they could go into they could they could go into Italy now that it's controlled by uh, by a Shia nation, I suppose. But. <laughs> Um, and poor Moldavia, they are not doing too good. They're probably next up on the chopping block, I have to say. Oh yeah, they're very boxed in right now. They're, they're, well they're separated. They've got all their troops currently in the, uh, like the Black Sea area. The, I'm gonna say that's like the, the, bl the Black Sea portion of Moldavia. So they're putting them all towards where they have the coast and this sort of region up near, oh god, I don't even know. What and they've you. they've lost Podrasi. all of their alliances as well. They have they? Oh yeah, yeah they have. Ooh, that's they have. Bad. I wonder if at this stage they're basically just going to throw and re-roll. Ooh, Maybe? they might. They might. And the truce is up in fifth in, in November, November this year. So is what? Well, how is Valakia doing? Where is Valakian army? Oh, it's chilling in the uh, Gallipoli. <laughs> Just chilling. Nice Just little chilling. hats there. 
Does that mean that they're expecting something from Armenia? Um, maybe. I think... Because they've they got their own They could also just block. be hiding the army. They could be. That's true, but... I mean, I'm looking... So they're pretty set. They're surrounded by... What are their relationship? What's their relationship with Nitra? They're, so Valakia's allied to Nitra, Serbia, Byzantium. they are kind of got like a bit of a cushy thing there. And then... Meanwhile, we've got a separate block that's sort of formed between Armenia, Georgia, and are they allied to Jerusalem? No. Oh, yeah, they are. So, Armenia, Jerusalem, Theodoro, Zaporozhye, and the Knights. Yes. So, that's probably, hopefully, going to be the next really big war. I and mean, if it does explode. And Armenia and Jerusalem are like this. Yeah. They've, they've, yeah. Yeah. Because uh, Armenia, I believe, was the killed there. When the yep, they so they, they popped into the Caucasus mm. and they immediately started talking to Cyprus, which is now Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember the, the uh, Cyprus players being like, Armenia has been really pulling their weight. They've yeah. been a very reliable uh, ally and, you know, they, they're nice to work with. So yes. I think that is going to last the whole land. Like they, they're... they're They've built up so much IRL trust that yeah. it's not going to break. I hope so too. I mean, player I war, player war, player war in oh, Andalusia. I don't know if it's a real one. It's Andalusia versus Livonian Order, which makes me think it's just going to be... Yeah, they're just like trying to take Galicia. So they're just like further consolidating their territories. Yeah. Um, and... Why yeah. is the Livonian Order in? Oh, because... Liv oh, okay. Yeah, there's yeah. going to be a lot of wars with the Livonian Order. Because the Livonian Order is the defender of the Catholic faith. Yep. So it's uh, it's going to be 12 months and then they peace out. Yeah, they're yeah. just going to sort of sit there and, yeah. Blue flame, but a fake flame. Well, Wait, yeah. there's another one. Fake news. Wait, really? Oh, Bavaria, something's happening there. What is going on? Is this something to get excited? They're attacking Munster. Hey, this is an actual player war. And Livonia Order is being called into that one as well. So we've got Bavaria... Oh yeah, With. but but Munster Munster got uh, moved to Mut Mutapa, I think. So Oh, uh, so is it AI Munster? Yeah. Oh, wait. No, it's not. No, it's definitely a real player war. Hold on. Yeah, it should be because there's um blue Wait, flames. no, 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 no. No. Uh, no, it's not. Oh, the blue flames are because Livonian orders. Yeah, yeah I, okay. I was confused by Hesse because it's in the same location. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> oh, yeah, Munster is, I mean, Hesse is Munster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so Munster's not a player. I think the Livonian order, because they are the defender of the Catholic faith, are going to end up having the most player wars Um out, out of the entire land. Yes. Now, like, Gotland was a... <laughs> Gotland started off having a whole bunch of player wars because of all their AI allies, but Livonian Order is definitely taking the cake on that one. Yes, we've seen a lot of Livonian Order adjacent... Hey, Gotland's back as well, is it? Yep, yeah, as a vassal. As a vassal of Saxony, <laughs> as you do. There we go. Yeah, what is... So, Saxony, they were Holy Roman Empire. They're still Holy Roman Empire, and... They basically just completely rearranged the empire to their, to in their favor, which you know as you do. Um, and they're just chilling, as I far as I can tell. How the reformation? Oh, of course, I'm looking at Shinto, so I couldn't <laughs> see. <that. laughs> I was like, wait, what is this? The reform desire is 108 percent right now. There is no Protestantism as of today. But it could it could fire at any given time now. Mm -hmm. And Nitra has got some Shinto provinces as well. I wonder if they'll keep them or if they're going to convert them. I don't think they're converting them at the moment. Oh, they are. They are? They're trying to convert. Oh, okay. My tab. Oh, oh, sorry. Yes. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, yeah, they no, are converting. No, no, no. They're trying to. Oh. So they're trying to spawn rebels out of it because they put their ah. uh, missionary maintenance on 0% so it, it never actually finishes. Smart. Okay, so Nitra is going to become Shinto. Shinto as That's well. Wait, <laughs> you know, Shinto is pretty cool. Like, it gives you morale of armies. Uh, you can get... You get... How, how does the incidence work if you're in Europe? I wonder about that. Does Shinto. it just work the same way? 
I guess it does. How many years has Grandest Land been going on? In actual real time? Um, when was the first Grandest Land? Do you remember? 2017. I feel like it was earlier. 2016? 2017? 20, 20 this the is the seventh, seventh year. year. So 2016, yeah. Yeah. I think. 2016? <laughs> is that correct, Max? 2023 minus 2016. I don't know about the stream. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's 2023 now. So three, four, 2016. 2016. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> chat, saying, chat is saying 2017, so... 2017 is what chat is saying. All right. I mean, there's... Is that what I said originally? I think you did. Yeah. I think, I I think did. you're right. Yeah, you did. <laughs> you're good. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and 2017, in this very castle, it was uh, my, 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 my. That was a whole bunch of uh, magic right there. <laughs> Did Bavaria start Shinto or have they imported from Japan? I actually think it might be some uh, game master yeah, shenanigans. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. 100% game master shenanigans. Yeah. Oh, there's more blue flames. Yeah, okay. Valachia. Valachia is, uh, is dying to. Uh, or sorry, Moldavia, no, Moldavia is dying, is dying, to, dying to. Okay, yeah. so yeah, as we. I think we called it. Moldavia was going to be the next to get kicked out there. Yep. I can't see them. I mean, they're gonna they're gonna try to defend. Let's see. Let's have a look at how they're definitely outgunned. Yep, and out general. Look at that, Valakian general six six two two. My God, goal oriented. Uh, I don't think they're gonna try and fight this. Like, how do you try and fight this? You can. I mean, I guess they could take like maximum amount of loans and try. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bankruptcy looming as a wait, how is that possible? Um uh, 14 ducks. Go bankrupt. Yeah, oh Generally. god, the quality of Moldavia's armies compared to Malachia as well, just tragic. Very sad. This is gonna be it's not gonna be pretty. They're just not even trying. No, I don't th <laughs> I, I think they're just trying to consider where they're going to move now. Yes. That's the <laughs> just moving their troops out of the way and Sad. Flory at that land is the reason we have endgame tag mechanics. Oh man, that is not true. That's not how that works. This is the same as the uh, the 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 Death March and or uh, the Hussite infantry combat ability nerf. Like it's not because of an MP. It just happens, guys. It's not. <laughs> it's never something I do. He's oh, innocent. there's a battle. They're they're trying. They're uh, gonna fight. They're trying with no leader. Oh, it's a no leader versus no leader army right now. <laughs> they might actually. Oh no, they're and there we go. That. No, they're reinforcing. They're there cool. is Alexander. Oh God. Okay, that, that is was a massacre. A wipe. <laughs> <laughs> you hate to see it, folks. I mean, it. I don't, like, what are you gonna do? Um, they're at max loans yeah, right now. Yeah. So someone someone asked about um, Zaporizhia. So there's a few. We should, if someone has in chat or someone watching has a list of, the GM would definitely have a list of all the changes that were made. So for this Grandest Land, we actually like, well, we, like the GM actually made a mod. So a few things have been changed. A few game mechanics have been changed. Um, one of them was that, yeah, Zaporozhia started as a released vassal. Um, and then Navarra had two provinces and some of the stuff that I can't remember. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I mean, I think you pretty much summed up most of that's it. The, that's, the, that's the main sort of thing. Um, Hold on. Papal State is currently fighting against France. Okay. So we've got an actual player war. No, France declared war. So France is now going for the Pope. I don't think it's going to yeah. end well for them. No. Not at all. <laughs> France, who now also has a massive Cornwall uh, vassal, by the way, in the, over in England. So, uh, <laughs> so much for, for Welsh-British domination. That is not happening today. But they are allied. They are allied. So it, it, it seems like it's coordinated. Um, is the Pope going to fight back? Hmm. No Here mechanic or, or... No, they're just uh, sitting in Sicily right now. Yeah, sorry. I almost cut you off. Um, so someone is asking more about the changes. No balance, mechanical balance changes. I'm not sure if there are like balance changes to like the core, but there there are little things like, for instance, the, um, the GM nations we have Avalon. So that's kind of like a role play LARPy nation 
in the Isle of Man. And then we've also just got a general sort of like GM, please don't touch us, we're hiding, sort of like nation of <laughs> Kodian, which is just Far East and Siberia. And we were saying earlier it would be really funny if like Zaporozhia's, the reason they're snaking so far east is so they can just like get I up to Kodian and I mean, end the game early. <laughs> I wonder if they even know. No, they do know. I think all okay. this is like, I think we like publicly communicated it beforehand. Right. right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, maybe. Someone asks if community management is sort of like a PR job. I don't know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say so. I'd say it's kind of like PR in reverse. So where PR is sort of like going down to the community, community like ambassador is kind of like going up from the community. Ideally, I don't oh. know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know. It's my job. <laughs> it's my job. It's well. Everyone has like a really different approach to how they do it, and like it right. depends. And like it's something like EU that has been so heavily influenced by the community, both like directly and indirectly, mostly directly for like many, many years. Um, definitely like any kind of community work is gonna be more about sort of, yeah. Oh, and oh. Uh, Navara is fighting Andalusia here. So th the, the Iberian uh -oh. Thunderdome is going down and it seems like Andalusia uh -oh. has, uh, they're storming in right now. I'm gonna take a look at the Navaran army. <laughs> um, there, okay. Uh oh. Okay. Whoa, all right. There you go. That, that is the sad. end of Navarre. They're either going to move to the new world now or pick a new country. Have they picked exploration? Well, they have. they've still they've still got <laughs> maybe Well, look right now, they've actually moved all their I don't know if they ever had any troops in Iberia. It seems like before the war. They moved them all or to, at some point to Ireland. To, to Ireland. Yeah. So they probably are maybe they'll hold on. It could be predetermined, although if it were like if it were arranged, then why would they be sieging down? So I think this is like a yeah okay. an actual war that they thought they couldn't win. Yeah. So they just moved their army, and uh, can they even afford this right now? Okay, they're oh. not like over the force limit too much. So, um, are they colonizing anything? They haven't explored well, yet. Well, they've got. They've taken exploration ideas and expansion ideas, so maybe they're Ye looking to play that angle yeah. and go to the new world. They've got vision of not much. Not much, no. Nothing, no. really. Uh, it, it could be that they've just decided to go... Uh, <laughs> yeah, they haven't taken... They've only actually taken one idea itself. In expansion, yeah. yeah. In expansion. So they, ca they can't get a colonist quite yet. Or, sorry, an explorer mm -hmm. right yet. They did not have... Oh, they had quality ideas before. Yeah, so they've just I essentially mean, just refunded them and just gone for a colonial build, I yeah, guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is why they got their backup plan of Ireland, right? So, uh, I mean, I guess they could get an explorer using the estate interaction, but that's so niche. Like, I learned about that, uh, I think, like a few weeks ago. We've got a photo here as well of the current... Um, <laughs> the state of the Papal States desk... They are AFK. They're not even sitting at that desk <laughs> oh, right now. They're no. just like, they've fled. They're like, you know what? <laughs> I'm out of here. And yeah, they're just, they've got their troops in Sicily and, oh, they're exiled. Oh yeah, they're exiled because France has just like occupied everything. Oh, because they unconned. They unconditionally surrendered. So now they their armies oh, are yeah. exiled. Wait. Oh, I guess it doesn't update. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. if you un unconditional surrender, I yeah, think yeah. that's how, how you yeah. get exiled the armies like this. So now France has to peace out, uh, otherwise they suffer the uh, the war exhaustion penalty. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I'd say ever since that provincial war, uh, the Pope's been done because the writing was on the wall, unless they got some sort of coalition to help them out. Like Maybe, possibly. Um, they they could have maybe held on to Sicily, but what's the point? Because you can hold there and maybe win a few battles, but you're not going to win the war. And if you do win the war, how are you going to win the next one? Because then you have to deal with Provence and you have to deal with uh, and, and the Lucia and that whole uh, block. And especially with France declaring, it's 
it wasn't going to end up well. It's funny to me that uh, France is actually taking Terracina now. <laughs> I wonder how their relation with Provence is holding up. They've, they've, they've been friends since the start of the game, but uh, since the start of the game, I've been thinking that they're going to betray each other. But so far, it seems to be holding up. So far? I mean, I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't have seen the Provence betrayal. <laughs> I it, thought that was a bit mean. <laughs> Itali <laughs> Italians backstabbing Italians <laughs> in French Italy. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> um, for some reason, France released Bourbonnais. I think. Yeah. They've released them as a as an appanage. As no, an no. Appanage. Pro Provence. It's a provincial appanage. Sorry. They're a provincial appanage. That's I did I not it. know that you could create appanage as non-France. But I guess all you need is French culture. I though. think so, yeah. So, that Navarran... So we had a little bit of Navarra that was still in the Iberian Peninsula, and you can see it's now... It's gone, pretty much. So... Oh, it's now Asturias. It's Asturias, so... Did they release it as a vassal? Oh, yeah, so they're a vassal of Navarra, actually. Right. All right, and they've got... Yes. Yeah, they moved their capital to uh, to Ireland. They fully, fully, you know, exodus out of uh, Iberian Peninsula. They are 100% looking to explore and get out of Europe, I think. Which is commendable. Like, I really... They could easily just go the way of um, how we've sort of seen, like, other nations go where things seem really dire and they're kind of just like, ah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, just re-roll. But, um, you know, I like that they're holding on and, and I like that they're trying to escape. It, they've been holding on the whole game because they almost died to Castile and they were like, I don't know how we're gonna fix this. How, how are we gonna do it? We, we have no hope. And then they somehow turned it around. Well, they turned it around with a little bit of GM help. But uh, <laughs> they kept trying, you know? Like, Yeah. I think, actually, I heard, but I didn't think it actually happened in game. Um, they were going to flip to another religion. I think they were going to go Norse or something. Yes. Yeah. 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 But I don't, I, didn't, I don't think we ended up seeing that, which is a shame. I mean, a couple of their provinces flipped Norse. But yeah. They, they're still very much uh, Catholic. The, the provinces are all Norse, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's very sick. He sounds a bit like, I have, I have a little bit of a cold. I have a little bit of a cold, yeah. <laughs> but I think I sound mostly different because of uh, uh, the, the microphone being all yeah. professional, you know. <laughs> We've got four nations, I think, in the British Isles. No, we have one, two, three, four... Five? Five player nations in the British Isles, because <laughs> France is there now. Well, by virtue of their Cornish... Wait, no, what? Why is that showing up as a player nation? Uh, a because Cornwall it's a vassal of uh, France. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, by virtue of their Cornish vassal, France is also in the British Isles. So, <laughs> that's pretty nice. We've got... What oh, are the man. actual, like, alliances there? I mean, they are allied to all of them so far. They are, yeah, so far. Ex except, uh, except France. France. Yeah. yeah, France is sort of like the outlier there. But everyone else is sort of, you know, they're all friends. Um, but yeah. What else are we looking at? Hesse. Hesse war. is a player word right now. Oh, uh, let's go take a look. Uh, it, wait, to take Bohuslan. Oh, this is a real one. Every time I look over at the Livonian Order, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, it, it might not be a real player war, but this is a real player war. It's the Livonian, uh, Livonian conquest of Bohuslan. And uh, so far, it seems to be doing... They seem to be doing very well here. Um, I mean, it just started off. If you take a look at the alliance, they are outnumbered almost two to one. Oof. But it is the Livonian order. You know, it, it 
last year they were Riazan, and it took it took like six six teams to even make a dent to them. So that was that was amazing. They were a huge Russia. Yeah, yeah. And now they're in Scandinavia, where they pretty much have no competition. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Then what are their ideas like? So they took uh, quantity and religious. Okay. And they have, of course, the uh, Livonian knight ideas, which giving them a little bit of extra discipline there. Um, Saxony is looking at court ideas. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> uh, court and uh, fully fleshed out offensive ideas, though. So. Livonia has 83% tradition, so they've, yeah, they've definitely been working at that, working on their armies. If you take a look at the army quality, uh, Zaprugia is sitting at, wait, is Zaprugia in this? No, they're not. <laughs> Yeah, I was about to say like that. <laughs> All right, so the Saxony morale is sitting at 4.5 and the Livonian order is sitting at 5. So Papal Blessing, Power Projection, AT. Uh, I, I'd say the Livonians have this unless some, even though they're outnumbered 2 to 1, uh, unless some weird diplomatic shenanigans start happening. Where is the Saxony army? Okay, they are looking to like form up and charge into uh, Scandinavia, but they they're going to need to coordinate stuff here. Um, Nitra, Switzerland. I mean, if if they do coordinate, they could probably they could probably defend against this, but I don't know if they're like dragging their feet or what they're doing, but. Let's have a look. Just look at the chat cord at you. <laughs> oh, so a new Catholic player has entered in the sense that Byzantium is now Catholic, but happened a while ago. I think it did happen a while ago. Yep, yep. Byzantium is now Catholic. So, <laughs> funny story about Byzantium. They wanted to do uh, the Latin Empire. But uh, the Ottomans never declared on Byzantium, and they like they tried everything. They tried deleting their army. They tried um, uh, uh, canceling all of their alliances, and the, the Ottoman AI just refused to declare war on Byzantium. So they were sitting there like, "What? Why? <laughs> what Why is are happening? you not declaring no. war on me? <laughs> yeah. You have a CB. Come on, AI, let's do it." But they, they just didn't. That was yeah. That was. <laughs> That was sort of sad because, like, uh, I don't know. I feel like I've seen a lot of like Latin empires in like a normal single player game, but they just couldn't. They couldn't pull it off. They, but they now they're finally Catholic. It. Yeah, yeah. So it's like a Latin empire without being a Latin empire. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we have some more oath breakers. Ooh. Mornings, mornings. Is this the name of an alliance? The morning. Mornings. I mean, I don't like mornings. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to no CB mornings. <laughs> I just I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not sure who's the oath breaker there. But <laughs> I can't. Yeah, I'm not. It's, it's, it, it's a little bit hard to tell. That. I see Merlin. Oh, okay. And the spy master. Henceforth, the morning. Sh I think it's actually the morning shall be known as a heretic. Like I think it's genuinely the morning. It really is. It just they just hate mornings. <laughs> mornings. They actually don't like mornings. <laughs> they. I think that's what it is. <laughs> that's how I'm reading it anyway. <laughs> Next up is Mondays. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's asking to see more of the player wars. There's not, they're not, I wouldn't say they're like direct player. Oh, actually, no, there's, 
Something I mean, there's like the that. Livonian Order, they do, big there player is that. Order, but they there's sort of not much. There's not a lot of combat going on here. Uh, Livonian Order is just casually sieging down all of Scandinavia, and uh, Saxony. Uh, where is their army? Are they? They're still just chilling in Saxony. I think they're like discussing how to approach this because uh, they are. They're actually. On the border with the Teutonic Order. Which is also in that war. So maybe they're like preparing to go in. Maybe they're waiting for technology. Let's go take a look. So Tech 9 is coming up. And they would have enough uh, points for it next year. Uh, does And the Teutonic Order has Tech 9. This explains why there's no fighting. They they are assuming if we fight now, we're going to lose. So they were waiting for Tech 9 to like catch up in tech. And they're probably like thinking right now, like we have to make a move S somehow. Like we have to do something. So they're going in with a tech disadvantage. How is Hesse's technology? Hesse is on Tech 9. So it's it's only Saxony that's like behind. But they do have fully fleshed out offensive ideas. That is also probably the reason why they're behind in tech, because they've been spending all their points. Mm -hmm. um, I wonder... I'm assuming the Livonian Order knows about this. Where's the Teutonic Order army? Okay, it's it's coming down. It's coming down. So we're going to see a very big battle over in the... Oh, God. What's happening? Ino Vratslav? Ino... Ino <laughs> Inno Wroclaw. I, I think. <laughs> Inno Wroclaw. <laughs> that, that, that. <laughs> Can we? Kuyavia. <laughs> and the, on this fort. Okay. On we this fort. That's how we're calling this it. This fort. <laughs> That's, I mean, I don't know. We can, can we get any opinions on Flory's pronunciation? It sounds normal to me, but also I'm not Polish. So. Inno Wroclaw. Inno Wroclaw. I don't, or, that's um, probably not. That's not even close. Vratlau. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It was good. It was good. Oh, really? No way. Amazing. There oh you my go. God. I did not expect that. Whoa, to be that's good. that's unanimous. That was really Clo good. Oh, close, close enough. enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The Swiss are now also here. The Swiss morale, though. If we take a look at the Swiss morale, they're very good at fighting. They, uh, but they uh, their morale outstrip. is uh, sitting at 3.3, whereas the Teutonic Order and Livonian Order is closer to 5. So, oh boy, this is going to be... Oh, 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 and it's happening. It's happening. Pomerania is marching in. And let's go. We're off. So we have the terrain bonus because uh, there is a... I Not sure why there's the terrain bonus. Probably. Oh, 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 there we go. And we have a 4 3, 5 to 8. We've got some good Saxon rolls. Some good Saxon rolls. Is there more backup for this? Yes. There is We've more backup got some for this. Backup. So, so two tons are about to reinforce. They're reinforcing Ooh. very well. Uh, let's go. Nine, nine, ah. Oh, they're not gonna be there on time. They're not gonna be there no, on time. They're gonna make the, it. The Nitra, it's Nitra over. was too slow. Nitra was too slow. The, the 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 order team has it. So we have <laughs> the order team and the German team, I suppose. <laughs> the two. Well, I mean, Pomerania is on the Teutonic Order side, so okay. I mean, this looks this looks very pleasing to the eye. I mean, I wonder what Saxony was even thinking going into Scandinavia, like. How how are you going to defend I, this? I have no idea. I It's something I would do because I just wouldn't want the Livonian Order to get away with it, you know? Like, because, I don't know. I think this is going to be a huge problem if they actually sit there and wait for the Livonian Order to just, like, get really big. Yeah. And they also, like, if you're playing in, in, in central Germany, you're going to get boxed in. Yeah. And especially, like, with all these alliances, it's going to be very hard to pull a player war off, mm. right? Because everyone's, like, constantly, like, paying attention to everything, and they have uh, alliances that go, like, across the globe. 
So if you're just sitting there, eventually you're going to get boxed in and you're not going to be able to expand anymore. So Scandinavia doing this move uh, gives them a port and a way to reach out to other parts of the world. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, it does. But now they're probably going oh. to end up losing this unless... Let's have a quick I mean, look at I mean, they do the still outnumber them. Wales. Not that much, though. Let's have a quick look at Wales because they've had a bit of a comeback. They've... Hold on, did we miss a player war here? Because I feel like Hamburg... Holland, at least, had more... I feel like Holland had provinces up in the in the north. Um, did they? Did they? Someone did. I think if they did, they must have sold it because yeah. they never courted it. Well, there was no war, right? So they must have... Yeah, they've just given them to the Welsh, basically. Uh, let's see. It was Hamburg. Oh, Hamburg had the provinces, yeah. Yeah. December last year. Okay. Do they have a truce? No, they don't have a truce. So it, w it was sold. It was a diplomatic move. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Flory knows all about numbers. Doesn't matter after his recent Zoroastrian Persian. Oh, man. Num numbers matter, man. <laughs> oh, God. Big battle. Very big battle over here. Um, Livonian Order is reinforcing and Nitra is again late to the party. <laughs> oh, well, I They're think they might make it. They might make time. it. They might. If they move now. But yeah, there we go. They're in. That, that, that's too late. It's too late. <laughs> they must be yelling at them so hard right now. <laughs> oh, and there you go. <laughs> now they're going to... Th this is a wipe. This is a wipe. 100%. Oh, yeah. That's bad. Wait, how much time do they have? Four days? Oh, okay, they'll survive. Maybe. Oh, it's close. Okay. It ain't gone. Big ass. Oh! How did... Huh? Did they get stuck somehow? Stuck? I think yours is delayed. Oh, did they, did they retreat to the same... How did that happen? <laughs> retreat bug. They got retreat bugged. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, no. That's... Oh, man. That's annoying. <laughs> That's good. Okay, we'll have to take a note of that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make a Jira. <laughs> but make a Jira. Make yeah. a Jira. <laughs> <laughs> make a bug report. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, so uh, originally the Germans had a, a two to one advantage. I think Pomerania got called in later. Uh, but now it's looking very much on the Livonian order side. I, like I said, when they were outnumbered five to one, they still, they still survived uh, last year. So I was not expecting a, uh, I was not expecting a Livonian slip up here. I, yeah, I mean, it's still looking pretty good for them. If I were to say so myself, you can't win them all. The Pope is leaving Europe. Our legacy of Catholicism lives on. The burden of keeping and defending the faith passes on to you, my children. <laughs> Please join together and unite against all heathens. Ooh. And who are their children? Because definitely Catholic influence is waning. Aside from picking up waning. Byzantium as, you know, having them flip to Catholic, that's that's going to help. Byzantium and also Wallachia used to be... I, I, Pretty sure they were either planning on flipping Catholic or they used to be Catholic, but now they're full on Orthodox. They Oh wait, hold on. They have Catholic zealous. They are flipping they are Catholic flipping. right now. Yeah. Meanwhile, Nitra is busy flipping Shinto. They're helping out in this war, but they're like helping, right? They're not they're more busy trying to flip Shinto, but th at the same time this war is going on. Now they have to unseize their capital because if they don't. Uh, after 24 months, they're going to enforce demands. And uh, they are very close to doing it. Five months from now, he's got a breach in the wall. They're going to have to assault because he's not going to make it in five months with a negative 21%. And they're assaulting. There you go. Nitra's making some headway in 
flipping to Shinto as well. So they've got Shinto Zealots. Yeah. So that will have Shinto Mitra soon, which is going to be interesting. So, They're not so it's not it. necessarily Catholics. Oh, sorry. I'm diverting from the actual. Oh, no, no. You're talking <laughs> about the same thing. No, no. I was talking about like the meta game. Oh, right. Yeah. Because, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, oh, whatever it is. Because um, I thought it was just going to be this, um, the Holy Islamic Empire versus the Catholics. But I wonder if it's going to be more about just like the anti-Catholic coalition. Ooh. Oh, that's painful. Oh, but the reinforced came in just on time. The Swiss got reinforced and now we have the Zaxxons coming in. Uh, do they have more backup? Do they have more backup? No, this is it. This is it. Nitra is busy uh, assaulting his capital to protect themselves from Shinto Zealots. But this battle is going on and it... Doesn't look like they have this. Do they have the second battle? Nope, they don't have the second battle either. It's all... Oh, man, it's all going downhill for the German alliance over here. And they retreated into the battle. They retreated into the battle, so they're not going to reinforce. And they're not going to get their morale back. Uh, it's looking very grim. It's looking very grim for them. <laughs> I wonder... I wonder if they're, like, shouting at, at Nitra right now. Like, come on! Help us out. <laughs> and Nitra's just like, I'm sorry. I'm trying to busy. I, I, I'm busy flipping to a Japanese religion. I, I can't help you in your war right now. <laughs> but once they do, they'll get extra morale. So. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I kind of feel for Nitra. Like, they're trying to, like, switch religion. And then this war happened. And now they have to... Like, Divert their attention. I wonder what the Bavarians are looking to do here. Because they are allied to Nitra. I wonder what they what their opinion about this whole war is. Because on the one hand, they might want try to like keep their alliance and uh, stay friends with Zaxi. On the other hand, they could be like, you know, rubbing their, their hands together, like, okay, okay, I, I'm going to get some more uh, German territory. I'm just gonna invade Saxony now. Do they have a truce with them? They don't. Do they have a CB? They don't. Okay. I mean, there's there's always the best CB, but there there I, I mean I feel like I feel like they could be gumming for something. It, it, it looks like they're aiming to go into some sort of conflict. They have a huge army compared to the others. Like they're looking at uh, seventy one. They've got seventy one force limit. Quality economic. This is uh, this is looking tasty, man. Bavaria is looking very pretty. And we have another battle. Right as the siege was at forty-two percent, it was almost going to finish. Let's see here. Is Nitra here? Nitra is standing by. <laughs> I feel like they would have won so many battles if everyone was just in it, but yeah. coordination has not been on point here. <laughs> it's not. A, it's not a good time to be dealing with. I mean, they're coming slowly. They are now moving. Slowly, in. surely, surely. <laughs> and they're on time. They're on time. Yes. So with the twenty-four thousand Saxons. <laughs> Nitra is retreating out! Nitra is oh, retreating no. out! No way! You don't make this up! He is... Oh my god! And it's so close! Oh my it's god! It's so close! That was a bad what? click. That was bad. I Do you reckon they thought... They were like, oh, it's over. It's they over. are 100% god damn it. doing this on purpose. You reckon? Yes! No, there is no way. There is actually no way. That is they too much. They retreated out of the battle. They, they made some sort of deal. There's no like, way. They are actually betraying oh them my god. so hard right now. <laughs> that is no way. There is no way you would do that unless you were like actually planning to betray Saxony, which makes sense. It makes sense that they're doing that because, I mean, they're neighbors and they're friends and they probably have like oaths together. Like, oh, we can't fight each other for x amount of years well if you can't fight each other for x amount of years you can let someone else kill that person and then you can expand into the yes. terrain like oh my god nitra That's... oh that is nasty that, oh, is, that nasty. is some game of and, thrones but <laughs> as we've seen as well though like having these like self-serving players it's not really worked out in the past maybe yeah yeah i don't uh, know I we'll mean, see how that goes i don't know how the others saw that but 
I'm seeing this as that like, was that, that was crazy. I legit betrayal. thought I thought that was like a misclick or like they were like, oh, we're not gonna make it in time or. I mean, they, but, but the, why would you? <laughs> because they didn't make it on time on the first battle. They yeah. didn't make it on time on the second battle. Then they make it on time on the third battle because, it, I mean, if they didn't, they were the army was <laughs> right there. So they they like moved in and then they retreat out. There is no reason to do that unless you are like actually right. throwing on purpose. <laughs> like there is actually no reason. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> That's that's just mean. I, I really wonder. I really wonder <laughs> what what Zaxony and uh, and Hess are thinking right now, like about the whole Nitra situation. If they, I mean, if they didn't make a deal with the Teutonic Order to like throw the war on purpose, then um, I'm pretty sure after this war ends, there's going to be some sort of punitive action taken against them. Oh. Like, they're going to instantly declare war on Nitra. They could even be um, brought before the court as well. Oh, maybe. Yes. I, I, I'm not I, sure. Oh, what, maybe, yeah. I'm not sure what the consequences are for that. There's usually, like, a sword fight or something, and I don't know how it works. Shinto Europe, here we go. Yeah, actually, you know what? Maybe. Well, hey, Nitra is officially flipped to Shinto as well. So that happened at some point. Wait. Um... They're Shinto Are they now. now? Oh, yes. Yes, yeah. they're actually Shinto. So, there we go. We've got another major Shinto power. And are we going to see that expand? Oh, and we have another battle. And uh, there's... Uh, I just said, I just realized, I was like, well, that just happened. <laughs> <laughs> well, that just happened. Well, that just happened. <laughs> He's right behind me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this. <laughs> they're pulling it back. They're pulling it back. They won a battle. I think that was their first one battle of the war. And yeah, there's no reinforcing this. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right now, uh, they are outnumbered again, two to one. If we took a look at, took a look at the army casualties, it's, it's actually kind of equal. Yeah. But it is, they are now at number two to one. So they, they're going to need better uh, uh, better KDA than this. Let's. I'm going to have another look at how their armies are going. I mean... They do have 40% more five. score. They're very close yeah. to... Yeah, they're over five. Morale now is 99% tradition. They're, I mean, their armies are good. Their armies are good. and. But is that enough? Is it... Is it as simple as like quality versus quantity? Is that? I mean, it's also like be where you need to be on time, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you know, don't retreat out of uh, one battle. <laughs> <laughs> but I think they still have this. Uh, they're out of manpower, but they do have forty percent worse. They're very close to stab hitting. Oh, stab hitting Zaxony. They're sieging. Are they gonna go for? How is their money situation? They haven't taken a single loan. And they can still hire all these mercenaries. Do they have professionalism? Yes, that's probably withholding them from going full merc. Uh, they were trying to win the war without using mercenaries to keep the professionalism. But I think at some point they're going to have to decide to go full ham, you know? Mm. Nitra has a thousand ducats. Poor Marinia not looking good. And they're sitting at half the force limit. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's safe to say Nitra is not trying to win this war. This is not a priority for them at all. <laughs> they, everyone else is busy sieging down Pomerania. And they just, oh, yeah, there you go. There you go. There, we see a massive military buildup right now. <laughs> and we have another battle over here with uh, this beautiful I wonder if that's what's their army tradition now? 53 so they must have gotten the 100 tradition general event because I don't see how else you're going to get 3 stars there's 3 battles going on oh. simultaneously and, and it looks good. like 
they're going to lose all of them unless there's some sort of domino effect that they can do. Oh, they've reinforced up there. They've they might reinforced win. the the capitals. <laughs> the battle, oh, the battle of Super Mac. <laughs> the the Super Mac. <laughs> <laughs> right, because a lot of countries change their capitals to the name of a burger, and it looks like... Oh, burger oh, oh, shit! Man. Saxony Point has reinforced! Zero for morale. They reinforce just on time. Are they going to make it to this battle? They they've are. got a three-star the general. Now they've got another three-star on the other side, so they're... Oh, that's rough. I don't think they're going to... Yeah. Six shock on both of them. No good. No. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Oh, no good for the Pomeranians. <laughs> Oof. Now they're just cleaning up. I mean, at some p oh, there you go. Livonian Order has decided <laughs> to hire the independent army, so they have uh, they're setting up. And the siege of Super Mac continues. <laughs> but with Livonian down. Order deciding to hire mercenaries, I think this war is going to take another turn, uh, because like they have the quality, and they have uh, the mechanics, and they have the leader. The only thing they were missing was a mound of units. Mm. And he's hiring mercenaries right now. They, they don't have a single ducat of debt. They can keep this war up for a very long time. And I think if, uh, if both of them start hiring mercenaries, then it'll turn around for them again. Because if we take a look at the, uh, the Swiss, they've hired the independent army. They've hired the uh, free Swiss guy. They're all mercenaries. <laughs> Which, uh, you know, it's Switzerland. It makes sense. <laughs> you just buy it. No, not that far over the force of it, actually. Uh, how is Saxony doing, that wise? Only five loans. And Hesse is also only on four. Nitra's so Shinto project, it was a success. So they're officially Shinto now. Yep. Oh, and there is a wall breach. Is this special terrain? No, it's just grassland. I think they'll try and stop this. They're gearing up right now. They're ready. They're ready for that river to be crossed. So they'll have the bonus for they'll have the defensive bonus. They'll have the terrain, the river crossing penalty. Okay. Yep. Yeah. They. Uh, oh no, they're crossing over. Okay. I thought they were going to wait. Oh, uh, because it's a castle. I mean. They have they they try to prevent the siege from from progressing. From happening or progressing, yeah. I think the Livonians have this. There's no way. Look at the amount of units. There's so many. And uh, oh, the yeah, German side is all reinforced in, and they still have so many units left in reserve. Took a look at the 40,000, 49 in reserve, and there's still a bunch back there. Yeah, no, they're they're absolutely cleaning up now. There's there's no way they're they're not. Could Nitra be coming in to the rescue? <laughs> oh gosh. Well, what are they doing? No, Nitra's actually just they they're just sitting there doing nothing. Their troops are completely stationary right now. They're in the Carpathians. And we they're have victory for away. the orders. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there we go. Livonians, your faith in them, unwavering, and I think you put money on the right players. I, I Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, when I saw that they had such high professionalism, I was... Uh, wait. Oh, we've got to pause. we got to pause. Is someone respawning? And we're unpausing, okay. A3. Wait, who is that? Did someone get annexed? Mutapa will rejoin as Putua. Okay. Okay, all right. I wonder why they yeah, did that. There probably why. nothing was, not much was happening. Oh, oh no, oh. They, they were probably having to go up against the, was there a? Is a vassal Don't Mutapa? tell me there was a Rassids. No, no, no. I think, I think this is some GM shenanigans over here. Oh, okay. Because they, they, they were this side, size before. Huh. Yeah, it's a good explanation, right? Like whenever something weird happens, we can't explain it. It's, it's like, like oh, uh, it's, it's GM it's shenanigans. The yeah, yeah. No, I, th I think so. There's no way that yeah. this happened naturally. I don't think. Maybe they. Okay. 
Does Butoa have, like, fancy schmancy ideas? Yes, they do. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Hello. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, this is some... What? Okay, I can see why they wanted to do that. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fair. That's oh my <laughs> god, it's... Oh! Okay, there's... We're getting a hot join. Hang on, who's... Is this the... the this is the... This the, is the Butua. Butua, yeah, okay. I think. Yeah, yeah. Flory has a new campaign idea. Yeah, <laughs> man, uh, like, Butua... My goodness. Butua is, uh, like, the Prussia of Africa or something. Like, this... <laughs> it's always... That a... is crazy. <laughs> oh, you could... I guess you could do, uh... Uh, Zulu. Yeah. But how? Ooh. How could you do? Because you'd have to, like, colonize, right? You could actually do that without a hot joint. The Zulu out of Prussia, I'm Africa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, He's cooking. cooking. It's yeah, great I'm to cooking. see us live, like, <laughs> happening live, yeah. I'm just letting you, you don't cook. Need to yeah, I just got Zulu separatists. I, I, that is possible, but... Yeah, we did that once. Zulu needs you to shrink the two provinces, I think. I think you need to... You have to do something weird, though, to get those separate. I don't remember what you have to do. Like, you have to do something with uh, Sofala. Something very weird. And I do not remember how you did that. <laughs> but that, it, 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 it is possible, technically. Technically. And if they get a colonist, they could spawn the Zulu as well, but... Oh, you'd need to watch. You'd need to. You need to like get a degree or something to to, to get the Zulu to work. I'm pretty sure it was very complicated. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> All right, let's see how the uh, Zaxxon War is progressing. Yeah, the the Livonians are pushing it back now. Yeah, I feel like it's a bit of a done deal at this stage. I don't know. I mean, it, I mean, look, never say never, right? But at the same time. They've got, like, Saxony has nearly 10 war exhaustion. They, I don't know. I... They tasted victory, though, which is good for their, That's like, true. IRL morale. That's true. So they might, they're going to keep going un un until they're, like, fully bankrupt, I think. But the risk of doing that is that all of your other neighbors are now going to look at you like, hmm, you know, maybe we can, maybe we can, That's like... That's true. You don't want to show weakness. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, because if they lose, if they win, okay, then someone might jump in on them because they're, like, almost bankrupt. But if they lose, people are going to jump in on them because they just lost. Like, a, oh, okay, they are beatable. We can do this. They're not really exerting much authority as Empire. Oh, um, and Bavaria is now... Uh, uh, speaking of jumping, uh, jumping in on them, Bavaria is now fighting Hesse... Uh, oh. So they are jumping in with a massive 90,000 army. 90,000? Bruh. Almost 100k. Jeez. Almost 100k. They, I, do they have the biggest player army? Possibly. Let's have a look. I can pull that up. Oh, you can. Right. You do. Uh, oh, mine's yes. <laughs> in fact, that is the biggest army in the world. Wait, hold on. There's no way. Yeah, Serbia is in Bavaria as well. So Serbia is getting in on some of this action. And they're currently... I'm only looking at that. Yeah, it, it, is, it is the biggest player army. It's also the biggest army. The, it's bigger than Ming. I was like, where is Ming on this? But uh, it is the biggest army in the world right now. Yes. Oh, my God. Damn. Biggest by far. Biggest, and they have uh, quality economic. So it's, it, it's not only the biggest, but it's also quality-wise very strong. very st And it's looking so pretty, too. <laughs> and they're only slightly over their force limit as well. Yeah, only slightly. They, they, they were planning for this for, for a while. Like they, they are set up. They have five loans, which I'm assuming... Yeah, they're estate loans. So they, they are ready for this, man. And look at this. Is this going to be a wipe? No, just barely not. Just barely not. But they are... Let, let's take a look at their diplomatic memos. 
Why uh, is it is a two front war for them though. Like. Someone asked why Nitra is not in that war. Because they're filthy filthy traders. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else to say. But Nitra <laughs> is not like <laughs> Nitra is not helping anyone. <laughs> <laughs> they're allied with all of these, but they're not they they've already pieced out a Livonia war. Um is this that is a five-year truce, so I'm assuming they white beast out. Yes. I wonder what Nitra is planning, though. Like, who are they going to attack? They're still allied with everyone? But seeing as how they didn't, like, help in the war... Those and alliances they, are fragile, yeah. Yeah, those alliances are pretty fragile. Oh, and we have a big battle going on. I don't... Yeah, I don't know what their play is. You'd yeah, think that they would sort of be... Unless... Bavaria and Nitra are looking to get at the Emperor, maybe? I mean, well, there'll be a huge truce now. Oh, yeah. maybe actually, how long is the truce? So Saxony has... Oh, no, they haven't pieced out yet. But they probably might. Someone said... Um, If we take a look at the... Wait. They, they did peace out. What? Yeah, they peaced out. Okay. And they only they got two provinces. And they just is, pieced out. That's a fifteen year truce as well. A fifteen year truce, but what was the peace deal? Uh Gosla was released. Uh, Pomerania grew a fair bit. Oh, uh, there you go. Yeah. Nitra got some that provinces must be as well. Oh yeah, yeah they got Pomerania Brandenburg, grew a bit and uh, they lost a bunch of stuff in, in Scandinavia. Yeah. Sapni oh ah yeah, Sapni went to Finland. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Oh okay, I, I was trying to figure out how this added up to a hundred percent war score, because I was like, that's two provinces up there and then there's like three in, in Saxony, but and it seems like the German alliance has some bigger fish to fry right now with uh, Bavaria charging in here. Are they all alone in this? Uh, yes. Yeah, they have uh, Münster and the Platina, but they're vassals. Ooh. So Bavaria is now fighting this uh, admittedly uh, beaten up German alliance. Uh, but it, it Serbia was still fresh because they were not in that Livonian order war. And they're having to like the Hessian side, like their their forces have almost doubled since we looked at them like two minutes ago. So they're <laughs> like that's a bit that's almost overkill. <laughs> yeah, and uh, Holland oh, is in oh, this as well. Oh, because the in now as well. Okay, everyone's just ganging up on poor Bavaria. They must feel threatened. I I think. Or maybe they. I mean, just... the fact that they have a ninety. 90,000 army. <laughs> I think they were expecting it. Like, they were expecting... They are also the second They're great the power? second great power, yeah. Right after... Fra why is no one Why is no one being mean to France? Oh, I wish Matthew was here. <laughs> here for this. France being the number one great power. Oh, <laughs> man. Yesterday, I was so worried for them because... um. Uh, they, they were early on, right? And if you're early on, you are immune to uh, coalitions, aggressive expansion, all of that. They got their independence, and they had this massive coalition against them. And I was like, man, I don't know if they're going to survive this. But uh, they did. They did. They sure did. They're still target of a coalition of Navarre. <laughs> Meanwhile, present. Byzantium is just finishing off the Ottomans. That will happen. Oh, actually, let's look. Just for one second. I know we don't want to divert too much, but just showing people how much the Middle East has grown. So uh, it's looking a bit ugly, but oh, that's God. where it is right now. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Armenia's managed to get all the way to the Straits of Hormuz. <laughs> and it ain't pretty. It ain't pretty at all. It definitely ain't pretty. <laughs> <laughs> what am I looking at, man? <laughs> Persia is... Persia, I was looking earlier, and Persia was being overrun by rebels. They were, like, really seriously having trouble. I think, like, 
Rebels were outnumbering them like three or four to one, but they've finally got that under control. Um, and they've also like grown a little bit since. Yeah, so they there's are? a separatist rebel. They are still yeah. Sunni. They're still Sunni. But they, they are looking to switch Zoroastrian. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they are switching Zoroastrian. But I feel like that was a while ago. I mean, I guess because of the speed two, mm. there's <laughs> there's a lot of time to, to to get all the events to fire. Zaporizhia snake. Uh, I don't know if you would. Oh my goodness gracious! Are they yes. Oh, they're still snake. Like they finally all made the it way to, to Mongolia. They have finally made it all the way to Ming. Yeah. When we I looked like a while ago, and it was like, oh, they're kind of near. I think they just made it to Yakan, so they're yeah, they're going full. I really want them to actually go. I don't know. I think it would be funny if they actually try to go for the GM nation. I mean, they can't, but also, it'd be funny to see them try. I mean, they could try. <laughs> I, I don't know what the consequences of that are. I don't. Well, that's why I want to find out. I mean, last year, I think uh, the GM nation. At, at some point, the GM nation did get attacked and and the addicts. <laughs> Wait, really? Which? <laughs> yeah, uh, I think they were. Um. They like made this whole spiel and uh, about needing someone to defend them or liberate them, and <laughs> but yeah, they, they at, at some point they did get annexed. Yes. Yeah. Did Zephyrzia change the Eastern religion and take the Chinese Empire? Potentially. That would be very difficult to do with a snake like that, though. Because uh, you, you, no way you're going to get the, the rebels to walk uh, the way you want them to. And they're going to enter uh, AI territory and then they're going to uh, they're gonna get taken out. So. Oh God! Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> All right, chat. Uh, pretty soon, Merlin's gonna come over, and we're gonna have a live interview. So, if you have any questions for Merlin, the the grand, uh, the 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 greatest wizard that has ever lived, uh, then uh, just uh, no, let us know. <laughs> did you oversleep? No, no, I did not. What is Flory hearing? Voices within his head. He's, I am. he's like doing this whole thing about like, oh, I'm receiving um, communications <laughs> from production team. This, we actually, we don't have a production team. We're just like two people in a laptop. He's just, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm just nuts. <laughs> yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that's true. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, we're going to have um, interviews soon with the, with Merlin. Yep, apparently. yep, yep. So if anybody, yeah. Yeah, and Merlin is the one that's like handing out favors to people and um, you know it, it's basically like whenever people want to do some special things uh, he's the person that they go to the headphones aren't even plugged in yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my god the Bavarian army quality is so so high and they have so many of them and oh that was close that was close that could have been a wipe there i mean they're going to crush this if they can keep it up financially but the problem is they have to fight a two-front war and livonia is now in on this which is really weird to me like, Livonia, who was previously fighting Saxony, is now joining to defend against Bavaria. What happened here? <laughs> Bavaria is now alone against the world. Look at this. My goodness gracious. Three to one outnumbered. Is that three to one? I mean, sort yeah, of. yeah, that's... Oh, and you're not even counting the cavalry. Nope. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, that cavalry is like more like six to one. Big Bavaria. Yeah, I mean, if they pull this off, that'd be Im very impressive. They're building, <laughs> they're building some extra castles. 
to try and hold on. I uh, well, I don't know what their win condition is here. Uh, they they probably have to hope that some of them some of the the players like eventually quit. Like they, they peace out. I mean, when are those castles going to be? Oh, the, uh, the big battle in uh, Rothenburg. Let's take a look here. I mean, these are not. These are not your run-of-the-mill orcs. These are Urukai. They mm -hmm. <laughs> they're fighting the Livonians now. They also have five morale and 113 uh, discipline. So, meanwhile, as well, they <laughs> so they do have an ally in Nitra, but Nitra's just. Nitra's just a loose cannon at this Nitra stage. Nitra isn't ally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Huge battle over here. They do have more reinforcements, but they, there is also the French Condacheri. That are like actual Condacheri. Sometimes you'll rent out Condacheri just to be able to watch the war. But these are... Uh, these are actually helping. Are they helping though? Are they helping? They're not helping. Not moving in. <laughs> You're like, yeah, nah. Nope, Bavaria got that one. Damn. Chalk one up for the Bavarians. And now they need to rush down south quickly to ice hold Zagreb. Are they getting ticking war score here? They are not. They are not. They'd have to hold Nassau for that. Which is all the way over here. Uh, I mean, how do you get out of this? Out of this? Um, I let's mean, have they a prepared for this war with their own armies very well, but diplomatically, they're they're very isolated right now. Especially being only one of two Shinto powers in the region. I mean, they could. Oh yeah. They could maybe try to turn to the Orthodox bloc for help. No, could they? What? And their only ally is Nitra, hmm. which is not, not a real the most ally. reliable of allies. So, <laughs> um, Nitra is not going to help them out with. Well, them. it looks like okay. So they've. Oh no, they're just sort of like turtling at the moment. I mean, they could just sort of focus on a smaller power and try to like get them to peace out. Um, yeah, maybe. I think their biggest weapon is going to be their words now. Like, they need to run around the castle to try yes. and... Oh, and we have a great assembly in four minutes. So, we're going to have a pause soon. So, who knows what kind of weird diplomatic trickery will happen. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder what the assembly is going to be about. Do you know? I, wonder, I have no idea. I've just received word that we have an assembly, so... There, there's been an uh, assembly about oath-breaking. Where people can oath break, but they have to take certain penalties, and then they will not be considered an oath breaker anymore. So, do you reckon they're gonna make make a bit of an example out of Nitro? I don't know. I don't know if this is technically they, could they technically haven't broken an oath. They've like betrayed. Like, I mean, they they joined the war. They, they just did. They joined the war. They didn't attack them, but man, were they cold. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was icy. Especially when they retreated out. That was yeah. that was a that giveaway. Like they were not going to actually help. <laughs> All right. So the the Serbians managed to retake Zagreb, and uh, here we go. Big oh man, that damage! Holy guacamole! I th oh, do they have? I, th I think they have this. Are they even gonna come in on time? When are they arriving? Twenty fourth of May. Okay, they got they got this. Yeah, they, Bavaria can still win. And also, if we look at the economic situation, they only have five. Well, they've got five loans, but they're burger loans, which are essentially, you know, they're not real loans. Yeah, they're. they're, they're, they're it's, 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 free money. it's basically free. It's free real estate. It's. Yeah, no, they're. Bavaria good. Had, had that battle comfortably. Like, he even had 36,000 ready to invade Zagreb. I wonder if they're going to, like. They need to do something. I believe in Bavaria. I think the only thing, the main threat though is, like, so Livonian orders just in the battle by virtue of their position of defender of the fate. Yes, I'm pretty sure uh, that's their main motivation at this stage because they're not really... I mean, they did actually help out. Yeah. But they were just at war with these people. So I... 
So they're not. I'm gonna... not really sure. I mean, I, I, they're pretty big into role play, though. So that's true. Defending the Catholic faith, I think, I think they are like committed to it. <laughs> but what is the Bavarian play? I think they need to uh, like basically von Schlieff and Serbia out of the war because now the Vlaki is in this as well. And uh, also, you gotta imagine that Serbia is not going to um, fight to the end for this. Like, why would they? Unless they were looking to like expand. So if they if they threaten Serbia, to, like a, like half occupy them or something, then Serbia is going to accept the peace deal. I think. Mm -hmm. I think that's probably the the best way out of this. Like, deal with the southern front and then uh, go north because it's 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 gonna be very rough for Bavaria. So just shortly, so we're paused now and we're probably going to take the opportunity soon to do the interview or... I actually can't see all the stream of lights. Uh, we don't know. We're not actually sure. Okay. We're not actually we're sure. We're not pausing for the interview. <laughs> so we're just sitting here and we're going to have a bit of a... have a bit of a think. Have a... <laughs> think not about our actions, but oh, other people's oh, actions. Oh, goodness, the server's lost. Okay. Yeah, we're going to probably have to just... Rehost. Yeah, rehost. Okay. It's all good. Um, yeah. Well, when the game is up, we'll probably get some sort of. Lucky has no forts. I think. Yeah, we'll be rehost. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we can still. Oh, we can still click around. That's good. <laughs> Is there a war going on other continents? Uh, not a player war. This is the only player war that's happening right now. But it's a doozy, man. It is a doozy. I, 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 oh, man. I am rooting for Bavaria because of how pretty it is. And you know, how out of nowhere and how um, they're going all against the world here. But... I'm scared for them, man. I'm scared. I don't know if they'll, they'll manage to pull this off. And I wonder what they're thinking now, too. Because they probably didn't expect to fight this many people. I mean, Hesse and Saxony... Yeah, but... Aw, oh, thank you, Toffee Kex. It's very sweet of you. <laughs> yeah. Was this started from the normal 1444 map? No. Uh, no. There, is, there was a couple of changes. So they, they released Wales. Uh, they removed a couple of provinces from the Pope. And um, what else did they change? You had a very good Zaporozhia. run. Down. Oh, yeah. Zaporozhia was, was, uh, was free. Uh, yeah. Extra province for Navarra. Uh... Probably more stuff. <laughs> I think I don't know. I think we've got we've got a rundown somewhere, somewhere. If I if we don't, I'll make a personal oh, note of it. We do in the uh, forum post. We've got the starting nations, but I don't think we have. Do we have a list of the changes? I think so. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I didn't know that. All right, check the forum. Probably. Post. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I yeah. <don't> know. <laughs> If it's not in the forum post now, we'll put it there. Yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Prediction time. First, Bavaria is going to win the war. The Pope is going to start a merch shop and we will get... Calls. No, 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 we missed a bit. Okay. Oh, wait, oh, the Pope is, the Pope is going to be... <laughs> that was blocked off and we thought this... Because half a chance, so I read it wrong. All right, the Pope is going to reconquest Iberia. And third, Paradox will start a merch shop and we will get cool stuff. Does the Paradox have a cool uh, the mer mer merch shop? Shop? I think the merch shop is down at the moment. Oh, or like I'm not sure. Yeah, huh. we don't not yet, but probably soon. TM. This sweater is so soft. Yeah, you're making me jealous. Don't rub oh. it in. But I got this one. You don't have. Do you have this one? I can wear it under. No, I do have that one. Though. That one. Look, that, 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 that's my favorite T-shirt. That was, that was my. It was my bad for thinking I could go up against Flurry in. <laughs> <laughs> in anything EU, right down to the merch. <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> Will they? <laughs> I, I won't read that one out. Um, I would I would buy the EU for a Christmas sweater. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, someone approached me. <laughs> like, hey, how many 
How many favors do you think I need to spend to get that sweater? <laughs> like, 60. <laughs> <laughs> More than most people buy. have like three favors. Like they're little coins that you can use to like get extra ducats or uh, get help from the GMs or vote in parliament. During every parliament session, you get one favor so you can yep. vote. Oh, yes, yeah, so the Turbo LARP website has a list of the changes made in GameStar. And we have a link to that in the forum post. So, yes, it is in the forum post in a way. There we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> um, and we've just... Oh, we've got another update from... from. It's not really from... High, where they're, they're actually like technically below us, but they're kind of also above us in a like symbolic spiritual way. So, a House of Lords has formed... And any ruler backed by at least five nations, I guess, can Become join their ranks. Oh, okay. Interesting. That's an interesting oh diplomatic my God. play. And it's like better incentive to not kind of go rogue and just become this big superpower. That's that is so funny. I literally talked about that last night. Really? Yes. About how it would be cool to like have certain stations in, in terms of nations. Yeah, like yeah, some, yeah. some of them be... Uh, like prestigiously higher than others and now we have this yeah <laughs> that's hilarious that's good that's gonna be interesting ask merlin in the interview what a player has to do to win the christmas sweater <laughs> <laughs> we well actually like we could ask merlin about how the new house of lords works because i don't yeah. know how that works i, have no I idea. want to know that yeah let's make sure we grill him on that how can it be a House of Lords if they have to be elected to it? That's a very fair point. <laughs> Did they use to sell those? No, no. I'm pretty sure they didn't. Update they just 10. Uh, sent them out. Update 10 on the forum post is perfect. Yeah, so Ryagi, who's the other CA for EU4. So Ryagi and I are the two community ambassadors. Um, Ryagi's been doing some incredible work keeping everyone updated. So if you feel like you're missing something at any point and you're like, oh God, like what's happening? Um, the forum post is an amazing resource. We've kind of got like a bit of a, essentially a live stream. There's also on our, on the EU4 Discord, we've got like a little news feed as well um, for more like instant updates. Uh, so yeah. Good, good, good. Just to like piece it all together. And yeah. I, I was putting stuff up on Instagram stories, but... We've got a live stream there now, so yeah. It, it, it's impossible to to uh, <laughs> to get everything. Yes. If you, it, there's so much stuff going on. Yeah. Like and there there's gonna be like we uh, yesterday I I missed Ferrera dying <laughs> completely, like I didn't even and uh, Gotland uh, did a bunch of stuff which resulted in another player dying. I didn't I didn't see that at all. Yeah. And it's not like I wasn't paying attention to the blue flames or anything. It's just that there's too much stuff. It's th there, there is a lot, yeah. A lo and especially because sometimes you'll have major changes that don't even involve evolve the war. So like, um, yeah, like what we saw earlier with Hamburg essentially giving Wales its Scottish provinces, like that was something that completely went past us. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you caught it pretty quickly though. I, I saw that Wales had grown, but I was like, what? Because there was no player I, war. It yeah, was just... But I completely missed that. Yeah. I was like, oh, it's always like this. But the name placement is completely different. So, like... <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm interested to see what's going to... I just really want the, like, general sort of, like, Middle East area to kick off. Because they're getting big and they're... I don't know. Something needs to happen to Something's Arabia. Because this is, th this is too border gory, man. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> horrible. That's that's. Oh, they can't see. They can only see you. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like looking at you. Like, <laughs> you just, you go. just gotta be there. <laughs> right. <laughs> you have yeah. to be there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because the game is paused. I'm just like chilling, you know. But yeah, look at this. This is not. This is. Well, what even is this? Okay, that's Medina. Ah oh, yes, of course, Medina and Al Arid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm in I'm curious about this um, buffer state of the knights between um, <laughs> Tunis and Jerusalem, like basically existing just to have access to um, 
to the Mediterranean and the um, the Red I'm Sea. Assuming the knights are going exploration. Yeah. So oh, the we can't see your screen either. It's full cam. Okay, so we're gonna have to. We're just on cam. Oh, right now. awesome. Really? All right. Okay. Okay. Wait. Okay. Are we on full cam? On this one? Yes. Hi. Oh, this one. Yeah. This one. Hi Not guys. full flurry cam, so you can't lean anymore. I can't lean anymore. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> chat it is the weirdest thing to be like streaming but like not having everything that i used to have on like the same the single monitor setup that i have so i'm like super <laughs> confused <laughs> like, i don't <laughs> I'm, I'm so out of my element. That's why you had to <laughs> lean over to mine because you need the s safety net feeling of having a second monitor. It's <laughs> like a. <laughs> There's so many screens here. I don't know. <laughs> Professional. I don't know how to handle it. this at all. When will Flurry buy a second monitor? I have one. I use it as a doorstop. <laughs> <laughs> I just. <laughs> All right, all right. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, um, oh, uh, also like, I don't know why I didn't think of this. So since you can't actually see the map right now on stream, but you can actually look at it on Skanderbeg. Yes. Yeah. So, and link to the Skanderbeg <laughs> is on the forum post and I'm pretty sure our amazing GM is gonna be keeping that updated. Pretty, pretty good, pretty good. So uh, who do you guys think is gonna win? Uh, do you think Bavaria is going to win or not? Do you think they're gonna hold on? That is a rough war, man. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw my hat in the ring for Bavaria. I'm gonna say Bavaria because, like, I feel like they've not pulled out all the stops yet. I really, really feel like they're almost baiting the Hessian coalition into this false sense of security. They're gonna get complacent and then oh, I think they're gonna so. suddenly just like murk up and maybe, I don't know. That's that's my prediction. Okay. Probably, probably. Okay. I hope you're right. I hope you're right. It'd be cool. Well, they've got all the castles as well. So, like, I th I feel like they're doing, like, this weird, like, consolidating sort of... I don't know. I don't know. They're planning something. They they are definitely... They, they build all the extra forts. Yeah, so they're going to... They're, they're going all in on that. Yeah. Um, Bavaria won't be 100%ed. No, I don't think so either, unless they, like, really go for it. Uh, they'll get partitioned. Maybe. Need some form of diplomatic coup. Well, that's the thing. Like, we're paused right now. So they've got a lot of time to yeah. Yeah. reconfigure all that stuff. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I, I have faith in Bavaria. I think that they've not played all their cards yet. Um, I think right now during this break, they, they're like strategizing because they need to like kick someone out of the war. They, they need to go full in on Serbia, get 50% war score, stab hit them out, and then maybe go for a Valakia after that and try to hold on. It could, they need to kick something out because they are too far outnumbered. And mm -hmm. the fact that it's a two-front war means they have to constantly move their armies up and down. That's not going to work for them. They're too outnumbered and they've sort of put this in themselves in a position where they're a little bit, they're a bit of a threat, I guess, just by virtue of how kind of big they're getting. Yeah. But they've put themselves in that position almost entirely alone. I mean, maybe they were banking on Nitra more than <laughs> they should have. <laughs> but I still feel like you're putting a lot of eggs in one basket if you've kind of just got one big ally. Yeah. I, I wouldn't do that. I don't trust like and that. It's weird because they have such a... They, they made deals uh, at, the, at the first day and they got the biggest part of Prague or of Bohemia. Mm. Like, they got Prague, they got Cheb. Uh, like, they had really silver tongue, you know? Mm. So, uh, th th this feels weird. I wonder what happened here. Something I, I, when we So, we've got a couple minutes left for our segment. So, I'm actually excited. So, I'm not sure when Merlin will come on. I'm guessing we're going to end our segment. Maybe we'll have some interviews or something. But that means that we can go downstairs and actually see what the hell is going on there. And, yeah, hopefully, like, keep everyone Wait, are we there. ending our segment? Soon, I think. How long do we have left? Ten oh, minutes? Two. two minutes, okay. Two minutes. All right, wrap it up. Wrap it up. Come on, come on. <laughs> how, how do we wrap it <laughs> up? Just like... <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Flurry, clack, clack. No, 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> Assembly IRL stream will be next level. We'll see what we can do. Maybe, if not this year, maybe next year. But there's a lot, there's a lot going on. And also, oh. I wanted to IRL stream, but I lost my phone. <laughs> so. Oh, my God. I wanted to IRL stream before the event started, right? And then a raid, uh, just like raid paradox. <laughs> but I lost my. F I, I mean, I couldn't charge my phone, so I had like. <laughs> yeah, this issues. is the whole thing. I can't believe you're just like outing yourself like this on stream. I mean. Yeah, that's true. It, 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 it's the way it is. <laughs> that is true, and it, it wasn't your fault. It wasn't. My, it, wa it actually wasn't my fault. It wasn't your fault. Like. It, it, the, the, the phone was one day old. <laughs> yeah, the story keeps changing. First it was broken, then it was lost. Now it... Yeah, no, no, no. I, I did lose it yesterday a little bit. <laughs> broken and But it was lost. only like five minutes. But... <laughs> but and then I couldn't charge it. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> I, I don't think. Like, how would it be my fault? I mean, I did drop it in the car. <laughs> but it wasn't, it wasn't like a hard fall. It was just like, you know. <laughs> All right. We're actually getting the symbol to wrap up. Do you want to do the honors? Wait, uh, wait, oh wait. So we just spoke about our predictions at Bavaria. What right. else? Yes. Who's going to kick off first in the Middle East? Uh, b -b 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 in the I don't Middle trust East, the In the Middle East, in the Middle okay. East. I think Armenia is at some point going to... I don't know. I don't know. Because like Jerusalem said that Armenia was such a good, such a good body to have. But now there's a Persia and a Theodoro. Something has got to give. And I think... The one in the middle is going to kick the bucket, probably. The one in the middle being Armenia? Yeah. yeah. They're smashed in and, between everything. And, and Byzantium has the color CB exactly. on them. So. <laughs> we should actually see if we can put that in the rules, like yeah. color CB. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, no, I think I think you're right. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's that's not looking good for them. Um, and then meanwhile, we've got Tver and Zaporozhye, which are, and Livonian Auto. So they're sort of, sort of like the big... Um, kind of like Eastern European powers. Tver, Catholic, Zaporozhye, Orthodox, Livonian <coughs> Order. We'll, we'll see. I don't know what Zaporozhye is just like chilling. Just like, People are just like letting them do this horrible, horrible snake thing. And I, I wouldn't They stand. don't know. They can't see. Oh, like, that's look, true. Yeah, they that's can't see it. Of they course. know that the name is somehow here. But <laughs> <laughs> That's true. They're just like, oh yeah. Those weirdos. Anyway. Wrap it up, Flory. Right. Any final words? Uh, well, let's see how Bavaria is going to do in the future. And uh, 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 we will see you guys again in, a, in, in, in just a short break. Well, not us, personally. We will be back later. But um, <laughs> the Someone stream will be, be back here. in about like 10 Well, minutes? we're about to have an interview uh, with... Lead the nation of your choice as four centuries of detailed history come alive in the grand strategy game that defined the genre. Europa Universalis IV simulates the early modern world from the Renaissance to the Age of Revolution. Shape the destiny of millions as you relive or rewrite the past. If you can master the arts of war, diplomacy and trade, your nation will flourish. And history will be yours for the making. The peace in the northern countries came at great cost. Their borders were paid for in blood. The Lions of the North Immersion Pack will let you dive deep into the violent history of the Baltic and Scandinavian regions. Will you unify Scandinavia by enforcing the Kalmar Union or reign supreme as a world power? rise as a crusader state or establish dominance as a secular nation. 
Will you reclaim old Viking territory? Or cross the Atlantic in the quest for new lands? Are you the one to tame the Lions of the North? Each country sent one representative to the judge for his vote. That's a favor. Yeah, true. So 12 votes in favor of Asia. There is no winning and losing. There is just the next story. So you might have one really long continuous story as, say, Wales, if they go on to form Britain. Or you might have a number of different stories going from Ireland to Armenia to, you know, hopefully not again somewhere else in China or the New World. But each time you get new people to talk to, you try to improve your ideas over time and then get better at the game. So I, I think it's all a good learning experience off those people and a good social experience. <laughs>
creation of your choice as four centuries of detailed history come alive in the grand strategy game that defined the genre. Europa Universalis IV simulates the early modern world from the Renaissance to the Age of Revolution. Shape the destiny of millions as you relive or rewrite the past. If you can master the arts of war, diplomacy and trade, your nation will flourish and history will be yours for the making. The peace in the northern countries came at great cost. Their borders were paid for in blood. The Lions of the North Immersion Pack will let you dive deep into the violent history of the Baltic and Scandinavian regions. Will you unify Scandinavia by enforcing the Kalmar Union or reign supreme as a world power? rise as a crusader state or establish dominance as a secular nation? Will you reclaim old Viking territory or cross the Atlantic in the quest for new lands? Are you the one to tame the Lions of the North? Which... Why is this under the laptop? Hello, 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 hello. We're back hello. Uh, and on I'm schedule, not. just as just as uh, just as I expected. Because casters are never late and never early. You always arrive precisely when, when we, we need, need to. to. Ah, see, we rehearsed this bit. Uh, we're even, you know, logged in. <laughs> yes, uh, and I totally thought what was happening, and I was totally not at lunch. So let me just give me a second. Oh, yeah. Oh, we can blame Midge. Okay, okay. Production Everything team, is Midge. We're officially allowed to blame the production team on this one, which mm -hmm. we would have done No, anyway. no, just Midge. Oh, just, just Midge. Exclamation can mark, blame Midge. Can I just blame, blame the Brits? Because it's, it's just we convenient for me. So Bavaria is at <laughs> war with... I don't think it's a real war again. Cause, Ooh, oh, look at Byzantium. It? Actually, hey. Bavaria and SC are actually enemies, so it is an actual production real team, war. Production team, can we get a password for our lovely laptop so we can see the beautiful chat? We're working okay. on this. Uh, and where's Serbia doing? Serbia is in the war, too. Okay. So, chat, we can't see you. Chat, we can't see you, but you're here in our hearts. Yes. And I'm we pretty love sure. You let me say. You're typing compliments right now. Yes. I knew it. I, I absolutely knew it. <laughs> All right. Meanwhile, uh, it's, uh, it's blue on bit. light, very gray blue action. Ooh. Uh, Bretton, Frank. Wait, what happened to Brittany? Bretton, France? Uh, Breton. Oh, I think they move. Their, I think that means they change. Oh yeah, their yep, there you go. Yep, they're over they here. They are Nova over Scotia. here, which fear means we might be looking at forming the worst thing ever made, which is called Quebec. <laughs> uh, because like it's like France, but weird. <laughs> I mean, there is like Louisiana French. I respect Louisiana French actually. Uh, it's uh, I like their food. Uh, I, I, I've I've taken a few classes in Cajun cooking. It's pretty nice. Uh, but we are here to see some Bavarian uh, <laughs> fight a bunch of uh, of, of Hessian uh, people. So uh, how is that going? Yeah, I would say it's it's kind of a 
Okay, what's the ticking war score? Minus 15. That's not the best Bavarian Reconquest I've ever seen because their target is Nassau. And what, what the heck is Nassau? Oh, it's far beyond. Oh, so they did the thing again of like waiting to... Uh, uh, maybe it's because it was not a, cl a call. How many calls do they have? What are they doing up here? <laughs> oh, it's just a claim? Like, this is a funny thing. We were down there in the action. We heard people talking about all these things. But without the map in front of you, it's sometimes hard to, like, fully realize what has changed. <laughs> yes. Like, I have a lovely Oof. picture oh, wow. of Wales and Navarra. They're, like, the best of friends. And say that, you know, they will never attack each other. Hmm. We should make a bunch of predictions to, 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 to right behind us, like, you know, promises, and then just on live, just, just scratch them one by one as they get broken. Uh, well, Bavaria just disintegrated an army from Hesse, which is not boding well for the war. Wait, uh, Cornwall's not a player, right? What? Where's Cornwall? Someone vassal. Uh, oh, Cornwall, yeah. Uh, yeah, I they're a vassal of France. Okay, yes, France, that makes a lot more sense. France I'm like, has <laughs> expanded some interesting real estate uh, by making some colonial holding in Cornwall. Well, I think they're trying to make up for the fact that England owned land in France for several hundred years. Mm, and so yes. now they're going the opposite direction. Yes. It's in interestingly, they have not renamed the provinces as something. Matthew, some we're not loved. Something. What do you mean? Chad is already loved? asking, when is Fleury coming back? Oh, my God. You realize he has to eat. Yeah, he, he has to function as a man. Uh, he's, he's, he's pretty good at what he does, but he also needs to eat and sleep. I mean, we've got the hat that he ran into Berlin for and then promptly lost in here. I found it under a pile of stuff, so I stole it. So, you know. But he doesn't eat her pee. Or he eat? never eats. He lives on energy drinks. Uh-huh. Well, and, and Polish water. Yes. All right. So Bavaria has, has clearly an advantage in this war uh, because I think the numbers. No. Yeah, because LS just lost a bunch of people when. Whole, uh, oh, the God. Serbia is basically making the bulk of the army that, that is supposed to be fighting the Hesse. But have they actually mobilized? Oh, wait. It's Sorry, I just got flashbacks seeing like Bavaria starting to attack uh, uh, Serbia. Like. Last time, last time, like Central Europe tried to attack Serbia, it kind oh. of sparked the whole thing. Wait, do they not respond to chat requests? Apparently, we respond to chat requests. I'm sorry, I cut you off. Of I mean, we do. What is chat requests? Chat is just requesting that we listen to them. Okay. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> All right. Oh, hello, Lady Saffron. Hello there. All right, so we're listening, and we're just listening to listen. Oh, I mean, I can show you Serbia. Again. Oh God, children, back away! This is this is Serbian getting murdered. Oh, Catholic. I mean, Catholic Serbia. Catholic Serbia. You know what? Maybe they had it coming. I don't want to make yeah. a statement, but that Catholic Serbia is just weird. I I did tell the Serbian players that chat found it very weird that they were Catholic Serbia, and they just laughed. Okay. I mean, it's 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 it's. Good. Where's the reformation going? By the way, it's it's. Oh, we're technically still on track, historically speaking. Uh, <laughs> you gotta love the religion map. <laughs> Wait, the reform desire is down at thirty-eight percent. What's happening? Did they kill the reform desire? With Shinto smack dab in the middle of the HRE, possibly. But it grows 1,200,000% hun faster, though. So it should probably still go fast. Yeah, it'll probably still come just delayed. Yeah, it's I I think I heard from uh, from Jake, actually, that it is possible to do a run when you stop the reformation from entirely spawning. But you basically need the Pope to make an agreement with a Muslim nation and give them everything. <laughs> so there is no more Catholic nation to create reformation. Oh, well... But I, I don't mean, think we're going to go that far, because Catholics are still pretty uh, visible. I mean, Shinto or making... <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's why I said the religion baffle. <laughs> Bavarian Shinto is doing a bit. Uh, um, I mean, Rome is still owned by the Papal States, which it was kind of amusing. So mm. we were downstairs after, you know, the Papal States lost, and the computer was just empty. All three of the of our, our lovely Pope friends were just 
up and wandering around and talking to the GMs, trying to figure out where they were going to go. And you just see war declaration after war declaration <laughs> popping up on the unmanned monitor. So this is what a poop gives up. He's like, oh, you know what? <laughs> oh, so uh, it, did Nitra also decide to follow suit and uh, embrace... Uh, they also have uh, Shinto there. So Wrong. we have the Prince Selector, Matei... Uh, Max, Ma Maxim Yuk the third, uh, um, descendant of Amaterasu, as every good Matthew, Shinto leader. Yes. You've missed one thing that world has changed. Oh. Go look at uh, Joseph. I am told that some people have been respawning Korea. Oh, the land of the Christian son. Oh, did the Pope do a thing? Oh, because that's the Pope, <laughs> right? The Pope. Yeah, the, the, Pope, the Popes uh, have moved there. Oh, oh, they should give him the papacy. I don't think they can, but. <laughs> Maybe they'll the try. The popes have moved to Seoul. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, Japan is not considered yet. Instead oh, of Latin. Wait. What happened to Ming and why is there Meow on because the Because someone is playing there. Well, that's a pretty big restart. Mm -hmm. But yeah, instead of Latin, all the sermons now are in Hanguk. Oh, <laughs> that's going to be interesting. That's a pretty solid restart they were given. Uh, is. I mean, there's still a lot of development uh, hidden in Ming to, for them to gobble, but uh, yeah, but still, it's, it's, it's pretty nice. Yeah, One usually we see them as tiny restarts. I guess at this start, they just spawn, they have a free, 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 which is, I guess, as average as it goes. You're going on camera. Bjorn's Hello. And yeah, we have a visitor. You can see a visitor literally typing his password <laughs> live. I will give yeah, us the okay. keys one by one. <laughs> Oh, Cap and he failed. You, you have caps lock on. Aggressive okay. expansion. Next time, leave us a post-it with the password. This is not a technical or sort of security <laughs> advice, by the way. Ah, <laughs> we can see you now. Yay! The holy K-pop. Oh, I like the idea of the holy K-pop. I wish we come and do a number with like backstage <laughs> dancers and everything. Holy K-pop, yep. Oh, they have a bunch of reforms that they've not even picked yet as, uh, as Meow, I guess, because they just spawned. Oh, no, they have the papacy. Or I guess maybe not. No, wait. I mean, they're Christians, so they see the papacy, yeah, but they're they not the, the papacy. papacy. The papacy yeah, no. is still the Pope. Yep. But it's going to be passed down when the Pope is uh, is, is, is disintegrated. Which number? Uh, the Livonian Order has the most influence for um, getting the next controller. one. And there's a crusade against Provence that has been declared. An actual crusade. <gasps> Whoa, really? Yeah. But this isn't Crusader Kings. No. <laughs> this is this is a Crusader Shinto. Well, Bavaria is still winning pretty pretty strongly so far. Mm -hmm. uh, we do see Catholicism <laughs> taking a taking a, a dip actually, with the Pope being exiled, uh, most of southern uh, of, of Iberia and Italy flipping to uh, to Muslim. Uh, the central of Europe going Shinto, and of course the eastern lands being Orthodox. Um, we still have a bunch of people defending Christianity, but how long is it going to hold? We do not um, know. Navarre is in a player war now. Oh, they've they've joined. They've joined all this this nonsense going on. There's a Welsh conquest of Derby. Derby. With like everybody on either side. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Just click on Navara. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's a big, that's a big showdown just for Derby. <laughs> Look at the world. Go to diplomatic mode. This is this is this is this is this is the, <laughs> the fate of Derby will be decided by just about everyone who's not already in a war, fighting. And uh, I guess the Muslim lands are just staying away from this. We're like, you know what, you you crazy Christian, just sort it out. Like I am, I I, I don't have a stake in this shit. I'm staying home. Have fun. Language, language. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Pardon my France. It was <laughs> Derby. I'm sorry. I'm American. I think of like no, the it's, Derby. No, it says races. Derby. I'm sorry. <laughs> We've got the Brits over here arguing with us. Well, so. I'm the one on stream and I say it's called Derby. There we go. The East Midlander. All right. East Champagne. Midlander with Derby, Leicester, So who Lincoln controls Shire. Champagne? Sorry, what? Who controls Champagne? Champagne. Ch that sounds like a sweet pronouncing it. <laughs> Champagne. <laughs> it's Champagne. Thank you very much. Well, it's technically, it's, it's, a, it's a state. It's a state of Champagne. The absolute state of Champagne. <laughs> and mostly with France, which is the mayor All years. I know, I know. The things you do. I, I, I dare you to say some of the native names over in parts of the U.S. that are now just considered common names. 
Oh, I, I mean, I, I, have, I have a friend from Michigan who uh, tries to tell me how that they butchered words like uh, Detroit or uh, Gros Isle to be like Detroit and Gros Isle or some other bullshit. Uh, this is just not okay. Oh, do you want to know Please show the land battles. What if we don't? No, let's... Uh, France is actually whipping some ass, so this is important for us to follow. Barthélemy de Dampierre, a good man, is... Like, oh, no, actually, he's getting, he's getting trashed. No, my boy, <laughs> how dare you? Against a von Hohenzollern, no, oh. no less. But Britain is coming. Oh, they're too late. Hey. Damn Breton. It's kind of like uh, Grucci at Waterloo. He just arrived hey, too Mitch. late. In the front oh, and they got pocket wiped. of my backpack is a visitor that would like to appear on stream. In, on, in the very front pocket of the back, purple backpack. All right. Uh, yeah, that's what happened when you when you miss the battle by a day is that you <laughs> arrive too late and you get wiped like Brittany just did for demonstration purposes. I am. It's interesting that France is fighting over Hamburg. Just so that uh, just so that Wales can uh, can conquer uh, Derby or Derby because apparently this <laughs> E is supposed to be pronounced like an A for some goddamn reason. So, um, doing an aside here, we have Lady Saffron in chat who was invited to be a caster, mm -hmm. but she's very busy with school. Right. So, she made an emissary. Oh, perfect, Lady Saffron. Nice. Isn't she adorable? It is, it is pretty uh, adorable. <laughs> is that how, how VTubers are done? With yes. sock puppets? Th I have no is, idea how the technology works. This is VTuber works. version one. Oh, this is before uh, CGI. <laughs> I see. <laughs> oh, it did oh, it not show? Let's try again in full screen oh, so everybody we can, uh, can, can, can approve. Like, you see like the analog, beauty. Analog uh, no. VTuber. Yes, version one. Look at this analog VTubing happening. Pretty nice. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay, so I don't think Hesse is gonna continue this fight. I I think <laughs> tubers before they in they invented batteries. <laughs> that is Lady so Sockfron. This is Lady Sockfron. Okay, so this fight is gonna be interesting. Uh, what's the divide exactly? Is it factions? Uh, not really. Is it really just not really? It's just vibes, I guess. I mean, you could I, say I mean, there it's is like I mean, it's kind of like East versus West. Yeah, I guess it's like you can basically take... I mean, I'm gonna, I was going to say the Rhine, but that's so, a very French so take on the Rhine. That bit of the Rhine, like... It, Provence is allied with some Catholics now? They're, they're, they're allied with Brittany. And Andalusia. They have an identity crisis, <laughs> I would say. I mean, to be fair, they're Shia, right? They're not, they're not, they're not Sunni, so... We're kind of having an identity crisis. Mm -hmm. uh, an interesting question. Does anyone have the means to go to the British Isles or, or is Emberg like the master of the seas? Uh, let's, see, let's see the boats numbers. It's actually... No, galleys, galleys are clearly on the side of the defenders. <laughs> We've been told to take off our human suits oh. and show our true Muppet selves. Uh, I, I can't do that on stream. <laughs> Okay, so Holland is being pillaged slightly uh, after a first couple battle uh, lost. Oh, and actually there was a uh, there was a, a battle at sea that well someone lost, but I the, the big thing is I can never tell which one has lost which which, which thing. We should yeah, it's a little harder to tell on the ocean. Well, yeah, someone should make a Jira and say like if it says lost the battle, please remind me who lost the battle. That that mm -hmm. would really be nice. Because oh. I'm assuming it's one the left or the right side, but I always uh, I could always be confused. Let's see naval losses. Out of curiosity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, battle, only. battle, battle! Uh, France has started a battle here and the battle north. They are pretty much winning both of them so far. So Holland with has my lost boy Bartholomew. Uh, sorry. Holland has lost twenty-five boats in battle, probably mostly in this activity. Okay. So we have a classic case of putting all your eggs in two baskets and hoping that you will uh, not lose both baskets. I guess I'm not sure how that's all that works. But uh, Jean-Jacques Destré is uh, fighting Johan Sibirski and I'm pretty sure winning. Meanwhile, my boy Jean-Pierre, 
Uh, Barthélemy de Dampier, sorry, I don't know why I, I read that that way. Oh, he's fighting oh, some von Hanzoren, so um, um, I'm, I'm on his side. I'm pretty sure he's going to win this one. Ah, yeah, he's got this one in the back. And even then, the French are pushing on the retreating armies. Ooh, that's, no, that's going to be on the wire, but um, I think France has the moral advantage. Yes, and then we're going to continue pushing. Two good battles, go France. This stream isn't biased, by the way. Um, apparently, Zapper, Zapper G is trying to form, is allegedly attempting to reform Poland. That's an interesting way of forming Poland. Like, With a snake know, that goes all the way to North Ming. I, I know there was an assembly about hmm. if they should cut off the snake's head. Yeah, why, why, why are they trying to form Poland, <laughs> exactly? I don't know. This is this is coming from Riaji. I see. I see. I mean... You're the least biased caster ever. <laughs> One, two, there are a couple provinces from cutting off people from Ming entirely. And I guess then getting the juicy <gasps> bits of it. Oh, that would be why. Good horses. Oh, yeah. The I remember now. They, they, they vowed to uh, turn 100% cavalry. They can form Poland. Yep. They're just going to turn their, uh, their entire nation into horse. You know, like the CK2 <laughs> exploit when you can have like a nation of horse? It's oh, kind yes. Of the equivalent. Oh, I, I did a whole whole stream. Oh. So I, I guess it's from now on, all the, like, they should name all their houses like Literhoof or something. Do it, Zephyrus. No, they have a law protector. That doesn't sound like a horse to me. They should rename him. I mean, he's pretty good. He's a law giver, incorruptible, Ooh. and just. Wow, my guy is uh, Someone got kicked, solid. kicked down to the Rousey Empire as well. I totally missed that. Oh, yes. Yeah, they were responded to Mutapa, I think. Mm -hmm. Are there more battle happening? Not yet, but France is oh. pushing into, uh, into Hamburg now. Oh, we do have... Oh, Navarra took Iceland. Yes. Actually, yeah, let's have a quick look. How is Morocco doing over in the New World? Uh, they are slowly expanding over Texas. They took Mexico, uh, mm -hmm. which is going to give them stupid amount of money because that state is absolute nonsense. Look at this. Oh. Wait, where is the trade good uh, map? I think it's this one. Uh, they did get gold. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh oh <sighs> Just in time. Look at this. Look at this insane state of five gold mines. Yeah, I was looking uh, at that just now. I'm pretty sure they have money. For, but yeah, basically. I'm, maybe Merlin had a hand in that. No, it's 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 it, it is. It oh, is it's like the, that. it's been like that since the oh. uh, golden century, actually. Oh, that. Yeah. That would be uh, so yes, basically, like without gold, their economy would be down the drain. <laughs> but as long as we have gold. Uh, we can just fund this entire thing. I'm surprised we don't even go faster with all that stuff, mm -hmm. but it probably takes time. Oh, uh, Chad would like to take a look at Africa. We could. Let, we so the Rassids, bless the rains down there. We should bless the rain. So that bit is owned by the Rassids, who are kind of like in between East Africa and uh, and uh, the other side of the Gulf of Aden. She's kind of mm -hmm. undecided how they want to go, I guess. We're going to take some chunks of Ethiopia and then go south. And south of it is the Rosy Empire from uh, previously, I'm assuming, Tapa, which have a cool flag, I'm going to say. Don't worry, Chad. I'm keeping, I'm keeping an eye on the war, and I'll call him over if there's a big battle happening. But right now, they're yeah. all just kind of standing around. So I guess my question is, which one of those two nations is making more nation from gold? Because I know those people have a lot of gold. 17 ducats from gold. Uh, let's go back to our friend, the trade good map, Moon. They have some gold. Uh, and, oh god, this is an insane amount of ivory. Oh, there's a battle of commencing up in Hamburg. Okay, let me... <laughs> oh my god, just hit observe. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I will, I will eventually find it and then click on the right people. There we go. Two battles. Uh, no leader. Oh, Bernard de Champmartin versus Rudolf Hamkes. I'm pretty sure he's got this one in the bag. More interesting battle north where my boy Barthélemy is fighting Philip Imbeck. Uh, and winning by a free shock point advantage. That's a really big advantage. All of fire is going to start appearing eventually. Right now, that's an advantage you really don't want to have against you. He does have a fire advantage, but I don't think we have reached the era of uh, fire units. No, not yet. We're still at mean tech 9. They're going to have to wait until uh, they get like mean tech 12. And then fire is going to start to uh, send some people home. But right now, I'm pretty sure France will win the southern one. As long as we can hold on, they even have like Holland reinforcement behind. Saxony yeah. might still be able to oh. do something, yeah. but I think they are choosing retreat uh, uh, rather than, yeah, they're trying to snipe people behind. But instead, they're going to have to reinforce again. And I think Holland is going to go. France also has some backup. 
Yeah, I think the numbers are on their side. Uh, oh, Friedrich has come back. And he has six shock. That guy doesn't uh, joke. But I don't think this is going to be enough uh, oh. due to the... Actually, they have, oh. Oh, they have morale for both and sides. discipline advantage. But that's just not good enough. Because I think the battle oh. started oh. earlier than that with better numbers. And oof. Hamburg just sent 11k in with no morale. Yeah, but just like go. Just go. <laughs> just go. Don't, just go. I don't throw care. Throw them in the pile. <laughs> just throw them in the pile. Like the, They're the, just throwing the extra salt way. on the fries. Yeah. We had some good fries for lunch. Uh, Reform is always back up 78%, so I think uh, the Pope mm. can only do so much to the idea. Actually, the Pope is not even played by a human, so I don't think... Oh, and they're occupied by Andalusia. The Papacy is about to possibly be relocated somewhere else. Uh, okay. Which is not ideal. Okay, we were looking at Mutapa, I think, by people's request. Mm. Uh, I was commenting on the absolute absurd Ooh. amount of ivory that Humber is down is there. taking out 80 loans, by the way. Oh, are they topped? They're top. Yeah, but they're 15k in bank. Yeah. As they're losing that's, 200 that's, that's a month. That's an insane amount of ivory. Uh, too bad it's... Oh, it is worth four bucks, actually. So, uh, it's, a, it's a pretty solid one. And it gives... Oh, and um. it gives a really 10% local good produce. I think those people are making bank. What's her so, money like? Riyaji, can we get a link to the forum page in chat? Or Midge Man. There you go. Thank you, Riyaji. But yeah, if you go check it out there, mm. you can find a link to the player list. You can find a link to Skarda's thingy majiggy. Skanderberg. That thingy majiggy. It's, uh, <laughs> it's the Albanian man. Uh, uh, and it's updating every 15 minutes with information on the game. Yes. And the maps and everything. Uh, Bavaria. Oh, some people have tried to join against Bavaria. I see that uh, Hesse has managed to call the, the East, actually. Byzantium, Nizhny Novgorod, uh, Serbia and Tver have joined. But so far against Bavaria and Nitra, the Shinto Central European Alliance, this is not enough. Uh, the numbers uh, are, and the numbers uh, end. Oh my word. The, the firepower is on the side of the, uh, of, of the Germans. Which Oh, I yeah, and, and Hesse is trying to send people who barely had time to rest. I don't think this is going to make any difference. They're just going to get entirely shattered. Yep. And they just did. Stack wipe. Mm. I got to say, though, the fact that Bavaria <laughs> and Nitra have, like, the same oh, oh, color oh, and they're oh, allied, oh, it just hurts my soul. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Are we going to kill those to 10K? Yep. yep. Stack oh. wipe again. Oh. How are the numbers looking? Ah. I mean, they still have the numbers of her. Uh, oh, Byzantium just no. Byzantium is still in the war. The 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 the, uh, the defending side has but higher numbers in theory. But their war enthusiasm is low. I mean, I would be less enthusiastic if I was there. The only good bit <laughs> is that they could they can make a two front war. Uh, but so far the progress has been slow on the Serbian side. Uh, and what is Valachia in this thing? Valachia is just vibing. Oh, Saxony is still the emperor. <laughs> yes. I mean, for whatever definition of <laughs> Whatever empire. that means. <laughs> yeah, there's eight mm. princes. There's almost as many electors as princes. Like, as, as soon as it's just going to be five people vibing and voting. It's going to be very democratic, I guess, when you have as many members as electors. Yeah. That's the that's the good side. Yeah, Esse is getting pretty much siege. I think the um, his friends really have to push and not take one siege at a time if they want to get anywhere. Because, oh, Bavarians are coming, actually. They saw those people trying to force a siege. And they're like, forcing a siege, isn't that the thing that destroys your morale? And like, go, 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 go. Oh, they, they, oh. Notice, they notice, they notice. But I think they notice too late. And, oh, oh. they got the fall just in time, but they did not mm -hmm. have time to get their moral pips back. So that's going to hurt because their average morale is kind of down the drain despite reinforcements. Yeah. That might be enough, though, because uh, a bunch of people have joined in. And yeah, Bavaria is not taking a risk on a minus free run. They said, mm, you know what, I'll go home for now. I'll try yeah. later. <laughs> oh. Attacking across the Danube in a forest is not the best plan you can ever come up with. Oh, really? I thought that was like the best. Just as good as, you know, attacking into to a mountain To be fair, fort. they got very unlike, uh, uh, unlucky. They got locked in on the marsh and uh, the assault on the fort succeeded like a day before they could start the battle. Oh, meanwhile, up north, uh, we can see... Oh, a lot of uh, Livonians actually uh, still trying to fight France. Oh, yep, they're and fighting. And winning so far. 
Uh, yeah, I think this battle might not turn okay for France, although they still have some backup ready to throw at it. It's gonna depend, because there is a lot of reinforcements stacking around too, but their morale is low. Mm -hmm. So it depends how much more, because you don't regain morale if you're standing on the back row, which is one of the big reasons you usually don't send all your reinforcements immediately. Uh, so you get a chance of maybe getting a Montflitic reinforcement if you're lucky. Yeah, I think France... France might... Yeah, I think France got this one in the bag, especially with this new leader from uh, the, the, the Dutch. 4-5. Uh, that's that's master at arm. This guy is no joke either. Mm. Yep. And the French are victorious as they should be. Um, <clears throat> where was I? Yes. The Dutch. Uh, they cannot form uh, the Netherlands yet. Uh, they need... Actually, they should be able to click the button. Uh, they can. They have decided not to. Because they're not at peace. That might be a good reason not to. That's totally neutral. Because, look, I have a PhD in neutrality. <laughs> uh, I, I've got it from the Swiss. <laughs> I'm sitting here looking at the Knights. They're not at war and they're losing money every month. Oh. Oh, no. What, like, are they, what, what are they, they spending? doing? Yeah, what are they spending their money on? Um, uh, they have like their army maintenance at full. Colonial maintenance actually is also costing them and that, missionaries, yeah. but yeah, it's kind of a uh, please, my family is dying. Wait, <laughs> the knights have somehow managed to reach the spice islands. The spicy. Yeah, they went pretty far if they managed to reach the spice island actually in explosion. I did not think they would go that far. Uh, because Armenia they have Sinai. They got Gaza and Sinai. Oh, and Armenia is uh, mm. is more Maldives, so I guess they're all pushing for Southeast Asia before players can show Which up. Which I think that was part of the deal, because I know I talked to the Wallachia folks. Cause remember, you were wondering, like, what are they getting out of this? Mm. And I spoke with them, and they had made deals, so they got this little piece of land, uh, Aquabath. On the Gulf of oh, Suez. Oh, which is on the good side so, of, the, of, of, of Suez, yeah. But then they got so distracted with other stuff that I don't know that they have gone farther. Let's see. Where's my colonial range? Nope, they can't see that far. All right, let's They're trying. Check on Bavaria. Yeah. Serbia has mobilized a bunch of troops now. Mm -hmm. Uh, and they are fighting on the Austrian border. This sounds like a repeat of World War One almost. Um... Except Byzantium was not in all one, I'm pretty sure, from my history books. Um, oh my word, just all the troops standing on every single province on there. Yeah, that's a lot of people. Oh, wow. Well, that's sure a that lot of people that's, standing. Uh, that's a lot of... Uh, some people would argue that's a lot of French. Uh, um, I, They must all be having really good hamburgers there. I mean, that's a franchise. I mean, that's 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 why... Oh, yeah, France has a big standing army, actually. Let's look at some numbers real quick. Who has the most dudes? Uh, France is leading with 146k already on the field. Not bad. Bavaria second with 110. And then you got Hamburg, who has a lot of armies for its size. Uh, and also a bunch of people uh, way over force limit. Like, uh, Hamburg is almost double over the force limit. France about 40%. Uh, Hamburg another 30-40%. Yeah, some people are like, I don't care. I just need dudes. Just, just. Did, did you know that Persia went Zoroastrian? I wouldn't be surprised, no. but no, I didn't know. Oh, no. and yeah, they have a new name now. Eran Shar. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Eran but on the other hand, they have a Zoroastrian emblem. Which means them. they get cool crowns with wings on them. That's true. That's true and undeniable. And also 10% trade efficiency. Uh. Who is the richest person in the game? Let's go see. <coughs> I'll go look at that. Yeah, because you can't see the income. Uh, it's no. it's hidden from us. Yeah. Uh, so total is the Rossids have the most income from the, all that ivory. The Rossids. Oh, Rossids. from trade, you mean? Trade and ivory, probably. The assets. Yeah. So they've got ivory there, isn't it? Or are you How do they make so much money? <sighs> What's a good question? I don't... That, no, that doesn't look like... Something is wrong. I'm looking at something wrong. 
Yeah, those numbers don't. Oh, is it is it bank? No. No. I, is it? No, it's income. Oh, it's Bavaria then. No, it's Bavaria. Maybe it was. Yeah, maybe you're you're. you're maybe something was just weird. You're screened at a bit. I uh, we we have we have no noticed a few <laughs> quirks. Let's just say with the ledger about <laughs> income. Uh, let's um. see. I can never remember what it is, but I'm assuming it's under economy. Let's Income comparison, exactly. Players. Yes, Bavaria is on top, followed by France. Uh, the Knights, surprisingly, making pretty... Those numbers. Oh, yeah. By spoils of war. Oh, did you know that Morocco moved their capital to Bermuda? Uh, I guess we're trying to become... A... Yeah, because you have to start by moving to an island, and then you can move to... Because uh, you can't move to the New World unless it's your last province, but you can move to an island and then to the New World. So that's probably the trick that they are pulling. How... What are those spoils of war that uh, the knights were going? Oh, I guess it was very temporary. Yeah, they probably just raided some people and it showed up in the book for one month and uh, the shareholders were happy, but that doesn't stick. Uh, yeah. No, con uh, consistently it's Bavaria, France, Andalusia. Uh, surprisingly, Holland not pulling that much money. I'm surprised. What's going on with the Dutch? They're under siege. They're being oh, blockaded. <laughs> they have they still are the biggest nation in the in the center of trade. Yeah. But, but there's just not enough money flowing. Actually, let's look at centers of trade. Which one is the big one? Because my suspicion is that maybe since the new world has not gone so far yet, there's not that much money flowing through. Uh the knights are Sunni? No, there's not a lot of money actually. I mean there's twenty four ducats in the English Channel, that's not too bad. The knights went Sunni. <laughs> The what? The what now? The, apparently the knights went Sunni. The Sunni knights? What the f What the hell is going on? <laughs> what? What is going on with religion in this? Uh, yeah, they are Maliki Sunni. <laughs> the uh, cursed knights. Which, it, how? Mm. I mean, they, yes. Yes. Uh, I'm the not traitor knights. <laughs> I don't think they will get Jerusalem. Mm. Or, uh... Oh, we stole the hospitaliers, but we will see. I wonder why they converted. I, I don't think I have. Uh, I can. I can tell. I. I have no idea what's going on. On the plus side, we could reform the French nation as a better rating opportunities. But like the entire Mediterranean is turning Sunni for too much. It feels like. Yeah, I like. guess. Oh, is someone uh, using the uh, trade propagation thing? Because you can do that, right? With your traders, you can force them to uh, spread your religion. I, I'm not sure anybody's done it. Oh, no, you can't. It has to be... No, you need to have enough trade power to do it. Uh, like the Tunis node is controlled by Tunis. So, no, they can't do it yet. <clears throat> All right, so it's not happening, sadly. Andalusia controls Sevilla. Makes sense. I like that they have a mission called Airstrike in Tunis. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's not how that works. Uh, let's have a look at the war. There's some battles going on. There's some battle. Nitra is trying to fight. Oh, it's Nitra and Hesse still having at it. But I'm <laughs> pretty sure uh, Hesse is on his last legs uh, at this point. They should conquer the, the American East Coast and it could always be sunny. In Philadelphia. Oh, oh, that should be a that should be an achievement actually. <laughs> that would be a fun achievement. Always sunny in Philadelphia. Mm. It's not even a bad hard achievement, but it's just a funny one, which is the difficulty mm. actually. If we have a minute to talk about that, like when you make a new release, every time people like suggest new achievements, mm -hmm. and it's always the balance because you want a funny bit. Usually, it starts with a pun, but yes. then you also have to make it an interesting thing to gather because some of them are just very funny, but good and luck others... doing them. Well, and hmm. others are just painful. Yes. There's some achievements, <coughs> White Hun in Crusader Kings 2, that are just painful. You can play for 300 years, almost have it, and one bit of RNG, everything's gone. Yes, that, that does happen. Uh, but then there's other ones like Dwarf Fortress, which was literally get seven dwarves to come live in your court. <laughs> that was it. Uh, oh, France has been uh, sent back again. I guess they are. 
but they're still uh, like the the wall score is still on the sides of Wells. I, I'm amazing that Wells is still dictating the pace of anything in this world. Like they were basically gone last session. Mm -hmm. I guess good diplomacy slash pity let people allow them to take back England. Yeah, why? But the hmm. Hamburg owns the Orkneys. Yes. The weird bit is, if you were at Wales and you managed to get all those bits from uh, from Hamburg, are you gonna really let Holland keep <gasps> oh. those estates? We're about to have a visitor. Oh, a visitor! Someone is about to actually grace us with their presence. Does EU four have dwarf? No, we were talking about a CK achievement. Yeah, CK two achievement. Sorry. Much as I love EU4, I've got way more hours in Crusader Kings 2 and 3. Ah, I think it's I about 3,000 something between yeah, the two games. That's, a, that's, a, that's an amount of hours. And then I do have 60 hours in the original Crusader Kings. Oh, the first one? The very first oh one. Oh god, I never played it. It's... It, it, you can see the bare bones, you can but see it's painful. I can see that. I think I think a guest I, is Yes, I think a guest has coming. arrived. Well, no, actually that's just Bjorn. Or, oh, uh, or, it's just or, Bjorn. Or, or, no, forget <laughs> it. Oh, no, no there forget is. it. Oh, He's just calling oh. someone. I can't tell anything. I have a big spotlight in my face. We have a big face. light in our face. <laughs> but here is someone. Uh The one of the the thinker behind Avalon is coming. The man who this morning the declared mornings uh, to be Oathbreaker. Yes. 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 Which I, 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 respect I respect that. that. I think more should be shamed, shamed for the behaviors. Mm -hmm. Oh, the comment's there. there. Oh, yes. 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 You can see yes. 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 you. Yes. Yes. yes, we can see you. We can see you. We can see you. So this is, this is a camera, a camera yes, yes, you say. Yes. Yes. Fascinating. Fascinating. It is a magic device that will capture your image and your voice and Send it out to several thousand people. We didn't we get this in, in, in my time. Hello, I Hello, am I'm Marilyn, and, uh, and I'm speaker, I'm speaker of, the of the house of the, the parliament, parliament the wrong the wrong table table of King Arthur. Nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yes. yes. Uh, uh, it seems like a gambling and echo spell. Is there anything, is there anything to be done with this? this? I mean, you're, I mean, you're the wizard, tell you us. tell us. And is the person supposed to see all past, all past, 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 present, and future? So oh, no, no, we have three GM witches for this seeing this. I am also here to help the parliament function well and to give the voice to our royalty. Well, I have a question for you. Yes? Yes. Why do you have such a hatred for Catholicism? I don't, I don't hate for it, but it was, it was, it was dominant, dominant, and it didn't fit our, our North faith well, well back in the days. days. So, so I, I had to cheat a, a little bit when, when the papacy fell. fell. It had to be and relocated to far, to far Korea. Korea. Yes. So they, so they, they, they are, are now holding their holding sermons in Hungleton instead of Latin. Oh yes, oh, yes. it's a very different language, language, I suppose. I suppose. Mm. Echo. Echo. We're, we're still, still echoing. There are no past. All the beautiful, All the beautiful echoes. echoes. Oh. Oh. Marilyn. Marilyn. Is your, is staff, your staff like a microphone, microphone or something? Uh, no, I have no microphone technology devices around me at all. I have a wand and uh, a pipe, oh, and the, the pipe is not echoing, not isn't it? Ah. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Or or, or 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 goblins uh, in the in the computer just tell us that uh, <laughs> they had two mics plugged in to Merlin. One of them was in the camera. The other one was the one he's holding. So we're fixed now. Yes, it's that's great. Th thank you, British goblins, for fixing the um, the back end. <laughs> so all <laughs> shall be fixed. That is why we've got the tea. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I have to add that I am very happy with Navarra's decision to change the religion to Norse yes. to. Recreate Vinland for us. Do you think part of their decision was due to the fact that they were suddenly outnumbered by the Sunni? Oh, definitely yes, and they thought that leaving um, the old lands of Castile might be a good idea. They asked us and the old gods for help, and the old gods returned a favor. <laughs> so, another question for you. Yes, please. Would you prefer to see the multi 
the beautiful multi-religion, like what you did with Granada there at the very beginning. Oh, if maybe let the spectators from your world decide on whether they want to see more multi-religious places in this world, we can make this happen and I believe it brought us much fun and tolerance and understanding among religions. So what do you have to say to that chat? Do you like seeing Catholic Serbia, Norse Navaria, Shinto Bavaria, uh, Sunni, Sunni Provence? I have to add one thing. Bavaria told me they will isolate themselves and create a very tall nation on their lands and still keep expanding somehow. So I'm not that sure if the isolationist politics they promised are being kept. I Should we do like something with this? I feel like they're being pulled in by Nitra. Oh. Nitra is being a bad influence on them because Nitra, if I'm not mistaken, well, they're now Sunni. Oh, no, oh nice. but they're also no, no, going no. for Mitra the isolationist is, oh, no, Shinto religion. Oh, taken Shinto. But maybe not enough land is Shinto. No, and I've just checked with Varya. They're only on like level 2 out of 4 of isolation. They're selective integration. They're not on closed door isolationism. Uh, and neither is uh, Nitra. So, you know, they're, they're close-ish. But And um, they, since they have the same color, they're essentially the same nation. Yeah, that's true. I think we should stop pretending we're two different nations. This is just... Oh, uh, we've, we've had a request from chat. Yes. They would like to see Aztec religions. Oh. Yeah, could, could, we, could we form some Nahuatl somewhere that are forced now to that just... Uh, the Americas keep, keep, keep blood flowing so the sun may rise again? Yeah. Now that the Americas have been discovered, they think those religions should have a voice too. For example, Poland. That's a very interesting idea, and I believe that there shall some blood be spilled, so the clouds over us shall pass, because there are comments to be observed, and I can proclaim now, and I will tell um, the chamber later, that now comets are good omens and will add stability, instead of taking it, because I have seen that comets might be our road to freedom and to peace, we might use them as vehicles to colonize the moon, the stars, and the sun itself at some day and finish waging war on Earth. Yes. Blood for the blood gods. Blood for the blood gods and comets for us. Let's all go to space. <laughs> we need more comet sense. Stellar events on day three, I mean, what? All right. <laughs> Do you have anything else to say to chat? Um, if you have any other stellar ideas for us, just let us know, uh, and maybe the gods shall um, oh, there is another change one. the situation on the map. The other one is, well, they say Jewish Pope, but Rome has now been conquered and, turn and is being turned Shia. Maybe it needs to go a step farther back in history. In terms of religions. Interesting. Maybe they meant a Jewish pope on the Korean throne. Yes. Possibly. I mean, there are three popes. They could have the three <laughs> Abrahamic religions going on over there. Oh, I love this idea very much. Let's make this happen. And it was, Korea was the three kingdoms before it was the Joseon era, which is what it is here. Hmm. So there shall be three religions in Korea yes. and three popes in the three kingdoms. Yes. I love it. I think that's a beautiful idea. Thank you so much for your time, Merlin. Thank you so much for having me and have a nice uh, spectacle. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm trying to check if something else has happened while Merlin was making a big speech. Uh, the war against Hamburg has progressed uh, not in uh, Holland's uh, ad uh, advantage, as we would say. Developed not exactly uh, towards uh, um, uh, Holland's advantage. Who is getting sieged pretty hard by uh, a bunch of people? Uh, this is this is getting an advantage. I guess the numbers are starting to flip. The numbers are still roughly balanced. There's so many stripes. <laughs> yes, there are. <coughs> Uh, oh, that one is Bavaria. I think Hesse is Bavaria is basically they need to. Oh, they first need to finish dealing with Serbia. 
Uh, which ah, uh, cause I guess by Zensium just peace out rather than continue fighting like the cowards um. they are. Uh, we just yep. Um. Yes, I know. Yes. There is a Poland on the there map. There is a Poland. We just we there is a Poland on the map. Uh, it's Z a weird Poland, but it's there. Zaporia has turned to Poland. Uh, with seventy-five extra cavalry compatibility, which is pretty good. So they now have Polish <laughs> ideas. They're all the way up to wing to SARS. Yes, I think that's the goal. Uh, well, yeah, that's what they've unlocked already. Because they, they have the Polish yep. ID set, yes. And the wing to SARS arrive! Um, I can't sing, so that's the most you're getting from me. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if they can get any so more cavalry compatibility. I guess if they go quality, they can get an extra 10%. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cavalry compatibility is 75%. 20% for being Cossacks. 30% uh, for the wing to SARS. And 25% for the horde Ardor. Yeah, and I can't remember if they're all more on like uh, policies, um, maybe or. Uh, and they have twenty-two units of cavalry, and then they also have pikes to combat other people's. Yeah, cavalry. That's a pretty good deal. And I'm totally not trying to remember what a heck of policies in this game because mm. oh, there it is. They do not. They have not picked any policy yet. Oh yeah. Will they get a good policy that combos with their uh, nice hold ID that gives them even more cavalry compatibility? Uh, yes, if they get espionage, which I don't know if they will, but that would be an interesting combo because that's another 10% CC uh, ability and another uh, cavalry flanking ability bonus, which allows them to have more flanking bonuses with their, uh, with their horses. Interesting. We'll see if that happens. Mm -hmm. I don't think anything else would help them really too mm. much. Oh yeah, I'm told Poland could also give them like a better government that would potentially allow to uh, get another bonus, but I'm not sure this is possible since they went uh, for a republic. Maybe in the military doctrine. Well, they already have cavalry warfare in the military doctrine. I don't know if they can get anything better than that. Uh, let's see. What are uh, I dedicate the Serbian death to my fair maiden. Oh, Serbia. Yep, Serbia's full yeah. conquered. Uh, I don't. F I think they're just a secondary partner in that one, so they should. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not a collaborative so but they should not take too hard. But they're still gonna probably take a bit. But I respect the fact we'll that they are running uh, with their ally till the end, rather than piecing out early like Byzantium and a few others did. That's the. That's that's how uh, a, uh, a true ally should well, behave but in here's my the book. Thing about this point of the uh, of the land, when someone in Europe gets hit so hard, like fully sieged down like this, they tend to jump ship because you just don't have enough time to fully recover from that yeah, in a it's game possible. like this. Oh, and by the way, I think uh, the Welsh land. Uh, oh. oh, actually, the Dutch land. Have been used to pay off the end of the. Oh, that's that's a good deal, Wales. They started a war with uh, for 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 Derby, 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 uh, and <laughs> since they lost it, they paid it in Dutch, <laughs> in Dutch provinces, uh, which is called the Johan maneuver, by the way, <laughs> uh, as coined by uh, by Johan in previous Death Clash. You, s you start a war, and when you start losing it, you just sell off your ally land to get a peace deal. Oh, we're having uh, talks. There's diplomacy Apparently happening. Bavaria says that Serbia needs to piece them out. Oh, yeah, because they have to send a peace deal due to the war well, score. No, but DM says they have to make a peace deal with Hesse. Yeah, because we have 100%. I know. Uh, but no, Bavaria needs to make the peace deal with Hesse, not Serbia. They don't have to peace out Serbia if Serbia doesn't want to. Oh, right, because we're secondary partner. Yes. I don't think Bavaria likes that. <laughs> oh, yes, you... Yep. You have to send one peace deal to Hesse. Uh, then you choose to take Serbian lands through the Hessian peace deal, but you can't peace Oh, them out. right, because Elsa would have to stab it them first until mm. they accept, and then stab it uh, Hesse. Mm. Yeah. The Uncon, no separate peace. So that's why the game is paused. They're being told how to do things. <laughs> Yes. Uh, let's see. Over in the new world, colony-wise, hmm. let's take a look. Player map mode. Andalusia is down there in Brazil. 
Aha, uh -huh, Andalusia is starting to colonize. It's mm -hmm. the colonial game has been pretty. I mean, it's to be fair, we, we we have we are early on, and consolidation has happened faster than 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 the average game, mm -hmm. but still, the colonial game is not being extremely tough well, so Morocco far. Morocco and Brittany are going through the Caribbean together. Yeah, finally, uh, and Morocco has a solid foothold in Mexico. Mm -hmm. Brittany is oh. Hey, Brittany is uh, going up and down the East Coast. Yeah, I see them in... Uh, They're East taking New York. South Carolina. So wait, it's not going to be New Amsterdam. It's not going <coughs> to be New York. It should be New Brest or well, New yeah. Nantes. Actually, if you go by Britain... Okay. If you go by Breton standard, it should be New Nantes because the original uh, capital is Nantes or now and then if you speak with Breton. Uh, but as far as everybody else in France is, con is concerned... Uh, Oh, bro now, Ned. Pretty, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, everybody else disagrees that Nantes is in Brittany, so they would have to go with Brest or Saint Malo, maybe. They're doing pretty good. They're 10, 11, 10 for tech, and they have two ideas fully finished, and they're <coughs> going to be picking the second of their third idea. Yeah, and they went exploration, expansion, mm -hmm. uh, which is a it's good it's combo to, yeah. uh, to colonize the heck out of everything. Oh, that, that's one of my favorites. I, I honestly prefer the colonization game to you for like just get the hell out of Europe. <laughs> it is it is it's interesting to be in a debate every time we looked at mm -hmm. uh at, at uh, the average like uh stats of what players play mm -hmm. online and uh, versus what the people in the farm scream you should be playing because <laughs> it doesn't matter that you tell them to pick quality or defensive they most of them still go for exploration because it opens a part of the game that you just don't have without yes. it and that's that's something that's so mm. unique about you for is the colonization mechanics um, and here's also the thing is the stats for a game don't always match what everybody's saying. I'm saying this is a, like a community ambassador because not everybody's going to go onto the forums yes. and leave messages. Yes, indeed. Like I have, uh, I want to award an over CB, uh, Theodoro and Aaron Shar. I'm sorry that you're going to have to do something about this. Oh my God. Why? Theodoro, Aaron Shar, and then Byzantium and Armenia and, and, and like, uh, Nitravaria or like. Oh God. Ba yeah. Bani for some reason, my, I thought Armenia was gone. I know. But now, I know. <laughs> what this, is this? This needs to be cleaned out. I will not accept this. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, what was the Bavarian peace deal? Uh, enough to form Westphalia, I guess. Or are we using Westphalia? What's going on? Um. <laughs> no, I think it's they created enough and then Westphalia form? Yeah, or was it like because the AI took over? I don't think this is the AI. Is this still a player? Uh, yeah, it's still a player. Westphalia is still a player. Uh, yeah, so I guess. What did they see then? Uh, let's look at Bavaria. But what happened to Hesse? <laughs> No, no, Chad. It's not beautiful. You tell lies. Uh, okay, so they gave... They gave one, two, three provinces, I would say? Or maybe they gave a bunch to Saxony, too. Let's see. All the calls mm -hmm. done yet? Yes, yeah, so that's probably not a new transfer. Uh, the new transfers are the one that Bavaria is going right now. That's three provinces. I guess uh, when it's 14, 20... It's not even a lot of development. But I guess within the HRE, they couldn't ask for more? Oh, and maybe Serbia. Oh, oh no. Um, so they took. They also Agron. borrowed some stuff in Serbia because I'm pretty sure Zagreb. Yeah. Uh, uh, is not uh, rightful Bavarian clay. <laughs> I, I was, I was it, looking. So. Uh, they took hmm. Belburger. Oh, Belgrade. Oh, that's uh. really ugly. I, I, I cannot condone that kind of, uh, mm. of, of border and goring. It looks like they only took two counties from Serbia. I mean, yeah, yeah but, but but I think Serbia... Was Serbia in the HRE? They were... So... Yeah, we're down to seven princes. So so HRE land on a secondary peace deal is extremely expensive. Uh, you can't get that much. Oh, actually, no, it's just extra AE. It's not much extra cost, but still. It was painful. Yeah, yeah. No yeah, and they weren't co-belligerent either. Yeah, so that's 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 a cost. Mm-hmm. Uh, how are we doing on the this thing? 172. I'm pretty sure some people were gonna start thinking that we need to uh, rethink this whole uh, Christianity thing. Oh, and this is what they did. Uh, they got uh, Hesse to give up cores in Bavaria. Oh, all right. Um, Coburg <laughs> and Rotenburg. 
Right. And uh, Bamberg. But in the end, we have Westphalia instead as a, st as a new tag. Uh, mm. They don't have a lot of ideas, I just realized. Holy shit. What, is, what have Hesse been doing so long? They have barely any idea. Uh, so Bavaria has put more dev, has done more dev clicks than anyone else in the game. Yeah, no, I was thinking of Hesse. How did they, where did, where did the mana go the whole game? Because they barely have any. We're not too bad on tech, but... Oof. They took like what? One idea? That's not a lot. Apparently there's some expensive edicts going on. Oh, because hmm. they're trying to, Bavaria's trying to convert everything. Yes. Uh, oh. Provence is slowly exiting mainland France. Dang. Uh, they seem to have... They also have a looming disaster of a civil war. Which might be due to their... Uh, yeah, Bavaria can essentially... In... Just well, in just a couple actually. months, they could go. They could jump up to Tech Eleven and everything. Eleven is pretty nice. Twelve is going to be the game changer. Yes. that's probably why they're, they're waiting. It's still thirty-five percent ahead. Yeah, their innovation is twenty point six. Whoever gets like uh, um, twelve first might try to do something about it because it's pretty got powerful. Income. And in terms of ideas, they finished quality. They finished economic, and they're about to get number three of offensive. Mm. I see that the l uh, Korea, Christian Korea, has decided that their colonization path was through Japan. That makes sense. They have. I mean, they have landed. Uh, north IRL. Of it was the opposite, but. Yeah, I guess we're doing a reverse, and the Kamikaze did not save Japan this time. I do have to wonder uh, if Merlin's going to see it through on religion. Yes. Mm -mm. Meanwhile, the nation of Meow is uh, finding Ming, and so far doing okay, actually. Ming has not exploded. They are still a pretty solid emperor of China, but well, at least enough mandate to not give them like the horrible modifier they get uh, if they start having a uh, low mandate. But I'm assuming this is not going to continue very long. Yeah, Merlin did magic. The, the whole reason the world looks like this religiously is because Merlin thought that Europe was too yellow. Oh, wow. And he, he didn't want to wait around for the Protestant Reformation. Okay. <laughs> That's, uh, what if he was colorblind? Maybe, I maybe things would have happened differently. It's, how, how will we ever know? Sorry. Sorry, chat, I need caffeine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I am so jet lagged and sleep deprived. Oh, yeah, production. Do we have any update on those uh, sweet, sweet can of sodas that were promised three hours ago? Oh, it's in the green room. There is stuff in the green room for you. Oh, uh, well. Including, they found a box of English tea. Oh. For our Brits. Oh, yeah, because we have to keep them fed or else uh, the stream or will stop. Mm -hmm. Let's go potato. Which nation did reform France? It is Orléans. Orléans. So many people have dark purple names that I just cannot read on the dark chats. And I'm not doing light mode. That's that's horror. Orléans, uh. yes. As someone said. Uh, let's see if we have more fancy religions <laughs> popping up on the... Oh! Wait a minute. Oh! Pomeranian oh, has, uh, we got has decided that we're done oh. with the Pope. You have... Coke Zero. Thank you. No, no brands. No brands on stream. Right. <laughs> I mean, unless Coke wants to give me a, a partnership deal, yeah. then we, I'm, I'm open to <laughs> offers. You can you can DM me. But uh, in the meantime... Uh, I'm taking logos off. That's why I was trying uh, to like, cover the camera. Pomerania has decided that it is time to protest. Uh, and maybe they don't protest too much, but we shall see. Uh, I, as far as I know, they're the only one to Here. have flipped. I'll open it for you. Yes. Thank you so much. Uh, they are the only one who have flipped. The question is, will other people follow them? Who is going to form Prussia? That's a chat question. <coughs> That'd actually be a fun uh, quiz, but I don't know if we have anyone on online that can Serbian team will those. relocate to Brazil. Why would Serbia relocate? We're still... I mean, I think we're still in the game. They lost, they lost some juicy provinces, but they're not out of the game. I mean, I guess as long as we can form an alliance, we could come back, but I don't oh know. Yeah, it is this weird thing here. 
it is very uh, it is very on point for uh, for for a new 4 MP player to lose one province in a peace deal and immediately decide that this game is utterly unplayable <laughs> and, and, and demand a new nation. Well, that that goes for a lot of the paradox games. You yeah, yeah, do not lie, chat. We have we have uh, we have discovered uh, through a very uh, thorough analysis of the telemetry that the most common case of the game crashing is you losing a war. <laughs> What's the heathen tolerance of Provence? Prussia sounds like a death sentence. I mean, look what happened to the Pope. Everyone thought the Pope was too powerful, and now the Pope got banished to Korea. I mean, and this is something I was actually talking about mm -hmm. the other day. I lived in Korea for five plus years. I'm married to a Korean, actually. But Korea's uh, geography it is kind of similar to Italy's with the smaller mountains, the valleys. Like, it has the same kind of vibe, and I'm not sure entirely if that's because of, like, the way the peninsula, f peninsula is formed or what. But they have the same kind of vibe. Um, so about, it makes sense they got banished to Korea. Yeah, what about the pizza and the pasta, though? Uh, and the red do you wine. like sugar on your pasta? Uh, no. Yeah, that's... No, mm. no. And I'm guessing the wine is also not that good. Uh, you'll know there's makali, which is rice wine. It's nothing like French wine or Italian wine. And I'm not sure I could. But it's really good. Okay. Oh. You you drink it, it just, mm. it's beautiful, it's smooth. It goes really good with like um, a salty, spicy kind of side side dishes. Interesting. Like junk. Interesting. Koreans <laughs> and Italians are indistinguishable. Um, They're I the same picture. <laughs> You know the meme? Mm. Yeah. I'm, I'm, Anio. Anio. I, I, th I think he's pushing it. Mm. I think that's going a little step too far there. So far, we do not have anybody else abandoning the Pope. I mean, other than all the ones who are already dead, oh. of course. But <clears throat> we cool. have at least one nation who decided that it was time for some reformation, which, I mean, with no solid Pope to protect them. Uh, means that they're probably gonna get a bunch of uh, province slap. I'm actually surprised that the Dutch, maybe they're waiting for reform, because I think reform is even better for trade. Possibly. Um, and no, there are no victory cards. Um, no, indeed. Ooh, yeah, corn pizza. That's interesting. One. Potato pizza is really good. It is. Yes. Uh, Although I'm not sure I could. No, actually, I'm wrong. What am I saying? I was just uh, nodding in acknowledgement. No, no, what are you doing? <laughs> you what the fuck's going on? It's like potato wedges. Ah! On pizza. It's like potato wedges on the pizza with like. Oh, a yeah, ham no. It's, uh, it's, 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 it's very savory. It's, it's not. It's carbs on carbs, though. Yes. It's probably not good for you, but <clears> it is delicious. Um, what was there? Oh, yeah, the cheesy corn. Oh. Side dishes. I, I mean, you're American. I'm more of a, I'm more of no. an Italian pizza type of guy. I mean, yeah, I, I work with Lorenzo they, for they a while. He, he taught me everything I have to think about his culture and how I should judge every. It's common in Korea to put cream cheese on pizza. <sighs> I mean, I live in Sweden. You, you don't want to know what they do to pizza <laughs> because it's, it's I've heard mostly like criminal. I've heard bananas in Denmark. A banana, and, a banana and curry is a, 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 a <laughs> Swedish staple, and the other one is kebab pizza, and it's exactly what you think, but worse. So, so you take the p uh, sorry, maybe the war should uh, take. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so we can continue talking about kebab pizza if We're you talking want. talking about pizza. Ooh. Maybe <laughs> Hamburg should go into the pizza market. Actually, franchise out of burgers, Wait. or maybe someone else Wait. should start to. Uh, uh, oh, they, what they, happened to Hamburg? Uh, they are the Hanseatic League now. Yes, I was like, wait a minute, we're talking about Hamburg. <laughs> they are the young men of Lubeck. <laughs> we got out our pizza tangent. Yes. We are. Oh, yeah. So they managed to reform Lubeck. Or more like form the Anseatic League. Mm -hmm. Which is a pretty powerful formable from uh, the Lions of the North, I think? Question mark. Which should give them some money. They are making some dosh. They're making 70 bucks from trade. That's pretty good. Uh, my question is about the Dutch. I would expect the Dutch to make money, but they're not nearly as rich. Better question, why are they not clicking the form Dutch Nation? What are they waiting for? Oh. Hmm. Um, 
If you'd like, we can interview Andalusia. Uh, they're already yes, absolutely. It's it's kind of a more quiet time right now. Uh, on yeah, in there's the game, there's so. no blue flames. No, the world is uh, finally reached peace. Well, for now. Knock for now, wood. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, meow! Yeah, uh, so, bigger. if our um, the Polish snake still makes no sense. Lovely gremlins over there. <laughs> goblins, not gremlins. Right, well, gremlins usually work with like technology. Right. Well, against it. Oh, I guess it depends. But yeah. Yeah. What's the most tinkery race? If you want to put in the chat to them, we'd be we'd be happy cobbles. to see. Goblins are more like traps. A goblin would work. I think mm -hmm. goblin is. Uh, the and the thing is, uh, the An Andalusians, they went full costume. Yes, they're not the only ones actually, no. but they are of part them of them the one who do. Um, so, are you able to send them a message? Maybe we're uh, we're, 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 we're using the goblin powers to. Oh, okay. Because uh, yeah, my phone my phone's very far away charging, because there's no charging port here. Oh. Everything's being used to make sure the stream runs. Yes, which I mean, it should be <laughs> the priority yes. after all. Croatia is on the map again. Oh, will, will Serbia get uh, some uh, bad? Flashbacks uh, <laughs> pushed by Bavaria later in the game. Gremlins are nice, just don't <laughs> add water. Exactly, and um, also like bright lights, which that's why we have the bright lights in our face uh, while they're pretending to uh, to be in the darkness. Oh, what? Yeah, what is? Has Poland gone with their promise of 100% cav now that they are Poland? I don't think. No, they still have 46 units of infantry and 22 units of cav. And then they have one little culvern. Oh, wow. I guess we don't <laughs> expect to run into forts anytime soon. <laughs> they also have zero reproduction tradition. Oh, yeah, that's why they have a lot protected for uh, a lot protected. They just don't really have uh, tradition, but do not turn into. I think there's an exploit like that, right? Where you have a lot protected, but you never turn into a monarchy. I never remember how that works. But I know there is a trick where, in some yeah. cases, you can have a lot protector that never flips <laughs> to. Uh, <laughs> because I'm using that computer, I just talked to Bjorn. You are Bjorn. <laughs> I am Hello. Bjorn. You're, uh, I am now Bjorn. You have become Bjorn. I've stolen Flurry's hat. I was originally Rose, and now hmm. I'm Bjorn. <laughs> some people suggest that they are purposefully tanking their republic to switch to monarchy, which will allow Ooh. them to take aristocratic missions set on uh, on t uh, ID set on top, which give even more horsepower. I mean, but how much horsepower do they need? Uh, is that a question? You're American, the answer should be <laughs> yes. <laughs> Frankly, I'd prefer to be able to take trains everywhere, though I do enjoy driving. I know. I don't I like know. having to drive. I mean, you're in New York, right? That's, that's clearly I mean, not a place where I would like to be driving. No. we They are a dictatorship now. Yes, that's which yeah. is technically still a republic, according to sources. <laughs> you, you may want to challenge that claim, chat, but technically speaking... As far as EFO is concerned, this government, this dictatorship is totally democratic. It's zero percent democratic, but it's democratic. Whose vassal is Venice? Uh, it's probably Provence. Probably. Mm. No, they're out. No, there we go. Krish. No, you're looking at before, yeah. I always forget it does. That's one thing that <coughs> has bothered me about EU4. It remembers where you were with diplomacy, even when you click on another nation. Mm. Just like, please. You know please. what I just thought? Nobody they're, yeah, they're a vassal of Provence. Uh, you know what is still primarily a state that nobody has touched yet? India. Uh. India is 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 insane amount of like development and riches, and nobody's even near it at this point. Nobody has tried. <laughs> I wonder if you're hoping for a respawn. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, Bjorn is realizing that we're <laughs> typing from his laptop, so he's wondering how is he typing stuff. But don't worry he's about like, it. He's like, I didn't write that. Imposters. Hmm. Uh, you see the shenanigans that happen. Great fun. Oh, Serbia has rebels. Rubles? There's oh, also rebels. Serbian separatists. Oh, in rebels? Because there is rebels, rubble, just, and yeah. rubles. We probably have at least two of those. Did the snake get cut off? Um, no. No, no it just got weirder. Just, it does stand out better now. It's trying to sprout a second head going north, actually. Yeah, I see that. Uh, maybe we're going to turn into like a, like an hydra or and something. And Finland has grown. 
It's it's a bigger Finland. Uh, Tver was supposed to form Muscovy soon, I was told. But they have not because they have not got Novgorod. Oh, Novgorod is still held by uh, their friend, question mark. Yeah. It is their friend. Uh, yeah, they would need uh, they would need Novgorod to be able to form Russia. I, I feel like we're going to start seeing some conflicts because people they have their their goals, their plans. Things yes. are, you know, I I doubt Bavaria planned to be Shinto when they first started playing. Well, you say that, but um, so, eh, but people have their plans. Uh, Switzerland got renamed to Switzer Lake, by the way. I'm checking uh, if someone else has flipped religions, but I don't see anybody maybe else. No, it didn't. Where it, why did it show hmm. Switzer? Something was weird on my no, screen. No, Protestantism is pretty weak so far. What happened in Korea? Korea has been uh, taken over by the Popes. Which uh, would be funny if you flip Catholic, but... Uh, yes, uh, oh, so... You know, Wanju, Heiju, Suwon, Gyeongyeong, Gyeongju, they're, they're all Catholic now. Yeah, we're, we're, we're adapting. Jimbu. And granted, there are a lot of Christian churches in Korea. It's all the, it's actually more Protestant than Catholic, though. Ah, uh, damn. Mm -hmm. We're having a pause. Is someone uh, responding? Um, and mm. they are colonizing, they're going after Japan. Yes, because Japan was uh, not doing too well. Uh, mm -hmm. They're still not doing too well, I guess. We have a foothold in, uh, in Kyushu. Oh, Westphalia will mm. reclo relocate into Ayutthaya? Where is that? Uh, Ayutthaya is in uh, Southeast Asia. I was here. Oh, yeah, there we go. There, I, I see. Uh, pretty, pretty sweet nation. They're not doing too bad. How are they doing? Uh, yeah, because if you manage to get Indonesia, you can get a pretty solid power by the 1099 end of the game. Administrative, quantity, and <coughs> offensive. I don't know that I go a quantity with um, to you, but sure. Yeah, Chad has a point. If, uh, if if Korea conquers Japan, they will literally have God and anime on their side, <laughs> which is terrifying. And probably on the front to go to its creation. But we shall see how mm. that unfolds. You know, this today's hat. Yep. 200% reform desire. I'm assuming that we might s see reform pop eventually. Uh, so there is a link to the forum, which hopefully Ryagi or someone can drop in chat. And from there, there's a link where you can check out who the players are on the Turbo Alert page, or you can check out the... Uh, he's not paying attention. Check out the other place with the maps, which I can never remember the name of. I'm sorry. The Scusser... Skanderberg. Yes, Skanderberg. Oh, Quebec is form. They have like a weird... wrong Italian flag. It's interesting. But... <laughs> Sometimes I worry about... I wor oh, there we go. We're paused. Here is uh, Utahia spawning in. <coughs> Trying to cover logos while I get caffeine in my system. Oh, yeah, unless you have a sponsorship deal. So, Quebec was... Brittany? Yes, I believe so. Mm -hmm. Yes. They were running off, and it looks like they were letting, they're letting France take their old land. <coughs> oh. Well, Which maybe was part of the deal of France. Uh, I guess I guess it's better. Yeah, because we probably reuse this colonial nation and then continue as mm -hmm. them. Because if you move your capital, then you would have Quebec France here, and that would be really cursed. <laughs> and I would not accept that. Uh, oh I like no. how Byzantium has kept the Ottoman like as a. They're keeping them as a pet. Yeah. Uh, the colors are still all wrong over here. Why? Why was this program this way? What do you mean? To have nations that are so close to each other have the same color. Uh, I, I think uh, the content designers, when they create new nations, choose their colors, so it's intentional. It's not a programming error. Mm. And I, well, I said, why someone did the programmers choose this? What? Well, I said, why did the programmers choose this? But 
No, it's it's the it's the designers. It's the it's the people who the writers and the design and the, and the game designers who have made these country's choice. Why is Byzantium keeping like an Ottoman preserve here? Because it's funny. I guess. I mean, they haven't managed to go far in their mission tree. I guess. How are the Ottomans doing? <laughs> the Ottomans. They're sitting here with Edmund Edmund ideas. Yeah, I guess. Oh, they're on tick six seven seven. Yeah. <laughs> it's a uh, pet. Can you check if we're gonna be hosting? Dang, is that a nice sultan though? Oh, it's pretty good. Six five six. They are guaranteed to get uh, to get good airs as long as they have a cool the cool thing. Mm -hmm. um, oh yes, yeah, someone's no longer in sync. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting to see if people are gonna come back. In the meantime, I can check the ID set. So. Uh oh. Oh. Did we lose the internet? That would oh explain dear. maybe why we... <coughs> um, Chat, if you can hear us, tell us. If you can't hear us, tell us also. Um, hey, we're still there. Ch we see Chat. We do. Chat so says we hear us. Yep. So the stream is live. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, the uh, goblins uh, goblins are getting error messages, <laughs> but uh, it's still working. So, you know, like, we'll pretend no, everything we is fine. No, we definitely can't hear you. <laughs> 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 nice try. There's nice always try. someone. There's always somebody. Nice. Cool. Oh, we lost the server though, so I'm guessing we're getting a rehost. So uh, please yes. uh, Exit. watch the best feature of you 4 again. The restart mm -hmm. to menu. Okay, I guess we got a false alarm from the yes. goblin room, but we're good. Two guys saying they can't hear you, so it's not just one guy. It must be true. That. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's consistent. I uh, I agree. <laughs> oh, chat, chat, chat. All right. Okay. So you did not notice chat, but 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 the connection did drop down, but magically. But it wasn't due well, to the magic of the internet. Well, because stream even it's still honestly delayed a few seconds by Twitch. And so if it does drop, it may just be like a slow frame or it, Twitch may like catch it up. Mm, they, they managed to, uh, they managed so to cheat yes. and made it work anyway. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're waiting for a rehost. Uh, in the meantime, you can uh, enjoy your commentary <gasps> of over the loading screen. I click. I think this guy's question wow. of Denmark. Question My mark. game just went completely. <coughs> I, I told it to go to quit to menu and it decided to quit to desktop. Ah, well, close enough. <laughs> <coughs> it's Twitch's fault. Yeah, Twitch is Twitchy. Mm, I mean, with a name like that, mm. you would expect it to. Uh... Oh. So, Chad, who are you, who is your favorite nation currently? And it could be a nation that's dead. <coughs> oh, in the game, you mean not? Yes, oh in yeah, the yeah. in the game, in the game, All in right. our current game. Right. Wh who are you simping for? Poland's. Poland has votes so far. Avalon. Shintovaya. <laughs> Shinto Bavaria for the cursed. Nitra, Granada, France, Meow. Horse Boys, so Poland again. Uh, Andalusia. <laughs> okay, it's, it's pretty split. It's. it's Cornwall, <laughs> definitely a country. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Hamburg. Hamburg corner. We have reforms Prussia. I don't know if it's going to happen in this game, actually. Mm. It, it usually happens. Eventually, some people just, just like, come on, come on. Host, can I play Prussia? Um, we're going to need the... Uh, sometimes it shows up here, but uh, sometimes it doesn't, so... Yeah. Let scan me, let the me check my uh, my secret uh, goblin sources. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Actually, it's not the goblins because that's this GM. Jim needs another title because else it gets confusing. Um, dude, the Teutonic Order is going to form Prussia. That's an interesting thing. If I would need to do some diplomacy of Pomerania first, I think, and also talk about Protestants, uh, which we haven't done. Yes, no, we're supposed to be talking to some contestants in about ten minutes, I believe. Though right now would have been a perfect time. Well, the rehost. Mm -hmm. Did 
chat, did y'all did y'all like hearing from Merlin? From the story side. Apologies, that was probably very noisy because this bottle just does not want to be drunk quietly. You like the echo. It was very musical, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't hear it, so it's, it's just fine um, on my end. Yeah, it was fine on our end. We thought it was our mics, so we were like covering our mics with our hands. Yeah, oh, but I've did you drink in this one? I don't it doesn't seem to have been open. Maybe not. No. No, okay. I couldn't remember if I had or not. I don't know if we can show local Polish water as a sponsor or not. So <laughs> I don't know if you can get it anywhere just anyway. It's just water. It's just water. <laughs> can Sunni Provence form Italy? I will check as soon as we're back in. Merlin the sound wizard. Oh. I have a question. <coughs> Since yes. we started an hour early, when do we actually end and switch back? Uh, I think <coughs> <laughs> when we like we're done. <laughs> oh shit! We're gonna be there all night, aren't we? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, uh, for chat did not hear what I was saying. Uh, we asked when we ending, and we say when you can pronounce derby correctly. So you know it's gonna take a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, people are asking if Flo is already with That's the balls. My poles. favorite nation. Oh, mm. uh, oh, hey! Oh. We're being joined by more Poria Paradox people. Hello, Mordred. Uh, hello, Mordred. A good time to raid. We're rehosting. Exactly, and yes. we have some actual Norse on the stream. Well, oh, we will an hour early. as soon as it uh, as the as, yes. as the rehost happen. Skin. Someone, someone's playing a game with nine players. That's pretty impressive. <coughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Come Welcome on. Welcome, Raiders. Come on. No, the, the only thing I have in chat is people screaming meow so, uh, <laughs> on, on, on the game chat. So, so it's going to be uh, a bit. What is your favorite nation, Matthew? You mean beside France? Yes, besides France. <laughs> Uh, of the players, like how the players have been doing. Of the players that have been doing. Uh, hmm, that's, a, that's a good question, actually. Uh, <coughs> um, <laughs> I like how Andalusia was doing, but I think they had a pretty strong start. Uh, they've been doing okay. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, actually. I think I need to see more stuff happening. Who was the good ally, for example? There's too many people like having wrong decisions, like sharing colors and things that they need to clear out of bed <laughs> because this is just not okay. Uh, I want to see what the new world player do. I am a fan of Navarra mm. because, unlike most of the other nations so far, that they you know they lost their capital. And instead of being like, okay, let's re-roll a nation, they're like, okay, let's jump to Ireland. We've got a great peace deal with Wales. Yeah. Then we're going to, you know, continue onwards. We'll see yeah. how they do and what they do. But yeah. I like that scrappy sort of... Yeah, yeah, the underdog around. story, yes. The other thing I would like to see, and I haven't seen enough mm. in the stream, is people would just jump in, like, when things seem to be going bad and decide that we're going to come and whack yes. some people. I haven't seen any intervention that were not kind of already made by the existing alliances block. Uh, I would like so to see more people shifting and say, you know what, I'm going to throw my hat in the ring. We did have everyone jump in to help Switzerland, and then they all ran away. Yeah, and then we all ran away, and it, all <laughs> it, it changed like five times. Um, I'm curious what Poland is going to do, actually. The, the Polish, like, raid east is, is, is might become interesting. I did just get told that this was a very Hoy-style hat. This was a hat got by Flory because he thought his white hat wouldn't work anymore. But he couldn't find another white hat, so he got this. And then he got his white hat working correctly. Cleaned. Uh, and so he left this in the cast room. It got buried under stuff, mm. and so I stole it. Yeah, it's easy to forget stuff in this yes. room. It's pretty. It's, it's a really nice, cozy, like a uh, free room apartment, uh, like a uh, king's yeah, apartment that yeah, we're sitting like on. Suddenly, we're not sleeping here. We're just we're just casting, and then we go to our uh, trailers <laughs> for <Yes>. the night. <laughs> How does that not work? Um, it it needed to visit the hat laundry room. The hat laundry. Yeah, yeah. I think he, he had forgotten to do hat laundry before he packed. I yes. think was his problem. And so he tried getting another one. <laughs> he turned the hat off and on again. Well, 
I mean, at least he hasn't lost the hat. He's <laughs> lost his phone. He lost his room key. Yeah. He's a uh, oh <laughs> oh the room no let's let's not maybe talk about the episode where he lost his room key which happened to have been in his pocket. <laughs> Yes, typical flurry things, indeed, <coughs> indeed. He's a very. Uh, but don't worry. He's fine. He, he's great. And, and then we have Lady Sockfron. Yeah, Lady Sockfron can entertain us in a bit. Can you tell us a joke, Lady Sockfron? Um, um, um. I'm sorry. I'm only the first version. I can't do jokes like the VTuber version. It does work that you have an American accent too. That that sounds <laughs> I mean, somewhat close. Yeah, well, Lady Saffron, I like that. This lovely Saffron took an Uber from her place to mine. So I see. That was the Uber oh. driver confused when uh, when he was asked for a ride for just a sock puppet? <laughs> oh, it was in a package. Oh, okay. Cause because because just like the sock <laughs> puppet would then have told said Uber driver like if they did watch E4. Then they would have known her location and my location, mm. and yeah, safety, right, safety, right, not being right. doxxed. Because, because the guy would have had a story to tell, right? It yeah, was like somebody paid me to drive a sock puppet from no, A so to B. Uber actually has a service where you can have packages delivered, either picked up or dropped off, mm. and so that's what we did. <laughs> yes, <laughs> um, so that's what we did. I was gonna go pick it up personally, but my kid was sick, and it's just. Yeah. <laughs> the whole story. It's a whole story. Your kids are too young to play you for, right? Uh, yes. My oldest is three and a half. Mm. He he does sit there and ask me like what I'm doing when I'm playing a game. I'm like, oh, it's a playing a map game. Then he'll want to open up Google Maps and click around. So you know what you should do? Because one of our QA used to do that because one of her son was a teenager and he played you mm -hmm. for. And she loved to death the idea of hot joining and mm -hmm. trashing the heck out of him and all his friends because she was queuing this game for years <laughs> and she was actually really good at it. And you were like, ah, you got beaten by my mom. <laughs> and she was like, I'm having way too much fun about this. The poor kid is gonna grow like he's gonna grow like stressed. <laughs> so I forgot the name of the board game, but there is a space board game that I played um, with people in Korea. Someone someone brought it because I was part of a board game club. Someone brought the game, um, and it ended up being myself playing, uh, another guy that I'm <coughs> good friends with who helped me run the club, and then another guy who had seen around some, and then some guy that was brand new to it. Well, I he the guy that was brand new seemed to think that the other two guys were the big threats, and so he focused on trying to screw them over the whole game. Oh. And then I turned around and won the game at the end. Oops. I, I've never seen more of a startled expression on someone's face as he's trying to, like, look at the board going, like, what? It was a very like Stellaris, but it was a board game. Oh, Flory is dressed as a hamburger. Yes. This needs to go in the news feed, Riyaji. So if you're in the Discord... <laughs> Unless uh, Rival can pull it up on stream for us. Uh, but We're going to oh. try. We're going to try because uh, this is what he does when he's not streaming and why <laughs> we have to be here because he has to run oh, some uh, shenanigans it? like this one. Where was it? <clears throat> oh. Chad is um, trying to guess which game it was. The, the best game, so best oh, guess is. so far is Twilight Imperium, but uh, I don't know if that was the game you were Maybe? talking about. Maybe. A strong maybe. It might have been. It was uh, hex tiles that we hex tiles that we placed as we explored. And we each had our own little board that had um, our tech levels and ships and stuff. Eclipse! That was it. Yes. No, not terraforming ours. Um, <laughs> it was Eclipse. That w mm. it, It's been... God, that was six years ago maybe a I while ago. it was a while ago it was settlers before of i had Catan. kids no, this is not settlers of Catan. no settlers so of Catan Catan in is space. Very good game. yes but this was you went to the edge of a hex and you're like i'm gonna explore so you draw one off the pile flip it over and see what was there um you know it's a fun game is uh do you like train games a bit so you know like i'm not i'm working on victoria so let me uh. see <laughs> So there's a game called Empire Builder. Mm -hmm. 
uh, which has different versions across the world. The one, but the one I actually own is Euro Rails, mm. and you get to draw on the board with a crayon. Oh. So you're actually building the tracks. So unlike some of the other ones where you, you know, the tracks are already there, and you're like placing the different colors to show right, you own right, it. Right. This one is you have your own colored crayon, and you draw. Mm. And so it's like dot to dot. It's like um, one, a cost of one. If it's like a dot to a mountain, it's like a cost of three. Cross bridges adds another one, so it'd be like, oh no, it's two for the mountain, and it's over a river would be an extra one, so for three. Uh, very fun. There's also a uh, Martian one. Oh. And everything on the Martian map is named after, you know, like Martian stories and oh. stuff. Oh. Like old school uh, Martian stories, like um, John, like Princess of Mars. Oh yeah, I was I was thinking like like uh, yeah. Edgar Rice Burrow, yeah. Yes. So great stuff. Uh, the greatest burger. <laughs> I guess he's up on stream now. We can't see ourselves, but actually, I could make it so we could just to double check. Oh, yeah. No. Oh no! It's Sorry, back I to look, us. The I burger look, I, is I gone. I look very concentrated because I'm pouring a glass, uh, probably on <laughs> stream, and I don't want to spill like a disclosed unsponsored drink. I need a glass. That would make things much easier. Because <laughs> I'm sitting here like covering the can. Because um, I literally grabbed this on the way upstairs. Oh. We switched. We switched uh, stream teams early because of the whole rehost and everything. It just made more sense to do it then, because that was an earlier break. Uh, yes. So, I don't know when we're switching again. Uh, it looks like six o'clock. <laughs> so we got another again. hour and a half. Okay, all right. Then you stuck with us for a bit. Then so chat. that will have been a three and a half hour. Again. Group. Wow. Nice. Mm -hmm. Ah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. That um, maybe I'm gonna try some of that uh, Polish water after I'm done. <laughs> Just chill a bit, you know, in wind. Uh, <laughs> we're in Zoka Castle. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. C Z O C H A. Yes. Yes. Yes, that 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 castle. That castle. Yes. It's it the original one. That the OG castle from 2017. Mm -hmm. The first Grand Slam. Uh, which has secret passages. It does. Which there will be video footage of that hmm. that's being captured to be published after the event. But there's pretty cool. Like while we're streaming, the door here is extremely loud. So for every anyone to come in while we're live, they have to go around through a secret passage to get to the stream room. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's like Choha? <coughs> Choha, Choha Castle? Oh, that's how you pronounce it. I guess okay. so. Okay. Uh, thank you. And then people complain that French doesn't read <laughs> as, uh, as, as it's written. I don't understand what you're talking about. Uh, but yeah. Wait, what am I... They're only going to be... Doing an hour and a half? We're getting robbed. Rival, are you sure about that time? Okay, so then we'll have two more at the end? Okay, so... All right. Oh, so we'll be back at 20 and then they'll then be back at 22. Well, ex... Because it ends yeah. at midnight, right? Yep, so you don't have to do the 22. Nice. Oh, that would make more sense. Yeah, you put 20. That's why I was like, they're on for two hours, and then we still that, have four that's hours. That's British time. <laughs> you left your island, mate. You have to adjust your clock. I upset the goblins. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, we all there. We all there. <laughs> Uh, so on. Uh, Riaji can link you to the mm. forum there, Princess Katie. Yeah, and for the other bit, yeah, I know that Derby is pronounced Derby. Like, I don't know what your problem <laughs> is either. Uh, who is not ready? Someone has forgot to ready, but who's? I mean, it'd be over here, it would show someone's not green. Actually, everybody's ready, they just need to eat the button. Slap that like button. So let's give a round of applause in chat to Riaji, who does not get to be at the cool castle, but he's been sitting in front of his computer making sure that everything runs smoothly on stream and chat and everything. 
Yeah, he's with us in spirit. Yes. He is the guy in the chair making sure things go where they're supposed to because our Wi-Fi is hit or miss here sometimes. We have good, solid, uh, plugged-in internet. Yeah, I heard from some sources that this is one of the reasons that the land was moved from this castle to mm. Nozna Castle for a couple years was because the internet connection here was a bit sketchy. Mm -hmm. uh, but then in the five or six years in between, they uh, apparently figured out the infrastructure thing. Mm -hmm. And where are all the human players gone? Um. What's going on? Uh. Why do I see only one human player? Uh. Global test. Game is paused. Something is wrong. Something is very wrong. Oops. Oh god. Uh. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I think. It's a beautiful empty world we're looking at. Do we have. I think we. Something went wrong. Yep, something went wrong. I think yep. we're gonna rehost. Yes, this is very likely to happen. There are no players. <coughs> except for uh, the land GM in uh, Kodiant. Uh <laughs> I guess we all play the GM. Oh. There we go, server lost. Let's try this again. Yes. QA session edition. Well, we were supposed to have a couple players up here a few minutes ago, but I'm guessing with the rehosting, they're not. Oh, they're looking oh, for. Oh, they're him. looking for. Is he pulling a flurry? Is he like channeling flurry? Or oh, they're in the same room. That's possible. <sighs> I did catch the flurry and Zelvik. Well, Zelvik <coughs> was playing the LAN. They were both sitting there watching football on a laptop. Ah, is there a game going today? Uh, this was yesterday. Oh, okay. Because I know like, there's night. like a Formula One race today or tomorrow. I, I don't know. I think it's Sundays. I, d I don't follow F1 really, but uh, I've, I've, I've read about it on the internet. I don't have a favorite team, <laughs> but there's a number of them that are just... You, you can tell they're just having good fun. Oh, it's feedback. Hello, feedback. You're going to see feedback in a few days. Yeah, we do. Uh, he's going to come here and uh, discover the castle, and we can show him all the secret passages and all the That's funny cool. stuff we've discovered. The dungeon, everything same else. Same mod. <coughs> Interesting that I click same mod and there's still so many games with the same mod. Yeah, you That's know what we should do? We should alt tab and make a Jira live. Uh, on on stream to just tell Tinto to fix it because that's the good bit, right? Mm. Since since none of us are from Tinto, we can just <laughs> make as many bugs we possibly want. It's on them to fix it. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> Have fun, nerds. Oh, take the dungeon. They'll just throw you in a secret uh, tunnel, secret staircase. Up oh, there it is, Grand's Land. Join game. All right. So it is this. This is the new one that I saw here. Okay. I had to mentally make sure I would not spell the password out as I was typing it because um, else <laughs> we would have 2,000 people <laughs> trying to join the server to troll us, which, I mean... Um, yeah, that that would <coughs> happen. Don't, don't do that. No. That Turbo would LARP would commit murder. Yes. Um, they throw you in the dungeon. Oh no, not the dungeon. <laughs> ah? Stop that. Yeah, there is an oubliette. Uh, I'm told. Mm. I believe Leah's gone and gotten like all that sort of stuff. Are we reloading? Do yeah, do I guess we're we'll reloading because uh, I'm seeing a safe transfer somewhere. Yes, because uh, that ain't how the world looks hmm. anymore. No, I'm pretty sure the world has changed since. <laughs> mm. There's a tower. I have to get up to the tower. I guess yeah. tomorrow. Like it just because hmm. I was. Like live all this morning. Yeah, I know. And uh, yesterday when I and arrived, I didn't dark. have the time. I mean, you can go with uh, with a light, but without a light, it's it's this dangerous. The, yeah, I'm like no. And since it didn't mark for a week to suffer for their sins. <laughs> uh, never. It would be funny to see a feedback play play you for. I try to encircle people and like that doesn't work. 
Yeah. Well, I think feedback's done CK. Observer mode again. Readying up. Yes. Fingers crossed, chat. This Fingers crossed. Wait this time. I believe in this. We're getting a lot of people in. I can use that location to look at the player map mode. <coughs> uh, the Americas are still pretty open. India is to me the biggest like empty area full of, uh, I mean, reasonable amount of people. I think the death map, yeah, th 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 there's, there's some good land here. Oh, we have. Ah, 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 ah. I can't see anything. No, but we are getting some uh, some people. We are getting some people. Yes, I can barely see them, but they can see uh, us. I can see they see us. We Is that like we this feel like we we're have being spotlights yeah, we're, being, us. we're being interrogated by uh, by the players? Like, <laughs> tell us oh, everything. Oh I haven't God. seen anything. I don't know anything. <laughs> All right, Let's keep talking. All right, so yes. we're, we're setting them I up. Like, I uh, couldn't even see Merlin when he was here. Yeah, yeah I could. I, I think like you're, you're worse than me. We're setting people <laughs> up. Uh, we're gonna get an interview very soon. As soon as we get the safety uh, thing with the like the, the vest demonstration and everything. Mm -hmm. And, the, and uh, they, we make sure there's no magical <laughs> echoes that Merlin hasn't like cursed the camera again. Yes, also that. Yes. Uh, oh no. <laughs> Let's see. Do Aha. We have magic. Hello. <laughs> oh, I can actually see them. Hello, hello. <laughs> and now I can't anymore. They're can gone. We, can we not? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. You want right. to take it? All right. So, joining us first for a player interview, we have the lovely nation that started as Granada and is now Andalusia. Would you all like to introduce yourselves? Once rival, we're having audio. Uh, uh oh. Yes. Oh yes. We're Merlin, working on that. Merlin has now cursed us the opposite direction. Instead Don't of an echo, damn it, Merlin. there's a silence. Fix your spells. Come on, Merlin. You yes. can do it. Oh, you can hear now. Which? Hmm. Or. 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 Would one of you like to say something? Okay. Ah, 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 I can hear them. Can you hear us now? Yes. yes. Perfect. Uh, we introduce ourselves maybe again. Yes. So I'm obviously Slavik, and this is my uh, colleague. Hello. We are pretty much splitting our game time by half, and our third guy is a Diplo guy, running around the castle the whole day because it's so exciting here. Uh, we have pretty much two announcements. We finished our conquest in Europe. We don't plan to expand uh, anymore in Europe. We cleared the borders in Iberia. Uh, we are still super tolerant, as we have uh, promises of Norse, we have promises of Confucian, we have uh, promises of Zoroastrian in our promises, and we plan to keep it that way until the end. And uh, we have second announcement about the new world. Yeah. Oh. So, as uh, Zlevik mentioned, we, in 1444, accepted refugees of different uh, religions and cultures to our borders, and now we are continuing on that uh, path forward. Uh, so, we are accepting Serbian refugees on our colony in Brazil. So soon there will be a first playable colony in Brazil, which is Serbia. Oh. oh. Very interesting. So do you have a long-term plan for Europe? Or do you plan to just stay in the Iberian Peninsula? Yeah, we plan to just keep uh, developing our lands and building up. And our next moves will pretty much depend on our allies, the other, uh, the other Muslim nations. Oh, like we, we can, I think we can, uh, we are safe to say that we are not planning on conquering anything outside of the Iberian Peninsula in Europe. Ah, in Europe. That's a pretty big gotcha. Yes. What about yeah. Africa? Uh, sorry? What about Africa? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, regarding Africa, obviously we are not touching our friends. 
uh, which are Tunis and Morocco. Uh, pretty, uh, our best friends actually from the beginning of the game. Uh, but there are some unclaimed lands in Africa still. Mm. Uh, no player, no claim, so perhaps we can get there. Perhaps a colony. Oh, yeah. I see. Hold on. So oh, I, we down. see you do have a colony started there. Yeah, we yeah. took over it from Portugal, and ah. uh, yeah, for now it's mainly to grab the trade from uh, from the Gulf there. I see. I see that Holland is in the Cape actually. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Uh, we we not you do not plan to go to Cape, not that far. I see. We do have um, the fact chat. I think fell in love a bit when y'all attacked the Pope. Ah, yeah, yeah, that was a lovely war. I mean, <laughs> that was because, you know, at the beginning of today's session, everyone in the castle was talking, Pope is going to attack you with an IR. And <laughs> we were just like super scared. We started building up, took the golden era. And it actually worked because uh, when Provence saw it, they changed their minds and decided to switch to Sunni and <laughs> join our side to kill the Pope. <laughs> Beautiful. Nevertheless, in, ended, in that it ended up in a world war, right? Like <laughs> ten people joined Pope yes, uh, against just two of us, uh, two of us uh, in terms of nations, right? So Provence and Andalusia, but we managed to pull it off. Yes, you were you were quite outnumbered at one point, but your tech and I guess your faith saw you through. Yeah, there were two two factors. One, we really committed, especially Provence, which went bankrupt after that war. And uh, to many nations, when they saw how we are committing and winning this war, they were rather easy to be pissed out. Uh, of course, we had to do some diplomacy, and uh, actually with Serbia as well, yeah. which will be our colonial nation soon. Uh, but it worked. And also we, were the, also, we were the only nation all around the world to have quality economic at this point. Finished. Oh. Finished, yeah. So we, uh, we were the only with that policy for 5% discipline enabled. Oh, very yeah. nice. Well, is there anything else you would like to share with chat or with us casters? Though apparently it's just me right now. <laughs> I've been abandoned here. <laughs> oh, I get Bjorn. Yes. There goes Bjorn. I, I don't think we have anything unless chat is uh, having any questions. Ch uh, chat. They started as Granada. Do we have any other questions from chat for them? Come on, chat. Oh. Should we rename any of province to something oh. funny? Ooh. Yes. Does chat have any... <laughs> <laughs> Does Chad have any recommendations for names for provinces? Province Mac Province face. <laughs> because we did change one uh, one province. I think it's still our capital. It was Cordoba. Right now it's uh, Kurburger because uh, Hamburg Hamburg asked oh us to yes. change it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we we need to get the Hamburg I people in. Yes, I don't we think do. we can uh, share the water award we did we did get for it in public. Uh, do I don't even remember question why would you go economic now that other stuff is better oh is it <laughs> not in <laughs> multiplayer i mean the thing is uh, in early on when the there are most important wars when you get your lands so landing this five percent discipline from quality and echo quality also gives you another five so it's ten it's and if you go let's say infrastructure you don't have anything to quality and that's a little small factor might be better to build up but not that much better to to win the early wars. That's what helped us win the war with, uh, with Pope. Hmm. Yep, makes sense. I do know your playstyle. You do like taking loans. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking from experience as someone who has played after you in a succession <laughs> game. Uh, <laughs> we don't have any now. We're actually saving up for manufacturers. Yeah. We should uh, have like 2K probably. Are you a follower of the Grugonomics? Is that what I'm hearing? Uh, and Florinomics, yeah. And Florinomics, yeah. <laughs> We used that tactic quite extensively <laughs> over the course of last session. Yeah, I think yesterday we at one point we had 60 longs. Yeah, we had max longs after the first war. Oh. All right. Um, I think that's it. Oh, is France a friend? Yeah. We yeah, yeah. So. yeah. We consider them friends. I mean, we are a bit scared of them because they're strong, uh, but they are friends, yeah. Yeah, <coughs> Commander Faceless is uh, having a naming suggestion for you, which is Istanbul, not Constantinople. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that might happen, because Byzantium is uh, thinking about switching their faith, because they are still Catholic, which is not too good. Heresy. Yeah. That, that is truly heresy. They should follow the steps of the Knights and join the Sunnis. <laughs> join the Sunnis. Okay. 
cool beans. Uh, yeah, I think that the game is actually about to kick up again. So yes. maybe you guys want to go down and uh, continue your... <laughs> yeah, our diplomat is at the station now. Your diplomacy, now. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. To Thanks, guys. Andalusia. Have a and good one. Best of luck. And uh, oh. it was... Did Mathieu come back? Yeah, there he is. Yes, we are just waiting on the second stream PC Th to actually connect. Yeah. It is... Um, yeah, I think it's better. Same, take a moment. Yep, uh, I think yeah, actually the ID is better, but yeah, I'll leave it to... Uh, Matthew is back. Byzantium should go... <laughs> and yes, here I am again. I see we are not missing a lot since we're still waiting to connect. Yeah, well you are. Maybe back out and try again, because I got in no problem. Yeah, maybe it's looking at the wrong. Uh, it's looking at the wrong server ID. Oh my gosh! Or maybe this uh, this needs yeah. some magic touch. <laughs> no, it's gone. It's good now. That's good. I think we're... Oh, see, there we go. It yep. said they started again. Yeah, um, we need us to ready up because we're like the last ones. Uh, up, sir. Yes. And ready. Do, do, do. They came in to check on us. Mm-hmm. Oh, let's see. We we're having some technical difficulties, but now hopefully this the game will restart. Yes. All right. We're back. We were always back. We've always been back. I don't know what you're talking about. We were always gone. there. Yeah, exactly. You're, uh, we're gaslighting stream now. What is it? Like 2,000 people? I'm pretty sure they're wrong. This is fine. We've always been on stream. And this has been running for a bit now. <coughs> ah. Yes, we are Almost in the year 1529. It is. 1529. Uh, the reform mission has started. Uh, not finished yet, because uh, we still are missing reform, speaking of reformation. I mm. suspect France will stay Catholic. I wonder if the other countries will stay Catholic, though. I don't know. Shinto's growing. Shinto is, is... I mean, it's growing by expansion. I don't know if he's managed to convert and convince their neighbors that they mm. should also embrace uh, the doctrine that goes behind it or not. Perhaps. Oh, there we go. There we go, we and are we in are back on. Do we actually have players this time? We do. I see a lot of them. <gasps> nice. It's the 22nd of December, which means it's Christmas in three days. <laughs> Merry Christmas uh, to 1529 people. Oh, wow. Um, our, our friends are reaching north down here in Africa. Roswy. Oh, yeah. What is this weird bit that you see? Oh, it's because we managed to get Chukwe as a vassal. Yeah. Oh be yeah, because they can't colonize through yet, so no, they're just, they just taking claims. Okay, that makes sense. The rest yeah. are still taking their sweet time to uh, peace in Ethiopia. Oh, I Byzantium's in a player war with Andalusia. Oh wow, that's a uh, oh oh uh, defender of the faith. They attack the Ottomans. I'm guessing oh. Andalusia is coming. Now the question is, is Andalusia gonna come and whack some Byzantium just for fun? Mm, they're drilling. So probably not. That would be fun. Because if they did that, I'm sure Byzantium would start calling in their Catholic buddies. And I Potentially, don't... Potentially, yes. Mm. Yeah, they have more missions still. Like continue exploration is not done. Oh. Because it gives a free conquistador when they do it. <laughs> um, but yeah. I guess Byzantium got tired of having a pet. <coughs> Yes, I, I guess we're trying to... Uh, Maybe, uh, yeah, make a bad joke there. Really clear up that. the map at this point. Jerusalem's uh, looking very chunky. Ch yeah, it is a chunky Salem. Uh, Fyodoro is... S s s oh, they have tried to snake up, oh. actually. They, oh, no, wait, the snake. does the snake stop? No, it's still them here, I think? Question mark? Um. Yeah, that is Fyodoro. Okay, that's how they're trying to expand. We're trying to do like a... On both sides of the Caspian Sea. Sadly, the Caspian Sea is not navigable for gameplay reasons. For some reason, Poland is being embargoed by the Palatinate. The Palatinate? The Palatinate is not even a real nation, right? <laughs> is, how is it still on the map? Oh, is it like a vassal? 
It's a junior partner with Varya. So that's interesting you say about like Caspian C because it really work as a C in EU4. Because in CK2, once they added rivers navigable, you can actually get Vikings to the Caspian Sea. Oh yeah, <laughs> I think the reason is is because the whole uh, ocean in the game is one bit. Mm -hmm. Like you can go from anywhere to anywhere. So it doesn't make sense. <clears throat> so they would have to have the notion that you can reach a sea province that is not connected from the from the rest of the world. I don't think it's impossible to achieve because again, in tech, nothing is impossible to achieve. But mm -hmm. I can see how. Implementing that would be scary. Well, especially because they don't have <coughs> the navigable rivers. No, so you would just make boats that the only thing they can do is live in this, uh, in this, uh, in this mm -hmm. lake. Which could still, like, could you imagine how much faster transport would be if you had some transports go from north to south? Yeah, and potentially bring some guns here to uh, <coughs> simplify the sieging. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, the other problem is you would, if you would not have boats there, like every fort on this thing would be considered having extra supply because it has access to the sea. So you would need to make an exception, maybe say, oh, okay, it doesn't count as, a, as, as not being blockaded or something, because you don't yeah, want to go blockade for this. Yeah, it funky rules. It's, 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 it's exactly. Like, the design needs to be a bit creative about this. Oh, and I think some province have recently changed hands. So I'm assuming that Fair is planning on buying Novgorod. Yeah, because we just got... Uh, Novgorod as a... The knights are fighting down in the spicy islands. <coughs> the spicy island. Mm -hmm. For spicy people. Let me see. Uh, yeah, they are... Uh... No, that's not them. Uh, they are here. And yeah, they are uh, sticking a slow claim on uh, different bits of the world. Uh, including the south of the Philippines, uh, which I guess should not be called the Philippines because they're not being found by a, name, a guy named Felipe. <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, he's, he's a sheik. He's, yeah, because I forgot. He's Sheikh Johannes de Fink de Finkel, de Fink de Finkelmont III. And he's, he's, yeah, it's French nobility, but also a sheik now. Chat would like to see the GP chart? The GP. Oh, the Great Power. I was like, is this is like a. Chart GPT or something? What is this? <laughs> Chart GPT. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty, pretty. Bad. Andalusia and France at the top, very close by. I do. Uh, a jump to Bavaria, another jump to Provence. Uh, to uh, yeah, Provence. I do like that we have Land of the Christian Sun. Is eighth. yeah. They've become a great power already. Yeah, indeed. It's pretty interesting. Somebody was asking, I think, before chat stop, if. Provence can form Italy. They can form the Italian nation and it's not a problem. They just need admin tech 10, which somehow they haven't gotten. They can get it just about any time now. And they could form Italy or Tuscany, I guess, but I'm not sure why. I mean, I guess if you want to keep the Tuscan IDs rather than the. Uh oh, yeah, because I don't think Italy got new IDs, right? No, you do. Italy gets new IDs. So you mm -hmm. have a question like, do you want the Italian ID, the Tuscan IDs? Uh, Which ideas do you want? Yeah, well, not, uh, how good are the Provencal IDs, actually? I mean, I mean Provencal does give you the fat cast faster um, or the cheaper cost to fabricate claims. Yeah, and they have a, a plus one dipl diplomatic rep, which somewhat, I guess, no, it doesn't really help in MP at all. Uh, we get some extra legitimacy, which isn't too bad. Let's see. Uh, uh, let's, let's, let's do a little look around the world. We have Bavaria has quality, economic, and offensive ideas. A classic. Switzerland is mercenary, infrastructure, and defensive. I wonder why they're defensive. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Rosby has defensive and trade. Trade makes a lot of sense down there. Uh, we have Nitra, which is quality, economic, and defensive. Um, Eutian, uh, they are administrative, quantity, and offensive. Yes, which I don't know if come from AI or not. I don't know if you get to pick your, your ID set when you are I relocated. I don't think so. So the first two would have definitely been chosen by AI. Um, the Ho Holland only has exploration and quality. They yes. haven't taken their third one. Mm, yeah, some nations were lagging behind in, uh, in mm -hmm. ideas in the past. Like Westphalia was really bad, for example. Uh, Saxony, mm. which is still landlocked, has court, offensive, and exploration. 
Uh, Wallachia is quantity and economic. Teutonic is quality, court, and offensive. Poland's horde and religious. Be interesting to see what they take for their third. Uh, Byzantium, economic, defensive, trade. Quebec over here, formerly Brittany, is exploration, expansion, and quantity. Jerusalem, uh, offensive and religious. Religious makes so much sense. Yeah, if you're Jerusalem, I guess religious makes a good deal of sense. Not not a lot mm -hmm. of ideas so far, actually. No. Armenia has quantity, exploration, <laughs> and offensive. It's interesting to see Armenia doing exploration. Uh, yeah, I guess they're feeling stuck, and through the African coast, they might be trying to get... S oh, yeah, mm. they were in the Maldives. Yes. So I guess they're going to potentially... They were trying to escape. ...try to go further after I mean, this is done. People were saying that Poland was a snake, but look at Armenia. <laughs> it's just snaking down the coast right here. Yeah, it is. It is an interesting mm. bit they are doing. They do uh. have a colony right now in the Adamans, which is not... Uh, oh, yeah, okay, they're getting... Slowly but surely, they're trying to push toward uh, mm -hmm. toward Southeast Asia. And surprise, uh, surprise, they're going to run into Ayutthaya down there, but I don't know how much they know that's gonna, that is going to happen. They do actually know. They have explored quite a bit. Rossids have done quality <laughs> and trade. Oh, they're from Tuscany. Okay, interesting. Oh. Uh, did they pick yeah, they I mean, the, I like the idea set of Tuscany if, if you want to go tall. I guess mm -hmm. if they plan on playing tall, it's a pretty solid idea set, right? You have death cost, you have uh, ID cost, technology cost, uh, interest not as good, trade efficiency, production efficiency. It's not a bad idea set if you want money and uh, and, and playing tall, although they did not go economic. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I mean, they have innovative, which which kind of synergizes pretty good with uh, with Tuscan ideas. Um. They'd like you to look at their missions, too. Oh, yeah, because they have some bonus thing. You can get the Florentine Renaissance and get a bunch of modifiers, maybe before switching to Italy. Because mm. then they can just click the button from Italy, which I don't think gives you new missions unless this has been redone. Uh, but that gives you a bunch of, uh, of, of, of things. as. Um All right. Um, yeah, Tuscany uh, has a Grand Duke Charles Laval. Oh, there are new guy. Italian missions. There are Italian missions now? Yeah. Ah. I, 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 I did not follow. Oh. And by switching to Tuscany, no, they, they were already... Uh, they were already... Think they have lost a lot of legitimacy lately, but <coughs> this might slightly shift eventually uh, once they start going. So I'm guessing we're just going to click a bunch of buttons here to get a lot of uh, uh, relations and other things done. And then probably, yeah, because you can get a few interesting things. You can get, well, obviously the one at the top would give you a prestige and advisor cost. Uh, then you can get some technology and ID cost. I think uh, you legitimacy can... Legitimacy doesn't matter for Muslim nations. <sighs> I guess not. I mean, they, they don't have a lot of legitimacy right now. Um... Uh, yeah, I guess by the end you start getting like something that are actually permanent. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, it's gonna take a bit for them to get some of those. Uh, from those I mean, there's a free uh, bonus like a stability thing if you have enough legitimacy. Claims, I don't think they really care about it. Uh, no, I don't think the claims are gonna be super useful. I'm looking at what else you get. Uh, some mercantilism here. Uh, okay, no, there's not a lot to be gained. There's a few things you can might as well take <laughs> before switching to something else. Well, if we hop over to... Oh, we have blue flames again. Saxony and Byzantium. Um, oh, Byzantium's attacking B Serbia. Ser oh, turning on their favorite... Shame on you. Shame on you. Serbia was your ally and the only reason you exist. Yep, and, and that's they so turned you on them. them. Does this become an Oathbreaker or, what, or is the I, oath I expired? Don't know if that, I don't know. Maybe they waited. Uh, it, hasn't, it, no, it has not been 100 years. Oh. So it means that deal was shorter than that. Or, or they broke some elves. Are the Papal State and Venice still alive? Because no one's bothered to finish cleaning them up yet. Yeah, <laughs> I, I guess they're not very in a hurry. They were very in a hurry on the first night. Yes. Uh, but now we're chilling about. Well, I think part of it is, so the atmosphere for the first night is everyone's been arriving, everyone's setting up, it's a really start, and they know there's, 
you know, there's only, what was it, four hours last night? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so there wasn't a whole lot of time, so people feel pressured. Today, we started up, it was 10 a.m., and they realize they're going till midnight. Hey, you, you know got who else is hours. jumping on Serbia? Wallachia. Oh, of course. Did Serbia relocate as a player? Oh, the Serbian player threw the bucket after losing two provinces. And that's why the, oh, uh, the people are coming in. So technically okay. not there's an oath no break because it's an AI now. But come on, Serbia, throwing the bucket after like... I mean, they were full siege down. Vivit only lose two provinces in that war. Mm -hmm. I mean, we mentioned that earlier. That's... I think this is not the end of the world. You can have your allies help you grow back. Is anti with Oh, they <laughs> fear Bavaria with Croatia will eat up Serbia soon. Makes sense. Yeah, because uh, there's a timer. Uh, yeah, and, you know, Bavaria released Croatia probably so to eat up Serbia. Yes, because so that's Lashi a lot of and Byzantium free. are like, nope. Nope, nope, that, nope. That's a, free, that's a bunch of free provinces, yes. Uh, there are three people playing each nation. There's yes. usually one person in the hot seat, one person doing diplomacy, and one person taking a break. So I guess the Serbian routes. players are now in Brazil in this very barely formed nation that mm -hmm. is not there yet because I don't think Andalusia has have enough provinces yes. yet. Yes. Oh, yeah, because remember they were telling us yes. that the Serbian yeah. players are going, and my brain heard it, and then I, my brain forgot. I have to question the choices of our Serbian players. First turning Catholic. Then just abandoning the country after one lost war. I don't know. And going to Brazil. Decisions were made. Yes. Decisions were made. Where in? Uh, what about the Not world? Here. We still have only... What is this? Oh, but interesting how it's saying blue flame. Oh, I guess because Saxony is pulled into the war. Uh, Wait, was Serbia still part of the <laughs> HRE? Yes. Yes, Which okay. Which is a joke, but it's technically still an HRE. Yes. <laughs> um, oh, Navarra is in a player war. Uh, Navarra and Castile against Holland. The Dutch conquest of N Namur? Navarra. Oh, wait, no, Namur. No, no, Namur. Okay. Which I think... No, it can't be Namur. Oh, Castile. They're trying to kill Castile. Oh, Because right. Castile is still alive in a little landlocked one. In Navarra, OPM. actually. In, in, in OG Navarra. I cannot even... Oh, no, there we go. Uh, did the colonial nation spawn? Maybe. Maybe. We will see. Wish the Pope and Serbia didn't give up so fast. If you lose a war, time to get your Diplo going and get back to your enemy. Yeah. I think in the case of the Pope, uh, it's because they were allowed to get like a peace deal that cut them in half. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a very personal opinion, but in my opinion, you should not allow like those cheesy peace deal when someone cuts your nation in half because then they can just watch you break to rebels. Maybe they mm -hmm. should try to enforce like a no command, just, just take a state at the border, but don't just like draw a line in the middle of the country. Because oh. I mean, I know this is if more efficient, but this is a mm -hmm. bit gamey and I would say against the spirit of the game. Yes. And, you know, it, you don't want people to feel bad walking away from this. Whether you do well or not, it should be fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, is Miao the Emperor of China yet? No. Uh, I would have thought that their OG trick was to just uh, keep beating Ming into losing the mandate rather than actually becoming the Empire, the, uh, the, the Emperor of China. Mm -hmm. But... Ming is still going up, like, <laughs> despite the fact that they have lost uh, Nanjing and Canton, they're still, they're still holding enough to not lose uh, oh, mandate every gone. month. That war ended like ASAP. That was, uh, that, was, uh, that was kind of a very quick war. Um, we never did finish going through I France. Said. Yeah, France has defensive, economic, and quality. Yes. Uh, a classic set that I would usually mm -hmm. go for, I would say. Well, <laughs> and then we have the Knights with naval exploration and infrastructure. They are going very tall on a bunch of different little islands. Interestingly, the NCT click did not go for economic. They went for innovative. Meow. 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 Just go meow. Don't worry meow. about it. Meow. Meow, meow, uh, meow. Quantity, administrative, and defensive. Okay. Uh, Navarra, we know exploration, expansion, defensive. Pomerania is quality, economic, and defensive. Morocco, 
Exploration, expansion, quality. Makes very classic sense. Uh, Tunis, quality and economic. And neither of them are finished. <coughs> I feel like they're having point problems. Yeah, actually, can we... I think there's a ledger that tells you about... Uh, 999. Uh, what is it? Yeah, they might have had a few bad leaders. Ideas, uh, players... Uh, oh, there is a big gap between like nations that have fully got their free IDs complete, mm -hmm. 21, and players like Navarre, we have five IDs, Wales, we have six IDs, Morocco, seven ideas. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's been interesting to see how the, even Byzantium has only nine. Uh, it has been interesting to see how the, uh, the mana uh, spending has been going on. Mm -hmm. Andalusia <laughs> has gone quality, economic, defensive, and they're all all done. <laughs> all done. To be fair, Wales is still not running any advisor at all. Oof. Uh, Morocco barely has a couple plus one. So yeah, you can see why their uh, PP generation is probably... Sorry, PP generation. I, I spike the whole too much. Uh, mana generation is not really up to snuff. Uh, Theodoro is quality, religious, and defensive. Uh, yeah, Wales has quality and economic. Uh, Ern, well, Ern Shahar stayed with Persian ideas, and then their quality and infrastructure. Land of the Christian Sun um, has Korean ideas, and then defensive, economic, and trade. So one of each. Tuscany, quality, innovative, and offensive. One of the few that did take innovative. Try uh, to remember how you oh, see the big. Oh, I here we it. go. Here's Inca. So the Inca, I believe, was Serbia. No. Uh, offensive and exploration. Oh, we have respawned in the Inca after mm -hmm. all. So s not in Brazil, but right, close enough, uh, I guess. To to here it was defensive, economic, and quality. The Hanseatic League, Hanseatic League. Get I my brain. Uh, ahead, innovative, mercenary, and trade. <laughs> and then our last one, the Livonian Order, is quantity, religious, and quality. So if you have questions, you can scroll back through the last, I don't know how long that took us because we kept being distracted. Yeah, we did. But <laughs> that's I'm there. desperately trying to find that, pl that place that, that shows you the provinces with the highest development, but I can't find it. Mm. I don't know why, but I thought there was a, a chart, but uh. maybe not. I am a bit uh, Inca Ser rusty. Serbia <laughs> moved to Inca. But I guess all those provinces are like only yellow. That means there is something bigger somewhere in the world. Uh, with a more like greenish color. Mm. Uh, eh, no, that's. I mean, there's technologies. We can see what tech everybody's on. Yeah, but not development. Uh, uh, <coughs> players, let's see. It's oh, I think Avalon is throwing the colors off because Ooh. they probably have insane amount of development. Yeah, probably. Yeah, Avalon has 72 development. Uh, oh, we lost somebody. Uh oh. I think the hot joint did not. Uh, it did not go as expected. Yes. Uh, and then the, the city of World Desires is only 38 dive. That's not a lot, actually. Um, so a number of players have uh, 11 tech. But no one has 12 except for Avalon. Which, of course, throws things off. Come on. Thank you. Uh, do, 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 Hamburg do, do, is somewhat green. green. Let's try to see Hamburg. I, not that green? No. It's kind of I mean, grayish. that's Lubeck. So also, it is green. It's just very small. Sorry. Uh, Hamburg has 52 dev. Okay, Hamburg are the ones who have actually put some money in development. Mm. <coughs> and someone says oh. Valakia. So there was just a declaration that there is to be no conquering or colonization in Western Africa and India. A lot of upset feelings all around, especially from Andalusia. Mm. Yeah, because remember they did they did have plans to expand. Oh yeah, they took they took two more. 
Like they're colonizing right here. Do they have to cancel that colony? Who has made the the the, the, the promise to not? No, go? the the, the uh, King Arthur, I believe, has made a proclamation. Mm. Uh. Hmm. So yeah, no more colonizing in Africa or oh, India. Oh, is it by the council? Yes. Right. There's the council. The council is forcing people to not go to West Africa. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, potentially to keep it for some people who may want to come back. So I guess they can come down here to the spicy <laughs> islands where people already are. Someone was mentioned, yeah. And then North and South America. But you can't do India. We, um. got, we got the diamonds. So we got the diamond district because it was not Constantinople. Well. Oh, it's probably in Italy then because that's usually how it ends up. Mm -hmm. How are Korea and Japan <laughs> doing? So Korea, um, there were three popes in Rome. And then they were defeated by a Sunni alliance and betrayed by their fellow Catholics. And so they boarded a ship, traveled across the world, landed in a place known as Joseon. And there they spread the faith, took over, and created the land of the Christian sun. And from there, they are going to spread a proper Catholic faith that does not betray their pope. Oh, and that means, of course, building beautiful boats to go across the water to share their beliefs with this lovely island nation that, historically, the boats went the other way. Yes. That <laughs> air cord is just scary. Well, yeah, the interface <laughs> is not removing it. Uh, we'll see if it goes away when they... Uh yes, I believe people are already in Africa, I'm assuming. They can colonize, you know, but they're right next to each other. Yeah, we're trying to put it off limit. Okay, so the Diamond District has been created in uh, in Siena. Mm. Um, but yeah, the land of the Christian sun up <coughs> here, which is quite beautiful. Um, Jinju, Gyeongju, Gyeongju, it's getting all dark. Let's see. Oh, Hansong. Yeah, really, Korea should be called Joseon during this era, but... Mm. Contents. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have strong stake about Korea. Yes, I do. <laughs> I mean, we all have nations that we have, like... Well, part of it is, like, I've been through a lot of the, the palaces and the old burial mounds and stuff there. Oh. Hi, seagulls. It's a very, uh... <coughs> Livonia didn't take mercenaries when they're shocked about it. I suspect we're going to have a rehost, although I can prove it. Uh-huh. This, this, yep. Yep, rehost. Rehost, alright. Our journey's not working too great. Exit to menu. Let us go again. And our favorite feature of EU4. The mm. fast restart to menu. Yes, it is a beautiful feature and should be added to every Paradox game. Mm -hmm. And not just the strategy games, but also the management games. We know City Skylines mm. needs it. Prison Architects, Surviving. They all need it. Surviving the restart to menu. Yes. That should be a new, uh, this could be a new, a new, a new IP, actually. <laughs> surviving the restart to menu. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We sorry, chat. We're running out of steam a bit, trying to uh, yes <laughs> tell you a story while we figure out how to get this game going again. It, it mm. happens. That's the uh, we need our players to do stuff for us to talk about. Yes, yes. This and we've got you've got us for another forty minutes, and you get Flory and Leah back. Yes. And then I'll be back with Flory later, I Cause guess. Because people were asking, know. where is Flory? Is he playing uh, Holland? And the answer is no. Flory is vibing in the castle. He was wearing a hamburger suit earlier. He was. I saw the picture. Mm -hmm. And then later, he will come back as a... He'll be coming back with Leah. Yes, as a caster. Um, but he won't have had time to eat dinner. So you might come back with me for a little bit. Yeah, I think it's fine. I can. And I can then come back for he a can bit. switch out yeah, yeah. after he's eaten. Yeah, that'll probably work. Sounds reasonable. And then you can go see if you can track out some um, Polish red water. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh yeah, EU4 came out last year. Brand new game. Yes. Newer than Vicky Three. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and, I mean, if you're worried about stability, uh, every every DLC <laughs> does bring a chance of, of of breaking stuff because that's the f that's the nature of patches and that's the nature of live games, right? Mm -hmm. If we did not take some risks, and there's always a risk by changing a feature. Uh, yeah, we would probably have all the auto sync fixed and never um, pop again. But also, on the other hand, uh, we would also never have anything new, which is boring. Yes, I remember the old days when a game came with like four CDs, and you only used one to play, but you had to use them all to install. Oh, and yes. you know, and then you discover that something's weird in the game. And you're like, I wonder if there's a patch. And so you go searching through the depths of the internet and you find on a little dusty corner of the publisher's website, here's patches. And you have to be like, do I need them all or do I only need the latest one? Because not every game was the same. Yeah, some of them were and incremental and some of them were like, no, you have to patch from a, yeah. uh, for a, anyone will work. Yes, and then you had to download it, and sometimes it wouldn't install unless until you had you know downloaded a special software to unzip it. Yes. And then the next time you got a new computer or you moved computers or something, you had to go find it again. <laughs> yes, I remember uh. those errors. Uh, that and CDs getting like a scratch. Mm -hmm. uh, a, f a friend of mine had given me or lent me one of his games, which was, I think, the X Files adventure game from the late 90s. I don't know if you remember, it's full video. Like, you know, this this era where everything was full motion video and you would do like a point and click uh, investigation. Everything. There was a oh, bunch of Oh, like Mist and stuff? Yeah, and there was yeah. an X Files theme one where we were supposed to search for Mulder and Scully because they had vanished. And I got stuck at the I, end I, of CD6 oh, oh. because CD7 had a scratch and I never know how the story ends. We just got told that floppies are ancient. Are you are you talking hot floppies or uh, or floppy floppies? Yes. Because I, I had I, I I had my uh, my Bridget, time with both. In the when the schools I went to elementary school in, uh, we they had two computer rooms. One were the new computers which had the hard floppies. One was the old computers which had the soft floppies. Am I blind? Am I not seeing? Yeah, it? either they forgot to publish it on Steam again or it's not back up. Let me. Uh, Check my other sources. Mm. Yeah. Tech is yeah, the a floppy floppies. Today. The reason they're called floppies. No, I don't. I don't see a message about a new mm. server yet. Nope, it's not up yet. I remember playing at like three years old, a ABC game on my dad's Macintosh, which had the external hard drive mm. because. Ever, otherwise, you had to run everything off of a floppy, essentially. Yeah. He still has that. It still works. Nice. My first it's computer beautiful. was like a 286. So, you know, uh, like the second Intel CPU. Well, not the second, but close to the second mm -hmm. CPU in Intel ever, 16 bits. You could play Wolfenstein 3D, Pac-Man, Sokoban, Qbert, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Could not run Doom. Uh, Doom Thank was too goodness. complex. See. Oh yeah, Commodore 64. Atari's was also a big deal. Sorry, we're getting nostalgic <laughs> a bit right now. You know, looking at this old world. We mm -hmm. probably had floppy disk in the in the Byzantine era, for all I know. Oh, it is rehosted now. Oh. Uh, I mean, let's oh. see it. Let's see if there is an official announcement. Maybe there is, and I don't have data. That's that's another option. But uh, uh, oh, there it is. Well, you know what? I see. I see one. I'll go try to join it. Just, just, just no care in the world. Let's go. If you, you can't run Doom, you haven't tried enough. Well, if you have a 16-bit computers, you literally cannot. Uh, yeah, the cassette docks. <laughs> that's that's a little old for me. Oh, and now we have like the young people in the uh, Goblin British uh, tech team telling us that the first time they had a PC was Windows XP in 2001. Yeah, I think the go that's, he's a baby goblin. On a bad day, I can still recite my Windows 98 uh, key because of how many times I had to reinstall it. <laughs> and you know, if you reinstall it like every other oh. month, you learn it by heart eventually. Oh, yep, yeah. all the people born 2000, the Gen Zers. <laughs> I wouldn't say that Windows 98 was fire. It was stable for it a couple months after you reformatted it and reinstalled it. 
99, yeah. I'm feeling old. Granted, it, it's better than the opposite. <laughs> uh, not a key from a generator? I mean, I'm not going to say where that key comes from. Uh, what hat am I wearing? So, uh, Flurry arrived at the Berlin airport about an hour and a half before anyone else. And he realized that his lovely white hat was not looking so white. And he decided since he had gotten the hat in Berlin, he'd take the train into the center of Berlin and go find another white hat. He couldn't find one, so he panicked and bought a green one. And then he was chatting with a couple of us, and we told him how to clean said white hat. He has now cleaned the white hat. And so he just dropped this in the casting room. It was, I think, hiding under an EU4 poster and a couple other things. And I just kind of snagged it last night because he apparently lost it and finders keepers. Um, he may get it back. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh, yeah, there were free student keys for Windows. Uh, teaching, oh. Yes, teaching Flory how to clean. Oh, yeah, that was a thing. I remember, oh, someone mm -hmm. mentioned deleting your system folder and realized that it worked until you reboot. Yes, I had a friend who was looking at his, um, like, Explorer and feel like, oh, there's all those files, like, under my C folder, like, hi-mem.sys and a bunch of other stuff. I have no idea what that is. That was before Windows hit those files from you by default to save you from yourself. I'm like, oh, I'm just going to create a, a, net, uh, a folder creating, like, stuff that I don't care about and just move all those files in it. And it got very surprise when he did not reboot the next day. Uh, Flurry is never early. He did almost miss his train to get to the airport and to last catch his year, plane. And last year he only did not miss his plane by an act of God. Yes! He missed the bus, so he would have missed his plane, but the plane got cancelled and he got his money back. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we'll see how it goes this time of him trying to get home. Exactly. Uh... So, we don't really have access to that. It's, if you have something that's like a smoother, sort of more synthetic fabric, or something like this, you can try, if it's when you take a, sh a hot shower, leave it in there so it gets really steamy and kind of damp, and then take a soft cloth or paper towels and slowly wipe it down. Like, wipe, don't rub it in, but like wipe off. Because... It's the oils and stuff that are soaked into the fabric, and they'll come back out. Uh, Welcome <laughs> to uh, <laughs> Practical Life Lessons Stream Chat. He was streamed to the chat. last minute. <laughs> Next up is Financial Lessons. Oh, Dungeon Keeper <laughs> 2. Oh. I what was... Oh, my Lord. I just forgot the name of the game. Uh, it wasn't... It was kind of like Diablo, yeah. Diablo style game. Yeah. Was there was a, there was a thing called Darkstone that never no, really caught on. No, it was it was one where the whole game was mm. had no loading screens. The first version. It's had like three versions now. You start on like a farm. You're a farmer and you get attacked. And you end up, and you can invite people into your town. Your um, but then there's also like donkeys. No, not Fable. This was PC. Dungeon Siege. Dungeon Siege. Yes. yes. Dungeon thank you, Mordred, Siege. and thank you, Mitch. Both of you like said it at the same time. Mm. Oh, that was like the first RPG game I played all the way through. Uh, so good. Interesting. And it was kind of cool because mm. after you did, and this is actually I did when I finished playing it, and you defeat the final boss and everything was I took my donkeys and I walked all the way back to my farm and I was like, okay, I'm home. And I closed the game. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the conclusion to the hero story, mm -hmm. right? And it was cool because you could do that because it was fully linear. Like, it didn't feel that way. The games had too many twists and turns and little side passages and dungeons and stuff. But you could walk the whole way back. It was pretty cool. Nice. Meanwhile, in EU4, yes, a game you may have back! heard... <laughs> About uh, about the early uh, modern era of uh, nation <laughs> states. Have you heard about it? It's made yeah. by Paradox Interactive, a small independent where, where company. France is eating up Brittany. Yeah, and Serbia is being partitioned. You know what I got to say? We were talking about, you know, like, Serbia left, the Papal States left. Switzerland did not. 
Oh god, I just realized that Wallachia really is the Montenegro to cut uh, to cut Serbia off. Uh. And, and the Byzantium is still like, uh, maybe I'll still hold into it anyway, despite... I don't think those two are on great terms, no matter. They are technically allies. Hmm. Huh. But I don't know how, because if you look at the map, like, we're, this is clearly a big cutoff. Oh, I guess we can take those bits. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Is Nitra different from Hungary? I... <coughs> Yes. They have Slovak mm. ideas. Yes, it's 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 it is it is a Slovak nation and not a Hungarian nation, so they are mm. different. I have a better question. <laughs> Why are they? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's, it's totally off topic, but someone says, "Can we cancel the E4? I'm enjoying learning about a dark and mysterious time, the '90s." And wow. someone replied back, "We don't need to know. The clothes were real bad. The music pretty good." Mm. <laughs> It is actually, <laughs> if you want to learn about uh, uh, 90s clothing, watch mm. all seasons of the X-Files and watch how they slowly evolve from shoulder pads on their, uh, <laughs> on their vest, especially like Dana's call in the first season. So oh. it's, it's a fashion statement of the early 90s. Yeah, so I've been playing a lot of Project Zomboy, which is set in the 90s. And I'll come across something mm. and be like, oh my god, yeah, I forgot this was a thing. <laughs> What is yeah. an eighties? Uh, it's where you thought that the world was it's maybe maybe not ending. It's where everything was either neon colors or puke yellow and brown. Yes. There was no in between. Everything concrete. <laughs> An interesting. And it, but era. it was the glory age of malls. Like if you wanted to get out of the house and the weather was bad, you could go to the mall. Are you American? Yeah, it's American. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the I glory have, age I have malls a different in the States. vibe of it, but yes. Um. <coughs> Okay. Uh, Nitra, yes, we do have another, you know, color challenge here. We have oh, the Montenegro as a vassal. Oh my god, please make it stop. <laughs> I'm gonna make you stop. I'm gonna find a console command and I'm gonna make you stop. <laughs> oh, the colors, the colors. Oh, oh I hate it. Mm -hmm. It's almost a challenge. I think someone should reroll as the Bahmani and just walk all the way to Nitra just to piss me off. <laughs> And then Mio and Bengal should meet. It's going to be hard. There's a mountain chain. I mean, between. and here's the thing, too. We have a uh, monster up here just vibing. Oh, yeah, they are. And, I mean, they're under Bavaria, but they're not touching Bavaria. No. And their color is too close to po Holland's. Especially if they actually form the Netherlands. Maybe that's why they don't. Because mm. they could form the Dutch nation, and that would make them merge. That is true. Wonder why they're not doing that. Uh, they can. They have not. Well, the funny bit is if they either go out of sync for one second, the AI will click the button for them. Because they have not disabled it. Uh. <laughs> we need the same color, CB. I yes, still that's agree. been said for years. Yeah, and you should have like the most like seventy five percent reduction on a on aggressive expansion and uh, and coin and and, and, mm -hmm. and demand cost. Just they, they had it coming. Okay, so yes. how do we consolidate? I guess Serbia proper has been left to its old uh, bits, and uh, Byzantium took what they could. I wonder yeah. how this... The Byzantium is going low on allies now. They only have Wallachia. That's hmm. not a big deal. They do not have Fyodoro or, uh, or Armenia with them anymore. Yeah. It's, uh, it's an interesting world out well, there. Uh, Bavaria, Saxony, and Nitra here. Except Bavaria doesn't have Saxony, mm. but Nitra does. Could make a graph. Tuscany has Andalusia. Yes. Andalusia has France, Tuscany, and Tunis. Yes, France. Um, the uh, France are only Andalusia as an ally. The Hamburgers people. They have the Livonians, uh, Teutonics, and Pomerania. Wales mm. has Holland. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's it. Uh, France really just has Andalusia, so their one ally is not the same faith. Mm. Okay, so currently, the Tutankhamun cannot form Prussia. Oh! Jerusalem has a royal marriage mm. with Ethiopia. Wait, how? Oh, because Ethiopia is Coptic. Yeah. So they can. Yeah. Interesting. Are we trying to maybe defend each other? 
Maybe. I haven't seen anyone defend the AI against somebody else's claim yet. Mm -mm. So they have an air. Oh. So Prussia to be formed, uh, Pomerania would have to eat some bits of uh, of uh, of the Teutonic Order. Mm. Uh, all the other way, the Teutonic Order would have to go to form some form of uh, mm. of uh, ouch. Of uh, religion change. I'm looking at Jerusalem's current ruler and then their next one. <laughs> Not amazing. No. They might, dem they should demand excellence and just click the button that makes them, you know, Compare have. Ethiopia's heir. 564. The Solomonids are strong. Mm -hmm. You always wonder if they have a bonus to, like, keep getting very good uh, leaders, but I don't think so. Um. What does mm. Lalachia need for Romania? Interestingly That's speaking, uh, Quebec uh, was released as a colonial nation, but Ooh. still decided <laughs> to go with a kingdom. Lalachia cannot form Romania because Byzantium cannot exist. Yes, they need so to. That, that's not. They need to. They need to get rid of Byzantium first. Mm -hmm. They're one ally. Yes, an interesting bit. Yes. Yeah, I'm surprised that why not did one ally. Like, what's the point of going uh, kingdom for Quebec if all you get is a king that is zero three four? Ow! Like for that, like, cause you get the choice when you get released as a, as a as a colonial nation mm -hmm. to decide if you want to go monarchy or republic. I'm surprised they went monarchy. Uh, as 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 a, as a also why I think. I mean, their heir is a three five four. That's better than nothing. But they're only three, and. They yeah. don't have a, a consort, so yeah. they'd have a regency council if something happened to their king right now. He's only 36. Uh, yeah, Byzantium won't let it happen. I wonder uh, if we'll ever have reduced Lees at, uh, at all in this game. I mean, one elector is protestant, right? Uh, is Pomenia an elector? Do, 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 do. They are an elector. Uh, yeah, since I think Switzerland probably pulled some wheels and deals, mm. and they're just kind of turtling. Yeah, and surprisingly, they have not spawned the reformation yet. Uh, well, the second bit of the reformation, reformation two, oh. as some would call it. Oh, Switzerland's under France. I totally missed that. Oh, we fail. We fail. Are they a vassal? Yes. They're a march of France. Oh, did the players it's make a deal? They must have. Switzerland's liberty it's desire is 100. You know what? I do feel like people should do that more often. When you're not having a good time, honestly, offer to be a loyal attack dog. Yes. And I've, they I've feed done you, it. You I've done it in them. the game, actually. I was uh, I was playing as, I can't remember, like some northern German nation, and some guy was just like, uh, Poland Commonwealth was just winning. I'm like, you Ooh. know what? Give me the state to form Prussia, and I'll be your vassal, and I'll just be your attack dog and squash everybody a you need. Apparently, Ven assembly is starting, and Venice is up for sale for a thousand ducats. That's not even a lot of money. <laughs> for a thousand bucks, that's pretty cheap. It's a free mountainous wall. Just take a couple loans. Mm -hmm. People are like, Switzerland has zero dignity of self-respect. I disagree. Taking the vassalization deal after, look look at how they lost the first war, right? Yeah. Like where all the allies uh, lo uh, dumped them, they still ke kept playing. And now they took a deal to continue playing. Mm -hmm. I, I respect that way more than losing two provinces and asking for a respawn. And how is there? And I will shame they you if you do. They are devving up. So. Yeah, it's not. This is not the. I'm, I'm I mean, it, it, the patch. The, a couple of patches ago, the devving was absolutely crazy. I think it went back to be somewhat balanced without being as insane as it used to be. Mm -hmm. Very late. How good are the are the Swiss ID for developing? Uh, I don't see any. Development cost, sadly. Uh, oh, there mm -hmm. is. There's 10% development cost. Not too bad. Actually, they see. I mean, they're mm. going defensive now. Surprisingly, mm. yeah. Oh, they have infrastructure directly. Oh, that's the new set. Oh, that's actually the good one. Yeah, that's the one that has CCR, uh, that has uh, expanded infrastructure reduction cost. Uh, do they have death cost? It must have. Oh, yeah, so are they about constructing buildings, maybe? Oh, yeah, because economic does not have death cost anymore, uh, which is really sad. Uh, they have I a mean solid income. 
with their army at full maintenance, and they're making 18 ducats. Yeah, I mean, they have good taxation and pretty good production. It's only going to get better. Um, oh, so chat, Kodians is one of the, the game <laughs> masters in Siberia. I believe that's the host of the game. Because I'm pretty sure the uh, you can't host as an observer. Someone else has to host the game. So I think that's how they're hosting the game, is through the nation of Kodjant. And then we also have Avalon here, who uh, is where that's where Merlin lives, and they've got lots of fish, and they don't like a single solid color taking over the religion map, which is why we have Shinto Bavaria. Uh, I Swiss devil make them higher. Oh, mm. they will maybe be able to do the affair of the sausages. Oh, we have a another center of reformation. Where is in, it? In um, Memminger, Switzerland. So that's a thing. Wait, is it? I can't see it. Am I blind? Right there, the little circle. Oh, that's just a confirm. Uh, no, I think that's just a conversion from the center of reformation. Oh, it's being converted. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. I was. Oh, but I'm tired. the Palatinate is a hundred percent Protestant, uh, despite having. They might flip and spawn a second uh, thing because it's an AI. Mm. Um, I think. I guess the the host, uh, the, uh, sorry, the, uh, the, the major partner might be able to enforce religion to force them to change again. Well, except Bavaria hmm. is Shinto, so why would they care? Uh, oh yeah, because they can't get flipped by, uh, by those. Does Merlin have a Minx cat? Uh, probably not. Oh, actually, it's Protestants, so I don't know if Protestants uh, will that spawn a center of reformation or not, because they can't. Uh, no, oh, think Bavaria <laughs> was the only one that bid on Venice. They took it for a thousand. N Merlin that's, is now asking for donations deal. of favors to support research in the Northeast Europe. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, it was 10k they sold it for, so Bjorn told us Okay, 10k is a different price to pay, a very yes. different price to pay. So, did Bavaria take that? Maybe? Uh, they have 12 Oh, loads. there we go, the Age of Reformation has spoken. Here we are. Enables the religious <laughs> conflicts. So now, we um. might get something since one of the electors is... Uh, Protestant. Maybe. Who's the emperor? Saxony. Oh. Still, they, they no one's wanted to take it from them. No, nobody <laughs> challenged them, indeed. Hmm. Yeah, I, don't, I think we're looking at a weak reformation. I wonder if uh, reform is ever going to spoon. I don't know. <laughs> um... Well, that's true. An interesting region to keep the Palatinate around and force religion during the Age of Reformation. Oh, if they flip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess. Because you can enforce religion even if a completely different uh, type on a junior partner. It doesn't matter. I'm surprised Bavaria is not going after the rest of Serbia, but do they still have their peace treaty? Do, 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 do. Uh, yeah, until... Oh, they got another six years of peace. What are the player alliances? There's many player alliances. I think we're, we're having a, yes. a, 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 a bit of a, of a quiet right now. Yeah, everyone... I mean, there's some AI wars. I think everyone did a lot of expansion against players, and now they're, you know, cleaning up with the AI and stuff. Yeah, until the next... Mm -hmm. Until the next big starts, and people start realizing that uh, maybe it is time for uh, for another, uh, another round. I mean, mm -hmm. some people have... Pledge to stop fighting in Europe for a bit. <laughs> oh, Russia has fallen. Uh, we don't know. Why, you can also just show the player map. Maybe it's been a little bit. Right. Yeah, Russia has formed actually. <coughs> we now have a Russia, which I think was made by a deal with uh, with Livonian Order. Mm -hmm. So they could uh, buy Novgorod, and then I guess they sold it back to the Anseatic League. 
Oh yeah, because they're like the center of trade for all the money things. Makes sense. Meanwhile, Navarra is uh, spreading the Norse faith. Mostly to Iceland and a bit of Greenland. Mm -hmm. Quebec is uh, slowly growing up north. Uh, uh. We're still like slowed down by their kind of inefficient king, but it's going somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, Has Morocco changed their capital yet? No, I don't think so. No, they're facing a bunch of rebels and everything, but they don't have a lot of troops on the mainland. I don't know. Oh, they are at war with the... Oh, it's because they are at war with all the Aztec miners, so they have to do some uh, solid beating up all yeah, around. Yeah, they're playing whack-a-mole. <coughs> uh. So, it, well, you'll take a bet, but I'm pretty sure they will take all of Mexico, because nobody else has ever tried to stake a claim. If they, oh, man, uh, if they are allowed to take all of Mexico, including uh, the old uh, Maya lands, it's pretty rich takes a while to develop but you start with a lot of gold and then you have a lot of very spicy goods that people like like for example mm -hmm. all the chocolate in the world chocolate <coughs> gold yeah uh, meanwhile uh. nobody has challenged quebec in the caribbean surprisingly yep uh, i mean the lesser end no all the entails are basically well, morocco's Caribbeans. taking cuba and morocco and quebec are both going after the dominican republic area and do they have a deal? Are they allied? They're not allied at all. No, they may have a they deal. They might have like a gentleman's agreement. It is possible. Because Quebec is an alliance with Tuscany, France, and Wales. Well, mm -hmm. Morocco was an alliance with Tunis. And oh, Morocco do is do not do allied do do with, uh, with Andalusia anymore. Oh, that's anymore. a good question. Can Quebec form the U.S.? Uh, Let's see. Uh, they can form French Canadian nation. They form Canada. They have to be at peace, and they can actually form Canada right now if they wanted to. Do you need to be in British culture to form the U.S.? I don't think so. But they might not have enough <coughs> land in the proper area. Oh, to even get the mission. Yeah, I think that's possible. Because mm. uh, you have to be a formal colonial nation. And I think they disable then gain tags. So people are able to play whatever they want. Yeah. Let's see. No, uh, I think so far we have a pretty good brain in the new world. It's going to take a bit to consolidate, but they are doing pretty well. Well, this doesn't surprise me. Their policy, they took colonial expansion. With that global settlers. And Which that. makes sense. Yes. I, I would have understand. How is the Utea doing after they respawn? Uh, they oh. did not seem to have expanded a lot yep. yet. Quebec is just eating up the little miners. Checking who else is fighting. Rasid is fighting another war against Ethiopia. I guess cleaning, cleaning them out. The knights are fighting Makassar. Okay, they, they are going ham on the Philippines. And the uh, um. other uh, minor nation in the, in, in, the, in the Moluccas. Which, I mean, fair. It's a lot to colonize, but it's pretty good. Mm. Saxonies! Whoop. We have creepy things occurring in this castle. There might be ghosts. Yes. Uh, yeah, Westphalia is being cleaned out, I guess, now, because it's not like anybody can defend it. A French Texas would be fun. I we don't know if the world is ready for that. <laughs> I don't know. We had Breton Texas a couple years ago. Uh, what was Poland doing? Poland is fighting Chagatai. It's, it's, we have a bunch of AI uh, one-sided wars so far. Oh. Wait, how much did we say we can't go to West Africa? Because Andalusia is taking a pretty huge claim on everything here. Um, let's see. No conquering or colonizing in Western Africa. Hmm. Andalusia, what are you doing? Yeah, because that, that, that West Africa right now is... Uh, in conquest of Gabu. Yeah. Um... Which is West Africa. This is pretty much West Africa, yes. And apparently there is a vote. Uh, mm -hmm. The alternative that they are offering is that instead if someone has to be relocated, it would be as a new strong nation in the new world, which is kind of like, you know what? I'm, <laughs> I'm offering a motion that it becomes somebody else's problem. <laughs> because I'm pretty sure Quebec and, uh, and Morocco are not really happy with the idea of us putting a strong nation in the Americas. Yeah. Well, here we go. So... 
The parliament is debating whether or not the previous declaration of keeping Western Africa and India as protected zones. Voting starts now. The option is that new, strong nations are created in the Americas for player relocation. The votes are cast in the side for keeping Western Africa and India protected one. So yeah, I think, you know, people, everyone was afraid of the Pope, and I think now they're probably afraid of Andalusia. Would be my guess. Yes, which means Andalusia is going to have to back out, mm. assuming. They'll have to end the war for just gold or something. Yeah. Come again, uh, voice of uh, the goblins. I could not hear you. Yep. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Oh, and, and India is protected. I guess this is why nobody has tried to aggressively go. Although, I mean, Vesa protected. I can see. Um, come with a Maybe dash. It's like the colonized. Thing. There's there's a dash uh, happening from uh, from uh, all the sorcery and friend in uh, in Elanchar. Maybe that's why they're being stopped because people are like hey i don't want them to be able to eat too much yes which i mean isn't it a bit right because what what do you do if someone says you're not allowed to continue expanding this way like what, what are your options mm -hmm. uh so yes there is a player in inca that was originally serbia uh, <laughs> so no there is a round table um which is presided over by King Arthur, who found the Holy Grail, and Merlin, who does all the dirty work, including creating weird echoes. Uh, <laughs> and breaking <laughs> microphones. But that that's the reason we have things like Shinto Bavaria. Uh, we have Norse Navaria. It's beautiful. We have yeah, Catholic Byzantium. We have had suggestions of spawning more crazy religions, but so far they haven't Ooh, happened. Wait a minute, Cop. Wait a minute, Ethiopia. No, it's Coptic. <laughs> oh, they're occupied. That's yeah, because the Rashids are uh, doing a bit to them. Mm -hmm. Uh, the most, uh, the, the biggest income in the world now is the Anseatic League. They finally managed to set up the trade uh, in a way that makes them absurd amount of money. Uh, second one is Bavaria, surprisingly. Still pulling a pretty good amount of income. Uh, Andalusia, France, and then there's a gap. Oh, then there's, a, there's a gap between first and, uh, and second. Then there's a big gap between third, a somewhat solid gap between third and uh, fourth and fifth, which is the Livonian order. Quebec, surprisingly high, actually. Pulling 33 ducats from trade. Uh, probably due to the control of the, uh, of the central uh, Caribbean nodes. But I will have to double check to prove that. Poland, just getting money out of uh, gold, actually. Poland is gold, and that's why they're rich. Where does the Livonian order get subsidies from? Oh, is that why they're rich? Yeah, Livonia is not actually rich. They're being subsided. I'm assuming, before clicking, that it's the. Uh, yes, it is the NCAT League. No, is it? It has to be. Yes. I'm pretty Probably sure. Probably in repayment for giving them the land. Probably, yeah, because they, they, they got, they got the, uh, given uh, uh, enough to basically um, steer all the money through. I'm I assuming don't here. I think Andalusia <laughs> could vassalize someone, but they're sitting here. They are sitting at 37% war score. Is is Quebec is, where is Quebec making the dosh actually? Because hmm. they're at war with people they can't see, really. Uh, I guess uh. I'll kick off Quebec. Oh, you get That's a little battle. Quebec. That is Quebec. Hmm. Where is the trade money coming? Uh, Gulf of Saint Lawrence actually is just paying a lot of uh, uh, an insane amount of money. Uh, there is a huge trade value. Uh, no, that's trade value. Uh, where's the money coming from? <laughs> the Hudson Bay and Chesapeake Bay is actually starting to pay up pretty well. Oh, is that because we're getting the trade from? Yes, because all the trade of the Caribbean has been managed to redirect to uh, the Gulf, the Chesapeake Bay, that which is then redirect to the Gulf of St. Lawrence, and then we're punctioning most of it up there. So if I bet forget the entails, it was actually a pretty good one. That is. I mm. I always forget that you can channel from Chesapeake up to uh, Canada. Yes. Uh, and I which think that's what they did. They're just siphoning all the money from Mexico uh, and Texas and all around. Mm -hmm. And, of course, like the very nicely colonized Caribbean all the way up. And I guess nobody can really challenge them. 
No, there's not really anyone with any solid trade power in Chesapeake Bay. And there is Morocco. What is Morocco doing? Day one in ten words or less. Uh, Day one. Catholic Serbia. Uh, <coughs> Navarra ended up in Ireland. Uh, Granada got all sorts of religions. And the <coughs> HRE started dying. <laughs> I don't know if that was 10 year words or less, but sure. Close enough. Mm. Close enough. Yes, it's a three day event. This is day two. Yes. There's about another six hours left of today, and then tomorrow is another 14 hours. Okay, so that's interesting. So we're <coughs> 20 hours left of, uh, and we've done 12 hours, I think? No. Uh, 13 hours. <sighs> it's like, well, I thought, yes, something like that. Yeah, because yesterday was started at uh, 7 o'clock and went till midnight. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Oh. I do like the trade map. Yeah, I'm checking if more reformation is spawning, but it's been still pretty quiet. No new formation. Holland just refuses to form the Netherlands for some reason. Serbia. I wonder why. Surprisingly, not been eaten yet. Probably some truces going on. Uh, Meow is uh, slowly attacking China. The mandate still not down that much. Uh, Ming still holding. Surprisingly, not getting the. Oh, they are getting the crisis of the Ming Dynasty soon, which mm. will probably make them explode. Oh, we got blue flames. Aha! France <coughs> and Switzerland versus... Oh, they're gone. What the? Oh, uh, was that like another flash war? Where would they... Re mm. Oh, the Switzerland wants, wants independence. No, no, they're with Switzerland against Westphalia and the Papal State. Someone else... Mu is Westphalia... There was a second war going on for a second. Yeah, it disappeared. Yeah, I don't know what, what it was. What was it? I don't know. It was a fake war. Yeah, it was a fake war that they... That they barely had. Yes. yes. Uh, I guess who do they have a truce with that is very recent? Were Nobody. they trying to... No, France doesn't have a, a very recent truce. What, what the heck? That was weird. Uh, no, I don't see France having a special uh, truce with anybody. What the hell's going on? Huh. Was it Switzerland instead? Um. No. no. The Anseatic League. Ooh. Wow, Poland not has a 663. Oh, actually, Switzerland has a very fresh truce with the Anseatic League, so maybe there was a deal there. But I'm not sure what it was. Oh, London. Wait, London? Someone says the London Conquest. I don't see an alliance. No, and it's already uh, it's already a core of London, so I don't think this is what happened. Something oh. else? I'm not sure. Uh. <coughs> oh, it's Flory, so is Flory ready to jump in? Let's see... No, he was. Uh, yes. Wait, was it? He was annexed by the Anseatic League. Uh, that before that was owned by Cornwall, but still a core of Hamburg. Oh, isn't Cornwall under France? So it yes. must have been. It must have been a deal to pass that over. Yes, probably. Oh yeah, because they can't pass uh, mm -hmm. vassal land easily. No. But they can give it away in a peace deal. I guess that was yeah. the thing. I don't know how they got the core back so fast. They. We might have been a second too slow, like looking at it. They were like just ready. Yeah, I'm just surprised that we still have the core. Why is Flory in the chat? <laughs> <laughs> well, and then we have uh, uh, Leah in the chat. They will get there yes. soon. Actually, we are about to. They're switch. they're hiding in the green room. Yeah. We're going oh, on oh break wait wait wait! Is that a real war? Tuscany against the Livonian Order. Oh, the Pope. The oh. Pope, Brittany, Finland. Livonian order against what, Tuscany. What the hell is this? Is that a phony war again? Probably. It looks like Brittany just got brought in. Because Brittany's not really even... What's... Sorry, what? Yep. 
Well, we will leave this for Flory and Leah to figure out. Yes. Because we're heading out. We'll be back in about two-ish yeah. hours. We'll go and chill for a bit, and we will see you later, chat. Have fun with the next pair. Yes. Cheers. See you later. Lead the nation of your choice as four centuries of detailed history come alive in the grand strategy game that defined the genre. Europa Universalis IV simulates the early modern world from the Renaissance to the Age of Revolution. Shape the destiny of millions as you relive or rewrite the past. If you can master the arts of war, diplomacy and trade, your nation will flourish. And history will be yours for the making. The peace in the northern countries came at great cost. Their borders were paid for in blood. The Lions of the North Immersion Pack will let you dive deep into the violent history of the Baltic and Scandinavian regions. Will you unify Scandinavia by enforcing the Kalmar Union or reign supreme as a world power? Rise as a crusader state or establish dominance as a secular nation? Will you reclaim old Viking territory or cross the Atlantic in the quest for new lands? Are you the one to tame the lions of the north?
Hi guys! Hello. Welcome back! We're back. <laughs> We're so back. We are so back. Who yeah. is so back? And apparently there is an updated flurry cam, so I'm not sure. <laughs> I think we can have a look. Okay, we're still on the... Oh, we'll see it when we We'll, we'll see it in a bit. We'll see it in a bit. <laughs> All right. Hi, guys. <laughs> Green hat, white hat. That's right. That's the hat I got in Berlin. <laughs> this is it. This is it. No, I, um, I might have uh, intercepted Rose on the way to the stream. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm slowly converting everyone to the hat religion. This is, this is good. <laughs> All right. Let's take a look at the world. Who is the richest right now? I would like to know. Um, it's definitely the Hansa. The Hanseatic League, which was going to be renamed to the... To the I believe it's like the, the Hansa Burger or something Hans like Burger, that. Yeah, yeah Hans Burger. So they can, uh, you know, keep their outfit. Well, uh, <laughs> unless <laughs> I'm wearing it, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, <laughs> that was that was some good times. All right, they are sitting at an income of two. What, is that right? Two hundred and forty. That's crazy. That's bizarre. Yeah, no, two two hundred and ten from trade. Oh. My goodness. I guess it just, you gotta go in the burger business, I guess. That's yeah. That's where the money is. My god. I mean, they're getting trade power. I'm pretty sure they're getting trade power from uh, the, the the BTO, the Baltic Treaty Organization or something <laughs> like that. Uh, they have uh, very strong alliances over here. I think this is pretty much the strongest block with the Livonian Order, Pomerania, and the Teutons there. And Pomerania is about to flip to Prussia, I'm pretty sure. Yep. They own themselves a uh, Königsberg. Could they form it right now? They could click the button. They could click the button. They're probably waiting for... Oh, well, there, there, there you go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sh uh oh. Now, now it's serious. Yep, yep. We have, we have a Prussia. We have a Prussia. <laughs> With, uh, oh my goodness gracious. I, I wonder if they're going to flip back to Catholicism, though. Because um, the Livonian Order is pretty pretty deep on the whole roleplay aspect. I think they are. Oh, sorry, we're just pulling up the floor again. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and and I'm out of frame. Like, every time I look at it, I'm like... You're out of frame, <laughs> yeah. That's why we have it. <laughs> oh, man. All right. <laughs> Let's take a look at the religion map out here. All right, there's <laughs> there's not a lot of Protestantism. There's only Pomerania because they wanted to form Prussia, um, and yeah, they did go for the beautiful militarization thing there. He's over Gothcap. Oh, interesting. Right, because Prussia, <laughs> you get that uh, negative fifty percent modifier, and uh, so now they're in a bit of trouble. I'm not sure how they're going to fix this. <laughs> I mean, I guess what they could just do is uh, pick up the land rights over here, and then uh, they'd be completely fine. Or is, I, I don't know. Can they have they been building courthouses everywhere? They have not. Okay, there is many avenues to fix this problem, so I'm sure they'll be fine. Um, if you take a look at meow over here, beautiful meow. Meow. Ah, I saw. Have you seen the castle cat? There's two castle cats. There's two? I only saw the one. I saw the gray one. <laughs> it stood on my feet. It was so cute. Oh, my God. Got a collectible. <laughs> All right. All right. Yes. So, um, how is Poland doing? So, Poland was originally planning on forming Juan, but... Uh, or Yuan? Yuan. I'm saying Juan, but... <laughs> <laughs> Juan. <laughs> Juan. No, they, they were... You won in a million. <laughs> yeah, you won in... <laughs> oh. <laughs> so they were originally planning on forming Yuan, but uh, then there was two massive player countries, and I, I keep having to laugh about the land of the Christian son over here. That's uh, the former Pope players. And, uh, man, they, they are looking they are looking very spicy. And they're going to... They were had plans to make sure that there was... <laughs> That only sh the only Shinto would be in Europe, so they are planning to convert this land <laughs> over Gosh. to Catholicism. Kurishitan. 
Kurishita in Japan. There you go. I like that the knights. How are the knights doing? Because they I was talking to them, they said they were Ooh. Yeah, they are in Indonesia. The knights the knights are chilling. Funny oh, story really? about the about the knights actually. They uh there was a vote in parliament to ban naval ideas. Oh. And <laughs> They, they of course, they're all about the navy, right? So they were very annoyed at that, and uh, they asked the GMs to like revert the vote. Oh no, 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 wait! Um, uh, and the Lucia approached them, and they said, "If you flip Sunni, we will get all the Sunni nations to oppose the ban on naval uh, naval ideas." <laughs> and, and, and and they flipped Sunni. They <laughs> flipped Sunni. Damn. Okay, so we've got Sunni knights. Yep. Actually, let's look at what the religion situation is right now, because. There's been there's been some interesting developments. Yep, Coptic Jerusalem. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Shinto Palatinate. That's cool. I don't know if they managed to get that done. We've got. What else do we have? That's like a big decent like. Oh, we do have Protestantism in Prussia, obviously. Yep. Um, so far, it's like pretty contained. Sunni is spreading throughout Iberia, of course. And yeah, everything looks normal. Nothing to see here except for the those those like weird provinces in Andalusia are still sitting there. The Confucian yeah. Norse <laughs> I mean, sorry, um, sorry, Astrian provinces. Yep. And uh, hold on, let's take a look at the player map mode. So. <laughs> There is also a ban on expanding in West Africa and on in India. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, to Look preserve areas to uh, move players into in case, in case uh, there's any more eliminations. That is true. We yep. have Much to the dismay of the players right next to West Africa and India, of yes. course. <laughs> it ain't going to be that easy. Yep, and how is the new world looking over here? So we have massive Morocco. Did they move their capital? They did. They moved Where it to Bermuda Ooh. to prevent colonial nations in uh, North America. Yep, that is very clever. That is very clever because now Morocco has this huge swath of land to expand into. Yeah, very nice. And who who be this? Quebec. Oh, yeah. So, uh, I don't know if you guys know about the Quebec story. No, actually, fill me in. Uh, so, <laughs> this is Brittany. And they kind of forgot about the Iron Fleet in the sense that they forgot that if you form <laughs> Quebec, you lose all your old world land. <laughs> so, they formed Quebec and then they were like, wait a minute. Hold on. Why did we lose? Oh, oh. That's <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, yeah. That's sad. <laughs> That's sad, but, th but they had a good laugh about it, and they were like, okay, yeah, well, fair enough. <laughs> we are now in Quebec, we can expand, this is fine. And they have been expanding quite rapidly. Uh, looking at their overextension, they are, they are going ham. Let's very see. ham. Lovely to see, lovely to see. And Quebec, of course, has very powerful ideas, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Infantry combat ability, goods produced, national tax. Let's take a look here. It's 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 actually all right. It's got infantry comfortability, and that's pretty much that. I thought they had way more military uh, military bonuses there. Oh, we have a rush. We have a wait. What? What's? I missed. I missed a lot. What do? What do? What am I looking at in um in <laughs> in like Central Asia? Uh, yeah. Th so that's uh, Zaporizhia. Yeah. Um, so uh, Zaporizhia became Poland, and Tver formed Russia. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, Zaporizhia becoming Poland, they were <laughs> uh, they made a deal with the Teutonic Order to sell them the provinces uh, to to actually form Poland, and with the thought being we are going to form Poland, then we are going to form Ruthenia so that the Teutonic Order can form Poland. Ah. But th uh. they just kind of forgot about it, the Teutonic Order or something. So then now they're just staying Poland. They just conveniently <laughs> forgot. Yeah. Oh, and we have a player war. We have a player war. Oh, a big one. Oh, oh, it's a doozy. Oh, yes. Yes. So the Livonian Order has attacked Bavaria. No. No, Bavaria. Hang it on. It is the... Hold up. No. What are we looking at? What? What does it... Wait, I can't... Has yours gone weird as well? Yes. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, wait. Wait, it this already script, ended. It ended? What? <laughs> I was trying to figure out what the war was for, but <laughs> it's already over. I thought I was hallucinating. It's a t no, you were not the hallucinating at all. Was. It's like a... But what happened? Because, okay, so Bavaria owns these provinces now. Um, not really sure what's up with that. <laughs> Did they get Würzburg? No. I, I know there is a big war coming. There we is a big war against the uh, Nitra being planned. We we do have some intel that someone might be might be planning on attacking Nitra, but don't tell them. Right. That. Right. Yeah. <laughs> don't 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 tell them that. And of course, no one streams sniping, right? <laughs> no. No, we don't do that. So um, yeah. What did happen? Because so Bavaria is currently coring mines and a few other provinces. Maybe they just grabbed those. I think. I think so. Yeah, so they just grabbed a couple provinces but from, like, KS. No, it's the end and stuff. I'm really not sure what happened here. Also, Switzerland agreed to become a French vassal for 100 years. Damn. 100 years. In, in exchange for uh, the, some of their provinces being returned to them and the uh, protection of France. I wonder if they're getting the March bonuses. It's interesting to see a vassal this this sort of like laid into the game as well yeah yeah uh, they are not getting the the, the bonuses for being uh, the special march bonuses <laughs> i don't think france gets to click that button because they might be too big yes yeah they need to be less than uh, 237 development and they are 325 they're not that far off from getting those bonuses but Um, <laughs> I'm not really sure <laughs> why these bars are here, but apparently there's a farm estate that is going to be finished on the 28th of <laughs> December, 1541. <laughs> I'm unsure. Oh, there you go. It's gone. Perfect. <laughs> what BU do Bavaria have? Um, uh, let's go take a look. They have a personal union over the Platinum. Bavaria has been, uh, <laughs> I think, the most... Personal union Mimi uh, <laughs> country, but with them being PU'd by Austria at the game start. <laughs> and they had to like get their independence supported by the Mamluks and the Ottomans, just in case the other players wanted to defend Austria. And they were like, okay, listen, guys, we have the Mamluks and the Ottomans. Do not defend Austria. You will die. Like <laughs> That's a good bargain. That's a good play. Yeah, because a lot of a lot of players were allied to uh, to Austria, which makes sense. Because especially if you're in the HRE, if you're allied, they're not going to demand the uh, unlawful territory. And uh, also, funny story about Bavaria: their diplomatic game is on point. Like they got all of this land without fighting a single battle. Like it was all sold to them or um, through some diplomatic means. They really have silver tongue, man. Silver tongue. Normal meme looks in auto are a bit so-so, but the thing is, it was like right at the start of the game. So everyone had like uh, maybe an army of 10k. So <laughs> having then the 100,000 meme look in Ottomans walking around is uh, is not something you wanna you wanna deal with. <laughs> no, not that early on. I'm looking right now at um, Navarra. So they're currently sort of spreading. So. They impressively have sort of held on, even though they lost all of their Iberian territories. And they've still got their capital capital in Wales, but they've fully colonized Iceland, bits of Greenland. Are they going to make it all the way over to colonize next to Quebec? Are they, they are currently colonizing in uh, Colombia right now. Oh. And they, okay. they did end well, up. They are. They did end up flipping Norse. Fully flipping yeah. Norse. They they are oh, in a little awesome. bit of a hurry though because if they uh, if they drag their feet on this, there's going to be a lot of competition in the new world because of Morocco and uh, Quebec. How's the diplomatic situation for Morocco? They are no longer allied to Andalusia. And Supposedly, they still could have a real world alliance. Yeah, yeah, but that, that's fair. I wonder where where Andalusia is planning to go next. 
because they can't eat West Africa because of the deal. Although, interestingly, someone pointed out in chat that uh, <laughs> there has been some gobbling up here by uh, by Persia. Oh, and Persia, ah, are they doing the, the, are they breathing the horse? Not yet, not yet. They're not breathing the horse yet, but uh, it, it took some real science to figure out how to get them to breathe a new horse teeth because uh, the decision only pops up if you pass, if you get this horse. <laughs> <laughs> if Grand you get horses rights. Grand Horse rights, because and and that, that's so unique, like to have a decision that only uh, like a decision this this big that only comes from an estate interaction. That's that's pretty funny to me. I did not know that, and I recently played <laughs> as Persia, so I just stumbled on it by accident, I guess. All right, let me see if there's any big wars against the AI happening here. We have Poland that is crusading against Oirat, as you do. And Ming is still hanging on to the mandate. I wonder if Miao is planning to like take the mandate. And the mandate is a bit of a, you know... Mixed bag? Mixed bag, exactly. It can be very dangerous to take the mandate. Uh, once you get your mandate low and you get more events that will spiral you down into a hole whole heap of mess so that's that's something there they might be considering and they don't own all of china yet and you really need a, like a strong economy if you want to take the mandate i think that will change soon that truce with ming actually expires in a few months time so ah, nice. not long now what is their what is their religion like they are confucian yes and do they have the unified china cp um Ooh. Gandam Frodang. Okay, then. They don't have Chinese Kingdom, so they don't get the Unified China CP. Which, uh, that would have been, that would have been spicy, because then you get cores on all of China, f effectively free. But I wonder, I wonder what the thought process behind going into the... Wait, hold on. Tibetan. Oh, apparently we have two lean cans now. Gotta see this. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yep, yep. Am I? Oh, God, I am leaning. Oh, there you go. Yes. You're rubbing off on yes. me. Yes. This is like when you spend too much time around Flory, just bad things happen. <laughs> <laughs> Who formed Tibet? Tibet is... Tibet's been around for a while. It's AI, I'm pretty sure. Yep, but I wonder how, like... Oh, Miao is just in the Tibetan group. Oh, well, there you go. You, you learn something new every day. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Uh, we have... Oh, no, Ryukyu's dying. Aw. Why Why you have to go do this? <laughs> I'm amazed Ryukyu's still around. Uh, that's, uh, it's, uh, yeah, that's, <laughs> that is with, with Ming being this... Uh, you know, having a little bit of trouble, that is kind of surprising. That Japan never uh, never went for that. I guess Japan never really united, so... Yeah, that's true. Let's take a look who has the most powerful military. Oh, there should be more players on this. Hold on, let me go into... Yep, okay. So, in terms of discipline... We have Bavaria, although Prussia... No, Prussia would not overtake that. Yeah. If they went for max militarism. Bavaria is sitting at 125. Very nice. And morale-wise, it's going to be... Oh, okay. I did not see that one coming. How'd they get that high? Military drill, army tradition, prestige. No, nothing really out of the ordinary here. I mean, ex I guess they have expansion focus, but... Korean traditions, okay, okay. Andalusia sitting uh, second there with comfortably, yeah, yeah. Mysticism is uh, is one hell of a drug. <laughs> Man, I I I love uh, having mysticism and then just clicking this button every once in a while because you have uh, you can slack on recruiting standards, then you get like three times the manpower from this, which is like insane. So nice to click that button. Real dopamine hit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, blue flames, blue flames, blue flames. Big war, big war. Is the real one? Please be a real one. 
Oh. Theodoro, Jerusalem. Okay, this is some. <gasps> Don't tell me. Is it happening finally? It is yes! the Armenian conquest of. This is what oh, we call. Oh. No, no, no. It's. um. Oh, it is. No. Armenia called this wall. Yeah, it's east versus west. There you go. You know what? I wonder. Because I, I was talking to the um, Armenia player. And um, I was like, oh, you know, you're in a bad position here. Like, you're going to get jumped on. You're going to get jumped on. So I guess maybe they preempted that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I, again, because they were so uh, so nice to Jerusalem. <laughs> uh, they, they've, been, they've been real good buddies. Yeah. Wait, Jerusalem's fighting against them? No, they're with them. Yeah. They're, they're with them. Yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah. right. And they are not wasting any time. They are assaulting these forts. Uh, oh, okay, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, they, they are they are mass assaulting this. Because uh, I think they're, like, trying to push towards uh, the Sea of Marmara there. So they can, like, hold that. And then... Because... Uh, yeah, they're going to hold them in the mountain forts in uh, Theodoro. Which, how are they looking like? Uh, there are no, there are none. <laughs> okay, oh. then, then it's going to be a little difficult to hold the mountain forts if uh, if they don't exist. <laughs> Theodoro in general is looking very invadable right now. So, uh, Livonian Order is protecting Byzantium really into role play. So they're protecting every Catholic they can find. And yes, this is a Catholic Byzantium. <laughs> All right. Didn't quite get the Latin Empire, but it'll do. They are outnumbered, though. So they have to win quick. <laughs> they have to win very quickly, because uh, if this war drags out, then uh, it's Jover for them. So they are... Th I, I understand why they're, like, assaulting all the forts here. Theodoro is... How are they getting so many three-star generals? What is this? What is their army tradition? 91, okay, yeah. okay. And they've uh, got um, officer rights. Yeah, yeah, and uh, they have, they have a lot of quality, and they of course have the the Cossacks and uh, some forts in Persia that they're helping out there. No <laughs> fort theater. Yeah, damn. True. <laughs> oh, uh, oh. Do you need forts oh. when you have mountains? Oh, they forts? were gonna get caught out, but they scorched the earth right on time. So wheat. I I think that Theodoro is uh, in a little bit of trouble here because uh, because of their whole no fort situation and they're building a fort now but that is a little <laughs> bit of a, a mustard after the meal I think because uh, that's gonna take some time to finish. I guess I'm trying to like think about that in real life. It's like oh shit we're being invaded. Just like get a bunch of rocks. Yeah, yeah it'll, it'll take it'll take three years, but you know. <laughs> just pile them on there. Yeah, that is a little bit of a too little too late. What is the uh, tech situation for them? They almost have tech 12. Are we seeing any guns over here? Yes, we do. Valakia is sitting at tech 12. And how is the... Whoa, what's this? Orthodox zealots. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. I wonder if that's intentional. Let's see. Let's have a look at the religion tab. They are currently converting with how did they even get there how is it that many i have no idea but they're definitely could, could that be like a gm thing like how did they even <laughs> how did that even happen <laughs> that is bizarre it, they've been catholic for so long i i really wonder i really wonder if this is an event or something like some secret event to uh, switch into <laughs> to switch back into orthodox because, uh, you know, this whole cat, the, at the start of the, the land, it was pretty obvious that Catholicism was going to reign supreme, but not so much anymore, what with the, the rise of uh, Shia, Shia Provence. Shia Provence. <laughs> I mean, the war is going well for them in the south, but not so much in the north. And the, the Livonians have finally arrived here, so we might be they're seeing a pushback. They're helping out these rebels. Oh, the <laughs> they're killing the Orthodox Zealot. <laughs> All right, of course, yeah. <laughs> Livonia with the assist. <laughs> well, if it was intentional to flip Orthodox, then... <laughs> they're like, guys, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I think someone is screaming right now. That would be really funny. <laughs> yep. I don't know, okay, it wouldn't really make sense for them to flip orthodox when they've just attacked. Oh no, Armenia attacked, of course, yeah. yeah I keep yeah. assuming that Byzantium would have been the one to attack, but no, it was Armenia. Armenia using the color CB, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What was the other CB we were talking about? Um, there was a color CP and then another one we were talking about when we were having food. Do you remember? Oh, no. Uh, no. Okay, it'll come back to me. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to come up with like new It was CP a good types. one though. It was I remember good one. that, but <laughs> I don't remember the name. <laughs> it'll come to us, it'll come to us. Um All right. I wonder if if uh when they are planning on uh, starting the pushback here because uh, Byzantium is going to get a lot of war exhaustion from this. It's taking up like 0.20 a month. And uh, how is the war score in general? Oh, it was the Bordigo CB. Oh, the CB yeah, yeah, yeah. to like clean up Bordigo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We definitely need that in the game. Yes. Just came to me, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's all right. <laughs> Wait, hold on. How is okay? How is the ticking war score going? Four point eight. What's the war score for them? Uh, the they declare war for Shar Sianon. Shar Sianon. Oh, Sianon. Which is it's an easy one. It's a pretty simple fort. It's yep. So you kind of get like the extra tick from the siege or the occupation of it, and yeah. And it's easy to hold too, because it's the Highlands. So if they mm. if they do get pushed back, they can like at least try and hold on to the the war goal quite quite easily. I wonder if Theodoro is close to piecing out here. Let's see. Uh, could they? Whoa! Hang hang on a second. We're, we've been so distracted by this war here that we've completely missed. What is what is this exactly? Teutonic Order declared war against Mitra. Oh my! It it happened. It happened. So there we go. Like the long speculated. Um, the, yeah, because <laughs> like revenge against Mitra. Um, well, Bavaria still got their back. Who else is? Oh, wow. we got Saxony. Finally, they get to clap back against Mitra <laughs> at long last. <laughs> for sweet, their sweet revenge. The epic betrayal. Yeah. <laughs> We're seeing which, it live. Which was actually a treaty thing. So Nitra oh, had... Oh, you found out about this. Yeah, what I was, was I was asking about So Nitra is, uh, was not helping in the war because they had a treaty with the uh, Livonia order. So was it that they decided, they remembered the treaty at the last minute? Like, was it an... What was it? What what was that? that no, move? they were like... They, they were the being, retreat. They were being yelled at by their alliance. Like, what are you doing? Help, help. And they were like, yeah, ah. no. Uh, so like, okay, but uh, we have rebels. <laughs> we can't... Uh, yeah, we'll be there in a minute. We'll be there. Uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> they were just playing it off like like they weren't actually, uh, you know, throwing the war on purpose. But they were. They were totally doing it on purpose. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, man, I wish, I wish I'd been there to see it. <laughs> but I wonder what <laughs> like they were being yelled at so hard. <laughs> Okay, but I, I, it's good that Bavaria still has their back, though, because otherwise this would be very one-sided. It would be. Bavaria, which we saw, has the highest um, discipline right now out of everyone. Bavaria is still going strong. I remember when we were last casting, like, they were... Livonian Order was trying to cut them down to size, right? Yeah, yeah. Didn't go... It wasn't successful. No, no, they, they've been they've been holding on, and See, they've been deving a I lot. I threw my hat in the ring for Bavaria. I knew they could do it. Yep. Even though there's that gross... Color union, I'll accept it. <laughs> yeah, th again, what th what's up with that? Like <laughs> Armenia, Byzantium, and then there's Bavaria, Nitra. Big battle going on here. Are they going to reinforce into that? They are, and they're they're doing it. Oh, they're stutter stepping in. He's trying to prevent the uh, the Saxons from reinforcing. How are we doing? How are we doing? Front line is collapsing for the Northern Alliance, but they are coming in. Ah, it's close! Oh, oh my God, that was that was very dicey. That was incredibly dicey. So close there. Let's see, point ninety nine. Ah, oh, man, 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 man. I don't think they have this. I don't think the dude in the corner has this, which is surprising. Oh, there you go, victory for the South. Goodness. Wow! Look at that stack. Oof. 
And uh, the Livonian order had 40,000 units, but they are busy sieging down Hungary right now, so they can't help. How, meanwhile, how is the Byzantium war going? Byzantium war? Oh, yes. Let's have a look. I should have been looking at that while you were <laughs> focused on that. Um, all right. Armenia's still going strong. It's got the ticking war score holding that down. They've basically occupied all of Anatolia. And now that we have the second war popping up, which and is oh. very outnumbered, by the way. <laughs> Byzantium is basically going to do the classic, just like walk all the way around the Black Sea. Sort of <laughs> like <Yeah. laughs> the long march. <laughs> I mean, they have the strait held up, so yeah, they don't have they to worry about the Armenians moving in, uh, crossing the strait. But Armenia does have to worry about that as a possibility yeah. because it's a one-way street now. Ottoman maneuver, specialty of the Ottoman AI. <laughs> just like... Well, like my favorite is um, going to war against like AI Castilla at the start or something, and then like or having them as an ally, and then they just like walk all around the Mediterranean yep. <laughs> like, every every goddamn time. Um, Land of the Christian Sun is papal states, I'm pretty sure. Yes. So they yep. respawned in Korea. And they're mm. keeping up the role play. Their <laughs> papacy is going strong. It's just, for some reason, the Pope is now in Korea. Yep. And, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. And I, I, I got a story to tell about that, too. They have, uh, they have ha also had some religion flips in their, in their nation. Oh. I mean, the Livonian Orator, now that they're not helping in the Armenia War, I'm suddenly starting to see victory for the Armenians is a possibility at least, because uh, now they're going to be very divided here, and it, for now, it seems like the Bavarians have this, which is very surprising to see. Possibly, yeah. Well, well, that's it, right? Like, Livonia's kind of, like, spread a little bit thin at the moment, so they're not as powerful in allies that might normally be. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. They do have Russia on their side now. This is a, this is a very big war. How is... The troop number, yeah, they are number two to one, but keep in mind, these are also in a separate war. And actually, the Serbian war actually kicked off earlier, yes. The Bavarian conquest, of, that's probably what prompted this to begin with. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then like, jumped on them and like... Which, of course, got defended by the Livonian Order, because <laughs> Catholicism, A right? little bit of interventionism here and there. Serbia is not doing too hot, though, and they've lost all of their alliances. Oh, Serbia is... Uh, got <laughs> Serbia moved a while ago. This is not player war at all, that's my... <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Matthew walked around, apparently, um, just like spreading the news to um, the Byzantium and no, oh, well the Armenian I guess players because they would have declared it <laughs> that they have our blessings, us and chat on the color CD. Ah. Um, sadly, Nitro and Bavaria stuck together and Theodoro spewed some nonsense about a non-aggression pact. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> non-aggression packs all around. There are so many packs. There are a lot. It's of it, it's impossible to read them all. I think if you if you started reading them right now, you'd be. Uh, yeah, you'd be done by the time the next land starts. I, I like I like the characterization of a pact as nonsense because that's more or less <laughs> it's <laughs> it's like yeah we've sort of seen the bi the lasting power of unpacks. If we oh, we might be able to get um, a photo of the treaty board right now, but it's huge. They've had to get a whole extra like board. Now yeah, and they keep <laughs> adding new boards. Like it's I haven't counted. There's like a hundred pieces of paper pinned to it. It's crazy. We'll have to find a picture and post it. Yep. Right. You can maybe see if there's uh, like some some really spicy ones. I really like the the Switzerland vassalization treaty. Like that was something else. A hundred years, a hundred years of being a vassal. It seems that the extra numbers that the the the, the BDO over here uh, pulled in is uh, finally paying off for them. Although it's it's kind of stale so far. Like there have not been any real advances uh, advancements made. With regards to sieging, there's been a lot of battles, though. Like uh, 168k losses already on the uh, the Teutonic Order side. It's unfortunate for them that the war is split, though, because 
that means that if they peace out of the Serbian war, which is against AI, uh, they can kick out the Livonian order out of this. And then, well, mm. that's a whole bunch of really high quality troops that they don't have to worry about. Mm. That's true. Huge battle going on in Crimea right now. Uh, the Livonians are everywhere right now. Like they have to, the, the amount of micro that they need to do is, uh, is pretty insane. Take a look here, 4.72. I'm curious about Andalusian dev clicks. Sorry, I know it's a bit off topic now. I was just looking at great powers and um, Andalusia is number two, but they're pretty much just in Iberia. They don't have any colonies or anything, do they? Well, uh, no, they, they have uh, w West Africa and I think Brazil. Oh, they do, they do. Yeah, so they've started colonizing. But oh, yeah, it huge. is that yeah. way. He really likes the death push <laughs> button. <laughs> I didn't want to say it, but you know. <laughs> no, it, it's the fir the first day there was like a, a recap, and uh, they mentioned, oh yeah, th this many people died in the war, this many wars were declared, and uh, you have pressed the death button. 970 times and immediately <laughs> Snowick shouted not enough <laughs> <laughs> not enough need more dev clicks <laughs> everyone come on do the dev click <laughs> i think this seems like a very comfortable wall for armenia which makes me think that oh no maybe it, it's not that comfortable it it's yeah. comfortable in the south but in the north it's yeah. looking very bad how far is that? For the fort is being built. Like maybe, maybe the fort will actually be finished one day. It's, it's <laughs> occupied right now, but uh, you know what would be incredibly funny if if they're like sieging down Theodoro, then the fort finishes and they're trapped inside there. Oh my god! It could happen. It could happen. I'm just like imagining like someone trying to like they're building this fort like every time like they put a brick down, someone just like knocks it off. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's that's an interesting mechanic. How can you build anyway? It, <laughs> interesting. It, 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 I, I don't know how. <laughs> how do you? What do you even do about that? <laughs> like gameplay wise, let's not think about it. All right, thirty three days. We're about to get this castle. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I, th th that was actually I I wanted to pull that off in an MP once, like declare a war and then build the forts and then try to trap someone in there but it's like three years ahead like how are you going to surprise someone <laughs> with that like it's not you can slowly it's see like, it oh happening gosh, yeah. byzantium is now making headway into uh into anatolia as well which is you know they have to the eastern alliance has to constantly split their attention as well uh, i want to take a look at bavaria again uh it seems that the north is now rising and uh, they oh wow, yeah, the Teutons. There's some tides turning here. Ooh, that is a mighty fine fort. <laughs> I mean, they do have pressure on this on their side, and the the um <laughs> the um Hanseburger League. Yep, and the Hanseburger League is. Uh, I don't even know if they have an army because they are basically the money. <laughs> like they have <laughs> an income of three hundred and thirteen. Ah man, I, w I wonder if before the end of the game we're gonna see like an economic hackathon because. Uh, well, that <laughs> that could Possibly. be a possibility. I mean, even development-wise, they're doing pretty good. They're only just below the number eight great power, yep. which is Aaron Shah. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Which is I also cool. Either, I'm probably. glad we got an Aaron Shah yeah. in like this grand campaign because I mean, greatest land, <laughs> grandest land, greatest. Um, yeah, it's fitting. Yep. And um, uh, let's see. I wonder if. Ah, they haven't done it yet. Yeah, I actually got a favor from them. Because I told them how to breed the warhorse. We have a favor now. Yes. <laughs> Coins. <laughs> Wait, so how do you cash in on your favors anyway? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but maybe we can, do you we can get something or done. Something, or? Uh, no, I mean, I guess. I, I guess. Or we, I, I think uh, we, maybe maybe we can like use it if... Uh, if there's like no player wars, we can like bribe someone to go declare a war tomorrow or something like that. That would be interesting. Yeah. I was actually thinking about that, like having like weird caster intervention. Yep. But that might be too much. I feel like the GMs would get mad. I mean, it, <laughs> it, it's all in the mechanic of the game, right? We, it, I'm paying them a favor. It's, you know. I think tomorrow, day three, when everything just gets so chaotic and people are like half giving up. Um, there is a chance we might have a caster nation as well, like yes, last year. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> um, 
I feel like it's a bit like in the last few hours, there's probably a bunch of crazy stuff that will happen. Yeah. We'll, we'll see. We'll see if we what we can do. We got to cash in on those flurry bucks somehow. Yeah, we we have to. We have to come on. <laughs> Should be possible to pull on there. Pull coin. up some memes. Yeah. Invest now. All right. I mean, I wonder what what uh, what Bavaria is thinking with this with the Serbian alliance. Are, are the Livonians even in this? I mean, they are not really helping out. No. In, uh, in the, the the BTO alliance, they are more concerned with uh, dealing with with uh, Theodore, which is understandable. Like, how yeah. are you going to how are you going to coordinate if you're trying to fight on two different fronts with two different sets of people? Like, yeah. it's not going to work. So yeah, they're pretty much focusing their efforts down in. Um, Black Sea. Um. Armenia, though, is already sitting at 20% war score, and they can get another 9.4, which is not going to be enough to stab it. Oh, Byzantium as well. <laughs> oh, no. Byzantium have sort of been repelled as well from... So they were about to... They were going to try to cross over into Anatolia, but it looks like... Oh, no, the Livonian Order is helping them out now. So yep. they've crossed over. And Byzantium sort of like re-diverted, redirected their forces back up north. It's good that they didn't uh, that they didn't keep pushing there in, in Crimea, I think. Because now that they have the capital occupied, Theodoro is going to start like, getting war exhaustion and everything. Mm. And now they can save Byzantium from getting too much war exhaustion. And to, to prevent any sort of ticking war score or, uh, you know... Uh, stab hitting from happening to, mm -hmm. the, to Byzantium because that is pretty much the only way they lose like Armenia had to win quickly and now it's not looking too hot for them unless they can get some more allies and we have another huge battle going on in northern Hungary who are the allies in game uh, oh they I don't know if they could actually call in Iran Shah it's a bit I mean if they could ooh, maybe they are allied to them but We'll see. Yeah, yeah, because that, that could be the deciding factor. Although Aaron Char might be thinking, you know, now could be my chance to uh, to well, jump in on Armenia. Aaron Char also has pretty much no army. They have 20,000 units. I mean... Wait, what? 20 <laughs> units. Not like... <laughs> oh, yeah, 20 they units, do. yeah. I guess it's an effort to save money. No, they don't even have that much debt. I guess they they just really want to like build up their economy right now because if you build buildings over here, whew, you uh, you have a lot of potential to make uh, to increase your income. And of course, the whole mission tree is like, oh, build this, build that, build this. So uh, you need to do a lot of building, but it pays off. Okay, and there's a huge battle going on over here, and it seems like the Livonians have this. I wonder if there's anything that's going to shake up that war, if the if the Armenians are like making plans or trying to approach people to to get more help because uh, they are going to need help very yeah. very soon. I'd be very nervous right now <laughs> if I was them. Very nervous and slightly frustrated because uh, they were like, I was winning and it was very called close. off because they. <laughs> They are, uh, yeah, it was looking good for them at the start. But I, I, I saw a scenario where they could, like, where they could, uh, like, if Theodoro pieces out and then they keep the war going, they might just get over 50% and then get out of the war because, uh, you know, they are outnumbered almost to three to one now. Oh, no, it's not even that bad. It's not even that bad. No, it's kind of equal, actually. Especially if we consider the horses. Yep. The Teutons, meanwhile, are making some good progress. Yeah, they are. And uh, these these forts, which were very... Now, look at the fort defense. 150%. That should be illegal. That should actually be illegal. 150% on this fort. Damn. My goodness. A 100%. Ah. Oh, my God. that is That has got to hurt. You pretty much have to assault those because it's going to take literal decades if you want to like siege that down naturally. Oh, I'm interested in this battle. They've got, I mean... Oh, Poland just joined. Oh, no. 
Poland joined the uh, the Armenian side, so the, oh, oh, that will make sense why the numbers are suddenly almost equal. Yeah, okay. Okay, so we could maybe see. Hang on. <laughs> okay, a lot of people are joining. Um, <laughs> we've got. Oh no. Oh, I misread it. Sorry. For a moment, I thought. <laughs> wait. No, no, I'm, I'm reading that correctly. Okay, we've got Saxony as well fighting on the Byzant Byzantine side. Really? Wait, no, Saxony. Did Saxony die? Are they still? No, Saxony is still a player nation. There's another huge battle going on here with the South trying to hold on to uh, these beautiful mountain forts. They have, oh, 40,000 Tuscans are now helping out. 40,000 Tuscans are now helping out. That might be the difference because these battles are not, they're very close. They are very close. Are they, do they have a backline? No, it seems like they don't have enough cannons quite yet. It is very close. Uh, Prussia is moving in, but they need to they need to reinforce very quickly because and they're moving in. They are moving in. Oh, but are they going to be on time? Yes, they are going to be on time. Ooh. Holy, nice. that was close. That was close. And you want to be as late as possible because every unit suffers morale damage, All even if it's Bavarian on the back line. Troops, they and might make it. The I think they're going to make it. Make it on 16th of February, Point they're going to get there in time. Yep. Oh, they made they get it on time. They made it. Wow, that is that takes some yeah. nerves to be that to be that close. Ooh. Oh boy, and it, it's gonna be a nail biter, man. Little point twenty-three, point point sixteen. No, I, point ten, There are a couple good dice rolls. Can they away still sort it? No, they can't. Point. Oh, this is so oh, close. Oh, I, 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 th I think they got it. I think the North has it. I think the Wait. North has it. Yeah. Oh my oh, God! Oh gosh, that. that was insanely close. <laughs> <sighs> that was very close. That was very close. That the was North incredibly had, the North had the close. better army. They had, oh well, actually, Bavarians had the better general, but um, or maybe they did. Didn't and a hundred and twenty-five percent discipline. There. Yeah, <sighs> I have. They could have. That that really would have been that. Like RNG could have saved them. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's how close it was. And if if like they re they reinforced that battle perfectly, like they were. Like, well, what was it like? Point point four morale or something, and then the reinforcements came in, which is close. exactly what you want. So that oh, and the siege fell. The siege fell at twenty one percent. Which I is that their la no? They have a mountain fort still, and uh, well, they ah, they don't really have the the center of Hungary is now open for occupation, so it is it is not looking good for the south here. I've just realized, I don't think Serbia is a player nation. No, no, Serbia is not a player. Oh, it, it, okay. it, it was when earlier, but they, they moved. Ah, okay. Poland joining in on the Armenian side is exactly what they needed. Uh, Anatolia is now being unsieged, but uh, Poland being on the on the uh, the eastern side, I guess, is, uh, is very nice for Theodoro because it got unsieged. Poland also does not believe in forts. No, no forts for me. No, no, no. Forts are just a waste of money. I like to see it. <laughs> just, the, just horses in the open plains. <laughs> exactly. What more do you need? What more do you need? When they are sitting at a hundred and ten percent cavalry common ability. There you go. You love to see it. <laughs> I love horses. Maybe we'll see Poland for Mongolia. That would be, uh, that would be beautiful. Unfortunately for them, though, they have uh, 95 cavalry to infiltration, just not quite 100, which is a bit of a, a, bit of a struggle to deal with because you're still going to need a lot of infantry in that case. Because um, you know, if you fight one battle and y y a couple of your infantry dies, then you have to like switch it <laughs> over, and it's, it's a whole bunch of micro. Someone said horsepower, yes. A gift. Ooh. Oh, what is we've th just received gifts. What is this? Oh, could this be from the great nation of Meow? Oh, Meow. We're already having some favors bought. Okay. This is nice. This is duly, cool. duly noted. All right. Thank you, okay. Meow. Oh, I like cats even more now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how is Meow doing? Meow is just gobbling up all of China here in the Meow conquest of Feng Zhang. And uh, st still very comfortably allied with the knights in the, in the land of the guy. This is awfully peaceful. Eastern uh, East Asia is awfully peaceful right now. Yeah, that's only because the borders aren't touching just yet. <laughs> right, and, and players that, that got eliminated tend to like 
try and make as much friends as possible because they don't want that to they happen again. They don't want again. it to happen again, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so in Asia at the moment, we have... Oh, <laughs> Poland's very close, actually. So I'm pretty sure I wasn't oh there God. for this. Oh, no. I wasn't there for this, but I think there was an actual, like, council assembly because Zaporozhye was forming this insane snake. I think we all saw it. Um, and they voted to, like, cut off the snake. Yes. So they basically stopped at Oira, like where Oira's borders sort of begin on the western side. And now they're just snaking again. And they're, <laughs> they're like, two provinces away from the land of the Christian Sun. It looks like a dessert or something. I don't know what this looks like, but this, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, it's this is worse than it was before. <laughs> it, it's the Neapolitan steps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Poland is like, yeah. Ooh, do, 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 do. Very big battle here. Is uh, Are the Poles in this? Are the Poles in this? They are not. And if they were, that would make a difference. Whereas the Polish army, Polish army is still gearing up for this uh, <laughs> war. This day. I mean, they, they join, but they have to like reorganize all their armies because they probably weren't expecting to fight in this war, uh, seeing as how they joined later. And that is Byzantium pushing it back. Pushing it back. Still haven't yeah. retaken the war goal, but it's close. This is either going to be, this is probably going to be a really, really long battle or, I don't know. No, it's probably going to be a, a long war. Either, the, either they'll so. keep it going or they're just going to, like, cut their losses. I I think they would, oh, uh, no, I think they're going to keep going. Yeah, because okay. yeah, it's pretty existential at this point, I think. That's true. Yeah, because imagine if they peaced out and then they'd probably have, like, a, what, 15, 20 year truce? I don't know how long the truce would be. Y yeah, it yeah. depends on what, what they, what they what ask the, in the What the deal still. is. Yeah. Um, what the what the deal is? What's your deal? What's your deal? What's your deal? Um, but it's not going to be a big peace deal because their war score is so low. Yeah, yeah. So let's say fifteen years. Uh, I, I think it's it'll probably be like like f five or ten. Okay. Somewhere between that, because uh, it, it it's either going to end with like a white peace or uh, it's like yeah. a couple of provinces being exchanged. Did Nitra peace out? No, this is still ongoing. Yep. Just, it's getting a bit more evenly matched now. And uh, this war is also not going to end anytime soon. Because, again, it is kind of existential. They don't have <laughs> a lot of strategic depth to, like, give away a bunch of provinces yep. and still be fine. Because if they lose, if Nitra loses this uh, this land, then they're, they're going to be in trouble. Because, uh, you know, they don't have a lot of room to expand into. And, mm -hmm. well, they can only expand up, I suppose. So, currently, the Nitra side outnumbers... Um, the north, the northern Germans, about really? two to one. Yeah. So, did someone leave that battle? Uh, that was Tudens, Prussia. The Russians left. Are they? Yeah, the Russians left. Oh. The Russians peaced out. And uh, they, they, they do outnumber. How is the, uh, the money situation for Bavaria? Because yeah, they are losing quite a bit. <laughs> Here, <laughs> which uh, I think that's why the numbers now add up for the south because they have uh, they went 60 units over the force limit there, just just slightly, slightly over, just slightly <laughs> over. But I mean, you, you gotta do what you gotta do. They have to, they have to like death war this, they have to push out all of the stops. Actually, surprisingly, uh, their income is 160. That is very impressive given the, the land that they have and a very oh. balanced economy as well. Yeah, they're spending a hundred on army maintenance and still, still making a profit. I mean, they could keep up. They can, they can take up to one hundred and fifty-nine loans. They, uh, they did go for economic there, so that is actually buffing out for them very nicely. It's a smart play, to be honest. Just like have your little, have your little swampy corner of Europe and get real bit. Oh, sorry. Oh, well, I'm well, so sorry. Well, what do you mean? <laughs> 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 the swampy part. I, I, I mean, I like, I like being, I like, I like the swamp. The swamp. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't, I don't mind being in the swamp. <laughs> <laughs> how are, how is the swamp doing? <laughs> <laughs> my swamp. <laughs> nice swamp. Think I'll take it. <laughs> no, my swamp being your swamp. <laughs> my swamp being your swamp. <laughs> your swamp being. What? What are we swamping worry. about? <laughs> Don't worry about it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh, get out of my swamp. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> it took a while to register there. <laughs> Build a castle in that swamp. This swamp has has plenty of castles. It's looking it's looking it's looking very nice. I also really like the shape. I wonder how they might have it from the Netherlands yet. They could be Is waiting. Is Prosh still a player? Yes. Yes. Let's Which is a little the... unfair, but I mean they earned it. <laughs> they earned it, yes. <laughs> uh, they got it through diplomacy too, so um, I, 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 the the idea behind this alliance block was uh, we're gonna have three very powerful armies and one money guy that bankrolls the others. Uh, Livonia, w once this Theodora war ends, then Nitra is really in trouble because then the Livonians could go help them out. They are pushing back though, but it's a question of it's gonna be a question of money, I think. I th think so. Oh, and yeah, so the hearts have just popped, gone up again. They're just <laughs> so every time like they hire more mercs, the other side then hires more mercs. So it's really just like trying to have the biggest stick. And eventually, <laughs> I think is this Nitra my prediction is this is gonna be our highest casualty war so far. I think so too. Yes. Already a million people have died. Look at this. A million? <laughs> We've already had one million combined casualties. Yay! Over a million. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there, there have to be some claps for that. That is impressive. <laughs> Nitra Re is... Uh, this war Rejoice in the carnage. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this war might not last that long, though, <laughs> because uh, Nitra is almost bankrupt. Oh, that's rough. They are... Uh, how far over the... They, the and that is 103 units. <laughs> So that would that would instantly pull that down to fifty five, and then of course they have the negative morale of armies. I wonder if they have any, if they have any plans. Could they like restructure their debts? No, there is. Uh, they can restructure it a little bit, but that's not going to save them here. And they've all already uh, look taking a look at the loan situation. They've already been um, who's funding them? They are being funneled some money, but it can't be Bavaria. Casualties for the Byzantine War, not quite as high. So they've got about 500k combined. Not including um, attrition casualties, yeah. which is about... That would bring it up to about 600, 700k. It, it's literally half, yeah. Mm. <laughs> which, by the way, let's see how they are going. Okay. We've got a big old stack of 110 units that we've now got Montenegro reinforcing. Oh, Wallachia mostly. Probably going to make... Oh, Jerusalem has entered the fray as well. Yep. And where... Is Poland in on this battle? Poland is. So Poland is Kay. helping out its... Orth Wait, Poland is... Yeah, Poland's Orthodox. So Poland's helping out their um, non-Catholic brethren, essentially. It's going to be a close one. It's... With uh, those Jerusalem troops, if they are on time... If they are on time, are they gonna make if it? They can. Then oh, they're not gonna make it. They're not gonna make it. No, no way. They're way no too way. Far away. No way, Jose. No, no. Oh, and they're gonna get stack wiped now. They're gonna get stack wiped. One hundred and ten percent. What? One hundred and ten percent? Am I really that sure? I'm not that sure. I'm not that sure anymore. No, no, they'll live. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so that's a victory for the East. Very nice. And um, Mamluks as well have declared war on Jerusalem. Oh my, okay, that is bad. So that's <laughs> not great for them, actually. That is not that great for the Eastern Alliance, because now they have to fight on the two-front war, and there is huge battles <laughs> going on here. Oh yeah, let's go back. And oh, Bavaria we're is, oh that. man, 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 man. Bavaria is pushing it back, but like we like we discussed, like Nitra, Nitra is is on a is on a timer there. Like they are almost bankrupt unless they keep getting funds from someone. And I wonder who's paying for it. It'd be really funny to me if the Hanseatic League is like sending them the cash. Oh, funding both sides. Yes, yes, <laughs> that, that that's <laughs> what I would do. But I want that they have to, they don't really have like an incentive to do that, um, other than just watching more more I blood. I mean, I mean. The war machine. The they've. I was sort of talking to them earlier, and they've got this whole lap of being like bloodthirsty capitalists. So <laughs> I feel like it'd be like perfectly in character. In a I, way. I, I, I would see them do it. I would. <laughs> I, I could see them doing that for sure. The South is winning the battles now, but they are running on fumes. 
And Bavaria just got Tech 13, so... Well, Tech 13 is not that impactful, but it, it, it helps. All bits help. And considering how close the battles are, that might be uh, that might be the thing that's... Flurry bad at math checks out. <laughs> oh, what you bad at math? What did, I, what, did I, what did I math out wrong? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know what you did. I'm not sure what chat's talking about. At, at some point, I said literally half, and I'm pretty sure it's like not It was half. like not half, yeah. <laughs> Using literally wrong... <laughs> literally. <laughs> literally using literally wrong. Poland is sieging down the Livonian order. Oh, Armenia is making a little bit of a comeback in the sense that they've at least repelled um, Byzantium. Oh, it was retreating. They're just sort of like making another approach. Oh, Theodora no longer occupied. There's like, so basically, <laughs> this is like another war that's basically reset, but they're going to keep going. They've lost a lot of men. But, I mean, they've got no other option but to stay and fight, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the problem for the uh, eastern side is that they now have to deal with the Mamluks, which, uh, when they formed, they got all of the old Mamluk cores, right? So, this would be a very, very juicy reconquest war. And it doesn't appear like they have this battle, because I don't oh. see any more reinforcements coming in. Hold on, Mamluks is a player. Oh, was that? Is, did Tunis become Mamluks? Tunis became okay. Mamluks, yeah. That makes so much more sense. I was like... Oh, it's just AI Mamluks, they can... Okay. And a wipe. And, yeah, no. Yeah, <laughs> this makes so much more sense. You're like freaking out and I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, it, okay. It, is, uh, <laughs> it is definitely the Tunis player. Who did they call into this war? Morocco and Russids, yes. Uh, I'm actually kind of surprised. The Mamlukian army doesn't appear to be that big. Oh, no, it's only 46k. Yeah, this is really, really bad. They're going to need a lot very bad for of time the, to, for to the build that up. religious block. It is, but at the same time, I feel like the Mamluks underprepared for this war. <laughs> Possibly. And then we've still got Aaron Shah, who is technically allied to the Eastern powers. Yes. But let's have a look at their army again. Oh, they're slowly building up troops, but they've got something like... Let's have a look. They are not allied <laughs> to Theodoro, though. And let me tell you something. Aaron Shah is Zoroastrian, and there is a, a, a one there over here, Baku Ateshka, which gives 10% discipline. Uh, they're going to want that. So either they th they're going to threaten Theodoro for it, or they're just going to take it. Mm. But it, it, it makes sense for them to wait as long as possible, because Theodoro is right now you know, tapping itself out with, uh, with this Honestly, huge war. Honestly, I would war. love to be there with Armenia and Jerusalem, just to see what the atmosphere is there now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, I can tell you, like, there, there must out. be people screaming, just shouting. Sweating. And they called this war as well. Yeah. They made a gamble, they were like, we we got to attack now or never, I guess. I mean, yep. I'm sure there's more sophisticated reasoning behind it. Maybe we can get them on stream after I all mean, this. But maybe they were just like, uh, they were just bored. <laughs> it's like, okay, let's <laughs> let's go start a player war. Let's just do something. How is Bavaria doing? How is Nitra doing? Um, Not so great. Uh, they're only losing 55, which leads me to believe that they got rid of some of it. The yeah, they're not like 100 units of the force in it anymore. They, <laughs> they have to pace themselves a little bit because uh, this war is not going anywhere. Did they delete most of their forts or had they already? Oh no, it's all the same. I'm just, yep. I'm, just can't, I'm blind. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they might have rearranged their fort system. Like the war has been going on for so long that they, they could have. <laughs> no, I just I saw the blue and I forgot where the borders began and ended. <laughs> okay. Bavaria is also toned down the army maintenance a little bit. So it seems that whoever was funding them, which I would like to know who, who, who was funding Nitra, I very much suspect uh, the Hanseatic League. Meanwhile, <laughs> we've got another front for the um, uh, the Armenian... Uh, what should we call this war? This like East versus like Catholic sort of war. So Poland has made its way up to the Livonian order and things are kicking off there. Yep, yep. And uh, that could be very bad for the Livonian Order if they get... Because uh, they are not... They could be uh, separate pieced out. And uh, that, would be, that would be very, very bad for the, the Western Alliance, I suppose. The, the color kerfuffle? The color kerfuffle. Because it is the kind of the color CV. Oh, oh, like the color wars or something. Uh, <laughs> is that... <laughs> like the yeah. color revolution, but the color... Uh, that doesn't quite make sense thematically but anyway no naming wise it does <laughs> it's, it's, i mean it sort of works the color belly 
the color ballet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, like, if Livonian order pieces out, then Byzantium use a val lose a valuable ally. But, I mean, I just think Armenia is, like, really not in a good spot. Oh, They've they gone down to 1% war score. They've lost their their war goal as well. Yep. Um, so... I mean, it's 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 one percent, and I don't think this is going anywhere unless they like decide that it's time for peace because uh, they need to recover or something. Although you know, money-wise, they only have ten loans. Like they could keep going, and they make they can have a positive balance. Like they could keep this up for a long time. They have no manpower though, which is kind of unfortunate. And do they have available mercenaries? They have tons of available mercenaries. It could be going on for a very very long time. And there's another huge battle going on in Germany. Oh my goodness. 180. Man, there is so many of these. We, I, I, I think we must have missed like half of them. Because they, they just start over and over and over again. Is there any more reinforcements for the Bavarian side? No, there is not. And it seems that in an effort to save money, they are not going to be winning these battles anymore. So they're going to need more help. Uh, Tuscany is g giving them Condacheri, but it might be possible for them to like directly join the war, uh, which they might end up doing at some point. It, oh, that explains who is funding them. It's Tuscany. Yeah, okay. Ah. Uh. Most likely. How is uh, Tuscany doing money-wise? They have no loans, so they could be sending gifts. They're not sending subsidies right now. And, oh, they are charging a lot of money for those mercenaries. <laughs> Oof. 27 ducats a month. Yeah, that, that is not that is not exactly, uh, that's not a very charitable uh, <laughs> organization there. It ain't cheap. <laughs> is Andalusia planning to go to war? Because I see a lot of units lining I was, up over I here. was looking at that actually, like as we were talking, and they're going down, they're going down across some... Um, Northern Africa as well, which makes me wonder if they want to get involved in this big, massive war to I think, turn the tide. I think so. They want to help out the Mamluks because they've been like trusty allies since uh, since the start. So that would make sense. And seeing the Mamluk uh, capital being sieged down here is uh, probably what prompted them to to help the Mamluks. I I think the Mamluks kind of expected to have like an easy time. Hmm. Uh, considering Jerusalem was fighting a two-front war there, who could we? Who else could we see potentially get involved in this in this war? We've got uh, so Persia, Mirban, I guess. Persia, yeah. Persia seems to just not really be preparing for war, though. I mean, they've only got forty-nine um, units. Oh, Persia's in. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Persia's in on the okay, rocket okay. war. Yeah. <laughs> they just they're gonna see how it goes. I think so. I mean, forty-nine's not. Anything to necessarily sneeze at, but still. But wait a minute, is Theodoro in that? Um, in that mean, gentlemen and ladies, they let's are. be honest, yes. it's only gentlemen. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. Okay, okay. yeah, sure. <laughs> well, what a strange comment. All right. I wonder if. We could have, so Persia's joined. Oh, Persia Arisha. joined, uh, the Rasids might intervene as well. Um. Uh, Rasids, maybe, what about, so what about Russia? Russia, Russia, I don't think wants to be in a war right now because they were in the war, but they peaced out. They white peaced out of the war. Maybe they did that for, for like fairness or something, for balance reasons, that could, could be the case. A lot of times these wars will be like orchestrated. Mm. Um, like they're gonna, they're gonna th like basically pitch a war to someone. Like, hey, what if you join on that side and we join on this side? So it's nice and fair and balanced. Uh, they don't always have to be, uh, you know, uh, uh, wars to set out to like really like hurt someone because at the end of the day, people are here to sit to have fun and. Uh, uh, if there's a long period of peace, then they're gonna find out. Uh, they're gonna like organize fair wars, which uh, I, I'm pretty sure the Livonians are pretty uh, are a big fan of. Um, the wars are getting close to being 50% or to be uh, st uh, stab hittable. 
uh, at least on the German side of things. Oh, wait, receipts are in the war. Uh, they are? Yeah, I think they would have... Right, they're on the uh, on the Mamlukian side. They would yes. be, yeah. Yeah. And do we see Which Andalusia joining? Uh, they haven't joined yet. It'd be a bit of a stomp if we had Andalusia as well. I feel like that's... I don't know. It's a bit I overkill. I mean, the Mamluks are not doing that hot right now. So they might need that extra aid. The Armenians are probably going to end up losing the Byz Byzantine War unless Livonia gets like kicked out, but they've pushed out the Poles. They, uh, they are reclaiming this land, and we see a huge stack retreating back into Poland. So, well, Teutonic, Teutonic Poland, I suppose. <laughs> Uh, and it seems that the Bavarians, I th at this point, they're probably thinking about signing some sort of peace deal. Mm. Mamluk army quality is bad, but Resids, I'm pretty sure, is like one of the better nations for like really good military ideas. I'm pretty Let's sure. Let's take a look. They have 10% morale of armies, uh, 20%. Oh, yeah, this is they're very spicy. They're pretty good. Yeah, Resids have really good ideas. Yep. Which is also probably why they haven't switched to Yemen. Mm. I mean, Resids are good. I guess they, c they could switch to Yemen and then keep the old ideals, but this is uh, this this is very spicy. Yeah, uh, I, I assume that they want to finish their mission tree before forming Yemen. That's probably why they've been waiting. Um, but yeah, that is that is very spicy. And if you have the the Jafari together with uh, the Zaidi, and then you finish this, that you you get that you get negative twenty five percent shock damage received. If you add some some drilled up units to that, that, that is you're gonna have nigh nigh uh, immortal units. Very cool, very nice. <laughs> and there's another big battle going on over here in Trebizond. Which let's see if there's any more Ar Armenian or like Eastern reinforcements. There is not. So this is going to have to be it. Now, Byzantium is moving in. Is it scorched? Oh, the hey. The province is not scorched. And they won. They, 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 the eastern side has it. This Byzantine army is not going to have a very good day. I called it. Russia just joined. Really? Well, I don't know if I called it, but I floated the idea of them joining. Yeah. Everyone's getting in on this. Why not? You know, <laughs> we're having like a huge, huge war. It's like, a, I feel like it's a bit of a grand Islam tradition at this stage. Yep. I mean, look at this. There's carnage everywhere. God damn. Uh, Russia's actually joining in on the western side, which I think is kind of interesting. I mean, <laughs> of course they would. Because they've, they've been best buds with Livonia uh, the, pretty much the whole game. So it would have been it would have been weird for them to join the eastern side, unless they, like, like that would be top 10 anime betrayals. <laughs> but now Armenia is really in a bad spot here. Because uh, the whole, like, Poland could have maybe made something happen by, like, dealing with the Livonian order. Poland has does not believe in forts, so their land could be fully occupied here. And they also have rebels that they need to deal with in the east, which is going to be very annoying to deal with, especially if you're trying to micro uh, a, a big war like this. And it seems that Bavaria is getting siege down, like they're breaking through the line here. I like how they they switched, <laughs> they switched to uh, Bavarian front, most likely because the Nitrin forts were just too much to handle and like 150 <laughs> percent fort defense. They're like, maybe we should go for the soft underbelly instead. <laughs> Is Roe and Butua in the war? I mean, let's let's check. Who knows? No, not yet. Oh, uh, sorry, Roe. Um, Rosvi. I was reading the chat, but it's the Ooh. Rosvi Empire. Um, but let's have a look at what they're doing. They're drilling. So, I mean, that could just mean anything. Maybe they're just... I mean, I think yeah. they're just, they're just, they're just chilling. chilling. They're just chilling. They're just chilling. It'll be hard for them to join the war, because considering they can't see half of half of the front. <laughs> they would have to, like, ask for maps or something, because they... They, they can... Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, you're right. They can... They might be able to join the um, Mamlukian war against Jerusalem. Yes, yes. Uh, they could also like join the Armenian side because I think Armenia is soon to be uh, <laughs> occupied. So <laughs> then they'll, they'll at least be able to. <laughs> rough, rough. <laughs> they'll at least be able to help protect Smoke Attack Burger. <laughs> Gosh, Smoke <laughs> Smoke Attack. <laughs> yeah, the Armenian capital. Uh, meanwhile, I don't know. I think we're gonna have to see Nitra peace out soon. They've got um, 
that's their war score. It's probably, yeah, almost minus 50% war score. Um, almost 20 war exhaustion. Yep. Kind of not yep. doing great. I don't Armenia know. is pulling it back somehow, though. That that battle in Trebizond did them a lot of good. <laughs> Persia is getting a lot of rebels, by the way. <laughs> oh, apparently we're not in frame of the <laughs> original cam. <laughs> <laughs> oh right, no, there's there's tape here actually that shows us where we should. I mean, it's impossible. Well, the, I the, because tried, the I don't are know. Here. Yeah, because I think. Okay, no, think we that's no, it. that's this. It's not gonna, our fault. The, yeah. the others, uh, no, it's not. <laughs> actually, no, it is because I was watching Rosa Matthew and they were like perfectly in frame. I think there's just, yeah, I think it's just us. <laughs> Where'd the Byzantine army go? They are currently in Anatolia, right near the strait. Oh, they got. They, they are moving. A large are part in? got wiped in Trebizond. How are they getting all these Orthodox zealots? <laughs> They're huge. They've got what like is 80k zealots. They're getting so many. This has <laughs> to be an event or something, right? That's 70. How is that there, possible? There is. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. It's not the event, but um, um. Is it because the I, I, I <laughs> the best leaders? I have no idea how that. I, I I I really need to ask them about this. Like, how are they getting this many rebels? <laughs> what is up with that? <laughs> Maybe they're like actually like, asking for for the rebels, like through the GMs, because I really don't see where they these would be coming from. Is that union of churches thing? But they're Catholic. I mean, wait, it, do they still even have that? Oh, they do. Yeah, I thought it was. Oh, really? Yeah. They can return to Orthodoxy to remove it. Oh, oh, wow. So they've been dealing with that the whole game? Oh. <laughs> That is really annoying for them. I, 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 I have to admire the dedication, though, because that is... <laughs> that is... Uh, my God. <laughs> team order and team chaos. Oh, that's right. Yeah. No, I think... <laughs> yeah. No, we're the team chaos. And yeah. <laughs> then that makes I think we got to mix them up a bit, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I like the whole leaning thing. It's, it, it's a nice meme. <laughs> Bavaria is still trying to survive here, and they they do have some very good terrain battles going on here, trying to prevent more reinforcements from being funneled in. They do have this battle somewhat on their side. Uh, I don't think they, they can pull it back, though. There is just too many northern troops right now. Even if the Tuscans come in here, that battle ended. So now these 69k are free to reinforce. I don't think they can pull it through unless there's some real quality dispar uh, dis disparage, dis dis uh, dis difference. Dis difference, yeah. <laughs> difference. Yeah, yeah. Don't try to use fancy words. And there you go. <laughs> Um, Bavarians got pushed back, and I think it's probably time to say Jover because they got sixty negative sixty percent. They could be stab stab hit right now. Uh, and honestly, I would just take the first beast deal because it's only gonna get worse <laughs> from yeah. here. Yeah, it's it's gonna that's that sixty percent is gonna turn into a hundred very soon. Very soon, yes, yes. Uh, but at the same time, <laughs> I don't think they're going to get an offer now. Well, that's that's exactly that was my <laughs> that was good. That would be my next point. <laughs> Is like why settle for sixty? Yeah, why settle for sixty <laughs> when you can easily get a hundred now? Because uh, they're running on fumes, and as they are being occupied, their loan limit is going to drop like a rock. They had they were able to take up uh, to one hundred and fifty, and now it's down to one hundred and thirteen, one hundred and twelve, and it's only going to keep dropping as their land gets occupied. So. Uh, they're, they're losing a window to, uh, to like, recover. The Livonian Order, meanwhile, have repelled the Polish invasion. So they've actually, like, beaten them all the way back to Poland, across Russia, yep. and fighting them in Poland. And there's a pretty close battle going on now that I would say... Ooh. Uh, How's I that full cavalry working out? <laughs> oh, 
Last minute reinforce. <laughs> They, uh, yeah, unfortunately, they don't quite have a 100% cav ratio yet, so they've been forced to use uh, infantry. <gasps> if only they ha they had the uh, full cavalry but they ready. But uh, they do. Not got yet. 105 cavalry. Oh, they do now. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Time but to get more horses. they do have 97 infantry. Oh, they are getting more horses. Yeah. Every time we point something out, it's happening. <laughs> like I'm manifesting it. <laughs> <laughs> just just willing it to happen. Well, that's it. Team Chaos win. <laughs> we are like we have some like butterfly effect chaos theory thing going on and that's how, that's what chaos theory is, right? You create exactly. enough chaos and things happen. Is that is, is that how it is? That's exactly that, how that's it works. That, how, how do you how do you What is it? I know that's not is how it like it works. what's it called? I I forget the name. <laughs> uh is it like Like a misnomer? No, no I don't I don't know words. I don't what know. What is it words. in Dutch? It, it, it's like how like, the universe gets more chaotic over time or something. Or yeah, yeah, like a... That's, yeah, chaos but theory. Yeah. Isn't there like, like a, a fancy, a fancier word for that? Entropy! Entropy. There you yeah, go, yeah. there you go. <laughs> Important conversations being had, I, yeah. li I like how it takes me so long to like, find one word. <laughs> Who's the other... <laughs> Another huge twin battle over here, and that's a stack wipe. There you go, that's because it ended with less than 10 to 1. And I think this is going to be the last Azar for, for the Bavarians there. They are trying so hard, and the, the Tuscan units got caught out, which, of course, they have no cannon backline, so this is going to be very bad for them. Uh, the battle is still very close, though. These, these Bavarians have some iron discipline. Are they going to... No, there's 43,000 Teutons there. Yeah, the writing was on the wall oh for them. God. They can keep trying, but it's at, at some point... Look at that. They are kind of out of options. Like they cannot. Do they still have more available mercenaries? They do have a couple more mercenaries. I think now will be the time to hire them. Now will be the time to hire them because as they and th <laughs> it happened. Did again. it happen again? It happened, it happened again. again. Oh god. <laughs> now will be the this time to hire. We have them. like way too much influence. Already. It, it's bizarre. It's bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> um, just so don't don't check or anything. Um, but. I was just looking at the total casualties for the Teutonic Nitron War and how many how many casualties do we think we have? The Teutonic Order Nitron War? Um, one chat as well. Point se seven million. One point seven million? Yes. Alright, chat, how many two million? Any other guesses? Maybe this isn't as exciting <laughs> as I thought it would be. 2.5. Two million. Do we get four? 2.4. Two point four. Two point two. Am I hearing? Two point two. Am I One point six nine. Yeah, of course. <laughs> that'll, that'll be slightly closer. We got. Um, okay, math time. We got like about two point one in casualties, just like normal casualties, and about. Oh God! Why did I do this to myself? Oh, you don't. You don't we got about 400k in attrition. Be before you do, because the, the the number on the left is everything added up, and the the oh, right yeah, one yeah, is yeah, just yeah, 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 in total, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, that, that, it's, I mean, uh, uh, that's a <laughs> always found it a little bit weird, but yeah, it, it's not like you have to add up the numbers. Oh my God! <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> Oh boy! Thank like you. I'm glad I have you to no, teach me no, how no, to no. play EU. No, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> oh boy. I really wonder if Byzantium is going to try something to get rid of this constant orthodox salad spam. I mean, at this point, they're kind of like useful, like a rebel bomb <laughs> that they can use against the, against the Eastern Alliance there because they're just sitting <laughs> sitting on, the, on Optimoi here. So they would have to eventually fight these. I guess that's what they can use them for. <laughs> 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 Buffer ripples. Oh god, actually that's brilliant. Yeah, leave them there. <laughs> there is another Oh, they might actually have this one. They might actually have this one. Lancelot of the Lake. Oh, they got Three a five two uh, uh, a five seven two. Whoa, a seven. How do you what it, that is that is scripted in there. That is that is some GM uh, shenanigans, 110 percent. And they are playing as the, the 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 Republic of the Round Table, so that actually makes sense. Oh man, 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 man. Point zero. Yeah, okay. It was very close. Jeez. It was so close. It could actually. Oh god, that's. I'm really impressed if that's actually it. They script in a really powerful general. I think. Oh, and we have a peace deal. Yeah. Not that painful. Wait. Not that painful. 
Wait, what? Uh, that could have been way worse. Sorry, no, I was like, wait. <laughs> Don't peace out yet. I need to look at the map before you peace out. Yeah, so I know, <laughs> like, wait, pause wait. Pause the game. <laughs> Everyone stop what you're doing. It's that's how so what? they lost. Oh my god. Five? No, they. Nitra lost five provinces from that peace peace deal. I'm pretty sure. I mean. Yes. I think? Yeah. yeah. Five provinces that uh, the Teuton Accord had. I mean, it, it kind of looks pretty now. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, I mean, it's a bit squared, but... Uh, uh, I guess it's like a subjective thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> what a diplomatic way to disagree. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's a subjective thing. Uh, yes, yeah, it's subjective. <laughs> So there you have it. I mean, I don't, was I, I don't like this little squiggly bit up here. Like, this still needs to be cleaned up. But at least at least it, f it fits along <laughs> the, the mountain for it now. It happens every year. You have, like, these, like, absolutely massive, like, wars where all the biggest powers, like, just fight each other and fight each other. And they peace out. And, like, so many people die. And it's, like, like almost, like, anachronistic. Like, I'm not actually sure. Like, how many people died in the 30 years war? I don't know. Anyway... <laughs> <laughs> or like the Italian wars or anything, but like twenty-five like million, I think. Really? Yeah, because of the disease and everything. Oh uh, yeah, does that? Does I don't. I don't think that that's obviously not combat uh, casualties, mm. but I think it was something crazy, like half the population of Germany or something like that. Yeah, jeez. Anyway, there were. What was I make? The point I was making is that they. It was all something five anachronistic and huge wars. Well, just like for a war, of like yeah, <laughs> a, a war that's like gone that long. So like that war, I think was probably I'd say about four or five years. Oh yeah, it's and something I'd say like easily. two point something million died. Yeah, two point uh, two point seven. And they gained five provinces. Yeah, <laughs> that's insane. <laughs> I think they let them off the hook a little bit. Yeah. They felt a little bad for him. Although these provinces are very expensive. If you take a look at this, they, they're, they're hugely devved up. And of course, Krakow is that, uh, has that cloth hall, and it's going to be a very powerful coal province if we get the coal. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, they, they're very devved up here. So Speaking I'm of dev, um, Andalusia's officially <laughs> Andalusia broke into being the front runner for highest dev clicks at <laughs> 317. That was about half an hour ago. But Yep. It's okay. not enough. It, it's not enough? <laughs> Who def click more? What? No, no, I mean like more def clicks. Need anyway, don't worry about <laughs> <laughs> Um all right, let's hop back to Wait the a minute. Color wars. Wait What's a cool? minute. What? The color wars. Okay. Two provinces. Did they <laughs> peace out? <laughs> oh they peaced out for two provinces. <laughs> <laughs> they peaced out? <laughs> For two again, provinces. Again. Mm -hmm. oh, oh man. I'd love to know um <laughs> How do you even how do we even convince Ah oh, man. I wonder how they try to explain it to those uh <laughs> to those troops man like what <laughs> two provinces 18 development <laughs> That Incredible. is insane. And now Armenia can focus fully on the Mamlukian side of things, which and the Lucia, did they end up joining that war? Yeah, they did. They did. This war. Oh my. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of development in Arabia there. I was thinking, like, why hasn't the front moved? But it, it has moved, <laughs> just in a different location. But now that Armenia is pieced out of the Byzantine War, it's going to be a lot more even, Stephen. Um, the troop numbers seem to be somewhat equal. Uh, I don't know how to count, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Jerusalem, uh, Jerusalem is very uh, a little bit outnumbered there. In terms of quality, I think the Mamluk'ian troops are not that great, though. And the Andalusian, what is Andalusian ideals are pretty good. Yeah, that uh, fire damage received, 15% uh, morale, no discipline, but I mean. This is pretty. This is pretty solid. And we've got quality defensive <laughs> economics. So yeah, they're, they're they're pretty set. Um, how did the Armenia Byzantine War end? They gained two provinces. Two provinces. <laughs> two provinces. 
<laughs> millions of dead. <laughs> But I mean, at the end of the day, like you know, they, they, they probably they got some army tradition too, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They, they could, it's all about the grind. It, it's all about that <laughs> grind, yeah. <laughs> Never mind. They probably were at a hundred to begin with, but <laughs> a huge battle going on in Jasan. Armenia is having none of this. Did Russia get some Polish land? Um, well, no. They might have. I don't think so. No. Oh man, oh man, oh man. I think I think Armenia has this. Because uh, the Andalusians are not helping out yet. They're not. I mean, things could change when they do. But yeah, I mean, the main concern, I guess, was that they were going to be like fighting two huge fronts. I think Andalusia was on the fence because they didn't want to join in on a huge um, um, like dog pile on Armenia. Mm. I think that was their concern. So yeah. That's now fair. that it's equalized out, I d I'm not sure. I think that is what they're thinking about. Possibly, but I'm not looking at their troops and they've moved. Oh, no, they've still got some troops in Egypt. Yeah, and, and they've been sitting there for a while. So I, I think I think that was definitely their concern. And maybe they're going to say something like, okay, we will help you defend Egypt. But that's it. The like, Andalusian peacekeeping forces. Yeah, like <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> So, is that the only player where we have on right now? I'm pretty sure we do. Um, let's go take a look here. Yeah, that is that is definitely the thing to watch here. Uh, I'd like to... Sinop and Chanda are 20 dev in 1444, but for some reason they're like 18 in 1553. Really? Well, yeah, look at them now. Oh, but I didn't know about the 20 eight. dev. I guess they burned it. Yeah. At some point, probably. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> All right. I w I'd I'd like to know uh, about what is the the war scare? Take the core of Yazan, okay? Uh, it it I think this one could go on for a very long time, unless there are some diplomatic talks. Like maybe they must Armenia must be getting tired. Like they have been fighting so long <sighs> at this point. That's true, but whereas the other players are fresh, <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they've not been fighting uh, a huge war before this. So I mean, I don't know. Maybe they've loaded up on some energy drinks. I mean, there there are these human concerns to take into account. Yeah, yeah. Well, one side's got more um, sugar. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It doesn't look like... I, I think the Andalusians went home now. No, no, they still have their army in uh, in Egypt. Maybe they're <laughs> waiting for like, something? Why does Valachia have a province in Arabia? Has that always been there? <laughs> no. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it's also positioned very oddly because, you know... Um, <laughs> How did they even get that? I think they probably made some sort of... They probably owned it for a while and we didn't notice. Let's take yes. a look here. Uh, uh, oh, we've got some requests for interviews, for player interviews. If there's anyone that chat wants to hear from. Uh, yeah, let us know. I think I think it would be good I know to who get I Andalusia hear in here. From. Oh, yeah, but Andalusia, I don't know. I kind of want to like... Don't want to distract. We had, we had Slavic on earlier. Right, right, okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, we can still have them on. I mean, I guess the Bavarians, because they. I would <laughs> love to have the Bavarians on. All the Nitrans, I want to. I want to. Yeah, because I, I mean, side. they they held the on for a very long time, and those Armenia. battles were very. We close. want Armenians on the stream, but they're busy. Yeah, Armenia. I don't think Arme maybe we can get them in later. <laughs> we will. Yeah, I reckon Armenia later, definitely. Yeah. Although well, Akim province has been there since yesterday evening. Okay. Sorry. Apparently that province has been there since yesterday. <laughs> oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I assumed so because it's like I, I don't think. How would you? Yeah, that's how would you even <laughs> notice that happening? Like, <laughs> there is just way too much to keep track of, and whenever there's a big war on, like all of the attention will be brought to that. So <laughs> you're not gonna see uh, all of the uh, province selling. It seems that Jerusalem is pushing it back, and they are now sieging down mm. uh, the Rasids. Which, where is the Rasid's capital? It should be right there, unless they moved it. Oh, they did. They did move it. Okay. Yeah, that, 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 would, be, uh, that would be the play to make. Rasid's still on tech 11. 
Are they picking a military idea? They are not. So, I w oh, they Where were they probably going? waiting for printing press. Uh, oh, and they... Wait, hold on. Are you, did you manifest it? Did you... No, no, I didn't manifest oh, no, that. I was looking at the wrong... No. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at the wrong country for a second. <laughs> but they, they, they're still on Tech 11, and they, they are... How close are they? One year. Yeah. One year away. <laughs> Wait, hold on. What's happening? <laughs> what? Production's what? laughing? Production? What are you doing? What are they doing? <laughs> what? What's the stream looking like? I don't know. I can't even... Oh, Vaseline. Vaseline, Vaseline. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I actually had that as a kid. Like, um, <laughs> someone once was calling me, like, Vaseline. Vaseline. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I've had that before, actually. <laughs> I, I, I can't believe that didn't, that, that didn't even occur to me. <laughs> Vaseline. Oh, my God. Perfect. <laughs> I mean, in, in comparison to the other wars, this has been sort of peaceful, right? It's only one-fourth of the casualties. Uh, they're not, they're <laughs> it hasn't even hit a million yet. Very peaceful. <laughs> not even a million yet. Not even a million. Um, Armenia. Bavaria. Yeah, let's, I reckon we should, get, we should try to get Bavaria. It's going to be funny because it's going to be... Peaceful war, sad face. <laughs> oh, happy face, yeah. I mean, it's kind of stalled out here because, of course, you, they don't want to keep losing battles in, the, in these mountains. So, like, which is falling now. The forts are falling. Of course, that is not the main uh, war leader, though, because that would be the Mamluks. So maybe they're looking to separate piece out the Rasids, although that's going to be very difficult with only this land. This is probably the thing that they're most interested in. And if they know that uh, Andalusia, I think this is the case, that Andalusia is like protecting Egypt and not helping. So if they know about that, then they're just going to uh, attack Arabia and never enter Egypt. And that would make sense, right? I don't know why we're clapping. Why are we yeah. clapping? Oh, right. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Clap. Is UK's James ninety seven in Daphne? <laughs> I think I think he's here at the land. If what? I'm thinking of the right person. Well, hold on, wait, hold on. don't worry. Oh right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, what am I looking at? So just um. I'm sending a request for Bavaria. Right. Come on yeah. Screen. Sorry. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, it's. <laughs> All right. Let's see how, because uh, I, I, there is really not a lot of battles being fought here. I wonder if they're like waiting for, uh, they're probably waiting for the Resits to hit Tech 12. That is probably what we're waiting for here. Uh, do they have their focus on the military? They do. They are uh, running war taxes. So they could speed it up a little bit. And are they close to accepting... Well, they could embrace canonimalism uh, and uh, get the tech right now. Oh, and uh, ooh, they were they were thinking about going in there. Oh, very quick update. So Meow and Land of the Christian Sun borders are now officially touching. So Aww. watch this space. Oh wait, they're allies. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so they're. They're gonna they go up against. I think they're going to be friends uh, throughout the game because, like I said, they got eliminated. Yeah, right, so yeah, that that's true. We did just have this whole conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I was looking very pretty. And, uh, yeah, I like I like these Asian colors. Like they're they're like I they look really nice. Again with the color CB though, like it's. <laughs> oh well, no, this isn't so bad. You reckon? It's, it's not that kinda. bad. No, no, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Yeah, uh, one of them's like a warmer blue. Or What Poland is doing is, is, a, is a pure crime, though. Like, that is, <laughs> that is nuts. Funny Oirat position. Yeah, Poland... Poland's the Polish Poland. snake kind of <laughs> messed with things a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Is the goal of the campaign to make the world blue? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're like trying to get like that achievement. Like, it's like all blue part two. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, all, all blue. I mean, it's... 
that, oh no, 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 no. What, like, what is blue? You know, and then we're gonna have that conversation. <laughs> <laughs> we have to find the the the. the, the <laughs> you just dig up the dev diaries. Yeah. Because <laughs> I, I think Prussia counts as blue for that achievement. It does. Yeah. Yeah, which is. And Venice counts as blue. I can kind of see the Venice, but. I can't look, see it now. Oh no, we do have a. Yeah, we have a little bit. Oh, I yeah. mean, yeah, it's. No, Venice it's is green. Sort of. It's kind yeah. of green. <laughs> and Prussia's kind of like grey. Nah, yeah, it's definitely blue. It's Prussian blue. Yeah. <laughs> Livonian Scandinavia. Yeah, yeah. And uh, there is a, f a Finnish marsh here, which uh, is making that beautiful name placement happen. So. <laughs> Not sure if that's like intentional, like uh, that they released Finland specifically to get that, to not ruin their uh, their name placement. Uh, I wonder if did Poland lose any land over here? No, they did not. They did not. And the the castle in Theodoro is finished, which is nice for them. <laughs> and then getting that uh, the Crimean fort so that it doesn't happen to them again that they get their capital siege down. They're probably gonna. I think they're probably gonna move their capital. To a share van or something like that. Oh, this province is Zoroastrian. I wonder how that happened. Oh, because of the the Zoroastrian center. Yeah, that makes sense. Meanwhile, how is the how is the war panning out for? No, it's still very much a stalemate. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think uh, I, I think either Rasid is going to get tech 12 before any sort of movement is going to happen on this front, or Andalusia needs to like. Um, help out, but I think they're probably just gonna stare at each other across this pond. Congrats, Saxony, to another emperor! There you go, Saxony got reelected. I think well, uh, they got reelected, but also <laughs> the HRE is like seven princes. And yeah, <laughs> I mean it is still <laughs> all of the, the HRE. The electors are backing Byzantium for for emperor. <laughs> they're not even in the HRE, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> no, they're not, but they would be. <laughs> they will be. I kind of hate it when that happens. That, that always happens to me when I'm, like, um, trying to dismantle the HRE. It's happened to me, like, twice. And really? then, like, I get elected emperor for some reason. Oh, okay. <laughs> And then I'm like, well, okay. <laughs> I mean, I guess if you, if you, because uh, if you want to dismantle, you're going to try to get a lot of allies inside, uh, in, inside of the HRE. So, so it's like a side effect. Yeah. yeah so yeah, it's yeah. a skill issue, basically. No, I, I mean, you also just got unlucky then. True. Because <laughs> you'd have to, you'd well, have like the emperor you, you to die at like exactly the wrong time. You're not checking the HRE tab because you're like, oh, these these bozos aren't going to exist yeah, in like yeah, the yeah. next two years because I'm just about to attack them and then like you just become emperor. <laughs> it's happened to me twice. Oh, man. And I don't learn. Um, how are the Americas doing? Let's have a little look. It's pretty much... Oh, Quebec's growing. Quebec's growing. They've been growing uh, very fast. And Quebec's a colonial power as well. So they have already completed both exploration and expansion ideas and they are in... Are they in South America? Uh, no. Ooh, let's no. go take a look. They're I in the Caribbean and they're... No, that's... Yeah, just the Caribbean and, uh, <laughs> and, and Canada. Yeah. And they've been at 100% overextension ever since they, they got here. So, uh, yeah, oh, they're, really? yeah, they're growing really quick. <laughs> like, I think whenever you pop over there, you're going to see the overextension is dangerously high. Yeah. Like, th th they're just gobbling up all of these AI before anyone else decides to move here, you know? <laughs> like, yeah, that's that's honestly smart. Yep. But and um, they are now, they are now like, uh, the fifth grade power, like... They're gonna grow real fast. They they went a long way from losing all of their land <laughs> in, uh, in France <laughs> by uh, by accident. I mean, there was no real way to avoid that. If you're gonna form Quebec, like you could have maybe like released a vassal or some wonky business, but it's it's difficult. Oh, I think we're gonna have a stream interview very very soon. Oh yes. So before we do that, let's have a quick update on this Mamlukian war. Not much is happening. As far as I can tell. Oh, it's mostly happening in um, the Horn of Africa and like yep. Arabian Peninsula. But they're, they've just been staring at each other. Yeah. They've did, and, and I think it's a tech issue. <laughs> See, I've been clicking around the map while you've been commentating and just like, oh, yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I just decided to stop looking at it because there was no, <laughs> there was no movement was here at all. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> okay. 
And India is still looking. Okay, they are honoring the fact that they shouldn't uh, gobble up the, <laughs> the Indian subcontinent or West Africa. All right. Yes, so we have Bavaria here, uh, ready for an interview. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna switch the scene and uh, right there now. Uh, <laughs> I think <laughs> is that how it works? <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Oh, okay, there you go. Yes. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Wait, hold on. I can't. I can't see you. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little dark. <laughs> All right. We're here. Hey man, uh, uh, good job on the war though. Like that was that was a, that was a very tough war. Yeah, there were many of them. Uh, I don't know, like six of them against we and Nitra. We wanted to protect the Shinto faith, so we joined the war on Nitra side. But the problem is that we Bavaria we run out of mercs and manpower, and I Merlin gave us a very very strong 4k manpower a uh, 4k mercenary company. Oh nice. So that didn't help that much. So in the end we. We ran out of manpower and mercenaries, and our allies ran out of money. Right. So we had to concede defeat, and Nitra is now not going to be Shinto anymore. Oh. Unfortunately. Okay. Oh. That was was that the goal of the war initially? That was the goal. Uh, the the fanatics uh, of the Baltic Sea, they carried the torch that the Pope had left in in Italy. They carried it back to the Baltic Sea, and now they are using it to fight. Whoever's in their way, except Prussia. They like Prussia for some reason, because okay. even though they are Protestant. Right. Yeah, that, that, that is a bit of a, a weird one, right? Like, how, how are they going to mesh that with the whole Catholic shtick? <laughs> There's a reason why we left the Catholic faith. Uh, we, we understood when we climbed Salzburg, and we were reminded of Mount Fuji, which is why we converted to Shintoism. Ah, we, are the gr we decided that as tall as Mount Fuji and Salzburg are, that is how tall we will build the Bavarian nation. Perfect. But Perfect. it's clear that the Livonian order is a hypocrite. They let Rome sit conquered by the Muslims, while we sit here in Bavaria peaceful. Peaceful building up. You have a very tall country. I've, I've, been, I've been looking at it like it's, it's a very pretty country. It's ba based on Mount Fuji. Based on Mount Fuji, based yeah. Based on yeah. Mount Fuji. The Fuji of the West. I mean, I really commend your dedication to that war. Like, you pulled out all of the stops. You tried basically everything. And uh, I saw, you did have a very cool general, though. Like, there was Lancelot or something. Like ah, this was a Nitra. This was Nitra. Oh, Nitra yeah. had Lancelot. The I think he had seven, seven shock or yeah, something. Yeah, seven yes. shock general. So <laughs> tell us about was. that. Yeah. Um, well, we don't know exactly how they got it. Maybe you should ask them. Maybe but uh, we had some pretty good general, too. But uh, in the end, it was not enough, unfortunately. Well, yeah. it was not enough, at least for this time. Uh, oh, oh! So there's gonna be a follow-up soon. Is that what I'm hearing? We we don't know. Uh, we hope that the fanatic Catholics will understand the way of peace and the way of Shinto. Maybe stop declaring wars on people who are not following their faith. Maybe some people who were helping them will stop because they won't find any interest in that. So we don't know. We don't know. It's difficult to predict. We don't. We that the Baltic alliance might just break up. Possibly. Exactly. And um, so, are you looking for any new allies, or are you just going to sort of... Is it just you and Nitra against the world? Um, we, we had some good relations with, um, with France, but we don't really know what they are doing now. Uh, they just rivaled us after the, after the war, so Ooh. we don't know. We still have a defensive alliance, um, but we, we saw that they attacked the Netherlands. We don't really know what they're up to. Oh, we completely missed that. <laughs> yeah, they Wait. took a big chunk of the Netherlands. <laughs> um, so we don't know, we don't know. There are also friends in Provence who helped us during the war, they sent us Um Did they so also send you money in some way? Um, I don't think so, I don't think so. But they fought our rebels, so... But maybe they did, and I didn't notice. Ah, right. There was I, a lot of stuff going on. Because I, I, I noticed Nitra getting money, and I was wondering who is, who is funding that, because... Uh, it was the Netherlands, before, oh, okay. before dying, before dying. Then right, they died. Right, right. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, at, at some point, they, 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 you had to stop fighting because of money issues. And also, you had uh, no more available mercenaries. So exactly. there was nothing you could have done. But it was, it was a treat to watch. Well, it really was. And some of the, the, you. you reinforced so clutchly so <laughs> many times. It was, it was really a treat. Like, well yeah. done on that. Like, that yeah, was really there was just too many of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, look, 
It's an open challenge for the next battle. If they don't want to fight five on two or seven on one, we're happy to go one on one or even one on two with any of them. <laughs> okay. Well, there, there you go. <laughs> uh, sorry? Oh, wait, hold on. I mean, wait, what? Oh, oh, right, right, right. Well, uh, thank you so much. Uh, and uh, good luck on, on trying to find new allies and to try and get some sort of revenge. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we've got a fake player war we've going. We've got a fake player war going. So against who? It's Saxony is declared on Westphalia, who okay. is allied to Prussia. So Prussia's been called in, but their troops are just standing there doing nothing. Oh, uh, okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just going to wait the, the 12 so months. Yeah. And, uh, Before anyone notices the blue flames and is like, what? That's <laughs> more or less what's going on. <laughs> so, yeah, the Netherlands are getting, getting, uh, getting invaded and I didn't even notice. We do have a Netherlands now, so they did, they did form... Uh, at some point. But yeah, okay, so it was the Netherlands that was funding Nitra. That makes sense. That makes perfect sense. I wonder what France is planning, indeed. Because uh, they are, you know, they still have this 100-year Swiss... Fa Switzerland has a lot of units right now. They're up to... Oh, and there we go. There's... Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, What's happening? Oh, What's happening? Oh, no. I was... I was Oh. France just declared for Bavaria. That is that that's is not literally cool. They were literally doing they an were, interview. Yeah, that's a lot. That's oh, not. That's, not, that's okay. not okay. And they they that's just fought too that opportunistic. huge war. They have no available mercenaries. Oh. It's a very small army right now. I wonder if someone is going to come to now, their aid. Now no one's going to want to come and be interviewed on stream. No, because then they get declared upon. Yeah. F. Well, we're about to have Armenia now, so I mean. Oh, they're assaulting please. the fort! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that's horrible. No, 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 no. That's mean. They didn't even. Uh, all's fair in love and war, I suppose. That was. <laughs> I mean, maybe they didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> it maybe looked they like know, they yeah. knew. I mean, they did rival them before the interview. So the, That's their, true. the they were plans like they just were there. Us yeah. and we don't know why. And, oh we God. don't know why. And they still have a defensive alliance. So now they're an oathbreaker. Oh, can you imagine being the third Bavarian player, just being like, <gasps> no, like just screaming over Discord or however? I don't know if they're communicating over Discord or. Really, everyone should have walkie-talkies. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, Did but you see the dog? Yeah, the Pomeranian. Yeah. yeah. I saw the Pomeranian. <laughs> I wonder if it, we, did we show that on stream at some point? Did you see the video we recorded with the Pomeranian? No. Oh, my oh okay, okay. I should. We won't show it on stream. It's for something else. We can still have them on, on stream. You'll, yeah. But we'll, we'll see it, we'll you'll see it see eventually. It. So we're, so the, I guess for context, we're also filming like a bit of a documentary sort of thing of the grandest land. So we've got some player interviews. Um, some of them are for the meme. Some of them are going to be pretty good. Um, Voiced by David Attenborough. Voiced by David Attenborough. <laughs> we got him. All those, all all the DLCs they fund, David Attenborough's. Um <laughs> Wait one second. What was the chat? Ma Sorry. What? Hmm? What were you saying? Uh, I, 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 uh, I don't know. I was thinking, <laughs> I was asking what you were asking. Hey, Byzantium is red. <laughs> Byzantium uh, switched. Oh wait, hold on. Did they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is definitely the Roman Empire color, right? So there's a little bit, <laughs> there's a little bit less of a color CB now. Uh, Bavaria is gearing up to for this. Let me go see if they can pull it out of the hat. I mean, they're obviously very experienced. I'm rooting for the Bavarians here. I have to say. Uh, 135 percent, 135% discipline now. Um, let's see, can they pull it out of the hat? Because this is all of the French uh, reinforcements. Like they have, I mean, they have uh, another. Like 80k sitting there. Bavaria, of course, they don't have a lot of reinforcements though because they're completely tapped out. And I don't see that they got this. And uh, Nitra is. Nitra did not join this war because, oh, I mean, Nitra, what, what can Nitra do right now? They, they're, they're basically bankrupt. And it seems that uh, Bavaria can still take like 100 loans, but they don't have any available mercenaries anymore. So. What can they do? What can they do? 
Can they do? So we're about to have Armenia on the stream, so drop your questions in chat. Right, yes. Uh, are we, can we see if we uh, switch? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, that, 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 that'll be good. All right. Oh, keep on the work. Okay. Yeah. Y yes. Oh, okay. Did I say you could stop? <laughs> Did I say you could stop? You cannot stop. <laughs> oh man. Ooh. So, and after this, apparently Nitra requested to get an interview, and they have a story to tell. Ooh. Okay. I'm excited. I yeah. Would, I'm ready to grill Nitra. Anything about the big war was uh, was very good. Which country Flory is playing? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty much a meme at this point. I'm I'm uh, I'm playing a uh, Cuba Luba. Yay! <laughs> we need a Cuba Luba. Yeah, we do. Can we get Can we get a Cuba Luba in we, this game? We can probably get a Cuba Luba. We could if get we a little the Cuba right Luba person. as a treat. We can make anything work. Beyond literally off here. camera, just like <laughs> <laughs> cheering for Cuba Luba. <laughs> Oh man, I I want what can what can Bavaria do here? Do they have? I mean, they're they're losing 125 money right now. Like that is not that great. But I mean, they have to do something. Like I would fight this to the. I even purely out of spite, I would fight this to the end. Fight this until absolutely bankrupt. Um, how yeah. many troops are they Drop facing man. off against? It's 140k. This is 100. No way, hold on, I can't count. I'm looking at the wrong side. It's uh, 180, 210, uh, 210. I think it's 210. Oh, you, are you looking at me? Okay. Um. Oh, but this could be very dicey for Switzerland because they assault that fort and <gasps> they are not going to make that fort. And now they're sitting at low morale. So, and this is a perfect battle for Bavaria. All right, let's see how this goes. Let's see if if Bavaria can hold the, their mountains here, the mountains of uh, Salzburg, but they got uh, inspired to flip Shinto because it reminded them of Mount Fuji. <laughs> Perfect. It's, it's so awesome that we know that now. <laughs> All right, the, the morale is a little bit lower for their for the Bavarian side, but the discipline is vastly in their side, and the reinforcements are going to come in on the 11th of... Mar yeah, okay, I, I, I saw another Can reinforcement coming in. It? Can they make it? They, 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 make they it? make it on time. They make it on time. <laughs> they are clutch with their reinforcements, but they know how they know how to do it. Like, they've been doing it perfectly so far. Good timing, but are those... I mean, it looks like we're going to get more French and Cornish troops joining in. Let's there are, but the morale is a little um, uh, uh, deceptive because... Okay, oh, they retreat okay. out. They retreat out. Poor Bavaria, man. Poor Bavaria. I feel for them. My heart bleeds. I it does. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm and like you know I was like rooting from them from the get go, right? Yeah. Like even when you were like, oh. I, I think, think they're in trouble. Like you were like, nah, man, they got this. They, they got, got this, and they, they almost this. did. They almost, they almost did. did. But that's Valiant. sad. They've they've gone from second to sixth great power, and I mean, I mean that is still fixable at some point. It's fixable. But it's it it is very sad for them. You reckon we can fix? Bavaria? I think I think uh, they're. The, f the French were intimidated <laughs> by uh, by how how uh, incredibly skilled they were. I really wonder how this is going to pan out. I mean, is there anything they can do? Is there anything like are the mercenaries coming off cooldown soon? 62, 64, uh, 59. So that's two years. That might be on time for the war, but it's only the free company. We've got the Tyrolean guard that's coming out online back in uh, 59, 58. Okay, the Gascon musket company, really good. Really good. It has that extra infantry fire. Uh, they have the free Swiss guard that they could hire. Uh, <laughs> hire the Swiss to fight the Swiss, of course. Uh, Flemish company, which is coming online in a month. Okay, they, they, they have a... If they can hold... They can hire these mercenaries. Money would be an issue, but I wonder if if th there has to be someone that could be willing to fund them, right? Like that has to happen. And maybe Andalusia and Tuscany can uh, fight southern France. Which, by the way, how is the Mamluk war going? <laughs> okay, they're at, they they are finally assaulting a fort or uh, trying to attack a fort, and they're at ninety two percent, ninety two percent of the fort. No way. All right. This is also like a mountain fort, right? So that was very unfortunate for the for the rest of the inside. I think Armenia has had to run back. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> we they were, were going to interview Armenia, we but then... Them, we had them lined up and then they're like, oh, we have to go. <laughs> we have to go now. Yeah, there is a... 
big battle over here in Thais, and I think the eastern side has it. Uh, pretty sure, yeah. With 30,000 units uh, lined up to join that, they, there's no way the receipts have that. How is Bavaria doing? The Bavarian capital it did get siege down, but they are assaulting it back. They are taking it back. And that would give them a new mountain fort. Are they going to try and intercept these units that are intercepting? They're stopping them. Uh, they oh, they got it. They got it back. They got it back, and the units got locked. So that might be a stack I mean, it is. Wait, hold on. Yes, that was the the Mer company that was dying, but the 16 are not gonna have a very great day. No, 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 no. We're gonna get a wipe. We're gonna get a wipe. I it's think. Gonna be a wipe. Maybe. Oh no. no. Yeah, 9.4. Oh, we are They're gonna, gonna we wipe. are gonna have a wipe. If they don't oh, retreat out, there there'll be a wipe because it's 10 yeah, to 1 rules, and it is, uh, and it is. That is the Swiss gone. The French are coming in, and they now have to deal with the negative two terrain penalty. But they did get a month tick, so the garrison is gonna be, sorry, <coughs> the garrison is gonna be uh, recovered a little bit. So they have to siege on the 91 percent fort again. The downside now is that the Bavarians can't uh, stutter step in, and they retreat out. Now, are they going to instantly assault the fort again? They are. They are. Yeah. I wonder if they... Yeah, okay. I, I, I think the French should like, stay on this province now for like the foreseeable future. Maybe, maybe consider sending a peace deal, but I'm not sure. I mean, I'm not sure if there's anything Bavaria would accept. I, I think so, and I think if we... If we look at the casualties again, so like, yeah, France have had twice as many casualties as Bavaria, so they're definitely picking their battles and doing a good job of it. Bavaria, yeah. that is. Yeah, and Bavaria also has the the iron discipline, the 135 percent. They are again moving off of uh, Salzburg, though, which I find interesting. I wonder if Bavaria is going to be able to uh, assault it back. This is a very mobile wall so far. Like, there's a lot of movement here. Oh, and they peaced oh. out. They yeah. peaced out. They were like, you know what? Eh, maybe not worth it. And they took I do a think whole bunch. I mean... Oh, they nah, no one. They didn't take any... I mean, they, they took uh, the, the north... The, 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 these northern five provinces over here. And they're now feeding oh, it to yep, Switzerland. They did. Yep, yep. Oh, boy. That yeah. is brutal. That is brutal. <sighs> Poor Bavaria. Poor Bavaria, man. Poor Bavaria. And uh, I'm, I, I don't know, but I think France is now an Oathbreaker, right? Because they still have a defensive alliance. I mean, Maybe. I guess a defensive sure. alliance technically doesn't mean like you can't attack each other, right? I actually don't know. I, I don't I, know. I don't know either. <laughs> I mean, you'd have, if they attack each other, would you have to fight yourself? <laughs> like how, how does that work? <laughs> that's a really good point, actually. There's actually uh, a, a lawyer here that's been uh, helping people with their uh, with their peace with their treaties. Wait, like an actual real yeah, life yeah, yeah. lawyer who's been. <laughs> and he's he's been getting. He's also that's like amazing. A, a, he's so smooth that uh, <laughs> the GMs have called him uh, like I've named him Silver Tongue. Silver Tongue. Like actually Silver Tongue because he's uh, getting everyone to do what whatever he wants. <laughs> that's pretty cool. That's amazing. While we have a moment, um, so got some really cool. We got some more stats from Skanderbeg about these last two massive wars. Oh. Um, so the Teutonic War was by far the bloodiest so far. So 1.9 million battle losses was the total, compared to the Armenia oh War, which just had 900k. So that's just underneath a million. Um, there were 632 people lost on average each day in the Teutonic <laughs> War. Oh my god. <laughs> And Nitra's side managed to have positive kill-death ratio despite being against Prussia. Yeah, that, I noticed that as well. Like they, you see like Prussia in there, and you're like, oh, space marines. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. They, yeah, they held their own. And I mean, Nitra's, their army, was pretty damn good. Yep, and they have the uh, Nitra has uh, had those monstrous forts that were like impossible to siege down. <laughs> so much so that they they switched the. the the, the front, they, they moved. They were like, okay, we're not going to actually siege down Nitra because that's not going to be possible. And they focused on their ally instead. Let's see. So, in the Armenian War as well, Livonia actually bled twice as much as Armenia. So, Livonia really put their all into that war. Really? One. Okay. Because remember, they, they were like all the way down in. Um, Basically, like in Byzantium, right, in Anatolia, and yeah. and and then um, 
And then oh. Poland also joined, and then Poland started invading Livonia. There so is a another development here. We have another player where France is uh, attacking Saxony. And oh, man. Sorry. Saxony, uh, France is not making many friends at the moment. No, France is not making many friends, but this, this war is, is going to be a little bit more balanced, considering uh, um, <laughs> they didn't just fight a huge death war. I mean, they did fight a huge war, but it wasn't, uh, it wasn't nearly as, as deadly as, uh, as the Bavarian Teutonic War. Now, uh, they are again invading quite quickly here, uh, doing all sorts of breaching and assaulting. There's no assault here yet. Um, it is only a Woods province, but wait, are they? <laughs> Looking at the assault? coalition no. screen for France. It's pretty funny. Wait, do they have a massive... Co oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. Yes. <laughs> 600. Oh, do they have someone on max? No, they don't. They don't. 635 aggressive expansion. Wow. wow. <laughs> Amazing. My goodness. <laughs> that's bizarre. <laughs> I mean, that's the, uh, that's pretty normal in, in, uh, in multiplayer to get like <laughs> crazy amounts. Accurate. Yeah. Because <laughs> you don't have to care about the uh, aggressive expansion so that's much true, in multiplayer. Because the AI just dies. Like. Yeah, of course. But then if you like compare it to other nations, it's. You know, I mean, I wonder uh, if there's any sort of rule against coalitioning in the, the rules of play. Because uh, I can I can see a huge French coalition starting. Like, they are being, like, very aggressive right now. <laughs> 635 is just 6 more than 35. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> 635? Yeah, 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 it's true. Right? <laughs> that, that, that's yeah. how numbers work. France is, I, oh, I didn't see this earlier, but France is actually sitting at 125% discipline and 5 morale because uh, it was showing the Swiss army before. Mm. And are you getting help, Saxony? From who are you getting help? You are getting help from uh, Livonian Order. Yeah, Livonian Order is in, the Teuton Order is in, the Hanseatic League is in, and Byzantium is in. So I, I, wouldn't, I think France is in trouble here. I genuinely think, because they, they have the richest nation, and uh, I think probably militarily one of the strongest. So I, I, I think France has went in a little bit over their head here, and they might suffer some consequences. Bavaria might even truce break them. Do you think that, that they could be, doing, could be thinking about that? Because a lot of their mercenaries were about to come off of cooldown. Yeah, they could do it. They would... I don't think they have enough admin to fix the stab hit. Oh, they do. They have a thousand lined up. Wait. Oh, no, I'm looking at France. <laughs> <laughs> I look, France have like 200 admin. Okay, yeah, no, they do. I mean, they would have to wait until 67 to the if they wanted to wait for the two stands. But, I mean, th this war looks like it's going to take a really long time, though. Unless they, they blitz it. Like, they, they are assaulting the forts. Maybe they realize now that uh, they are suddenly at war with a whole bunch of people. I don't know what Byzantium is, if Byzantium is like actually going to help out in this war, or if they're just uh, sitting back because they were uh, like a token ally, maybe. <laughs> token ally. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they are just chilling right now. Yeah. Like, uh, they're, not, uh, they're not sending their army north. Which, uh, by the way, they look so cool. Look at, look at the Byz Byzantine units. Oh my god, that looks so cool. And with the cool little Roman helmets. How often do you think about Rome, chap? All right. <laughs> 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 How is Orleans doing? Well, they're France now. So yeah. Yeah. They are France now, and they so far they haven't lost a battle yet. But uh, the Livonians are. Are the Livonians going to help out Saxony here? I would assume so, right? Mm, yeah, they're definitely making their way downtown. I, I think once. <laughs> <downtown. laughs> <laughs> making their way downtown. Yeah. Oh wait, copyright, copyright. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Miley Cyrus. Um, who is it? I don't know who sings that, but I don't think their lawyers are quite as powerful as Miley's. Mm, Miley knows? got a sh totally shot down. Yeah, did, did she? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did yeah. we actually get? No, actually, <laughs> no way. <laughs> no, no, we didn't. no. Okay, <laughs> that would that would have been cool though. Oh my god, <laughs> yes. <laughs> For the the Miley Cyprus uh, <laughs> it's custom nation that we made last year. Oh man. I think with the Livonians catching up now, we're going to see a turn in the war, and uh, we're going to see a lot of 
a lot of casualties in this because French uh, France is fresh, and uh, well, they fought a war against Bavaria, but that one was you know relatively short. It, and uh, if it's not, if it doesn't have a million casualties, then uh, is it even really a war? You know, at at this point, <laughs> I think we need to have a, some sort of minimum casualty count. I mean, they are now outnumbered two to one. I don't. I think France uh, did a, did a bit of a slip up here, definitely. <laughs> now Vod is muted. Thanks, Flory. <laughs> I mean, and that that is part of what that, that needs to happen, right? Otherwise, uh, you're gonna say it's fake Flory. <laughs> <laughs> right, and we have a battle kicking off with the Livonians charging in first. And if we take a look, okay, uh, they are they do out morale the French even. Like the French only have five morale, but in terms of discipline, they are slightly lacking. At least the Teutons are. Uh, it'll be hard to check all of everyone's like military oh, things right now, but we can check it later. Wha from Skanderbeg, France has the highest morale in the world. Really? Yeah. Right now? Right now, apparently. Well, Ooh, I don't know. According okay. to Skanderbeg, it could be a little bit uh, delayed, maybe. We'll go check. I will go check. Let's have a... Yeah, let's check. Okay. There is a huge battle going on. What and is happening there? The that was weird. <laughs> But yeah, look at, look at, I think this might be the biggest battle Whoa. we've seen so far. 300, almost half a million in a single oh, yep. battle. Whoa. In a single battle. France has no more reinforcements and they're still like uh, 100k. This is going to be comfortable for the eastern side. And I think France, I, I, I think <laughs> at this point, Bavaria must be thinking, I'm going to truce break. What were the rules about truce breaking? Because there's special rules about truce breaking. And uh, they're like looking it up, like what are the penalties? What, what, what can we they? do? Come on, come on. And uh, <laughs> it's, is there even like maybe if the, if France is an oathbreaker, then freedom for Switzerland? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> they're, they're, they're attempting to get uh, Switzerland free, I think. I wish I could. <laughs> freedom for meow. Wait, what? <laughs> meow. Freedom for Switzerland from meow. Freedom from I am not. I am not getting these. It, we should. <laughs> we, we will really need to tell them to like uh, uh, change their name to the countries, you know, so we can actually see who's <laughs> typing what. I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Let, let, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna not forget this time. To, or like to, <laughs> to change to their name to the um, <laughs> their like starting nation as well. So that way we can like. Oh yeah! Oh, that, that would be, be useful. That would be useful. Although for some of them that might be <laughs> might get a little complicated. <laughs> All right. Um, let me go take a look at the. Yeah, they they are pushing this back, and France must be thinking about peace right now because uh, th this this is there is no amount of. I mean, I guess they could hire like full mercenaries and go full Oof. on against this coalition, and they are building up a huge uh, second. Good, good. They're building up a second cap uh, artillery stack. You need this because now artillery sometimes retreats. It will slowly retreat out of the battle, so you need to be able to have fresh cannons to fill that back line. Because if you don't fill the back line, you're going to have a bad day. And cannons are not that important right now, but they, they, they do matter, and every little bit counts. All right. Um, yeah. So I really, I really want that. What Bavaria is thinking, if they're thinking about two breaking, I really want there. Oh, do it, do it. If I were them, I would. Yeah, I mean, it's it's revenge, right? I would do it. But I, I don't know. I don't know the special rules for two breaking. Mm, that's true. It could be something. Because there, I remember yeah. reading a special rule about two breaking, but I I'm not sure. I can have a look. Uh, let's go take a look at the because the French morale was apparently the highest in the world. Let me go take a look. Uh, this, I think they must have had a temporary bonus because they're sitting at 5.1 now. Yeah. Yep. Um, if we take a look at the quality of everyone in this war, uh, the highest morale is going to Livonian order, and then wait, hold on, this is not. This is just everyone. How am I not filtering this properly? Wait, how is Meow? Is Meow in this war? No, no. Oh. No, no, they're not. I don't think they are. Okay, that's a little I weird. think it's just ledger weirdness, maybe. Yeah, it, it's yeah. probably just ledger The ledger's weirdness. been a bit funny, this whole event. 
All right, so here, yeah, you can see uh, France does not have full cannons on the back line, and this is another huge battle, which... Is this... Are we going to put back up to uh, half a million again? I think we are going to see it. Ooh. I can't count. It's already at a half a million. But we, we've already established that. I can't count. That's okay. All right, so how many more reinforcements are on the back here? There is another 100k waiting. It is a negative one, negative one um, a battle, but... But I don't think it really matters for the endless amount of troops here. Like, this is literally bottomless. Does oh, France have any more reinforcements? France? No. No, they're, this is they're out. This is everyone. I'm pretty sure this is the their entire combined forces. Yep. In this one battle. They're literally just... Both sides are just throwing literally everything that they have at each other. Yeah. And that is literally... Yeah, I think that's literally every unit. And here you can like, see, uh, again... They have the empty backline because not enough cannons, and they've they've built extra ones, but uh, it's I think it's going to be too little, too late. I think even the extra cannons aren't going to cut it against this amount of units like this. That is, that is yeah. way too many. Is that that is a lot? Is that all of the uh, Eastern Alliance? Were you saying? That's um, no, that that fire was like everyone right involved in the war. Like oh my God. pretty, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I could be like a, could be like a few numbers off, but it seemed pretty much. Pretty much uh, identical. Yes, uh, they have in total uh, 400 something K. Uh, let's go take a look here. Really wonder what they're going to demand. And they, they, they said uh, I heard freedom for Switzerland, but I wonder if, if there's also going to be some justice for Bavaria. <laughs> justice. Well, we've got two minutes, two more minutes on the clock. I wonder if we will get anything. Wha Happening in that time. One minute. One minute. Okay, one minute. we got one minute. Uh, okay, okay, hold on. Hold on. There's hold a lot on. of sieges <laughs> happening. <laughs> They're coming. <laughs> They're, co <laughs> They're coming. They're coming. Yes. They're approaching. They are approaching. I think France is going to end <laughs> up either piecing out before we get back or uh, uh, getting pushed in. It'll be very curious to see what Bavaria is planning. Are they going to truce break? I'm going to go look up the rules for truce breaking and figure that out. And uh, um, probably if we take a look at the, 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 this side of the world, this, this got pieced out and we didn't even notice. <laughs> Sorry about that, oh, Someone's pointed out the Andalusians of moving to the French border. The Andalusia is in France? Wait, what? Andalusia oh, they are. Is in France. And they they have m Oh, and oh. And they've got a oh. bunch of three stars. That is a good that is a good call. Are they just here to take care of the rebels or are they <laughs> Isn't the Andalusian peacekeeping forces coming in? Oh, again? maybe, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if that's like that's this sort of like world police kind of yeah, like Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would be really interesting. That could really that could Wait, hold on. Why Okay. Oh, thank you. Someone actually, I was trying to find the rules. Yeah, so consequences of breaking are, are... May include, but are not limited to, being listed as an Oathbreaker at the board, not being given any favors, higher prices for services paid in favors, being forced to sit in a dedicated Oathbreaker se seat at uh, diplomatic events, Overlord and other NPCs will be responsible for enforcing the court rules during the event, which will happen as part of roleplay that might refer to packs outside the game though. All right, right. so and it's not even that bad. I'd yeah. say do it. <laughs> and, oh yeah, true. No, but we did also see like there's some additional stuff that that doesn't cover. Like um, when Swiss Switzerland, I think, accused Bavaria of breaking their oath this morning. Oh really? And they, they had like a sword fight. I think they determined it by oh, a duel. So cool, cool. yeah. All right. Well, uh, that'll be it for the, yeah uh, from us for no. Actually, I'll be back. Um, <laughs> you will. We'll, we'll, we'll both be back. We'll both be back. Yes. But but this is this is our shift has ended. Yep. And and still not ended. in the wall and yeah. But uh, yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching and see you guys in a, in a bit, like ten minutes or something. All right. Bye guys. <laughs>
if you can master the arts of war, diplomacy and trade, your nation will flourish and history will be yours for the making. The peace in the northern countries came at great cost. Their borders were paid for in blood. The Lions of the North Immersion Pack will let you dive deep into the violent history of the Baltic and Scandinavian regions. Will you unify Scandinavia by enforcing the Kalmar Union or reign supreme as a world power? rise as a crusader state or establish dominance as a secular nation? Will you reclaim old Viking territory or cross the Atlantic in the quest for new lands? Are you the one to tame the Lions of the North?
Hello, we're back. Bonsoir, chat. Ça ne va pas du tout pour la France ce soir. Ça ne va pas, mais du tout. Je ne sais pas ce qu'ils ont fait, mais vraiment. We sorry. have a very angry Frenchman right here. <laughs> Hello He come, again. We've come back to a very distressing state for him. Yeah, I'm a, I mean, it, it's not distressing yet, but seeing all those Germans coming at the border gives me flashback, honestly speaking. <laughs> uh, they have taken an interesting fight, I'm, take, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing, which is basically them against... The world? Well, not the world, but a, a sizable part of the world, I would say. I mean, say. they have Andalusia on their side. Well, kind they of. have them as allies, allies but, but they're not in the war. No, but, but just chilling. They d yeah, they do have their troops up there on the border. Uh, which is do, interesting. They do, but I don't know, they're drilling right now. Um, what I've mm. been watching this battle a bit before the, uh, the countdown is that the Swiss is supposed to be a vassal of France, but what I suspect is when they picked their seat this morning, as you were mentioning just before we started, uh, they did not pick seats next to each other at the time because they didn't know they were going to end up in the same yes. faction. And the coordination between the two is weird. I've seen a bunch of like Swiss attacks that were not backed out by the French. I don't know if it's bad coordination or if it's strategic objectives or anything. Um, mm. Which means most of those uh, battles are not well picked. Uh, although... There is a wild card because if, if Livonia gets into a fight, they will get Saxony against them because apparently Tuscany decided that this was the time to attack uh, Serbia. Apparently France bought this upon themselves. Okay, that's a, that's a take. Oh, now <laughs> France has formed some coordination back because they are chilling around and willing to reinforce. And that, that might mean that they will have enough troops to back up. Oh, there is a lot of backup waiting behind the border though. Uh, oh, this is going to be an interesting helps. time. This is this is a very difficult coordination. I think France has a small uh, advantage in there because it's only them who have to figure out when should reinforcement joins, while the other one has to coordinate like five or six player nations to make sure that they send them at the right time. If not, they just stand in the reserves and take extra bonus uh, They've got to be running back and forth to the tables. Yeah, you can tell, for example, like there's a lot of French, there's probably too many French reserves. 40,000 in reserves is... Oh, I'm, I'm saying that in Prussia has 75,000. And they're both taking like morale damage every tick. Uh, as long as the battle goes, it is usually better to wait until you're really running close of having no more reserves to fill the first rank before you start adding more reserves. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a timing element to it. It is not entirely trivial, but it is what it is. And I can see that the the first line seems still to be more solid on the on the French than in the, yeah that on the that on the the other side. But uh, maybe not by my or maybe yeah. it's just because that gray just looks like it's evaporating, but it's not. Uh, you know, oh, it's this is gonna be on the razor. But I think the French have a small just because everybody has thrown everything they have. Oof. That's 500,000 people uh, in entirely in the battle. <coughs> and I think France is looking like they're going to... Yeah, the morale is... Yeah, yeah. go for it. <laughs> I mean, unbiased comments, <laughs> as usual. Uh, look, we like people who mm. bring the fight. And I have to respect someone who just attacks a coalition of seven players. Because uh, earlier today, I was walking through the castle, right? Mm -hmm. And I was talking to Nitro and Bavaria, and they were like, oh yeah, we have heard that uh, the Livonians wants to attack us, but they've been considering that for like half the day, <laughs> and they had six allies, they were not sure. I, I respect the player who was like, you know what, I'm not going to wait to find some allies, I'm just going to go. I'm just so going to go, and I'm just gonna not going to count, I'm just going to take my chances. Apparently, Jerusalem is saying that they were betrayed uh -huh. in the recent war by Livonia, so we can talk to them if they would like. Interesting. Like? Uh, Jerusalem was bes betrayed. How so? Chat, you want to fill us in? Because we were eating dinner. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and uh, um, Jerusalem is not at war, so I don't know exactly what the, what the... We were trying to keep up, but it's very hard to watch EU4 on your phone. Yeah. It is very Especially hard. Especially on hotel Wi-Fi. Yes. And the more people that come into the room to eat dinner, the worse the Wi-Fi gets. <laughs> Interestingly, uh, oh, the Swiss Talk are baiting. Them. The Swiss are baiting weird, actually, but because we don't have a lot of morale. Mm -hmm. But oh, I think they're basing their, their hopes on the fact that the other side will not have the enforced in time. Yeah. Oh, Let, oh, God. oh, that's very good. Oh, that's oh. oh, and now the French can press on on people who do not have had time to reinforce their uh, their morale. 
And that's going to be some uh, crushing mm -hmm. as soon as they start getting a bit more firepower. Oh, they don't have a lot of firepower actually mm -hmm. on the front line now. Why is France not in, in this battle? Why is it Switzerland against Saxony? Is it due mm. to weird like dynamics? Maybe. I don't see why, but maybe, maybe. Saxony is in different <laughs> wars or something? Yeah, uh, I can see someone screaming. What? Yeah, French people is very confused about why the battle started with only. Yep, yep. That battle seems to have had an interesting impact, which uh, I don't understand why, because they are vassals, right? Yeah, as a vassal, I do not see why they would start a battle uh, and somehow, and somehow their uh, overlord is not allowed to uh, to come up. Uh, that's that's. I mean, to be fair, they probably had the time to back out without taking too many losses, because it's always mm. unfortunate when you get those types of, uh, of, of 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 bits when you think you have the advantage, then your troops just stand there and not join the battle. Yeah, that's. But there's no game. Uh, no, there's no bug in all games. That would be something people know. I don't think this is this is this is true. Uh, I think uh, this is so probably propaganda. It looks like what. Jerusalem was talking about it was a big <coughs> war of Byzantium, Wallachia, Livonia, and Russia versus Armenia, Theodora, Poland, and Persia. And yeah, the other Persia. The yeah. The purple Prussia. PP. Mm hmm. That's all these. Better in my head. I guess Jerusalem got betrayed? Are they even. F they're not fighting anybody, right? But they do have. They're fighting blood themselves. <laughs> yes, from, they are fighting from themselves. What it seems like. Sorry, if you want to see it on stream, this is where what's going on. They. They have some. They're having a bit. Mm -hmm. It's not like a big bit. It's mostly peasants, but you know, they have. Uh, they're pissed. Uh. Oh, sure. Sorry, I had to move. I'm guessing it was mine. It was too close. Oh. Probably. <coughs> it's the joy of having uh, headsets back and forth. No problem. Oh, we can hear breading. Okay. So yeah. Pissed. Breathing. I like the idea that you were breading like, <laughs> you know, like baking or something. I mean, we're, f we're following France mm. after all, so, you know, being doing some baguette uh, would be uh, on point, I would yeah. say. It's, it's the joy of having he headsets pass back and forth between people is if you set it for y yes. your head and then it goes to someone else's and it, yeah. It's just, can you still stop breathing. What? What? Is it, is it me? We is should just stop breathing. Can you hear me, uh, Mr. Mr. Feedback uh, Production? No. They're joking. No, they just joke. Oh, <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> Look, it's been a day, all right? It's been a day. I'm, uh, I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We, we okay. We are okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, is anyone uh, anyone in the New World participating? I'm seeing the New World is Quebec not even trying to help France as would ex as one would expect. Yep. Uh, uh, Morocco, I think mostly the Islamic Federation is staying entirely out of it. Oh, Tuscany is in a player war. Yeah, oh, they are yes, attacking Livonia Serbia right. for their own gain, and I think they're just hoping that Livonia will peace out of it without actually fighting. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming Livonia is defender of some form of faith. Yeah, they are, and that's why they're fighting Tuscany. Oh, uh, more battles. The Swiss this time are trying to press for advantage. Orleans. On a risky attack. There is uh, no Orleans. Orleans is long gone. Yeah, Orleans has been replaced by France. It's, it's the artist formerly known as Orleans. Mm-hmm. This is an interestingly and somewhat dangerous uh, position. I don't know if the French are, w French are willing to push for it or not. They well, might, they, yeah, they still have time to reinforce because there's still plenty. We well, but not plenty, but there is still 20,000 Swiss in reserve. So they could absolutely bide their time and stop moving. Oh, now they need to go now. And mm. they just are not. Oh, this is really bad coordination, people. Yeah. Do not let, do not let are they just overtired? Do you think? Is there? I I up? think it's probably because we're not in the same room. Mm, uh, that's possible. Especially if one team is upstairs mm. and the other is like downstairs in the the library. Yeah, because now France is gonna face Ooh, a battle that is have not in their favor here. I mean, it's a minus two battle for them, so that's pretty good on the dice roll part. Mm -hmm. The problem is. How much more can they send into uh, in, into uh, the um. thing as reinforcement? Because the Swiss just got booted back, and that's numbers the French can't really afford to <laughs> not 
have on their side. Oh. So I don't really see, I guess they can't see how many people, oh, the Swiss are coming oh. back despite having low morale. I, I think the lack of coordination from the previous battle, I don't know, the French have backup actually. They can f afford to throw more people, although the other side also have an insane amount of troops waiting behind. I am not sure, I mean, this is not a bad battle as far as the numbers go. I would have, t I would have liked to take the minus one crossing and minus one uh, terrain, but, and that's where the there's a big but. Uh, Reinforcement-wise, yeah, th they need oh. to wait a bit for the Swiss to get. Oh, actually, the French morale is carrying the day so far. Uh, so far, you don't jinx them. Look, w w I mean, we've. Mm, I, I mean, uh, we're not biased, but we don't want to jinx either side. No, no, no. I don't want to draw. I don't want to jinx either side. There is. This is six mm. four versus four f four six. So shock versus fire battle. Somewhat roughly equal, a minus two on the attacker side oh, is a sizable drawback. They still have more people behind them. The Livonians, uh, oh, the Livonians got yeah. stuck because they're fighting the Tuscans for some reason. Uh, oh, it it's is gonna be so on the close. Wire again. I think the Swiss have a slight moral advantage here. Uh, the French are trying desperately to find whatever extra men. Oh, they did it. They did it. They did it. They are sent packing again. Uh, oh, but six well, points. For fighting 265k <laughs> versus 313k, insane battle. Minus wow. two, minus two is nothing to uh, to laugh at. This is this is the kind of battle that will uh, possibly decide terrain, terrain and maneuver or everything in those uh, in those circumstances. You really don't want to pick your battle very very uh, Matthew, nicely. I hate to interrupt, of course. but we have visitors at our door. Aha. <laughs> well, I apologies. We, yes, we're gonna stop looking at this. Well, I will. Well, we'll just keep it open. It. Yes. But what is important is that our guests uh, can actually introduce themselves. Introduce themselves. Yes, because we can barely see who you are. Yes. Yeah, like, <laughs> we we see are like the one being lights. interrogated here. <laughs> he so, uh, can see you a little bit. I can't see anything. <laughs> who are you? Hi, uh, I'm Alex from uh, the glorious nation of Armenia in the Middle East. And yeah, we just came out of uh, the probably biggest war that uh, took place in this session so far. All right. Well, please explain, because we were eating dinner, so we have missed. <laughs> <laughs> we really have a tale to tell. <laughs> yes. Okay, so basically, um, we are in some uh, pretty cozy alliance in the Middle East uh, with Jerusalem and Theodoro and uh, our friends from the new Persian nation that uh, I cannot pronounce the name of. Um, and so I was kind of bored from just colonizing the Easter Islands and our army tradition was dropping because our soldiers were just sitting around. So I decided I might as well declare a little war against our uh, neighbors of uh, Byzantium. And uh, it was supposed to be a casual three versus three war, uh, Jerusalem, Theodoro and us against Byzantium, um, Wallachia and Saxony. And we had an agreement with Livonia to stay out of it, to make it like fair. But uh, then Saxony didn't really commit any troops. And then Livonia stepped in because they thought it's unfair, but they were like a bit stronger. And then we called in Poland to compensate. And then they called in Russia to compensate. And then they made an agreement with the uh, Islam bloc, like with uh, Mamluks, Rasids and Andalusia to intervene. And then it all escalated and yeah. <laughs> I see. So, is someone an oath breaker to you? No, well, I wouldn't say so really. Uh, we never put anything on paper. The judge was there, but uh, I think we like solved it all kind of peacefully in the end. So, do you feel like you're trapped now? Um, well, a little bit, uh, but only until the end of the today's session, because then India is free to go again. <laughs> because at the <laughs> moment it's only uh, blocked by the desire of our glorious King Arthur. Mm. Do you have to say thank you for trying to fix the same color problem going on over there? <laughs> yes, that yes. was pretty good. This was really needed. It, it hurts <laughs> our souls. Looking yes. At this. It hurts Chat's souls too. So many same colors on uh, in this session, yeah. Well, we're sorry to hear that they went back on their word to you. Sorry again? We're sorry to hear that s people went back on their word. Well, yeah, that happens sometimes. <laughs> well, actually pretty often, uh, considering all the <laughs> things we're discussing. <laughs> but uh, it's fine. We are now all friends again, and until the next war. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your next plan? 
Um, so for now, we will just uh, sit a bit low and try to um, pay back a couple of thousand ducats of loans <laughs> that I had to take during the war. And uh, yeah, then we will see, probably colonize a bit and see what's happening in Indonesia and maybe... Good news to you, your there. teammate just paid back one of the loans. Oh, pretty good. <laughs> you only have 14 left with a total debt of 3,403. Uh, it's already a bit <laughs> less than uh, when I came up here. <laughs> Do you have any questions, Germany? Uh, are you planning to do more about those borders? Because uh, really, uh, I think the border color border Cassius Belli is the best Cassius Belli you can ever have. Uh, it is really painful to me to not be able to tell who is who. <laughs> so I hope I hope you continue, or either you force them to change color. I don't care. <laughs> just just figure it out. Yeah, please uh, force uh, Byzantium to be green or something like that. <laughs> it would be hilarious. I mean, <laughs> there is a way they could be green. <laughs> Form the Ottomans, or yes, <laughs> that would be the ultimate move. That would be the ultimate move. <laughs> that would be a beautiful goal, and I'm sure Chat would adore that. Yes, and it would be a tale to tell. We have actually one more goal, but that's kind of in the distance, and I hope uh, Wales is not listening in right now. But the uh, game master be. say gave us a core back on our original uh, <gasps> starting point on the first day on Kildare, an oh. island. And uh, maybe we can pass Get by there revenge. at some point. Yes. <laughs> we are Ooh. preparing that a bit in the background. That would be interesting. <laughs> but we wish you the best with that. And thank you very much. Good thank luck with you. all your debt. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for having me. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. All right. Back on the war, I think the, the Franco-Swiss uh, made oh, a mistake. Oh, we're in the middle of the battle, yeah. Uh, they picked a battle on a flatland without any terrain bonuses. Meanwhile, Saxony have hired the services of Lancelot of the Lake, the meanest general on the planet, 5-7. Uh, and I think this is not a thing they should do. I don't think France can afford to take so many losses right now. Uh, they have a deficit of 70k manpower. They tap talent professionalism. They should not uh, be be taking battles they cannot afford to win. They should play way more cautious in this thing because the numbers game is against them. At least a couple more nations. Like, I just checked the Inciatic League, still have a lot of professionalism to tap through. Where is that? There it is. Uh, they, uh, probably they don't want to do it, but they can if they have to. They have 40% uh, that they can burn to get extra manpower. Uh, and that is going to help. So there's a question of how much can they, uh, they, can, they, can, they can they get. Uh, they do have 55 k men in the bank. Yeah, France needs to be aware that first of all, now the enemy has a general advantage due to uh, the services of Lancelot or Lancelot, depending how you want to pronounce it. Uh, and and again, they need to pick a battle because the numbers are not on their side. And I think the economy is also not on their side because they are running a deficit while. Obviously, I mean, the NCT is actually losing money. Uh, no, they're not. Uh, I think they, c they, they come and they go. Um. No, they're, they're only losing money because of their subsidizing, pe subsidizing people. They're fine. They can actually run a big economy. So th the numbers game is against France right now. So they need to find allies. Oh. <laughs> so we do have... Um, oh, the diplomatic game has worked, actually. Oh, they got them all out? No, everybody left except Saxony. <gasps> well, we did have somehow. Real quick, they managed to convince the other side that that Saxony should just be on their own. Now. And Saxony is immediately feeling the pain of realizing that the numbers game has drastically <laughs> turned changed. against them. Uh, because even if France is tapped oh on manpower, Lord. there is no way they can stop the onslaught <laughs> at this point. Um, oh, yeah, and France is calling out the uh, Saxon allies. Like, Saxon's like, how dare you bail on them, you cowards? <laughs> Which actually is curious. How did they manage that? Because I think they, 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 felt they, they were on the winning side, honestly. They yeah, got the uh, Swiss treatment. Oh, yes. Yeah. Sax Saxony, the new Switzerland. As, me, as much as it pains me to, uh, to, to admit, I think France was on a losing battle. They could at most... Probably managed to negotiate a white piece by 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 by, uh, by bluffing, but they could not sustain no. these losses against those numbers. But now, now, now it's just it's just it's Saxony alone. They have 
they will They've not got survive this. Three thousand manpower. I mean, the thing that will that, that will that that they will survive is that it's a conquest. They've taken the twenty five loans. Yeah, I mean, the thing that they will make them survive is that it's a, it's it's a it's only a, a conquest Ooh. CB, so there's only so much French can uh, France can take. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if it can get to a full 90%. PC. I mean, that's probably good enough to make your average player quit the game. Yes. Uh, we have to see what's happening. Even if they try to be nice uh, and, and try to not, like, you know, overextend <gasps> the state. Saxony take could take military tech 14 right now. Yeah, I don't think that's going to save them. No, I don't think it's going to save them. Not at this uh, point. What is military tech 14? They are. So it's a better horse. I don't even know if they have horses in their army. Um, they uh, have a not. thousand horses. They have one horse. <laughs> I mean, that horse is going to be way better than it used to be. But looking at the battle coming, uh, I'm not sure this is going to be... Even if Lancelot's on their side, and I mean, this is something you want on your side, uh, the, the, the numbers game is, is clearly against them. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is not going to... Oh, God, this is, this is a massacre. Lancelot himself could not stop this. And now I guess that's pretty much GG for the French. I, I, I'm gonna assume that the diplomatic game again has is the one that wins that wins war in the end. Like you know, oh, it, it always battles. is. It always yeah, is. Yeah, generals wins battles, but diplomat wins war, right? Yes. That's, uh, that's the thing we like to and say. And the thing is, the generals mm -hmm. in the battles can shape how the diplomats talk about things. They give each other leverage. Like think of the War of 1812. Mm-hmm. I don't know how much you know how much you know about that. But the truce was signed and the actual peace treaty was still being written. But because of, you know, no cell phones in that day, no internet, the news hadn't really reached Louisiana yet, which is why we get the, um, the Battle of New Orleans. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Which was a great song about putting a cannonball on an alligator and powdering its behind. But that's neither here nor there. If anyone knows that song, great song. <laughs> So Chad is pointing out that, technically but speaking, uh, Cornwall has sold four Oof. provinces. Uh, so France basically gave four provinces of England to the Anseatic League to uh, to stay in the game. You might say this was uh, this was not a good diplomacy. I think this is this is a good diplomacy. This is great diplomacy. There is no way France can hold this. Like no. we have shown uh, forever and ever that they have not invested in a the fleet. They do not have any way to contest the seas. And so as soon as as uh, Antiquity can come and take those lands anytime they yep. want, there's nothing the French can do to stop them. They do not, they cannot keep uh, control of the British Isles. They might as well sell those four provinces for in exchange for, Sa for, for Saxony. And there we go, Saxony has just as as just like replacing a losing war by selling four provinces you could not hold to is basically another like reason that purchase pack. It's like you can't win this, just sell it away before they come and take it for free. I, I, I've got been insulted here. I swear Americans oh only know two wars. Really? Also, oh, you're an American. Name two wars. <laughs> <laughs> I guess because I mentioned the War of 1812. Yeah. Which has one of the most famous moments where a battle being fought after the, tru after the truce, but before the peace treaty. But sure. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Famously, only two wars in which America fought. Oh. How I much? How much was it? One. Two, okay. Yeah. I think. Oh, that's. They left Saxony as a continuous nation, which I respect, <laughs> uh, because I am tired of those like really <laughs> ugly. Uh, they fed mm. all the all the land to the Swiss. That's one, two. I guess three, four, five, six. That's that's still a a, a, a big amount of development. Like that's that's a sizable chunk. Look at all the of forts. Of Saxony that has been cut off. That's a lot of flipping forts. Yeah, and that's amounts of development. Uh, 23, 15, 14, 15, 23, 5. That's. I think the Swiss. If do we have access to the graph, we should see like the Swiss suddenly the wing going up in uh, charts. Where are the charts? Here are the charts. Oh, that's the ugliest charts I've ever seen. Show me better charts. Um, there is one, right? Uh, da, 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 da. I thought there was a chart that shows you development over time. I can never remember where that is. There's too many charts in this game for me to remember. Oh, there it is. Uh, number of provinces. There's development, right? Isn't there a development chart? Um, I, there was. I feel like there was. 
is, but... It sounds like this thing that you think they are, but you just maybe just, just imagine them. Oh. Mm -hmm. No, that's in cop. Yeah, because we got, like, the ledger index. I don't no, see... No, I can't see anything. But anyway, that's that's still, like, a big development uh, boost for, maybe uh, for Swiss. Be. What if it was taken out? That I think France... Given the situation they were in, uh, well, they first they traded more development, uh, or maybe yes, slightly more, de uh, slightly more development. Not maybe not by a big margin, but again, this was land that they like. If if the Hanseatic League wanted it, they would have taken it. You know, I think we're gonna see a war between the Hanseatic League and Ireland. Just, I mean, I, I'm sure Ireland wants to form Great Britain. But can Ireland contest them, like in the inland? Mm -hmm. I mean, if, if they manage to, with a, with a, with a fast enough attack, mm -hmm. they might be able to take all the force and then just wait for them on the shores. But I'm pretty sure the Hanseatic League can uh, muster way more troops. Oh, I'm sure. So, yeah, Hanseatic League, in terms of ships, they're 97. Granted, 55 of those are trade, but they still have 15 heavy ships. Only Avalon has more heavy ships than them. Yes. Ireland has six heavies. Interestingly, no players. I mean, um, Netherlands has zero. Netherlands has <laughs> eighty light ships, though. My God. Yeah, I guess we're just banking everything on the on that trade in the. Mm. Uh, so, like total ships, Netherlands is only beaten by the knights with one hundred and forty-four. Okay, I have, I have, a, I have a question. And the Netherlands is allied. I have too. a question. Sorry. If you have if you have eighty light ships, why do we only have a seven percent of the channel trade? <laughs> I don't that know. That seems like they got robbed. Because of Where are the, the ships? land? Where are their ships? I mean, 30 ships give them 90 trade power. Netherlands, where are your ships? Hmm. Please tell me. I mean, um, their ships are really inefficient. Oh! They're over here! Where? In the Timor Sea, of course, as one does. <laughs> because they've got Dr Dutch Australia. Oh. That, that's why. They've got like 21k troops over here. Okay, that's that's where they're busy doing stuff. Okay, I see. Yeah, because mm -hmm. the trade income of the Dutch is not that impressive. Uh, I know that they the have a local... Is... I, I guess Netherlands would be a, a, a good ally for anyone who wants to fight the NCAT mm -hmm. League because they are obviously competing for the same thing. And the NCAT League is way better at that game right now. They are getting home an insane 300 ducats in trade. I'm assuming that if I look at the um, at the income comparison, it, yes, they are literally an order of magnitude bigger than uh, than everybody else. Like a hundred ducat uh, before the, f the second player. Mm -hmm. uh, they're they're powerful. Mm -hmm. All their ham all those hamburgers. <clears throat> all those hamburgers, man. That that franchise paid off. Yes. Someone's asking what's going on in Poland. They're trying to win the challenge of having the biggest name on the map, and I think they're <laughs> winning. Currently, yes. Yeah, currently, yeah. I think they all the biggest name on the map. Congratulations, Poland! You beat Russia. Um, uh, which we oh yeah, they have kind of. They are bordering the land of the Christian Sun. Yeah, surprisingly, oh, the land of the Christian did not manage to take much from me. Did they manage to? No, they did not manage to. Oh, Berlin too. That's an interesting name for Beijing. I'm pretty sure that's not how that works, but. What's the winning condition? The winning condition is who has the most fun. Yes, is is if you had more fun than the other one, you win. Yes. Which is a pretty cool uh, winning condition, if I have to say. Oh, uh, Tuscany is technically still at war because they need to peace out Serbia somehow. Mm. France declares itself the true defender of Christendom, helping our Swiss and Holland allies. Clearly working with the French rather than against us will see us mutually beneficial gains. Long live the French Empire. Mm. May Joan of Arc have mercy on us. Oh, yeah. They haven't gotten the event yet. <gasps> Which is going to be fun when it happens. But I think we need to wait a bit more. How are the institution going, by the way? We should have gotten the printing prize by now. Where uh, are we? Let's see. Yes, the Germans in the north have invented it, and it's spreading pretty well. Yeah. It's usually not the hardest to spread. It's sticking a bit, but uh, I think it's it's going to get there. Uh, For global trade, uh, I'm just curious. 
we need another 34 years. And I'm pretty sure it's going to end up in uh, in the Anseatic League. Yes, I'm pretty sure. I think it's going to be really, really difficult for anybody else to compete on that one. Yep. The only thing they're missing for it is the years at least 1600. Yes. Um, oh, actually, it's not been embraced by so many people yet. I guess the Granted Nordic countries. Well, the yeah. Baltic, sorry. Oh, wait. So what's the... Is the north? No, I think it's Lubeck. No. Oh, no. It's Lubbock. That's the yes. highest. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Um, so I guess Prussia, if they had... They're not the highest trade node. Yeah, never mind. My brain was misremembering things. So I was talking to the Dutch earlier, and they said that the reason why... Uh, they were hesitating to form the Netherlands was because they wanted to wait until they got the ever the uh, an electorship, oh. so they could stay in the empire. But I guess they gave up on the concept of the empire and just uh, ran with the. Uh, with the so with, with, with Navarra the is gone. We have Venezuela. Oh. Like they even they gave up their last. They sold their last province in the British Isles back to Wales. Ah, they are entirely free now. Mm -hmm. They they completely moved. They managed to to keep a, a Tarastamara with them though. The 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 the, 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 the dynasty of a good friend Enrique, <laughs> still with them. They not doing too bad. I mean, they're there in the new in the new world with tech of eleven, eleven, ten. Not too bad considering. Actually, their neighbor isn't doing quite the same. Uh, France, your Catholic allies are under siege by the Muslims. Care to back up your words? Interesting. Interesting. Mm. Yeah, we do have... We have some spicy uh, bits. Uh, mm -hmm. Mention. Do, 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 do. I don't uh, think we had the leaks yet, right? Or did they miss that because I was away for a bit? Oh, that is a good question. Venezuelan ideas or Navarran? They have Navarran ideas. I don't remember what the Venezuelan ideas are, to be honest with you. Yeah, they did. Oh, and they kept the uh, Basque ideas. <laughs> which I don't think are going to be much helpful. I, I love how they still have not taken high income because they've never really gone a construction route, so they just let it sit here. <laughs> Yeah, it's some of those buffs I've seen people playing, and it's like it's it's, it's like consumables in RPGs, right? You're like, nah, maybe there's gonna be a boss after the boss. I should probably <laughs> keep a bunch just in case. Yep. Quebec yep, is actually yep. uh, making a pretty big uh, construction in uh, in, in the uh, in the US. Like, they have basically been getting all the land almost unchecked. No, because no. No players have even tried to. Uh, no. To, 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 they're gonna to run into them. Morocco eventually, but. But that I think there is. There, I think they, they can absolutely partition this. Like. But here's the thing: if they touch Morocco, we've got another horrible border. Oh, you are right. <laughs> Quebec, you're gonna have to form another nation or figure out something because those colors are hard. <laughs> Just click the button, become Canada. I don't care. <laughs> Um, apparently we're being yelled at. Or Chad is being yelled at. Mods are being yelled at. Something, something. Auto something, mod. something, auto mod. Uh, Inca has gotten very long. Well, as here. they usually do. It's Oh, but they're like... But yeah, they're, 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 like, they're like... They're like the Andes on steroid. Mm -hmm. Oh, they have Panama. Oh, oh that's true. Morocco might make uh, Mexico or Texas. Yeah. Uh... Texas is pretty good ideas. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it can form it. I think no, you need I to move your capital. Yeah, they need north to move their capital. That. But it is possible. Uh, where's the capital right now? Mm -hmm. Is it Mexico? Uh, I never remember how to plan the capital. Yeah, you, uh, you do this and then this. And then. Oh, it's still in Bermuda, so I guess that's why if they can't form it, they would have to mm -hmm. move it first. And I think if you want to form it, you need like, uh, I think it's it's one of those states, if I recall correctly. They might want this to be a little tidier and neater before they make that jump. No, that's true. Because mm -hmm. right now it looks like they've got a case of like, 
rainbow pox or something. <laughs> yes. I mean, that's um, a lot of... Uh, oh, we've got more blue flames over here with Armenia. The Meow, the oh, meow, meow Conquest of Andig. So Meow and the Land of the Christian Sun are going against Poland, Armenia, Kiva, and Theodoro. Oh, yeah. Oh, interesting. They're trying to get Poland out of her. Like, they're trying to cut the head of the snake, I guess, or at least stop it from going any Where further. Is ending? Probably push it. Oh, I, I understand why they renamed Berlin. Hmm? Because the mission is March on Beijing, but if you rename the capital, it becomes March to Berlin too. <laughs> Good job, Meow. <laughs> <laughs> I got a chuckle out of this. Uh, I think it's supposed to be race to Berlin, but you know what? I will <laughs> allow it just for the pun. Now the question is, uh, did Poland see that one coming? Like, how close are the closest Polish? They have a bunch of troops on the border, actually. Now, are the allies willing to send what all they have? Where all are the, all of it? They're, they're on the west, on, on the eastern side. If you click on Poland. You'll um. see them, because I think uh, the other ones don't see them, but they are there. Oh, yeah, they're there. Okay. Now, oh, wait a minute. Russia used the same uh, moment to jump uh, to jump Poland with the help of Byzantium. Oh. So I'm guessing this is another partition of Poland? <laughs> oh, God. I mean, we were talking at the beginning about there were like a dozen different plans to partition Poland. Some of them might have just been saved for a rainy day. Yeah, they, they partitioned Poland the first time, then they, 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 they reformed Poland, and now we're trying to partition it again. Yes, the Russian uh, conquest of Tambov. Russia, Byzantium, and Uzbek. I think, I think Poland thought that this time they were safe. They were stuck between Russia and Germany for once. They were stuck between Russia and China. <laughs> it turns out it's not any better. Ooh. Now the question is, will the ally fight their best in both uh, in both sides? Because it's Armenia, Kiva, and Teodoro on both uh, on both cases. So I'm guessing is uh, no, uh, Persia is not in the map. Let's let's look at the map. Uh, if I Oof. look at Poland, I think Byzantium is probably one of the yeah. They have to pick one side and just beat beat the heck out of it. So how much of Poland is an actual Poland? Um. Not much. Uh, barely any bit, actually. Yeah. Uh, I think they kept some claims, but uh, Podolia is might be the best, uh, the best one that they have, and it's still you know, it's it's after it's it's further than uh, than Volinia. Depending which mm. Poland you're talking about, but yeah, it's a bit further away. Now the question is, is Armenia gonna move, and which way are they gonna move? Because one of the options is to go and fight Byzantium, try to kick them out of the war. Uh, the other mm -hmm. option is to try to fight the Russian horde. Right now, the Polish troops are just kind of sitting there. I guess the. I mean, this is this they're is really Uzbek. bad land to fight, right? Uh, somebody remove my. Uh, yeah, and they're they're um. My, my brain just remember. lost the word. What is that called again? My brain. This a brain. <laughs> <laughs> no, where they separate all the the one Ks around. Oh no, the, 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 yeah, see carpet sieging. Carpet sieging. There yeah. you go. That's I a lot of desert. I guess we're looking them to take the attrition and then yeah. taking select battles. Because the marching times are insane in those places. Oh yeah, it, it's horrible. It's horrible. This now, is a horrible area to fight in any of the Paradox games. It, it's it's horrible. The thing I want to see is how many of the oh the hustlers have a hundred and ten percent efficiency now. Uh, and the army is mostly horses. I want to see these horses in combat. I want to see what they can do. Because 110% efficiency, I mean, that's gonna that's gonna cost you some money. No way around that. Because horses are more exp uh, uh, e efficient, expensive uh, than infantry. We've got a little battle going on over here in Korquan. Yeah, it's I don't only against really 2k. Cool the battle. 73 <laughs> 73,000, uh, 73 hussars against like two two dudes. <laughs> I, I, I think my money is not on the two dudes. Although, congrats on them. <laughs> they might be able to get away due to the insane travel time. Uh -oh. in, uh, 9th of May, 10th of June. Oh, nope, no, they're not going to make it. Bye. Bye. <laughs> the travel times are going to be an absolute nightmare to manage in this, uh, in this area. Oh, and mm. I could hear the sound of Polish, uh, Polish loans being taken. I'm guessing yes. they're hoping that their allies can contain Russia while they deal with the eastern threats. Mm -hmm. uh, two front wars is never easy. 
Yeah. Now the question is, anyone willing to jump Byzantium in the meantime? Uh, I don't know. What's their relationship next to? Uh, they are allied to Wallachia. Yeah. Oh, the horses are walking. What does that one? I guess maybe if the the Muslim alliance could be considering jumping Byzantium at this point. Yeah, Poland does have 83 units of cavalry though, which even with yes. the long travel times, that means they will travel faster. Uh, only if it don't have their cab, if they don't have their cannon with them. Yeah, I, I don't even remember if units have travel time depending on the type one only, or is it just like a maybe. whole four uh, thing? Or it's I I'm um, maybe a uh, maybe I'm misremembering, one. but I was pretty sure with Fiat cannon she traveled slower. Looks like Poland Please correct me if I'm wrong, chat. Are we shifting or are we just waiting? I think they're waiting and letting them eat uh, eat, uh, eat some desert in the meantime. Yes. Let's see. <laughs> well, but they're not fighting Russia either. And Russia's just munching. I mean, so, f so far this has worked, actually. Uh, uh, the, uh, the land of the Christian sun uh, has eaten already 100,000 dead uh, in the mix of uh, about a third of, uh, of attrition in two thirds of battles. <laughs> While the Poles have only lost like 11,000 men. Mm -hmm. So this is absolutely on their side right now. Like it's almost a, yeah, it's, a, it's a 1 to 5 uh, ratio. They're just letting their land kill them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's kind of the Russian tactic, really. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's not as bad with the Russians. I guess the Russians are a bit more uh, used to uh, be eating dirt uh, and other uh, unsavory lands. Chad is asking, what's the attrition in Poland? Mm -hmm. Uh, what's the have any modifiers? Oh, there is. Uh, nutrition, the average nutrition, there's a modifier somewhere. Country modifiers. Uh, attrition for enemy one. Uh, that's only one. I mean, that's already, that's already a bonus. But they don't have any extra bonus other than that. And it's just. Supply just limit is bad. Through yes, it's, it's deserts. I know. You it's desert wanna, and mountains. It's just wanna, bad. You don't want to be there. I almost ask if you have a railway to capital, but a <laughs> long game. Uh, we can we can pull out for a moment and show the rest of the world. Yes, I'm I'm keeping an, an eye on other oh, nations. We've got Congo so down here. Decides to take their chances in the meantime, but Congo's not a player, but they've gotten pretty big. Wasn't Iceland a player? Yeah, Iceland was uh, I think Navaria. Did they stop? Because Iceland is not a player and they're being attacked by Ireland now. Oh. So... Oh, did they become Venezuela? No? I don't remember. I thought no. I thought Iceland was... No, there was Navarra. And then Navarra became Venezuela? Yeah. And I guess they abandoned what they had in, uh, in Ireland. Yeah, yeah, I guess they released Iceland and then they sold... Yeah, that Whoa. makes sense. Oh, hey, but now... Look at this! Wales sold that county to, or that province to the Netherlands. That's a weird idea. Are they expecting something like giving them like a a landing spot? To a place to buy troops to help yeah. them go against the. Well, the thing is, I think the Netherlands still have like. They're recovering oh. a bit. I heard Iceland is suing for peace against. Uh, well, it's the Ireland. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure they want to they wanna yeah. call it quit. Have uh, we seen any battles so far? No. There is there is a small push around the uh, Taklamak in the uh, wasteland in, uh, in Tibet. Is that Tibet? I, I'm not sure. Uh, I think it is, but let me see. No, it's it's Kashgar, yeah. You can join a coalition against France. Yeah, coalitions are probably going to be very weak at this point. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, no... Uh, they are clearly doing a good job by just waiting for the enemy to just eat uh, attrition still mm -hmm. uh, on that side. On the Russian side, not as efficient by a mile. Uh, the casualties are pretty balanced. No. Um, and I guess we need to check. Oh, they trying to. Oh, yeah, there was a battle here that I guess we missed. And Oops. the Russian carried the day. Uh, again, the neighbors need to combine and. and, and um, and organize if they want to melt. Uh, I mean, it's mostly Armenia and Fyodor, I guess, that have to fight off uh, Russia plus Byzantium, which is, well, already, already more than them. Already, they're kind of annoyed at you know being left to fend for themselves against Byzantium before. Yeah, oh. I guess the problem Poland can afford to trade some land because 
arguably most of their land is, 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 is uh, we still have most of their development on the western part. Well, apparently have. Jerusalem has a tale of betrayal for us as well. A what? I am, I'm confused by our little spy master Firefly, if our goblins can ask what they mean. The tale of betrayal. I, I mean, thought we already had a tale of betrayal. Somebody was mentioning that earlier, right? Yeah, I thought that was Arminius' tale of betrayal. It's so confusing now. No, they were saying oh. something earlier. The popes are drawing art, by the way. Which is interesting. Oh, is that some uh, pictures you saw? Okay. Oh, oh. yeah, they're taking an insane uh, amount of No, players are not allowed to watch the Twitch stream or chat. They can watch it the next day. So they can, like, watch today's stream tomorrow. Mm. If they yeah, really they're want to. They're taking about 2% attrition even with expanding mm. supply drains. Uh, due to arid climate and raiding parties and, of course, lack of supply. Oof. Now the question is, will the Polish Cavalry... The Polish Cavalry probably needs a, a leader to start the fight, because the best they have is 4-4, which isn't bad. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, at, at this stage you may want a guy that is bigger than this guy with a 5-5-3-1. Five, five, Pretty solid. I guess Poland is mustering forces. Because uh, we have spare manpower, they have taken a bunch of loans, uh, and they're gonna have to do something. Because I, I mean, don't think Fyodor can stop Russia by themselves. Poland is still losing a lot of trips, a troops due to attrition themselves. Yeah. Oh, and the battle is—is is the battle gonna start? Yes. Although, is it on the mountain? Oh, it is on the yes. mountain. Yes. Oh. They're attacking the horses no, in the mountains. No, they bailed. They bailed. They were spinning like, wait, why are we doing this? Yeah, the problem is you're going to have to wait a lot for movement lock into tech in this. I guess we have the advantage of uh, knowledge because it's on their land, so they can see. They can hide a lot of troops that the enemy mm -hmm. cannot see. Yep. Because, yeah, if we go and then to Meow and look. Oh, that's like server mode. Come on, game. Give me Meow. Yeah, Meow can barely see their troops. Yeah, they can see the troops on the mountains, and that's it. So and so they see them leaving. Yes. Um, now they're walking in. Uh oh. I guess we're waiting for movement lock, and when movement lock starts ticking, they will. Uh, you need to wait a bit more until they get. Yeah, they're locked in place. They are locked, and at the minute they're locked, I'm pretty sure the Polish are gonna start moving south. Even though it's. No, are they? no, they aren't. What? Why are we not moving? There's, you they, know there's it was a mountain fort they yeah, could be you defending. Know they're stuck. Now, you know they can't back out. Ah, there we go. And now... Mm. Well, the thing is, who gets there first? 28th. I mean, I guess it's a mountain fort, so it's not... 28th, yeah. 10th of July, 28th of June. Yeah. Yeah. And, they're first. and they won't be able to... Even if they try to back out, it's going to be too late. They're mm. not going to be able to reverse the vapor. Yes. And, and now they just suddenly realize that there's a hundred poles waiting behind <laughs> the mountains. Uh, and that's not the kind of cavalry charge you expect. <laughs> like, it no. kind of has, like the end <laughs> of the two towers. <laughs> and they raced up the mountains. Yeah, exactly. And they are getting... Their morale is getting absolutely smashed. The number... Oh, you know, casual, casualties uh. on, on shock walls are absolutely monstrous. Oh, and you can see that the, <laughs> the reinforcement is bailing. Yeah, you know what? Mm. I'm gonna get home. <laughs> Oof. So yeah, they can win those battles, and I guess that means we can probably hold them off for a bit. But, but well, they can hold off Russia, though. Yes, the problem is going to be Russia, and it's going to be, well, I guess Armenia's and Fyodor's willingness to do mm. something more than sit on the Caucasus Mountain and wait, because that's not going to help. No, they're, I, I'm not sure. But also, I can see why they don't want to engage all by themselves, and the Poles aren't there to help them. Yeah, how good are the Russian troops, actually? Because, you know, the joke is that usually they're <sighs> many but bad. Mm -hmm. I don't think that is the case, actually. They have pretty solid morale and discipline combined. Uh, arguably better than... Uh, actually, better than uh, than Byzantium. Better than the Teutons. Better than Fyodoro. They have pretty good troops, actually, right now. <coughs> yeah, I think Russia's been biding their time. Yeah. Because uh, before that, they were Tavir, and they've just been sitting there, slowly growing, gobbling up AI, not getting too involved in a lot of the other conflicts. Yeah. And Bank now's and their fighters. chance. Oh, yeah. They jumped at it because, you know, they knew that Poland would send their troops over to Meow first. Yeah. It's just, that's the way it is. 
Um, and I was just chat talk, talking about how long we have left. Sanctioned, but oh yeah, they got blessed ruler, which mm. gives them a ten percent morale of the army with uh, by banking some uh, papal value. Mm -hmm. Quebec Pope, what? We don't have a quip. Uh, let's see. Yes, the controller of the Holy See right now is uh, East Quebec. That's just this wrong. Is, this is somewhat cursed. Uh, one may agree. It's just wrong. It is. Something is wrong here. Something is wrong. Well, Akia is, uh, is, is pretty high in line to get the next uh, mm. the next cardinal. Uh, Defender of the Faith is the Livonian Order, which yes. that, that doesn't fit too bad. Shouldn't wow. they have to defend Poland when Poland got attacked then? Oh no, they're orthodox, so no. No. Uh, let's have a look. Because, you know, all Poland. sorts of weird shenanigans happen. Oh, Poland happened. actually managed to p decided to push back this time, and they are chasing the Korean through, oh, through the planes. Really? Uh, I don't know if they still have the whole bonuses uh, fighting on planes or not. Let's see, do they. Uh, no, I don't think they have the leader bonus oh. anymore. Fighting. But this is a, not a horde. fast battle, though. Yeah. Uh, well, they do have the, the horde morale. ideas. Yeah. But which I, I forgot what that exactly gives. I don't gives. think it gives you the the bonus on planes that you get as a normal mm. horde. But it's still... They do have less 20% less attrition on land. Yes. And their unit, yeah, no. their unit, I mean, each of their cavalry has doubled the shock of an average, like, musketeer, and they have 110% bonus to it. So, yeah, that those, 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 those horses hurt when they when, when the shock face oh comes God. knocking home. But look over here. <laughs> look at the numbers. Oh, yeah. I and guess this the these are the valuable provinces, too. Or yes, I, I guess that there is a s I smartness to... Uh, <sighs> To people trying to attack the stragglers of the Russian army and trying to pick the battles. If you're gonna try to engage them in the steppe, not the best place to engage Russia, but might as well give it a shot. Mm -hmm. uh, Russia, though, has insane good morale right now and solid discipline. Their, most, their army stats are just flat out better. Uh, they mm -hmm. have also more cannon to fill the second row. Uh, 29,000 is what you need right now to make sure that your second row is full. Um, Pope is dead and now Korea. Well, this oh doesn't mean Korea is Yeah, no, Tirodoro is getting dead. massacred on this battle. They do not have the people to fight this mm -hmm. at all. This, 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 those guys, I think the, the, the rush, the, the, they might as well tell them to go somewhere else. Maybe just hit Byzantium behind the scenes or something. Because I don't think they're going to do anything useful. Uh, oh, Byzantium actually went home and, and decided to sleep. Did they leave the war? Uh, they uh. actually did. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes, they did. Byzantium decided that they were just there in morale support, but that was <laughs> this was really Russia's war. Um, um, ooh, does, can <coughs> we tell if the attrition versus manpower gain gives Poland an <coughs> advantage? Uh, that's a lot of math that I don't think the game is giving us. Um, mm. I guess we could look at the, uh, there should be a curve over time, which I don't think the game gives you. I I, I, I give them a very good chance on the uh, on the Chinese fronts, uh, but the Russian. Fr ah, I guess that's what they're doing. They are pivoting west. Uh, I think they realize that if if they really need to, they can just come knocking the uh, the. Um, the Koreans and the and, oh. and the Chinese, if they have to, but the real thing they have to beat up is the Russians. They have to make decisive gains against the Russian to get that going. Oh, oh they have. <coughs> they're going after the little tiny stacks. Yeah, I mean, this is not like harassing the enemy is not a bad tactic if you can afford to do it, especially in MP. Having a player dedicated to a harassment tactic is good if you can afford, especially if it's on defensive terrain, because you can see how far away are the other people and how, how likely it is that they will catch you. Poland's friend Kiva tried to go after Rebels. Kievan separatists. Did not go so well. <laughs> <I guess coughs> it's Kievan separatists against Kiva. No, Poland is uh, yeah no. Poland has decided to shift south again, uh, trying to hold. Uh, I think they should. I don't know. Maybe their hope is that they can convince Miao yeah, to uh, to give up, so we can pivot toward the Russian. But 
I... They're at minus 42% with Russian. And they hold the war goal, so it's just going to keep ticking. Yeah. Like, I there's no green. There's no green at all. No, because they did not really do anything. Uh, meanwhile, against Poland, I mean, they, they, are least, they are losing the ticking war score because Andig is probably super mm. far away. Uh, where, 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 where is where is the problem? The, the war goal even. Oh, it's not that far off. They could probably try to take it back. Mm hmm. Mm. We have chat saying that Brittany or Quebec, Quebec, when they were Brittany, accidentally lost all their land when they moved to Quebec. But I'm pretty sure that was designed. No, they made a deal with the French, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, uh, and that's why, like, the two weren't fighting for, like, you would think there would have been conflict. But just like we saw with Navarra and Wales, they had a deal of, oh, we play nice, we guard your back, you guard ours, and then we're going to leave and you can have the land. Which is not a bad deal when you think about it. No, not really. Oh. All right. All right. Uh, this was going to be a short session for yeah. us too, uh, because we have to toggle people and uh, let everybody have lunch. So you will be back with another pair uh, soon enough. Yes. But if you have any question or anything, we can still we will continue to cover the war. Uh, I see that the polls have brought up twenty nine thousand. But that's not going to be enough to, to, to make the Russian turn home. They're going to need to bring more. I see Fyodoro is going to try instead to uh, uh, maybe walk around Russia and find some defensive terrain. Oh, actually, Fyodoro just dropped the, dropped the ball on this one. They might be able to use uh, Fyodoro as a buffer state if Fyodoro refuses to grant military access. That will... I mean, they will shield Armenia, but that will not help more than that. I guess Armenia is going to try to stand on its mountain fault and hope that they can just, just bully the, ru the Russian or the Moldavia, the Wallachian, into just leaving them alone, giving up. But that's not that's only saving time. I think Poland really needs to turn and 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 and. Here's show. the question: Is Armenia going to peace out and just at, at some point cut their losses? But they, they can, they can I mean, hold. They, they, they have the Caucasus Mountain as a, as a fault. Mm -hmm. They're not losing much by staying behind and just keeping the war score, like, ticking better on their direction than if it was just Poland alone. Yeah. But the question is, what will Poland do? Because they, they need to get something going. And I guess They're that the enemies are playing for time because they know they cannot oh, afford a two-front no. war. Wait, Poland, they peaced out <laughs> with Russia. Ah. How much did they give out? It's like a... Not a lot? One? No. No, that's not, that's a not even a... That's a claim. What did they... I'm not... Quite... Sh Maybe some land to Wallachia was given, and that's it. Maybe. Was Russia just trying to feed them? Uh, let's see the history of the province. Sorry, that's not the history. That's the history. Yeah. Yes. Uh, they basically gave back some land to Wallachia uh, on the border to Wallachia. That's mm. basically it. And in exchange, they are going to be able to turn all their forces against. Which might Meow. not be a bad play, actually, because whatever they lost against, uh, against Russia, they can probably try to gain back by gobbling some of that. Yeah, uh, and I'm not sure Korea. why Russia piece them out at that point. Maybe they had a deal with, uh, with uh, like, I, I'm not sure because Russia has not been Oh, they gave one, one province went to Russia apparently. Yeah. I'm not sure which one. And it's kind of frustrating that we have to scroll down to see the most yes. recent thing. Uh, yeah. Hmm. I'm curious to see what, uh, what Poland is going to do now that they know that they do not have to bother at all from the other front and they can probably just let their allies clean the rebels if they have to. True. Uh, which means they can turn entirely everything we have. China has some terrain to, to block them, at least in the middle. They have a huge mountain range in the middle of China. And Poland just took nine loans, or has taken nine loans. But, yeah, I guess we can go around Oh, it. Meow is offering a peace mm. offer, or Poland will cede... Of a, a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> I, I, I do not see why Poland would accept any of no. that. No. They have no reason to. Uh, yeah. they, they can probably wipe the floor with them. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, Just Meow give is Meow, Meow is tapped. Me Me Meow is out of manpower. They burned all of it. Uh, oh, uh, Korea, what? Korea is sitting on a, on a on a treasure of manpower though. But Meow burnt all the manpower. Sieging desert. Sieging desert, and that's not gonna be and good for their uh, for because they they have the mandate of uh, of heaven, which is good, mm -hmm. until the Polish cavalry starts burning your land. Okay. How much white exhaustion does Meow have is a question from chat. Let me see stability. No, that's not stability. That is stability. Uh, they don't have a lot of white exhaustion. Poland has barely any white exhaustion. White exhaustion is not a big deal. I guess we're maybe by be paying to reduce it so far. But eventually the poles are gonna come knocking and they're not gonna like it. Oh, mandates at 90, by the way. Yes, they are slowly ticking down, uh, probably due to uh, a few losses they've taken. Yeah. Now the question is, what are they going to do about it? Are they still hoping that they're just going to eat manpower? Because to be fair, surprisingly, China, which should be like the 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 the, the, the bed of every manpower ever, is completely tapped out. Mm -hmm. And they don't really have manpower to burn that much. They just killed them all in the desert. <laughs> I mean, that's a tactic, right? It, it, if it works for Russia, uh, it <laughs> can work for Poland, I guess. But also, yeah, they are also hitting some of that uh, devastation themselves. Which probably mm. not. I guess at a rate that is half as high as... Yeah, oh god. Like, the rate of, uh, of attrition is like 1%. The rate of attrition that, uh, that, that China is taking is along like 3.6%. That is a lot of people dying. Like the desert has claimed well, not as much people as battle, surprisingly. Uh, and Poland is starting to feel the attrition effect 